I know you're napping around here somewhere. On your feet and back to work already, yeah? Ah, oh, finally. Come on, sunshine, up and at him. Get up already! Ugh, I'm sorry. What's going on? What's going on? <sighs> Did your head spring a leak while you were napping? Better see if you can even remember your name. Well, looks like there's hope for you yet. off, you sack of guts. I'm just resting up for the battle. Yeah, well, the battle's on our doorstep, so you're lucky I like you enough to wake you. You heard who we're up against, yeah? Gerald's mercenaries. Gonna be one hell of a fight, if true. Especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I've heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? Leave it to you to fumble the details. <laughs> did you even catch this Ashen Demon's name? Of course I did. It was... I... By the goddess, it's right on the tip of my tongue. That's it. Demon or no demon, our job is to fight and win. <laughs> you sound just like the captain. I know they paid up front, but come on. Well, at least one of you has some courage. You've certainly come a long way since I plucked you from that mountain village. But this battle is about more than just victory. Gerald's team has a sterling reputation. Rumor has it they've never blundered even a single job. But once we put them to rout, we'll finally be the greatest mercenaries in all of Leicester. Enemy activity detected, Captain. Looks like we'll be fighting by moonlight. Mind you don't kill each other in the dark. Wasn't expecting a fight so soon, but I guess there's nothing for it. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Good luck, friend. And double to you.
right, let's get down to business. We're up against Gerald's mercenaries. <laughs> Roots or something? Guess this means I can mess with them a little. Take out the stronghold over this way, yeah? You get the one over there. Can't wait to wrap this up so we can all drown ourselves in ale. teeth showed up, but they still don't stand a chance against Burling's mercenaries. Now, isn't this a sight? You must be the infamous Ashen Demon. I can't wait to tear you apart. This will be the end of the Ashen Demon. No one can beat the captain. What? Captain? She does nothing. There's so many of them. Only one thing to do about that.
stand down or die. We're gonna stand, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna avenge the captain. so scared. It's just one Merc. Run! Run while you can! Yes, no! This can't be happening! of this world. I will not allow it to perish with you. Entirely different person. That's enough. We did what we came to do. Everyone, fall back. What? Sorry, but this fight is over. Hey. Wait! Why? We've achieved our goal. Your job was to stop us, and you failed. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Hey! We're not done here! <laughs> Wait. Why am I... so... tired? Huh? Where am I? Oh good, you're awake. Not sure I would have been able to sleep at night with your <laughs> blood on my hands. Yeah. Who are you? Ha, now that is a tricky question. For the moment, why don't you call me Arbal? Arval, huh? But for now, let me speak plain. You are slated to die. Right now, I'm the only thing holding your meager life together. And to be blunt, it's beginning to tire me. Um, thank you? 
Oh, oh, my. That's the first time anyone has ever shown me gratitude. And I must say, I like it very much. Hear me well. You are a crucial piece of this world, cyclical... Yeah, uh, no, this will never do. You're far too groggy to absorb what I'm saying. For now, I needn't tell you how you'll get back on your feet. I need only convince you that you will. Is this a dream? I remember collapsing, but then... You're half right, which also means you're half wrong. But full marks for effort. Still, the important thing is what you do after you wake. And what should that be? Recall, please, how the Ashen Demon bested you. Came within an inch of snuffing out your life. If you attempt the fight again the same way, you will reach the same conclusion. This would force me to step in once more, which would be most annoying and also rather counterproductive, if I'm honest. You don't need to worry. I won't lose next time. Although who's to say when that time will come? Who indeed? My captain and comrades are dead. The company is finished. So, there's only one thing I can do. Start over. Huh. I thought you'd be more sentimental. Did they not take you in? Care for you? Gold's the only thing that ever held us together. And death is something we're all too used to. I never knew my real parents, and I lost the mother who raised me. Partings just come easy to me, I guess. The best way to honor my fallen comrades is by training hard and growing even stronger. Then I'll crush Gerald's mercenaries and the Ashen Demon with them. That's what I'm going to live for now. Oh, but I like your spirit, though I expected no less from my partner in destiny. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I suppose that was a bit sudden. I should remember, take intimacy in smaller steps. The point is that I'm here to guide you, and I promise to help you find the strength to see your dreams realized. Prologue. A chance encounter. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a goddess, has existed for uncountable ages. Now, three ruling powers control the land. To the south is a region held for more than a thousand years by the Adrestian Empire. To the north is the holy kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. And to the east, a league of nobles that bends no knee rules the Leicester Alliance. Though once consumed in war, these three powers now exist in relative harmony. Nestled between them is Garrig Mach Monastery, seat of the Church of Seros, the land's widely practiced faith and a power that helps to maintain peace across the continent. Not far from the monastery, at the northern edge of the empire, is a small village called Ramayr, and west of this place stretches a forest where a lone mercenary awaits. Hey, wake up! Ugh, how many times must we do this? Get up already! Huh? That's weird. I could have sworn I heard someone calling me. It's still dark out, though. 
Hello? Yes, I was calling you. Many times, I might add. D <sighs> Come on, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. As if I have a choice. Do you know how many times you would have died by now if not for me? I'll tell you. Twenty-two. The three times you leapt off a cliff to quote-unquote get tougher saved you. Those five mad attempts to dispatch a horde of monsters by yourself saved you. And tonight, despite my repeated warnings, you took the wrong path and ended up having to sleep on a bed of leaves in the middle of the woods. You're right. This was all my fault, and I'm sorry. Strange. That's exactly what I wanted to hear, yet... Somehow, I'm the one who feels bad now. I must remember this tactic. At any rate, we all make a few mistakes along the way. And by we, I mean you. And by a few, I mean far, far more than average. Now then, with that out of the way, would you like to know why I've roused you from your mud-caked slumber? Actually, it's probably easier to show rather than tell at this point. Look over there, if you would. Hmm? Stop plowing ahead, Claude. You're going to get us lost. Lost, schmast. We've got it on Imperial authority that this is the way to the village. <sighs> True, I said there was a village, but how could anyone know where it is in the thick of these mountains? I can't even say for certain where we are in all this gloom. Okay, new plan. I'll rely on my keen senses to navigate. Lucky for you, they're sharp as an arrow. Hold, both of you. Someone's here. Another bandit, perhaps? They're mistaking you for some common backwater thief. What cheek. Hold on there. I'm no bandit. I'm a mercenary. Well, that makes everything better. A bandit would be far less out of place in these woods than a sellsword. What brings you here? We've no time for an interrogation. Our pursuers are closing in. I don't know who you people are or what you want, but I think introductions can wait. You clearly need every blade you can find, and my pockets have been feeling awfully light lately. What do you say? Well, since you're here, do you mind stepping in and helping us chase off these scary bandits? Don't worry about payment. You'll proceed with plenty of fun. If we survive, that is. Deal with things here. 
Watch this! Let me show you a trick for dealing with heavily defended enemies. Yeah, right! Still in the fight! And that's how it's done. Don't overstep, Edelgard. Take a breather. Well, I suppose my turn has arrived. I've awaited this moment. allow anyone to stop me. You're making me feel bad for the enemy to be Apologies, but it was you or me. Just who are these people anyway? All three of them have crests. What's wrong with you? They're just a bunch of brats! Stop embarrassing yourself and stand your ground already! Is it claw time? I think it's claw time. I'll take over. Take a breather. Problem, I got it. I'm a master of strategy, but I'm not really used to being on the front lines. Very sharp, Claude, as usual. Hey, you got lucky there. Well, lucky for me, I guess. Not so much for you. The bandits have a firm hold on the central road. It would be wise to move through the forest and take down the strongholds as we go. Try and keep an eye on who we're fighting, and make sure we've got the right person leading the charge at the right time. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. My turn. care of that. Do not to worry over you too much, but do make sure to heal if you're hurt. Take it's not over. What shoddy defenses. We'll be done before we know it if they're all like this. We'll make good use of this. That ought to unravel their defenses. Enough of this strategy nonsense! Get up there and tear them all the pieces! Okay, how many thugs does this guy have working for him anyway? Take the man! Yeah. 
Repent, foul bandits! The Knights of Seros are here, and we'll cut you down for terrorizing our students. This battle is practically won if the Knights have arrived. To the Knights of Seros! Not now! If I don't kill at least one of them, Brandon, I'm finished! Yeah. Watch out! They're gonna make a last-ditch effort to rush our position. Spare no mercy for you. Ah, never should have been taken this job. Is it over? Let myself stop here. <laughs> Gotta keep aiming higher. Hang on. You're seriously the Imperial Princess, the Crown Prince, and the heir to the Alliance? Yes. And as the three of us are now in your debt, I think formal introductions are in order. My name is Edelgard von Hressfeld, Princess of the Adrestian Empire. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And I'm Claude von Regan. Grandson of the leader of the Leicester Alliance. Things looked grim there for a moment. Thanks to you, we put those bandits to flight. Bit of a miracle we ran into you out there, but hey, I'll take it. Hey, 
I only fought well because I had such fine companions by my side. There may be some truth to that. I can't shake the feeling that we were destined to meet somehow. Well, aren't they an unlikely trio? I wonder why those bandits were after them. Still, it's no concern of ours. We have our own plans to attend to. Now, collect your pay and be off before they get a wild idea and ask you to join them. Say, while I have you here, do you know where I can find Ramire Village? I took a wrong turn somewhere along the way. I'm looking for a band of hardened mercenaries who follow a man named Gerald. I hear rumors that's where they're camped. Actually, Ramire might just be the village we've been looking for, too. That ring a bell, Edelgard? I don't remember hearing anything about Mercs, but... The name sounds correct, at least. <sighs> Gerald's too smart to get smoked out by a bunch of rumors, but they're all I've got at the moment. In any case, we won't find our own two feet in all this dark. We should return to camp and get our bearings before... Hello there, house leaders. Hello, brave mercenary. We've mopped up what's left of those rascals, so what say we return to camp? And I insist you accompany us, good mercenary. Who, me? You heard the man. We'll wait out the night together and make for the village in the morning. It's a great plan, especially if you want to get paid, as we're a tiny bit short on pocket change at the moment. Yes, and those mercenaries you're looking for? Gerald's band, was it? They may be in Ramire Village tonight, but there's no telling when they'll move on. If you come back to our camp, we have maps that may help you get one step ahead of them. This is clearly the wisest course of action, not to mention that I would enjoy conversing with you further. But of course, the choice is yours. Ugh, why can't things ever be simple? All right, no, but just for the night. Perfect. Then might I borrow you for a moment after we reach camp? There's a matter we must speak about. Nothing alarming, I promise you. Right then, so off we go. But, um, if I may, did I hear you mention a Gerald earlier? Yes, do you know him? He heads up a pretty elite band of mercenaries, so I imagine his name is spread all over Fodland by now. Mercenaries, is it? No. No, it can't be him. Can it? Well, I'll just have to meet this Gerald myself. After I've seen my duties through, of course. After all, if I don't finish my assigned tasks, I'm mission the point. Get it? Missing? Mission? Come now, this is good stuff! <laughs> That's our Aloise. Come on, let's get moving before he really gets going. I'm honest. That's concerning. What say you?
so. Right on. Thanks. I'll do it. It is you. I'm busy. Please? Speaking of, how's that? Who, me? I'm more curious about you personally. If you don't have anything better to do, I'd be glad to have you join us at Garrick Mach. Have you met him yet? At first, I thought he was real serious and persnickety. But that image shattered pretty quick once I noticed him chatting up every girl in the monastery. Hilda's the only daughter of Duke Goneril. Seems like she had a pretty cushy life growing up. Which means she's gotten into the habit of slacking off and making other people do things for her. He's a pretty friendly guy, though it'd be nice if he talked about something other than muscles. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. He's had it pretty rough. Don't ever treat her like a child. I made that mistake earlier and she nearly took my head off. 
but she's clearly the youngest out of this year's students, so I don't get what the big deal is. Just another pampered noble, I guess. Ignatz likes the great outdoors. Definitely more than the rest of us, anyway. He's the second son of a merchant family, but says he wants to be a knight. He doesn't really seem suited for it, though. Maybe his parents are making him do it. Oh, Marianne? She's Margrave Edmund's daughter, but that's all I know about her. She doesn't interact with the other students at all. I'll admit, she intrigues me. Leone wants to be a mercenary. I bet you two would have lots to talk about. You're both pretty frank, too. I just hope you're not as obsessed with saving money as she is. Who has arrived? much difficulty yeah I don't know What do you think?
on another matter. Well, you're certainly not timid. You do realize you're addressing the heir to the Imperial Throne, yes? Still, I suppose I admire that sort of freedom. It must be nice not to have your lot in life decided for you. Hubert of House Vestra is my attendant. His family is unusual in that they're noble but lack territory of their own. Hubert is deeply loyal to me, and you can trust him completely. In fact, I imagine he's quite grateful for what you've already done. That's Dorothea Arnault. She's an up-and-coming songstress in a famous imperial opera company. Or she was, at least. For some reason, she abandoned her musical career and enrolled in the Officers Academy. She has a very magnetic personality, which I'm sure you'll see. Have you spoken with Ferdinand? One conversation will explain him far better than I can. He's the heir to an influential house, which drives him to excel. But he can be quite the handful sometimes. One of our classmates usually stays holed up in the dormitory instead of coming on these assignments. Her name is Bernadetta. If you bump into her, don't be surprised if she screams and runs away. That's sort of her thing. Caspar is the second-born son of a great and noble house. But as he's not the heir, you might say he joined the Academy to make his own way. War and fighting are his sole pursuits, so I bet the two of you will get along just fine. Petra isn't from the Empire. She's the granddaughter of the King of Bridget, which is an archipelago situated off our western coast. You'll find her a quick study, a gifted fighter, and endlessly curious. But always come prepared to talk, because she'll definitely want to pick your brain. Surely you know someone like Linhart. He's as bright as they come, yet just as lazy as well. That's simply how he is, though. I can't force him to apply himself, but he'll come around, most likely. Hmm. Oh. 
Hey there. Appreciate it. Can we speak a moment? It's you. Thanks. Which thanks. <laughs> By the way. this. <laughs> Your interest flatters me, but I'm afraid I find myself unsure of where to begin. Perhaps I'll have thought of a topic when next we speak. But, uh, you're leaving for that village soon, aren't you? <laughs> Dadu hails from the land of Dusker. Perhaps you've heard of it. He tends to keep to himself, but he possesses one of the kindest hearts of anyone I know. I'm proud to call him my... vassal. Speak to him, and you'll see why. Felix is the son of Duke Fraldarius. He has a sharp wit and even sharper tongue. But he's a good person at his core. I can attest to that. He has always admired strength above all else in a fighter. 
I imagine the two of you will make fast friends. I only first met her here at the Academy. She seems a gentle soul with great inner strength. From what I understand, she has traveled far and wide throughout both the Empire and the Kingdom. Perhaps that explains her demeanor. In the far south of Fargus lies a manor by the name of Castle Gaspar. Ash is the adopted son of that castle's lord, Lenato. He's an honest boy, well deserving of our trust. I'd like to get to know him better someday, should the opportunity arise. Annette is the hardest worker in the entirety of the Blue Lion House. She is truly brilliant. I could stand to learn from her single-minded devotion, if only a little. Sylvain is the son of Margrave Gautier. You may have already noticed, but he's something of a womanizer. That may be putting it lightly, in fact. But despite his apparent indifference, he possesses great cunning and is quicker on his feet than anyone else here. I've known him long, so I'm well aware. Ingrid is the daughter of Count Galatea, and she is far more gallant than your run-of-the-mill knight. She has ever been straight-laced and diligent, even when we were but children. It is not an uncommon sight to find her scolding Sylvain for his indiscretions. My sincere apologies for asking this of you. I know you're heading for Remire Village in order to find Gerald's mercenaries, but... Well, perhaps you might consider changing your mind and accompanying us to Garagmach Monastery instead. And why would I do that, exactly? Because you've done us a great service, and we don't have the means in camp to properly reward you. At the monastery, however, we can repay your kindness in full. Also, between you and me, this evening's turn of events was quite the embarrassment for the church. We allowed students of the Officers' Academy out of our sight, and house leaders of great political consequence at that. And then they cross swords with bandits. If word got out, well, let's just say it would sit poorly with everyone. So you see why we must ensure you are well compensated. Also, there may be some papers for you to sign. Perhaps in blood. This sounds more like hush money than a reward. Yes, that's exactly what I told the fool knight who suggested it. Me, I'd just as soon send you on your way, but I fear I'm obligated to escort you back. Anyway, the whole thing will be much easier if you simply agree to come along. Just as a formality, of course. I think that was a threat. And here I thought he was a big softy. Well, what do you think? Garrick Mock is in the opposite direction of where we need to be, but this man seems rather set on having us accompany them. We make a poor case, Alois, but I can see where this is heading. I'll come with you to the monastery, but I'm not staying a single minute longer than I have to. Bless you, my friend. What a noble soul you are. I'd say you saved my bacon, but that would be utterly hammy. I'll 
Alois, has anyone ever told you that you're... Don't. Some truths are simply too painful to bear. While I'm no expert, I fear the poor man's heart couldn't handle the shock. Hmm? Told me what? Uh, told you... how dashing you are in that armor. Not just any man could pull off that look. Ah, you like it? Wonderful. I admit, I've received no small share of positive comments on it. There's a grand story behind every last ding and dent. Enough to keep me talking for a week. Why, take this one here. We heard you'll be joining us at Garrick Mock. Perhaps somewhat unwillingly, I might add? I know this wasn't in your plans, but if it lets us get to know each other better, perhaps it will prove worth it in the end. Unwilling or not, we've got a long road ahead, so let's try to keep the mood light. I hesitate to ask this considering you're only here because of us, but... Well, are you sure about this decision? The last thing we want is to delay you from your own business. The Knights may seem unwilling to bend, but it's not as if you have no say in the matter. Actually, I see this as just another chance to better myself. You are more gracious than I. But, as I see you've made peace with it, I will leave the matter be. Yes, yes, that's quite enough chatter. Let's save our energy for the road. To the monastery! Listen, I know this one's on me. I'm the one who roped you into coming back to camp, after all. But I'll find a way to make it up to you, I promise. Thanks, Claude. I know you will. Hey! Hurry up back there, or we'll leave you behind! You know you've had a busy day when you rub shoulders with the heirs to the Empire, the Kingdom, and the Alliance. I think they're a fascinating group of people myself, but what do you make of them? Well, it seems like Edelgard thinks high enough of me. She's got this elegant air about her, but somehow doesn't hold any disdain for mercenaries. It feels like Dimitri's always checking in on me, every chance he gets. He'll definitely make a good king, the kind who looks after his people. Claude's a laid-back kind of guy who doesn't really strike me as noble, and I mean that in a good way. Something tells me he's gonna be easy to work with. <laughs> of course you only pick up on their rosy qualities. You really are a delight. Have I told you that lately? Still, you better pick up the pace before you vex these people any further. Prologue. Three Houses. Deep in the forest, the mercenary meets a trio of youths each a student at Gehrig Mach's Officers Academy and a leader of one of the school's three houses. Striking down the bandit chief who attacked the students brings undue attention to the mercenary, who soon arrives at the hallowed gates of Gehrig Mach. And with that, may I present the mercenary I spoke of. Greetings. My name is Rhea, and I am the Archbishop of the Church of Seros. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for rescuing our students. Eh, it was nothing. You take a job, you make sure it gets done. That's what a mercenary does. I see you do not lack for confidence. 
However, the reason we summoned you here was not simply to express our gratitude. We have a proposal for you. One made on behalf of the church itself. What kind of proposal? Someone told you of the officer's academy here at the monastery, yes? We would have you join this academy as a student. You what? Though you are a mercenary, I understand you are not currently beholden to any one particular employer. Also, the students you rescued are close to your own age. Your life could be greatly enriched here. Or she's heard about our power and wants to keep us on a short leash. And yet she's taking it almost as a given that we'll accept. It's infuriating. I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. If your fancy school can really make that happen, consider me interested. The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. I'm in. A wise decision. We will do all we can to ensure you do not regret it. I believe you will go far. If I may, permit me to tell you a bit more about the school itself. The Academy is divided into three houses and draws in the most promising young talents from every corner of Fodlan. Some are noble while others spring from more humble roots. But within these walls, all are treated as equals. We ask our prospects to spend a year living under the same dormitory roof so they can challenge each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. We could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. to join Edelgard's Black Eagles. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. I can already tell I'm gonna learn a lot from you. Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuel, 
you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Well, what do you think? I believe there is a very good chance it will work. Perhaps, Lady Edelgard. But is that chance not outweighed by the danger of matters going awry? We have managed to walk the nice edge so far, but what you are suggesting is open hostility. If they so much as catch wind of our intentions, things will go sideways very quickly. Regardless, this is our last opportunity to save her. Frankly, it's a miracle we even have the chance. I thought you once proclaimed not to believe in miracles, Lady Edelgard. And I don't. At least not the kind one has to sit around and wait for. But right now, everyone is exactly where we need them. Her, the bandits, the string pullers, and the perfect instructor with the perfect mission. I'm going to make this miracle happen, and I will do so for our future. Hmm. Then we'd best have a plan in place to finish the job, in case they catch on. I expected you to burn a few bridges, but this plan would be akin to setting half the countryside on fire. Which is exactly why I'm counting on you, Hubert, and why I'm grateful to have you by my side. Welcome to the Black Eagle House. I'm pleased you selected us. Whoa, wait, what? You're a student now? And not only that, you're one of us? That's great! Wait, stop! I don't know this person! Oh, why are there so many new faces? That's what you get for skipping this year's first field excursion, Burn. A lot happened. There was even a bandit attack. Did you really not hear about any of this? Bandits? Ugh! Now I'm extra glad I skipped out. I must say, the church took a bold step in enrolling you. A decision which I, of course, fully support. You helped Edelgard, and we stand to learn quite a bit from one so skilled. Yes. I have eagerness to examine the fighting of mercenaries. We should be sparring, one versus one. If anyone needs me, I'll be asleep and... Wait, hold on. Do you have a crest? Did Professor Hanneman even check? Oh, he checked all right. Sorry to say, I'm certifiably crestless. Strange. You definitely seem the type. But I suppose I'm just imagining it. And now you know the rest of our house. As you already met some of us in camp, I assume you knew what you were getting into. We may not be perfect, but we support each other as best we can. Please try your utmost to get along with everyone. Here approaches Professor Yuritsa. That makes all of us. Remember your mission? We are to eliminate the remaining members of the Iron King's thieves that attacked our camp. 
The chief, Costas, has already been struck down. And now only a scattering of brigands remain. Even with our limited experience, we should be able to defeat them handily. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Prof. Oh, he's gone. So it would seem. Right then. We'd better get all of our waterfowl in a row. Wait, but I. I need to tell the professor I can't participate? Oh, good work, Bernie. Why didn't you speak up sooner? I know what you mean. I never even got the chance to break out my best. Leave it to me, Professor. He's a real tough nut, that's for sure. Says just as much as he has to, then makes tracks. Well, the less you say, the greater your mystique. <laughs> True enough. There's not much charm in someone who talks your ear off at every opportunity. Whatever the case, I expect all Black Eagles to participate in this mission, including you, Bernadetta. You can do this. And I look forward to seeing our mercenary friend here in action. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe, though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there, it's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor, wait! Well, he must have some idea where the bandits went. Let's hurry after him. Pathetic. Professor Yuritsa, you shouldn't charge ahead like that. It's far too danger... Wait, what is all this? <laughs> bandits! Dead by my hand. Yes, they look quite dead indeed. Are these the miscreants we were meant to deal with? How is one to tell? One uncouth ruffian looks much the same as any other. Do you know, Professor? Were you following some manner of lead? No, but it's them. They were trying to escape to that fortress. That fortress?! Yes, Kaspar, that's what he said. Something you want to share? Nope. It just seems suspicious. You are something else, Kaspar. Still, I guess the place does look kind of suspicious. We're near the border of the Kingdom and the Empire, but that is no Imperial outpost. It's not the Kingdoms either, and they're not flying any kind of banner. I'm guessing it's a bandit hideout. 
then give us allowance to be storming their base and crushing them under our feet. It might be a little dangerous for us to handle on our own, Petra. Yes! I mean, I agree. We should all, um, go home. Right now. But the bandits might be inside, and they must answer for their crimes. It is our noble duty to finish them off before they can bring harm to another soul. This isn't about nobles. It's about doing the right thing, period. And striking down evil is the Caspar way. It's not smart to rush an enemy stronghold when we have no idea what's waiting for us inside. We should hold off for now. Huh. I hadn't pegged you as the cautious type, but maybe that's what we need. Enough. This is not our decision to make. Professor Yuritsa? The mission stands. Enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. There are no signs of life. We may be chasing ghosts. Professor, are you having the ability to speak with ghost spirits? It is just an expression, Petra. It means there is probably no one here. Ah, I am understanding now. You have my thanks. This language has much peculiarity some of the times. Well, if that's settled, let us make ready. Make sure you're prepared before we head out. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me. Pointing a weapon at me. Get ready to pay. A pack of thieves is no mess for us. Though I do wish they had given me time back? to announce my name. Leave it to me. Careful! Do not let the enemies be ganging up on you. Yeah. 
Yeah. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. All of these dead bodies are enough to numb the senses. Right then, let us go to work. Shall we join hands in battle? There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this... Yes, yes. Now! Is that a treasure chest? Hmm. Yes. It seems we will need a key to open it. I was all ready to grab a nice haul from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. That bandit appears to be holding the key. securing the bandit hideout. Unless something else concerns you, Professor. Search the basement. <laughs> something is amiss. <laughs> There's a prisoner down here. She looks like an academy student. Rescue me? Lady Edelgard! Yeah? Monica, how did you... No, my questions can wait. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, 
our Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl and run. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. My will is theirs. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Whoever they are, they seem to be targeting that student. And it falls upon us to keep her safe, no matter the cost. <laughs> Break down the scoundrels. Stand aside. Now's our chance to give them the slight. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. The way is. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Clear. Come. We need to hurry. Sorry I'm slowing you down. The world is still a little wobbly at the moment. My turn. They are. about to murder you or you know don't it's her so be it kill her <laughs> good that's the last of them if you truly are Kronia then it is you who will die this day. Yep. Take a then we can proceed as planned. Yeah. 
Never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save it. I'm here to aid you. I have a few pieces unlike any beast I've ever breeder. encountered. Yeah. It will be a grueling battle unless we combine our strength. The strength is beginning to wane. Press the attack. Demonic beast? Impossible! Talus isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay! That snake escaped. But still, Monica is safe, and that's what matters. Keep aiming higher. I must get stronger. Any experience is worth having. I am the noble standard. I won't let myself stop here. Gotta keep aiming higher. This'll help me break new boundaries. What a fascinating power. I need more strength than this. fresh air again for as long as I lived. I'm not sure what to say except thank you everyone. 
How did you end up in such an awful place, Monica? I heard you went missing in House Ox territory. I did indeed. In fact, I was on the verge of graduation when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. Oh, how silly of me not to introduce myself. I'm Monica Von Ox. I'm the eldest child of Baron Ox, and one of your highness's most loyal subjects. Seeing as you saved my life, I plan to devote that very life back to helping your cause. You've not changed at all, though I do appreciate the enthusiasm. Monica was a Black Eagle in last year's class. One might say she's part of the old guard. I'm not sure how I feel about you calling people old. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Ugh. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that I think on it, not everyone in that fortress was dressed like a common rogue. Perhaps the bandits were mere decoys while some other villain pulled strings behind the scenes. Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. Now, I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Her Highness can vouch for this, but my memory is quite strong. Try Remarkable. You never forget a face, even one seen only at a glance. Your Highness, I... um... thank you for the compliment. <clears throat> I'm certain of what I saw. The one who kidnapped me was surely Tomas the Librarian. Tomas? Impossible! But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. 
I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had a tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the Archbishop has elected to apprehend Tomas. He has been away from Garrig Mok for days now. During his absence, an investigation of his behavior and personal effects laid bare his hostility to the Church. The Knights have been instructed to await his return and take him in. As quietly as possible, of course. We want him alive. So we might discover the whereabouts of his associates. I'm glad they actually believed me. If they doubted you, you would have known it the moment they clapped you in irons and led you away. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He does. I've lost track of how many times I've spoken to the man. No surprise, Lynn. You practically live at the library. Um, so what did he look like again? Is he the big, burly one? Burly? Not even close! He's a frail old man with a walking stick. From what I understand, he has been at Garrick Mach for 40 years, at least. It is hard to imagine that he had been plotting evil that whole time. I wonder what led to his transformation. Transformation? Would someone not be noticing if Tomas changed his appearance? He meant a mental transformation, not a physical one. Tomas must have changed his mind about the church at some point. I am excited to have learning of this strange new expression. I must be thanking you. If they were really worried about transformations, you'd expect they would turn their gaze to you. Good to know they're nice enough not to do so. So, this Tomas person sent the bandits after us? What an awful man. We're lucky to be alive. You're one to talk, Bernadetta. You weren't even there. Yes. You were not having reason to fear for your continued living. Uh, you're right! Everyone, pipe down! Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. Where are you going? Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. <laughs> this doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? What he did was just like... Prologue. The Shadows of Adrestia. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees and not even the Knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Meanwhile, 
Edelgard seizes upon Monica's rescue as a chance to start down a radically different path than she had originally planned. Things went like clockwork with Monica. Thanks to Professor Yuritsa playing his part so ably. And equally to those arrogant fools for letting their guards down. I doubt we will see such fortune next time. Next time? Oh, don't tell me. The moment has come to take matters into our own hands at the Imperial Capital. This is our chance to finally be rid of them. But, Lady Edelgard, we aren't ready. We'll need an entire host to keep them in check. And we have one, the Church. Forgive my impertinence, but that is not the plan. You are the man who once told me to leave no sword in its scabbard. Yes, but one must also take care not to wound themselves when unsheathing it. I am sorry, my lady, but this plan is ill-advised. I cannot support it. And even if I were to ignore common sense and go along, it still throws our future plans into disarray. I thought you devised countermeasures to deal with the Church. Use them. But those were meant for... Very well. Are you absolutely certain this is the path? <sighs> I am anything but certain. Yet the bandit attack in the mountains created an opportunity we cannot ignore. And I doubt the appearance of this new mercenary is simple coincidence. Plans can be rewritten, Hubert. Either we're doing this, or we're not. Will you sit around and wait for a miracle? Or will you help me seize control of my fate? I am with you, Lady Edelgard, as ever. Then let us walk forward on this path, and see where it takes us. I apologize for bringing this to you on such short notice, Archbishop. Not at all, Edelgard. But might I ask, what prompted this sudden desire to return to Enbar? We believe one of Tomas's collaborators may have infiltrated the capital. My word! Tomas tended the library at Garrig Mach for decades, with nary a blemish on his record. And then, without warning, he drops his disguise and reveals himself to be a vile sorcerer of terrible ability. Someone at the capital also fits that pattern. A man we know all too well. And who might that be? My uncle, and regent of the Empire, Bokard von Arendal. His lordship briefly defected from the Empire before reappearing several years later. But he returned a changed man, and began seizing power almost immediately. Witnesses claim he wields dark magic in secret and is able to change his appearance at will. That does sound suspicious, if these witnesses can be believed. I would ask that you do believe them, as the information comes from my own House Vestra. I see. And when you return to the capital, how do you propose to deal with this uncle of yours? Lord Arendelle has the support of a number of influential nobles, including the Prime Minister, Duke Eyre. And while we have allies of our own, it's likely they'll require some convincing. To that end, we wish to bring our friends here at the Academy, their daughters and sons, with us under the supervision of Professor Yuritsa. We hoped you would consider deploying the Knights of Saros so the Imperial Army doesn't get any strange ideas. You wish to march on the Empire? With the Church's knights at your back? Your support would give credence to our claims. 
Additionally, the knights would keep the populace in check upon our arrival, thereby preventing the city from descending into utter chaos. The more I hear of this, the more credible the threat sounds. It's clear you have thought carefully and planned well. We intend to seize the palace with our own forces, and we'll do our utmost to contain the conflict there. But we still need your help. Please. I have two conditions. The first, when you capture Lord Arundel, he is to be turned over to the knights at once. The second, our knights are not to engage in battle directly. I would have it no other way. Step lightly, Edelgard. Should these claims about Lord Arundel prove false, we will take action accordingly. Make no mistake as to who will be held accountable. Understood. But please know we have nothing to gain from deceiving the Church. Very well. I will summon the Knights and let you instruct them as to your plan. May the Goddess watch over you all. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the Knights and escaped. Shapeshifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. There you are. Something wrong? I must return to the Imperial Capital soon for an important matter. Will you join me? Most of the other Black Eagles are coming. What's this about? I fear I must keep that to myself until we're closer to the Capital. But I promise you this. There will be battle, and you will have a chance to shine. Are you sure? I mean, these powers I have... Are like the ones Tomas used? Yes, that is a bit disquieting. Still, you've given me no reason to mistrust you. You could have wrested yourself free of us from the start, but instead you chose to stay here at the monastery. You fought by our side and helped us save Monica. I think I can give you the benefit of the doubt. But here's my true proposal. If you accompany us, there's a good chance you'll learn where your powers come from. Ooh, now that is intriguing. In that case, I accept. Thanks. If you please. If you would, do you have? 
have a moment. Huh? <laughs> Don't let me down, if I may. My word is a bond. So basically... What do you think? What? Solon's been unmasked? Yes, my lord. Rooted right out of the monastery. 
First Kranya's debacle and now this. What in the world is going on? I know not, my lord. What are we to do? Keep our composure for a start. Send word to the kingdom and see that Cleobulus is informed. Tell him to remain prudent. If he must go into hiding, so be it. At once, my lord. Yes? Lord Regent, I have urgent tidings to report. You may enter. Forgive the intrusion, my lord, but we just learned the Knights of Seros march on Enbar. Their purpose is unclear, but they will arrive by morning. We've been turning ourselves upside down to make ready. The Knights of Seros? No. Oh. Do you think... There's only one person who could be behind it. How dare she bear her fangs at us? They may already be within the palace walls. Mobilize the guards and search. If anyone so much as looks at you askance, kill them on the spot. Yes, my lord. Her Highness has given the signal, Baltimore. Already? I had thought they were still negotiating. Things are moving rather quickly. The situation must have changed. Our children are still at Garrick Mock, after all. I admire how strong she's become. I just wish we'd had more time to appraise her competence. Well, if she's caught us with our breaches down, imagine how they feel. I can't wait to see the confused look on those dastards' faces. Oh, I'm going to enjoy every second of this. As if you'd be content to watch. Once the battle starts, you'll be knee-deep in gore with all the rest. Which means, I'll have to make it clear where I stand. We can't afford to tear the Ministry apart by having the pen and sword at odds. These are your instructions. I imagine they may not come as a surprise to many of you. For some time now, Enbar Palace has been infested with the same darkness you saw in Tomas. They have made a puppet of the Emperor, and plot with disloyal subjects to seize control of the Empire. Our objective is to stamp these traitors out, seize the palace, and reclaim the Empire for our own. Um, you realize it's just us, right, Adi? That sounds kind of... Impossible. Still, the Empire is having many soldiers. Perhaps you could be changing their minds? Those who can be won over will be. And the realization they are fighting the Imperial Princess ought to dull the other's blades. We have also secured the cooperation of several nobles inside the palace. Very impressive, Your Highness. And very you! I suppose all that remains is to head inside and take care of business. Just you watch. We'll take them all down and have the bards singing our names by nightfall. So here we are, ready to deal a masterstroke to the heart of the mighty Empire. Life with you certainly isn't boring. We'll infiltrate the palace through the rear gate, then apprehend Lord Arundel and Duke Iyer. From there, we'll secure the palace's strategic positions, eliminating all resistance we encounter along the way. If that is our plan, then time cannot be wasted. You can hear them scrambling in the palace from here. Let's not wait for them to find their bearings. Lead the way, Your Highness. Oh, and make sure to keep her safe, Hubert. You know every square inch of that place, after all. Just mind you don't fall prey to your own distractions. These villains have had free run of my house for too long. Today, I take it all back!
was easy enough slipping in the back. The knight's unexpected visit must have thrown the court into disarray. In that case, we'd best find and apprehend Duke Iyer and Lord Arendelle before they grow wise to our scheme. Duke Iyer should be in the throne room. We'll enter through the back way. Yes, yeah. that way he will never see our coming. But we must hurry. The gods are on the way are in Duke Iyer's employ. So do with them as you must. Duke Iyer. What in the... No! Seal the gate now! Well, this complicates things. We'll have to cut around through the garden. Send soldiers to the garden! I want a sword on every path to my son for those rats! The man is so desperate he doesn't realize he's already lost. So let us break through and prove it to him.
Masters, show the Duke your true allegiance lies with the Empire. Apologies, Ludwig, but if you want to leave, it'll have to be through me. And if you want back in, you must go through me. Although I must seem like nothing in comparison to that bear at the front gates. You would turn on me now. Preposterous. Ready. So those are the nobles you won over? Where'd you find the time to orchestrate that? Now that we have Dugaia pinned down, let us clip his wings for good. <laughs> Is it my turn? Watch this! Still outnumbered, and this isn't done until I say it is. Leave this one to me. This will be easy with both of us. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Right then. Let us. Shall we join hands and begin? The Sky Spirit, what? It's finished, Prime Minister. Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully. Why? Lose the fire, Lord! I don't care if you bring the palace down around us. Just do it! They're shooting at us? We should probably do something about that. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle this. Order. No ambitions of Ludwig von Meyer won't be broken by the likes of you. How can this be? I have riches, power. I am as great as a man can be. Watch this. Everyone. That just leaves Lord Aranda. Yes. But he is the one you need to worry about. Keep moving and remain alert. Your ire has been captured already. I'm swapping it. I'm ready. You even have the grace to buy me some time. Well, I've little interest in taking birds. So it's time for me to deploy my wild card. Find the casters and strike them down so we might dispel this sorcery. You and I can split up and sweep the palace. A fine idea, Leopold. Let us make clear to these fell warlocks that they are most unwelcome in this place. Leave this one to me. Let's get moving. Here. 
Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit. I'm afraid to consider how we'd I'll stand without those two on our side. There! That should stop those fire orbs from... Well, firing! should disappear now. That still didn't stop them. It <laughs> seems they came prepared for any eventuality. Quickly now. We need to reach Lord Arendel before he slips through our fingers. Let us go. The sky... Many who side with Duke Iyer or Lord Arendel and oppressed her highness will receive no quarter from us. Hubert, you finally said something I like. Now let's go stamp them out. It's my turn. Wretched vermin. handle this.
Bring the stronghold down efficiently. Is it my turn? I have this. I am not a fanatic. However, you clearly have no concept of how terrifying I can be. Ah, but we do. Take a Which breather. is why you must die. Lady Edelgard chooses to abide your existence no longer. That takes care of the cleanup. I think Her Highness should be very pleased with me indeed. Whether or not she is pleased with you should be of secondary concern. The most important matter is what benefits Lady Edelgard. No. Sorry. What? Are you starting to understand the situation you're in? Very well. Though yours is indeed a power that warrants caution. I have to act. I know when I am bested. The darkness itself, and the darkness cannot be slain. <sighs> he escaped. <sighs> Cowardly of him, but we can take comfort in our victory either way. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Uh. Now what? Huh? Are you kidding me? When mercs celebrate a win, we slap our open palms together like that. A commendable victory, Lady Edelgard. Thank you, Hubert. Still, I don't much like how those rats managed to keep skittering away. I imagine that guy's pretty close with Kranya and Tomas, since he shapeshifted and all. Yes. They are all part of a clandestine organization attempting to conquer Fodlin from the shadows. Those who slither in the dark. Huh. Never heard of them. Hmm. So, what is the plan now, Your Highness? We make ready for my coronation. Hubert, gather everyone in the throne room. At once, Your Highness. This is wonderful! Your Highness is going to become Your Majesty! Yes, but first I must speak with the Minister of Domestic Affairs, as well as the other Counts. Also, I need you to go to the Knights of Saros. I wasn't expecting all of you this soon. What are you doing here? We demand an explanation. You arrested my father, Edelgard. How could you do such a thing without discussing it with me first? I'm probably not getting the finer points here. But you basically defeated both my father and Ferdinand's, is that right? I wasn't fighting your father, Gaspar. He was aiding me, as was Count Hevering. So, um, 
What about my father? Did you arrest him? Unfortunately not. Oh, okay. Look, I'm sure you have your reasons for all of this. But maybe you should sit down and talk us all through it. And I intend to. We'll reconvene later and clear everything up then. Monica, join me. We'll talk as we go. Keep aiming higher. I must get stronger. I must regain what I've lost. Hard work created this. Any experience is worth having. Growth is a part of life. I won't let myself stop here. What a fascinating power. One step at a time. I work to grow. I imagine this will serve me well. say I have two years to complete these preparations. In cooperation with Count Hevering, of course. You and Hubert can finalize the details later. As I won't be choosing a Prime Minister for some time, I realize this may result in extra work for you. However, that also means more latitude to do things as you see fit, so long as you ensure we're prepared for a five-year war. I will not rest until I discover a solution, Your Highness. So long as our military leaders don't tread on my toes, I shouldn't have too much difficulty. Hmm. For something this big, you better believe we'll have plenty of need for resources. Leave it to a narrow-minded quill carrier like you to call that treading on your toes. In Her Majesty's name, I will decide what is and isn't appropriate regarding your needs. Also, anyone would seem narrow-minded when compared to a swollen-headed juggernaut such as yourself. A juggernaut, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. I see someone allowed his sarcasm lessons to lapse. Moving on. Lord Arendelle's followers will doubtless attempt to interfere, so we'll need to keep a close eye on them. Once Count Varley joins us, we can discuss the matter I mentioned further. It seems he's just arrived, Your Majesty. Apologies for my tardiness. Gregoire von Varley at the court service. My, but attendance seems light. Where is the Lord Regent and the rest of our noble six? Duke Eyre stands accused of treason and has been dismissed as Prime Minister. He currently awaits judgment in one of our finer dungeons. Lord Arendelle is a fugitive from the same crime and will be taken in soon. Dead or alive, it makes no difference. Well, this is a rather shocking turn of events. I had no idea Ludwig was capable of such things. Still, rest assured that I am nothing like him. Indeed. 
And as for the others, Duke Gert was dispatched to Western Fodland to conduct negotiations. And my father, the late Marquis Vestra, perished in the struggle to capture Duke Gaia. Which makes me the new Marquis Vestra, and minister of the Imperial Household. Ah! You've nothing to fear, Count Farley. Her Majesty intends to bestow a great honor upon you. Majesty? Wait, you mean... The title hasn't been formalized just yet, but as it stands, you should view it as a foregone conclusion. More importantly, Count Varley, there is a very important position I wish for you to fill. I intend to rebuild the Southern Church, and who better to be the bishop than you, our Minister of Religious Affairs? I will make my case to the Archbishop personally. Thankfully, Lord Arundel and his men are no longer around to obstruct such a move. You would bestow such a position on me? Uh, make no mistake, it is a great honor, but are you certain? Very. Now then, your first duty in the role will be to oversee my coronation. Do not fail me, Bishop. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you enjoying your stay at the palace? More than I expected, though I do feel a bit out of place here. Understandable. Everyone here either is a noble themselves or serves one. However, that will change. As emperor, I plan to end discrimination based on social status. Everyone will have a chance to rise to the top, whether they are born into the aristocracy or not. No more nobles or commoners, huh? That does sound pretty great. I'll be impressed if you can actually pull it off. Oh, I will. But at the moment, I have a proposition for you. Go on. We've successfully expunged the Prime Minister and the rest of that puppet government. But a certain amount of unrest is unavoidable. Which means I must remain here in the capital. In other words, I can't go back to Garrick Mach and continue my studies. What about the others? Our noble families will be in disarray as we transition to my system and new heads of household take power. Of course, some, like Dorothea, are not as affected as the other students. But all of them have offered to stay and help rather than return to the monastery without us. If you'd be willing to do the same, I'd like to offer you a top post in my new military. Now there's a tantalizing offer. It's not like you have any real obligation to the church. Plus, it sounds like quite the thrill. I'm more of a hired sword than an officer. Which is why you're perfect. Hubert wants to recruit mercenaries such as yourself and form a new unit. I can't put some noble in command of them. That would be ill-advised. But they would listen to a capable fighter such as you. You're Hubert's first and only choice. I, I don't know if I really have the experience for it. But if you have that much faith in me, I won't let you down. Having deposed Lord Arundel and Duke Iyer, Edelgard quickly arranges for her coronation, her eyes now fixed firmly on the monumental task laid out before her. All the while, the kingdom of Fargus is thrown into unrest over the right of succession, while the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home.
scarlet blaze. The struggle commences. It is the end of 1181. Two years have passed since the Officers' Academy closed its doors. Having ascended the throne of Adrestia, Edelgard has begun to enact sweeping change. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus now calls Dimitri its king, while Claude reigns over the Leicester Alliance. All three house leaders have found their wings as rulers of a new generation. With the whole of Fodlan still reeling from these rapid changes, Edelgard decides the time has come to usher in a new era. People of Fodlan, the Empire will stand by no longer. Together, we rise against a church that has become steeped in deception and corruption. The church has used their doctrine to deny you power and reshape Fodlan as they see fit. They thrust upon you the illusion of nobility in order to oppress who they choose, and they helped create the kingdom and alliance as a pretext for war. Finally, they teased you with the promise of salvation from pain they themselves inflicted, and did so in the name of their own prophet. Well, I say no more. The Empire has severed herself from their hypocrisy by restoring the Southern Church and nurturing her people's well-being. And today, we purge the world of their evil forever. We will retake Garigmach from the Central Church and stamp out any nobles who abet its depravity. By my title as Emperor Edelgard von Gressfeld of Adrestia, I hereby declare war against the false Church of Seros. The past two years have flown by in but the blink of an eye. And while they felt short, they were certainly eventful. The Empire has come far since we removed Arendel from power. We reformed the government, remedied our diplomatic troubles, and bolstered our military. And most significantly, we gave strength to the Southern Church, creating the perfect wedge against the Church of Seros. A shame our bishop has become the target of relentless censure as a result, while the Central Church even targeted him for assassination. Poor Count Varley. It could not have happened to a finer man. And then there's the matter of Lord Arendelle. What are he and his minions up to now? Slithering in the shadows of Fodlan, much as they have done for centuries. It will not be easy to drag such adept skulkers into the light. Perhaps not. Then for now, let's remain focused on the formidable adversary ahead. Did you call us here, Edelgard? It's good to see so many familiar faces. I did, and thank you for coming. This may be the first time I've seen all of you in the same room since the Officers' Academy closed. Likely, yes. We have all been rather busy marching down the separate paths life laid out for us. Or most of us have, anyway. Others, such as myself, managed to eschew work in favor of a more leisurely existence. Hey! I was working hard at staying in my room, but still... Father's been dreadfully busy, so he's never home. Which has been pretty nice, actually. I was returning home to Bridget. I finished my task, and now I have been returned here. Well enough. Now, as you know, the Empire will launch its attack on Garig Mach in the coming days. Emperor Edelgard will lead the invasion personally, and wishes for those present to form the backbone of her army. 
And as it has been some time since Adrestia had an army under the direct command of the Emperor, I fear we currently lack for officers. I trust each of you, and can think of no candidates better suited for the job. Will you do this for me? So you've got other plans for my father's army, I take it? Well then count me in. I'm ready to go whenever. I would have been happy with a life serving you here in the capital. But if war is coming, I want to see it through myself. I'll go wherever you go, Your Majesty! Are you sure you want me? I've kept up my training, but this is an important battle. We are not such fools as to squander a powerful asset such as yourself. I've high hopes for you, and trust you will prove the wisdom of my decision. Right. I'll do my best. Be certain to save some of your hopes for me, because I most assuredly have what it takes to succeed. And with that... New Empire Army, move out! Ferdinand, kindly leave the commanding and naming to me. <laughs> that reminds me. How tiresome. That is all. Ah. Mm.
Let's see. No way. Say. Oh, look who it is. Right. What do you think? You see? How'd it go? <laughs> Any results, a good result.
Time to work you into shape. Let's do it again. This will help me break new boundaries. I imagine this will serve me well. I need more strength than this. There must be more to this. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. some practice against someone taller than me oh have it your way but just for a little while well that was a chore who knew this power slept within oh this is good for something This is quite fascinating. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. done for the sake of power. <laughs> Giving less than one's all is unacceptable. Splendid. Yep, 
Feels like me. Guess I'll have to learn something new. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I ever asked your feelings about this war. On the surface, it must seem as though we took Fodlin's fragile piece in our hand and shattered it into a thousand pieces. What? Is it deep conversation time now? Where'd that come from? It's merely that we've never discussed the matter, and you are in a fairly unique position amidst this all. I thought you might be able to provide some perspective on how an outsider views the actions Adrestia has taken. I don't know. Don't think I really feel too strongly one way or the other. You have nothing to say. Nothing at all? That's how it goes when you're a merc. War, peace, doesn't matter. My job's the same either way. It's just money in, blade out. All there is to it. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. It's like you said, I'm in a unique position here. Meaning you would have answered differently were you not a mercenary. Uh, yeah. If I was a farmer, for example, I'd be hounding you day and night to end the war. Sure, you say you're gonna bring this bright and beautiful future, but am I really gonna suffer for years, maybe even decades, waiting for it? The stuff you're doing now, enlisting my farmhands, trampling my fields, destroying my crops, just doesn't make it worth the wait. But you know the toll it's taking on your people, yet you choose to press on with the war anyway. So you've gotta have a good reason, right? Yes, of course. You certainly don't mince words. Is it the years of mercenary work that made you this way, or have you always been like this? Pretty sure it's who I am. It was just me and my mom growing up, you see. We lived in a village, but for whatever reason, she liked to keep to herself. So, I guess it rubbed off on me. I learned pretty quick not to get attached. Is that so? I would be interested to hear more. Trust me, it's not as interesting as it sounds. Who says it has to be? Interesting or not, I'll have you tell me one of these days. If you say so, just promise not to freak out when you realize how boring I am, okay? Do I seem like the type of person to freak out about such a thing? <sighs> Perhaps don't answer that.
Not happening. Oh. That reminds me. What is it? Yes! Look who has arrived! As it happens... carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. succeed. battlefield are you headed to?
Let's earn our keep. Imperial forces, attack! I will do all that I can. You must be more careful. There's nothing we can do for you once you're dead. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly... Orders received. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over... How can I face my comrades after this? I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Now, where to next? Move out! But I could use a hand. Time to make a name for ourselves. We can overcome any hardship, including this one. The stronghold is under our control. I was lacking caution. We're done for. The rest is up to you. Let's fight as one. Still improving. That was brilliant fighting. I will not be outdone. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. All done. What is the next order? We're not yeah. losing to anyone! This place is becoming Watch ours. This. Take a breather. For the fate of Fodlan.
War feeds my body and mind. I won't let myself stop here. Hey, new power! All right! I'll surely put this to good use. A new power is now being mine. The Imperial Army has invaded Burgundy, and will reach Garrig Mach within the month. With no way to stop their advance, we must ready ourselves for a siege. We sent the bulk of the knights away last month, after the Western Church occupied one of our sacred sites. The forces that remain are thin at best. How are we to hold the monastery with such short-handed numbers? It is possible the Empire orchestrated that entire incident to bleed off our strength. Look at how thoroughly information about it was buried, and how quickly the Empire invaded after declaring war. It all feels carefully calculated. I would not put it past them. If they bring war to our doorstep, they will want us on the worst footing possible. If the tides turn against us, we may have to abandon Garrick Mach. Never! Edelgard is already using the Southern Church to erode our legitimacy. And now she has the gall to try and remove us by force? There can be no mercy for tyrants. So help me, I would like to put her entire army to the sword myself. Is it truly too late to prevent bloodshed, Lady Rhea? Edelgard must have her reasons for doing this. If so, they elude me. The woman seems to consider our church's very existence an abomination. Yet she has gone to the trouble of reviving the Southern Church, which implies she does not mean to destroy the faith outright. Perhaps Garrig Mach is the true prize she seeks. Or worse, this entire invasion could merely be a precursor to conquering all of Fodler. Hmm. Her purpose matters not. Our charge is to defend the monastery at all costs. I took an oath. I swore I would never again suffer the boots of thieves to sully this land. Rhea. It is a low form of comedy we find ourselves engaged in this day. To think the descendants of their empire will be the first to invade Garrick Mach. All the more reason to prevent it. I care not if we shared blood countless generations ago. I will not permit anyone to defile Mother's resting place.
Do you have a moment? Would you do something for me? Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. There's something to be said for working here with everyone else. Don't you think, Hubert? Quite so. I will not refuse any situation I can twist to my advantage. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. This is my favorite. Oh, thank you. I'm going to enjoy every bite. Impressive. Mm. 
By the way... Hmm... this. I appreciate this. Results a good result. Time to work you into shape. in many forms. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I don't care much for battle. Why can't you just let me stay inside? The fight starts now. You must really be down, huh? Well, I promise to save you. You would fight even though we're at a disadvantage? Oh, fine. Your assistance at once. Yeah. Yeah. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! You need some backup? Oh, if I must. Give my assist... Take this! No! 
this to me. Not a problem. I'm here to help. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. my comrades after this. Take a breather. Me? I can't just sleep. For you, it's no use. So we can't gain any ground. I won't lose. Watch this. My turn. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. That was for two weeks. Not a moment too soon. I can't afford such setbacks. Battle does have its benefits. future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Might I borrow you? Well, well. Don't let
let me down. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. To go. Any results a good result. Greetings. Hmm. Right on. yourself useful counting on you both and you need me for this are you sure? I'll do the best I can. We all must do our fair share. Time to work you into shape. some work to do. What a fascinating power. A new power is now being mine. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. that will be overcome. Can't wait to see how you do. Uh-huh. Yes.
This war is ours to be won. Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom. The fight starts now. One must be hungry to survive in battle. Do you not agree? Yeah, we can win this. Yeah. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Here I go. They must learn who they're up with. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. This place won't be a problem anymore. Not a problem. I've got... How does that please you? We won't let this opportunity go to waste. Looks like that's it for us. Face my comrades after this. We did it. Here goes. Unfurl the flag. Approach this methodically. Watch this. We shall Take provide support. No need to fret. I 
could never live down being bested by a child like you. Is that all we've got? Did you all see how marvelous I was? You're done! I am your man! So this is defeat. I'm sorry. That's my... I'm so sorry. Now what do we do? I am still improving. Is that all? I can't take my eyes off you when you change I am your man. Clearly, we need to stay vigilant. I got this. Take a breather. Watch this. I defy you. Probably best not to overdo it. I will end you. Make good use of this. Do not interfere. <laughs> Luck was on our side today. For the fate of Fodlan. I will take all the strength I can get. Cheers means so much more when I'm on stage. I'm getting better, but at what cost? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Care to make yourself useful? on you both you have not to worry about with me on the job 
I will see it done speedily. We all must do our fair share. Feels like an eternity since I've seen the walls of Garrig Mach. Who knew we'd leave as students and return at the head of the Imperial Army? Lady Rhea must be so angry at us! Oh, why did I agree to come along? We'll be lucky if angry is as far as her feelings go on the subject. I imagine she's apoplectic. I don't know that word, but it has way too many syllables not to be scary! The Knights of Saros will likely fight tooth and nail to stop us. Well, we've got teeth and we've got nails, so I don't care who we're facing. I'll brush them all aside. Worry not. While they may have a monastery to hole up in, we possess the superior numbers. Garagmach is well fortified, but not impregnable. We can't assume victory based on numbers alone. Anything could happen. So, let's just be careful. Good. And remember, our goal is to seize the monastery, not raise it to the ground. The soldiers are ready, Your Majesty. We can begin the attack at once. The scouting is also finished. We know with certainty where the enemy will be taking its positioning. We are owing this to Monica and her perfect memory. She has incredible knowledge of this place. As usual, Monica, your talents are invaluable. I really didn't do much, Your Majesty. That is, um... It was truly an honor to assist you. Not to say I've finished helping you, of course. In fact, I am always at the ready. Don't ever change, Monica. And finally, who do we have here? This is my little sister, Flesh. I was given approval to make her my attendant. Flesh von Burgley's at your service, Your Majesty. My brother and I are, um, in your hands. Ah, so you're Kaspar's famous aunt, who's actually younger than he is. Yes, Your Majesty. The very same. Flesh is too green for battle, but she'll be providing support from behind the front lines. You can rely on me. I realize saying this might make the situation worse, but there's no need to be so nervous. If you act to the best of your abilities, all will be well. Now then, everyone. The time has come. The time to take Garrig Mach and reclaim Fodlan! Jumping straight into the maw of our enemies, eh? Ooh, how exciting! Is this where I should talk about my heart racing? Huh? Since when do we talk about your feelings? That's new.
So be it. Put me in there and watch our enemies fly. Do not throw away your lives, friends. Be not reckless as you attend to our defense. A defensive Die. position within the monastery walls. This is merely a stolen tactic. We must dispatch them at once. Then the brute force approach it is. Garrick Mock must fall. We'll start on the lower level and work our way up. Taking control of the walls. Split into groups and take those strongholds. The enemy is desperate, and will most likely dispatch troops to recapture any strongholds he sees. Be on your guards for this tactic. There is not a question of can. Let us face our foes as one. Starting the mission. Right then, let us go to work. Shall we join hands in battle? So, what should I do? begin? Our teamwork is becoming excellent. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they fall in. To think I would be serving the church and fighting my own homeland? Is this the goddess testing me? Why are you of all people cooperating with the church? All I can say is I was unlucky enough to be nearby when the church had need of fighters. I beg your forgiveness, your majesty. and meaningless existence. Is this what you want? To die here in shame? This doesn't have to be your end, Constance. Join us. Fight with the Empire. As you wish, Your Majesty. I do not... Why'd they drag me into this? Not fair. Reserved to throw my feeble existence away in such a manner. Take a breather. If you don't want to fight, then surrender. I swear no harm will come to you. That's very nice of you, but they gave me a home here. So I should probably put up at least some kind of fight. And help us best them. I know which them you're talking about. Well, it's not like I want revenge or anything, but sure. Sign me up. Our flank has broken the enemy line. Out of the way! 
The left is through as well, your majesty. Excellent job, both of you. But there is still much work to be done. powerful magic we can't hold out for long the enemy is after the strongholds we captured they'll be retaken if we don't defend them quickly some parts of the monastery walls appear weak an armored unit could likely smash through and provide another way in here I go no mistakes they must learn who they're up against so, what should I be doing again? Sure. About time. Thanks. Take a breather. Begin. I am advancing. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Not a problem. I've got this. Uh, bear with me. I'll take over. Time to show how strong you've become. Attack. Follow me. There, we've created a new path. Now we can reach the strongholds with greater ease. We've broken through the walls? No! Send reinforcements at once! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So... Sure, let's try it. Here I go. No mistake. They must... My turn? Bringing it down. 
Fresh soldiers incoming. Don't worry, we'll handle them. Ambush from above. They are having the advantage, but we can turn it around. For the Empire! You're finished! All who oppose us will fall! Get out of my way! I think we've handled the situation. Hey, I actually held my own! I'm so good! Retreat while you still can, Flame! I beg you! Very well. Stay safe, my brother. Phew! I thought that scary magic would never let up. I have to defend the monastery, whatever it takes. shows no sign of stopping and if we don't keep an eye on our strongholds we'll be sure to lose them keep going we're making progress Thanks for the rescue. We owe you. It is not a problem. Bear witness. We have prepared for Take these a things. About time. It is time. We'll soon control the walls. We are losing ground. Dig in, all of you. We must hold out, no matter what. Behold. surrounded. Now we just need to fight our way up to the monastery proper. We can retreat no further. You Empire soldiers will rue the day you took up arms against Garrick Mark.
I will not ask you your reasons. Not anymore. But I will see your evil punished! I'll take you on! Forgive me, Ray. I can fight no longer. The rest is up to you. Worry not, Seth. Nor you, Flame. You both did well to hold them back this long. Now come forth, all of you. Protect Garrig Mach from those despicable rebels. So Lady Rhea has decided to show herself at last. Stout hearts, everyone. Victory can only be ours if we strike her down. We'll do it together! I've got you now! I'll fight for Lady Rhea until the end! Ready the heavy weaponry. We can no longer afford the luxury of worrying about collateral damage to the town. We'll be in serious trouble if they target Her Majesty. We have to take control of those weapons right now. I have to protect her. Mistake. They must learn who they're up against. Starting the mission. Advancing. will not be in vain, Cyril. I will send these sinners to meet the goddess. Fire is... I've got it. Loaded and ready. 
It's time to attack the enemy where it is. Now, unleash the fire! Involving yourself in this. It's not a mystery. I'm a merc. She's got the coin to pay me. Explain yourself. Why do you betray the teachings of the goddess and seek to shatter Fodlin's fragile peace? Seeing as I have no idea what you speak of, this is going to be a short discussion. Now either stand aside or face me. I can't let you to desecrate Garrett Mock for one minute further. Monastery for now, Edelgard. But know this there will be no forgiveness for your blasphemous actions this day. No, I don't expect there will be. Take heart, everyone. Garrig Mach has fallen, and victory is ours. Are you hurt? Oh, Catherine. You came. Not soon enough. Garrig Mach is done for. It is all right. For now, we must retreat. This path is unknown to the Empire. It will take us out to Aelel, the Valley of Torment. From there, we make for Fargus to seek aid. The Empire attacked from the east which means at least some of the Alliance's lords must have aligned with them. But those of the Kingdom are devout. We can trust them. I have already sent a messenger ahead requesting reinforcements, and, should the need arise, asylum. In that case, I'll talk to my parents and ask for their assistance as well. Regardless, we should hurry. We can't let the Empire get ahead of us and send troops onto Kingdom soil. Now, follow me, if you would. Thank you, Catherine. Let Edelgard have Garrick Mock for now. Let her enjoy this fleeting moment of glee. Because when we return here, Edelgard von Hresvelg will suffer a death beyond her greatest imagining. Even death. Inconsequential. And I'll keep getting stronger, too. I will take all the strength I can get. My potential is so much greater. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. For Bridget, 
I find strength to carry on. I won't let myself stop here. I'm getting stronger! What a fascinating power. This is part of me now. Garrick Mach, you remain ever as resplendent as the day I left you. The place cannot be so dear to your heart that it requires inferior poetry for an introduction. Inferior? I will have you know that line comes from one of my favorite operas. However, I concede I may have gotten carried away, what with my head still swimming from battle. Hey, I know exactly what you mean. Something about Garrick Mach is just special. And our victory here is gonna have a huge impact on the war, right? Yes, this should be enough to lure some of the more indecisive nobles into our camp. I only wish I could vanquish the guilt I feel for turning on the church like this. Still, it was my decision to fight by 80's side, and I stand by it to the end. I see. In that case, proceed as planned. Deploy the pursuit units immediately. At once, your majesty. So, Rhea and the others escaped with the help of a great white beast, did they? Almost as if the Immaculate One that saved Saint Seros has returned from the mists of legend. Although, it's a bit unnerving the way it sprung out of nowhere. I knew we shouldn't have messed with Lady Rhea. She can be so scary. I'm just going to go back to my room and stay there until forever, okay? Okay. Do as you like, Bernadetta. But realize your father will be arriving in Garrick Mock soon. This is the seat of the Church of Saros, and as bishop, his place is here. Really? In that case, I think I'll just forget about the monastery and go with you! Good. Just be aware we may be marching for the kingdom next. The kingdom? Ugh, I possess no love for the cold, but I will try to grin as I am bearing it. Point at the path to your foes and I will be hunting them to their final breath. Don't get ahead of yourself, Petra. Whether we capture or kill will depend on the foe. Now then, enough wasting time. We need to find Rhea, and we need her alive. Two years ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. You say fighting, but I think you mean instigating. Let's be fully clear about our role in all of this. Still, this is a positive turn of events for you, yes? How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And those associates you happen to be working with should be tough enough to take on you-know-who. Gerald's mercenaries. Yeah, good point. 
And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. Relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined. Listen up, boy. You're not going to believe this. Judith, do you think you could ease up on the whole boy thing? I'm your fearless leader now, remember? But sure, tell me what happened. You might want to take a seat for this. <sighs> Garigmach Monastery has fallen. Not even the great knights of Saros could stop the invaders' overwhelming numbers. Wait, what? That's not possible. They should still be days away from the monastery. How did they manage to deliver an army of that size to the gates of Garrick Mock so quickly? Unless... This can't be happening. Did Count Gloucester turn? And Acheron too? I'm afraid both houses fly Imperial colors now. House Phlegathon yielded the north side of the Great Bridge of Murden and Gloucester waved them right on through. Those filthy liars! When I warned them the Empire was raising an army, they couldn't stop puffing their chests and crowing about how they'd hold the border. But it looks like the Empire had already gotten to them. This is all my fault for not keeping my ear to the ground. I'm afraid that wouldn't have helped, Fearless Leader. All the dirty dealings were handled via letter. But now I've lost the initiative, and against Edelgard, no less. She can come at the Alliance with gloves off now. This is a real problem. What is it? Sir, we have an unexpected guest. It's, uh, Lord Holst of House Goneril. Holst? What's the strongest man in Leicester doing at my door? Besides thinking about battering it down, I mean. You can ask him yourself, sir. He is present. Apologies for dropping by without warning, my lord. I just happened to be near Deirdre when word reached me about Garrick Mock. I didn't realize you were in our neck of the woods, Holst, but please, come make yourself at home. As fate would have it, I was just pulling my hair out over the exact same problem. Can you believe that Count Gloucester? He turned on us like it was nothing. If I don't handle this situation with the Empire delicately, it will fracture the Alliance. If you have any sage advice, now would be a great time for it. More muscle. I'll take muscle if that's what I can get. I came here to help however I can. We must work together to keep Lester safe, and more importantly, free. Garig Mach has fallen to the Empire, Your Majesty. I did not expect it would last long. Is Lady Rhea safe? Yes. She escaped, and is on her way here with a small force. I see. This won't be like granting asylum to your standard refugee. If we take the Archbishop in, it will be tantamount to declaring war on the very Empire. Is that a risk you're willing to accept, Your Majesty? It is. We have already thoroughly discussed the matter with the Kingdom's Lords. Even if I refrain from deciding publicly one way or the other, the Empire will still insist that we hand Lady Rhea over. The Kingdom's people and government are too frail to stand without the Holy Church's support. I agree with her ultimate goal. But such a situation calls for gradual reform over time. The Emperor's desire to tear it up rapidly will not do. Then it is a good thing we've prepared for such contingencies. I will start by sending a party to ALL to welcome our new guests. Thank you. I would go myself if I could. But I'm needed here to prepare for the war. For now, send messengers to Counts Galatea and Karen imploring them to muster troops for our defense. Oh, and send for House Fraldarius as well. Let's make sure our new duke earns his title. 
Grave news, your majesty. Hmm? What is it now? Count Roe has declared fealty to the Empire and is marshalling his troops as we speak. Also, one of his bannermen, Lord Lenato, is moving to hunt down and slay the Archbishop. We have long held our suspicions about House Roe, but I never expected their actions to plunge us into war. And after all the discussions we've had to prevent exactly this, you must believe his reason is just. Very well, then. Our plans have changed. I will go and meet with Lady Rhea personally, and House Fraudarius will serve as my guard. Inform Galatea and Karen. They are to gather their troops in Erebus and Geraint lands. Lord Lonato was once a faithful servant to the Crown. Will you now see him executed? I have no mercy for traitors, no matter their pasts. On the contrary, I have an obligation to protect the kingdom from his kind. We've struggled long to attain this peace. I will not permit the Empire to crush it beneath their foot now. Scarlet Blaze. Skirmish in the Fog. The Empire captures Garrig Mach, and when the Lords of Fargus and Leicester declare their allegiances to the Central Church, they incur Edelgard's ire. She sends one army to the Alliance under the command of her war minister, Count Burglies, and leads a second herself to the kingdom's castle Gaspar, the bastion of Northern Roe. Lady Edelgard, we have received an urgent message from Count Roe. Apparently, he has taken up arms against the kingdom. What is he thinking? He was supposed to join his troops with ours so we could use our combined strength to strong arm more of their neighbors into declaring fealty for us. What use is a plan if the man won't follow it? It also seems that Lord Lenato, one of Roe's castled bannermen, has gone so far as to mount a one man crusade against the Archbishop. He has long held deep enmity for Lady Rhea and likely leapt into action at news of Garrick Mach's fall. I should have suspected he would lack self-control when it came to his vengeance. Naturally, the kingdom mobilized troops in response, and now moved to strike Lenato down as we speak. So, where does this put us? Can we get reinforcements to him in time? You want to save the man, Your Majesty? If I may. We would march all that way for... what, exactly? Imagine the consequences of leaving him to die. We need our vassals to believe the Empire will always come to their aid. Always. Of course, Your Majesty. I will make the arrangements straight away. The region northeast of Castle Gaspar is shrouded in deep fog this time of year. That likely accounts for why they are currently only engaging in minor skirmishes. Which means we still have time to intervene. Good. Now make our plans known to the others. I'm counting on you, Hubert. At once, Your Majesty. All of this makes me even more concerned about the situation in Leicester. Nothing has impeded Minister Burgley's march east, has it? It has not. In fact, Count Gloucester has given him leave to garrison our troops there. I hear he has begun turning the screws on House Ordelia, and any other lords who have yet to make their allegiances clear. On the other hand, the Alliance's more powerful houses have united in their condemnation of Count Gloucester's actions. The Minister may soon face a battle with Houses Regan and Goneril, if not others. I can't picture a battle the Minister wouldn't win most handily. 
Still, the Alliance's new leader, Claude, is an unknown quantity. We can't risk underestimating his skill. Quite right. One can never be too cautious. Another man. Which battle do you wish to reflect on? I'll continue gathering records of your battles. Well, how'd it go? Any result's a good result. Petra, off the train? I'll join you. That would give me much joy. An opponent with toughness will keep me upon my toes. You mean me? Nah, you're way tougher than I am. Also, aren't you a queen now? I didn't realize Dawn to Dusk training was part of the Bridged Royal Regiment. I have not become queen yet. But there is an understanding that it will happen. And yes... In Bridget, royalty must have knowledge of fighting. I mean, we must know how to fight. To be leading our people, a ruler must have more strength than any other. They must be the hardest to kill. My people are expecting this of me. So, it's the toughest person calling the shots, huh? I love it. What could possibly go wrong? This is how it is meant to be working. But such things do not always go with smoothness. Mercenaries are always seeking strength too, correct? And that's true. A merc lives and dies by the sword. If you're not better than the next opponent you face, they'll be the last one you face. Yes, 
Dying is without productivity. But it gives me surprise that you do not avoid jobs of danger. A queen must be facing any wolf who comes to her door. But you can have pickiness when selecting fights. Depends on how much food you can put on the table that week. Most of us mercs barely scrape by hand to mouth. End of the day, it's just business. Some mercs will take the coin and blow town, and some employers are more than happy to hang us all out to dry. I guess you don't have a lot of sellswords in Bridget, huh? Correct. We do not require the selling of swords. In Bridget, everyone is a hunter. Everyone is a fisher. Everyone is a warrior. There is no need to be hiring, or to be hired. That sounds incredible. In a place like that, nobody'd have to risk their life just to get a bite to eat. Your words give me great happiness. I will always be full of pride for Bridget. something Is this it? Is this it? See you around. some truly capable people here. Come back soon, all right? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Thank you. 
everything has its use. Interesting. Yes, let us get these horses on the road. Then I am accompanying you. It is so wide and open here. We are not having grasslands like this in Bridget. I thought Fodlin's army would be highly disciplined, but instead, the rules are having... much flexibility. I am good with a sword and bow. I want to be better at the axe. If it can be soaring through the air, I will probably like it. Your hair changes color, just like one of the legends of Bridget. This is a thing of much strangeness. I must be telling you. This brought great enjoyment. We should do it again. Oh, hello. 
Well, hi. Hello there. Day to you. You sure? Listen up. What do you think? Hmm. How tiresome. Not good.
What do you think? Only you would ask the Emperor out on an excursion. What? Me? Very well. I rarely go riding, but find it to be quite liberating. The sun is so warm on my skin. I see why people pine for it so. Very well. I adore nature, which is precisely why I treasure days such as this. Do you ever wish you could be completely and utterly alone? It is a daily dream for me. I'm always pleased to see you. Back to work then. You and I both have a mountain of things to do after all. Another day, another stage to conquer. For the future that's yet to come. The fight starts now. The battle begins. I will do all that I can. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Leave this one to me. That's... Let us bring this stronghold down efficiently. You like it? You like it? I'm bringing it down. Take this! Don't mind if I do. Watch this! 
after this. <laughs> Capture the feisty ones. They're worth more alive. Let's seal the deal. Do it. Hope this gets people fired up. I'll take on anyone. I can do this. Apologies. I have this. Even the most beautiful rose has thorns. Have you realized that yet? You provide a shiny example for all. Looking good. Get your Out of Still improving. I can't take my eyes off you in this fight. All victories stem from love. Outwit even death. I won't let myself stop here. So, what did you want to talk about, Hubert? I thought we might discuss you, actually. You wish to know more about those eldritch powers of yours, yes? Ah, oh, right. Edelgard said I might have a chance to get to the bottom of that. Kinda figured she'd forgotten since it's been two years now. Pray accept my apology on her behalf. It has been more trying to find answers than we originally expected. With Lord Arundel lost to the winds, 
It has been a trial combing through what little evidence he left behind. And of course, we are undertaking all of this in the midst of painstaking preparations for war. Lord Arendelle is the guy who could shapeshift like Tomas, right? The one who escaped? Correct. However, we have recently learned that he goes by another name. Tullis. Did you figure out if my powers are the same as his? And what are my powers anyway? Not some kind of curse, I hope. A fine question. I think it is safe to assume that you possess some form of magic. However, it is not the same ilk as the white and black magic we are familiar with. Yours is, shall we say, dark magic. Heathen craft that is structured differently from conventional spells. Ah. You are familiar with those who slither in the dark, yes? People like Tomas, Kranya, and Tallis. We believe they possess the same power as you. That's tough to accept, but the similarities are too great for it to be anything else. Still, what you think does not matter in the end, because my mind is already made up. So what? Are you gonna banish me someplace far away because I'm too dangerous? It's fine if you do. I'm used to being cut loose. That's just how life as a sellsword goes. Do not be absurd. If we were done with you, we would kill you, not banish you. Fortunately, you are exceedingly talented, and Her Majesty trusts you implicitly. The way I see it, we stand to profit best by keeping you in our service. So you trust me too? Uh... Thanks, I guess. But now we have a more important question to answer. Namely, how you came by your powers. I thought I heard someone talking in here. We were just finishing up. Do you have business with our mercenary friend, Your Majesty? I do. And I suspect it's related to what you were just talking about. Then I will leave you to it. Pray, excuse me. <sighs> you should see the look on your face. Did Hubert threaten you? Don't let it get to you. Yes, he's quite good at that kind of thing, but it comes from a place of caution. I wish that was all that was bothering me. I want to transform the world into a place where no one has to feel trapped by where they came from. When I am done, it won't matter where you are born, whose blood you have, or what powers course through you. Everyone will be treated as equals. That's what we're fighting for, and that is what this war is going to achieve. So believe me when I say this, I don't care who you are. I only care about what you have done, and what you have yet to do. Well, thanks, Edelgard. I feel a little better now.
call me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape. Strive to improve. against someone taller than me oh have it your way but just for a little while Quite fascinating. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. I'll surely put this to good use. I work to grow. This power will serve me in the times to come. some work to do. I must make the most of this ability. Fascinating power. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. What do you think? Majesty. 
I'm going to doze off. I just know it. Let's earn our keep. We've got an ally to rescue, so stay on your toes. Though the wind blows ill, victory is never beyond our grasp. I'll protect We're you! We're in bad shape over here! how you make something yours. Right then, let us go to work. You appear to... This is a success. Watch this. <laughs> Taste more bitter than black as coffee. <laughs> this doesn't look good. <laughs> Much position secured. Take a breather. Here I go. Yeah, not. 
bring the others down. I may no longer be the shield of Fargus, but I will not hesitate to cut you down should you try to bring harm to the kingdom. I wield this blade in the name yeah, of my right. king, for Dimitri, and for Lambert. Objective fulfilled. Take a breather. Stand back. I'll take over. My turn. In final words. <laughs> The rescue is a success. The battle does have its benefits. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Oh! 
Let me think. Survive this. Onward. <laughs> okay, but I'm not doing any extra work. Mistakes. They must learn who. Just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. 
Here I go. No, they must... I'm bringing it down. Here I go! This will take but a moment with me here. Please let us take this place down. I need somewhere to hide. Are you prepared? Here goes. Let's fight. We're not losing to anyone. Uh, 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 I beg your assistance at once. Watch this. Upon my honor, I will strike you down here and now. Looks to be a rather troublesome love. <laughs> Tremble in fear before me. The success was to be expected. Yeah, right. Are you sure? Yeah, all right. All would be lost if I were to die here. You saw nothing. You hear me? Tell me somebody saw that! We'll make good use of this. to keep your expectations low. Wow, I did it! Not that there's any point in me getting stronger.
before Her Majesty. Understood. Come, the battle is at hand. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Okay, but I'm not doing any extra work. Starting the mission, is that an order? Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here I go. No mistakes. Okay. Starting the mission is what next? It's not over. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. We won't lose, no matter what. Victory awaits if we can claw our way back from this disadvantage. We can't gain any ground! That should suffice. Bear witness. Watch this! Sorry, but I gotta fall back. That should do it. Dragging the others down. They must lose that yet remain on <laughs>
this time. I still have a long way to go. For the fate of Fodlan. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I must make the most of this ability. What a fascinating power. This better not be one of those weird powers. Time to go to work. I am ready to be battling. There's no stopping me. Let's earn our keep. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Do you want me to lay an ambush? <laughs> Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit. If I do, what the? Out of the way! We're done Watch for. This. The rest is up to you. Is that all we've got? How does that please you? This stronghold will fall. Go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Can't fight Take like a this. breather. I'm bleeding all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long I can hold up. Help me, please.
begin. Not a problem. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Prepare to be amazed. Yeah, done. You know what they say about playing with fire. I have finished with great success. <laughs> so this is defeat. I'm sorry. We did it. You're done! The spotlight came swapping in! So this is defeat. I'm sorry. We're not losing to anyone! More bitter than blackest coffee. Success was to be expected. The lover. We're with you now! Not a problem. I've got this. Watch this! We'll make good use of this. For your protection, Flame Spirit. I must outwit even death. No matter what. I will not misplace my heart. I won't let myself stop here. I work to grow. Thank you. 
kneel before her majesty. The sun beats down on this unworthy soul. The fight starts now. Imperial forces, attack! Yeah, we can win this! Go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Pardon my ineptitude. I shall exert. is indeed a power that warrants caution. All is as the goddess wills it. That was a fluke. I won't let myself stop here. There's a face I'm not used to seeing on the training grounds. Something wrong, Hubert? I have merely come to examine the equipment. I hear whispers that it is in quite the state. Further, my being here should come as no surprise. Her Majesty and I train in these grounds often. I never would have guessed. Can't say I'm not jealous, though. Shall I put in a request with Her Majesty on your behalf? I'm quite certain she'd join you. Oh, that's not what I meant. She's actually the one I'm jealous of. I mean, I never get to train with you. Me? In any case, if you do desire a session with either myself or Her Majesty, you only need ask. A mercenary with no backing such as yourself has much to gain by earning Lady Edelgard's favor. Of course, 
we would not be without benefit. Your eyes and standing would paint an ideal picture for our people. How do you mean? Many commoners crave progress, a path upward in life, and your example would prove that path exists. The common folk would never expect to see their emperor train alongside someone of your dubious origins. At least not outside the pages of a fairy tale. Dubious origins? <laughs> oh, a little harsh, don't you think? Still, doesn't sound too bad if I can use that to help lift people up. On the other hand, your presence would also cause great turmoil amongst the elites of our society. They may even despise you. A symbol of the ungrateful commoner, granted privilege well beyond their station. <laughs> but, hey, Dorothea's a commoner too. Why don't they hate her? Dorothea is a famed former songstress, well esteemed in the upper echelons of society. Your situation is vastly different. Right. Well, no point worrying about it if it's gonna happen no matter what. Precisely. Things may yet change in the years ahead. But for now, all we can do is live with it. So, coddling the elites means the commoners end up oppressed, while hoisting commoners up only agitates the elites. Glad I'm not the one who has to rule the Empire. This whole thing sounds like a total mess. <laughs> a mess, indeed. a good result. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Care to make yourself useful? Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I'm glad I'm paired with you, Manuela. So glad that I'm even excited to be working. Yes, it reminds me of our days in the opera company. 
But this time, you finally get to see I can do more than just strut about the stage. Things are simple with the two of us on the job. A shame I didn't meet any heartthrobs while we were at it, though. Next time, Manuela. You're beautiful and charming, and that's a fact. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. You have not to worry about with me on the job. Oh yeah, we've got this! We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I can only hope to repay a fraction of the kindness you have shown me, both above and below ground, my dear happy. You've done plenty for me, Coco. So let's just take it one step at a time like always. There, done. Good thing nothing happened that would have made me sigh. I disagree. It would have been ideal for you to sigh in my direction. That I might have served as bait, and at least provided some modicum of use. We all must do our fair share. Time to work you into shape. You are so very easy to train with, Ferdinand. I needn't hold myself back to avoid killing you. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> um, Hubert? A middling performance, but acceptable. left on this rose this is quite fascinating can't let this power go unused one step at a time I imagine this will serve me well I need more strength than this of me now. Training can be the difference between victory... With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 
Hope to see you again soon. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. For me? Really? Well, that's very kind of you. Let's eat it together. Come back whenever you're hungry. Yeah, and watch your back out there, okay? Hey, you love clear, boss. <laughs> sure glad I got you in my corner. Now then, just gotta... Oh. What are you hiding back there for, Bernadetta? I, um... Who was that guy you were just talking to? Oh, who? That? Just a merc buddy of mine, asking if I had any jobs for him. Oh, he was a mercenary? But, but he looked like a bandit! Hey, come on now. You shouldn't assume the guy's a common criminal just because he looks rough around the edges. You'd sound like that, too, if you'd been a merc your whole life. Most of these guys didn't have a mom teaching them how to sound nice and proper like I did. Um, I see. I guess I don't really know you that well, but... Are all your friends like that? Is that too nosy? That's really nosy, huh? Well, I mean, not all of them. But, now that I think about it, it's kinda impossible to avoid in that line of work. Guess that means you won't be signing up for merc jobs anytime soon, huh? Obviously not! No, 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 no way, not happening! Even if I wasn't as shy as I am, I'd never be able to handle all those scary people at once! That sounds like your anxiety talking. You see there's nothing to be afraid of if you just gave them a fair shot. And, hey, isn't basing your opinion of strangers on their appearance just gonna make you feel worse? Uh, well, what else am I supposed to base my opinion on? Just spend some time with them. If you ask me, the best place to judge someone's character is either on the battlefield or over the dinner table. I already told you I can't! Not me! Nope! Please, I need you to understand! I get it, Bernadetta. I do. But let me ask you this. Is his appearance the only thing that's making you distrust him? There are plenty of guys out there who look just like that but have a heart of solid gold. Nicest folks you'll ever meet. By the same token, there are some real horrible people who cover it up with niceties and honeyed words. The kind of people who prey on others. My point is, judging a book by its cover will only get you in trouble. Trust me, you can't always tell who's good and who's bad from looks alone. Why are you trying to scare me? Nobody's tricking the iron heart of Bernie. Not today, not ever. Well, um, probably. Maybe. I'll be fine, I swear.
The fog is rather thicker than I imagined, Hubert. And if I'm not mistaken... Yes, I agree. Dark magic is assuredly the cause. We already know those who slither in the dark have had comings and goings at House Row. I doubt one of them is here, but there could be a mage present to receive their training. Then we had best leverage our own assets. Why is everyone whispering? Is the enemy aware of our coming? It's entirely possible, yes. They could be directly on top of us, and we would scarcely know it. So yes, let us all stay on our toes. Prudent of you to bring it up, Ferdinand. Ah, thank you. I, I mean, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, why so quiet, Caspar? Normally you'd be at the front of the line making all kinds of racket. What? You think I'm the kind of guy who'd get all scared and give our position away? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. You're unusually quiet, Petra. Did you not get enough sleep or something? I am listening to our surroundings. Nothing has more danger than fog. One incorrect step and you will be losing your life. <laughs> Can we all try to relax? I'm pretty sure we're alone out here, so let's just calm down before we wear ourselves out. Sometimes you all make me think we're still back at the Academy. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Well, great. I was hoping to finish this before reinforcements arrived, but so be it. I will prioritize locating Lord Lenato. Can I leave the Imperial troops to you? I know what to do, so let me do it already. Just mind this fog and make sure you don't attack the wrong side. That goes for you as well. Let us see if you can live up to your reputation. duty to fulfill. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. The closer we get, the denser the fog. I can barely make out my own feet. It will prove useful for Lord Donato. As he possesses low numbers, the man on top is taking any we need to find him before the kingdom does and take him into our protection. Lord Donato will surely be hiding in one of these strongholds awaiting rescue. The fog will provide cover, but not forever. We need to hurry. Here I go. No, everyone, to me! Advance! There's not a question of can. Only forward, march! So... what should I be doing again? This way? I'm on it! Oh, if I must. I suppose needs must. Just do as I planned! Now let us be off! It's Bernie's time to shine! Let's... We're not really going to stumble our way through this suit, are we? I thought we had some sort of solution. Hold strong, men! His lordship needs us! Lord Lonato's forces appear to be fighting a losing battle. We must help them if we can. Send whatever troops we can spare. Take 
Now we can see the enemy, but they can also be seeing us. Keep your wariness. The Imperial Army is here. Tell troops, ready yourself to intercept. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got this. They must learn who they're up against. Here I go. No. Thank you. Take a breather. Not a problem. I've got about time. My turn. All I wanted was to land one blow on that conniving archbishop. Watch this! My turn! This stronghold will fall! Out of the way! Not a problem. I've got this. About time! I am your man! I must hold strong for Lord Lenato! You will pay in blood for invading the lands of Fargus!
Gato is sheltering deep in the eastern wood. Please, hurry to him. Not a problem. Move out. We have our location. Let us not waste any time getting here. Thank you! Excellent! My All the citizens are safe. My thanks for the rescue. That's one task off the to-do list. Now we just have to deal with the king. My turn. I'll take over. Take a breather. Yeah. It seems my blade is too dull for the task. Take So I live to see another day, do I? I knew the gods wouldn't abandon us. I don't like how close we cut this, but I'm glad you're safe. Now we can focus on the rest of the fight. Now that Lord Lodato is rescued, we can finally dispense with the magic. Hey! The fog is gone! Now we don't have to keep running into things. How could you betray His Majesty Lodato? How could you do this to me? You came here for me. Ash is your adopted son, and family should not fight family. Let us persuade him to lay down his arms instead. Throwing your life away. Do you want Lord Lenato carrying that weight around for the rest of his life? Uh, no. You're right. I surrender. I beg you. I couldn't bear to lose another son. Our goal here is achieved. Now we hunt down any kingdom stragglers and what? Your fun ends here. Do not falter. An enemy detachment. Put them to rout and make sure to keep Lord Lonato safe. The mercenaries have cut off their retreat. Now's our chance to get Lonato. Defensive position! Not good. I must help Lord Lonato. Too easy. You demonstrate your strength anew. Ready yourself for death. Yeah. This is my safe space and they can't have it! A noble does not know the meaning of the word surrender. Go. No mistakes. Such monstrous strength. This place will never follow me around. I must secure a nice place to sleep. You're done! Yeah. 
Here I go. No mistakes. They must leave. Guess I better get in there instead of letting the kid do all the work. Count me in, Captain. I may be a new arrival, but no one can arrival my enthusiasm. Ignore the ash attack and target the enemy commander instead. Doing so will force them to retreat. None will pass on my watch. I know we were told not to engage, but isn't this a great opportunity to see how much you've grown? Is it? I see you fight for the Empire now. Just draw your weapon already. You and me have a score to settle. The Russian demon is no joke. If you don't feel like you can win, it's best to stay far away. I admit, you have a better handle on that strange power of yours. Well, couldn't hurt. That's enough. I did what I came to do. And let them slip away. Not a problem. I've got Courtney, nothing. watch this. My turn. I'll take over. Come then. Let us fight with honor. Wait, is that always? Since when did he quit the Knights of Seros? Time to face the Blade Breaker's wrath. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. Advance. Take a breather. <laughs> I won't be the one to drag my new comrades down. This 
fight has run its course. All of you, retreat! Well done. We have kept his lordship safe. This victory will greatly further our conquest. Well, we did it. Yet you're still the saddest looking fighter in camp. Why the long face? Because we only barely got the job done. Everything else was a miserable failure. Sure, we saved Lenato and put Gerald and his mercenaries to rout. But we let the Kingdom's troops get away in the process. And if that wasn't bad enough, I failed to beat the Ashen Demon. Basically, we lost in nearly every way you can lose. Wrong! You were hired to do a job, and you did it. And in the process, you've received a valuable reminder about the unique danger the Ashen Demon poses. You're right. I can't believe one fighter could turn the tide of an entire battle like that. Precisely. They're surely going to continue standing in our way, so do try to dig a little deeper the next time you square off. Then I guess my goal hasn't changed. Thanks for the encouragement. strength I can get. And I'll keep getting stronger too. To kill is to grow stronger. I think I'm improving. I won't let myself stop here. Can't let this power go unused. This is quite fascinating. Mastery is within my grasp. We must make haste. There's not a moment to lose. Understood. Randolph, take your troops to Orion Road and await further instruction from Hubert. Leave it to me, Your Majesty. Why is everyone so worked up? What happened? It seems the troops we stationed in the Alliance are in danger, and serious danger at that. Gloucester and the other lords betrayed them, and now they have been completely cut off. No. The word betrayal suggests they were on our side in the first place. But I think we can safely assume that was never their intent. This whole time they were simply waiting for us to move the rest of our army toward the kingdom. As soon as they saw an opportunity, they cut off routes to the Great Bridge of Murden and Garrick Mock. Now that our troops are trapped on Alliance lands, House Regan and House Gloucester have them surrounded on both sides. It's doubtless one of Claude's clever little stratagems, and it stings. I don't understand. Everyone is aware of the troubled history between Regan and Gloucester. Why would they decide to bury the hatchet now? Unless... This supposed feud is little more than a web Claude has spun for this exact moment. 
Perhaps it is, but perhaps not. For all we know, he wants us to overthink the situation and make a greater mistake. Better stay on our toes. This all fell together too perfectly to be some kind of unhappy accident. I suppose. All I know is that our reinforcements will never make it there in time. The direct route east risks running into both Kingdom and Alliance forces. But if we attempt to skirt around them, we will all be aged in gray before we ever reach Gloucester. Which means our only option is marching south. We'll regroup on this side of the Aramid River, retake the Great Bridge of Murden to cover our backs, and then cut through the enemy cordon. That doesn't sound a whole lot faster. Will our troops be able to hold out that long? I would say no, but these are no ordinary soldiers. They are commanded by our greatest warrior. Count Leopold von Berglitz, the Minister of Military Affairs, and a man who has never lost even one battle. If anyone can rally our troops and convince them to hold, it's him. What a brilliant trap. The Regan boy's even craftier than they say. I agree, sir. Even Count Gloucester's adept army seems to be acting with remarkable discipline. But will the reinforcements reach us in time? Hmm. The real question is, are they coming at all? Because if they're on the way, they'll make it in time. So long as I draw breath, they will make it. So count on them coming. Her Majesty would never abandon us. Yes, sir! Soldiers of the Empire! I know fear gnaws at your hearts, and that's nothing to be ashamed of. Don't run from this fear. Embrace it. Take measure of the enemy that surrounds us, and look them square in the face. Yes, we're outmaneuvered and face a vicious fight ahead. But pray to the goddess for protection, and her fire will fill your soul and temper your resolve. Our only duty here is to stay alive, be fearful of death, and let not a single soldier fall needlessly. Raise your voices with me now. Let me hear your courage. We will not lose. Wow, these guys aren't backing down. If anything, they actually seem more excited than before. How is that possible? They're completely surrounded. No one will ever reach them in time. Yes, but Count Burglis is their commander. And I'm guessing a lot of those troops are veterans of the Dagda and Bridget War. During that conflict, the Count's troops held off wave after wave of Dagda soldiers right to the very end. Our force must look tame in comparison. Okay, so what now? I wanted this to be clean, but we're looking at a complete bloodbath on both sides. What I want is the upper hand against the Empire, not these people's lives. And there's honor in that, but I don't think they're going to play along. They don't have to accept every part of it. I just thought they might be, you know, scared. Well, so be it. They may have boundless courage, but they don't have boundless food. If Count Burglis wants me to tighten the snare, that's exactly what I'll do. Scarlet Blaze. Bridge of Betrayal. The Empire achieves early success in the war thanks to House Gloucester, a noble alliance house whose vows of allegiance and safe passage were key to the quick capture of Garrig Mach. 
But Count Gloucester breaks his oath and turns on Burglies' troops, trapped in hostile territory with their supply routes severed. The Imperial Army's outlook appears bleak. I fear I may have miscalculated, my son. How can that be possible, Father? We have the enemy surrounded. Yes, and they have yet to give a damn. Time grows short, and soon Edelgard's reinforcements will descend upon the Alliance. Then we will hold them off at the Great Bridge. And they will find another way. If they manage to take even one of the Aramid River's crossings, they can break through our ranks. And while that may not spell immediate defeat, it will dash any hopes of Count Burglies' surrender. Eventually, Edelgard's army will wash over the land, and then, my son, we will be defeated. Speak plain, Father, I beg of you. What does this mean for House Gloucester? Do not fret, Lawrence. This was a leap of faith we had to take to better our territory's fortunes. When Claude came to me with this offer, I determined the reward to be worth the risk. If the gamut fails, so be it. All it means is that our house will have to swear allegiance to the Empire. Edelgard will never settle for such. She will demand... Oh, Father. No! I am proud of you, my son. You have grown into a man strong and wise enough to lead our house. Is there nothing that can be done? What of your dream to claim the Alliance leadership from House Regan? It is your house now. You determine our path. Besides, when the dust finally settles from this war, there may not be an Alliance to lead. So I am to submit to the Empire and carve out as big a place for our family as I can? Is that it? You would have me put an end to the Leicester Alliance? Perhaps my praise of your wisdom was ill-advised. You get ahead of yourself, Lawrence. We bend the knee only if we lose, not before. And as you said, we may yet be able to drive back the Emperor's reinforcements and win the day. Always think two steps ahead, my son. Be clever. Survive. That is the lesson I seek to impart. I had best go prepare for my final battle as Count Gloucester. However this plays out, look for a way for our house to prosper and seize it, Lawrence. Seize it! That is how Irvin Fritz Gloucester fights, and it is how you must fight as well. Well, we managed to slog our way to the encampment. Now we just have to finalize our plan. Why is it so important to hold part of the Aramid Riverbank again? I mean, wouldn't it make more sense to cross over into Alliance territory before it's too late? If we do, we risk the enemy cutting off our retreat. We are here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. If we don't conduct this rescue carefully, we'll be worse off than we started. We must be smart. And that means establishing at least one bridgehead in addition to the Great Bridge of Murden. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. The Minister is a general of much endurance. He will be holding out until we arrive. He is more than a warrior and a maker of strategies. It would lack wisdom to be making an enemy of him. Yep, that's my father. No one can beat him. I just hope I can be half the warrior he is one day. I think even one and a half Burgleses would be more than enough. Not that it's any of my business. So, what are we to do about House Gloucester? They have indicated a willingness to swear fealty, for whatever that pittance of a promise is worth. That leaves only Phlegathon and Ordelia. And I doubt very much that anyone would take us to task for dismantling them. 
The head of House Ordelia is one of the five great lords. Dismantling them, as you say, would hamper Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively in the future. Consider, for example, why we chose not to dismantle House Ire. Because I belong to House Ire, and you did not have to. Ah, of course. You are happy so long as they install successors who are willing to toe the line. That is the plan, yes. House Phlegathon, however, must be disposed of. Their lord, Acheron, has leveraged his control of the Great Bridge to do whatever he well pleases. I have a suspicion the Alliance desires him gone as badly as we do. Lawrence Gloucester and Lysithia von Ordelia were Her Majesty's schoolmates, yes? They may be more willing to listen to reason than the others. Sure, but Claude went to the Officer's Academy, too. And he's taken a firm stance against the Empire. Do you really think this can be handled via diplomacy? That will depend on precisely what their demands are. But first, we must retake the Great Bridge and extricate Count Burglies and his troops. Let us focus our energies on that for the time being. Agreed. And it would behoove us all not to overlook how devious Claude can be just because we went to the Academy together. If he's not willing to come to the table, I won't hesitate to meet him on the battlefield instead. I won't hold back either. Sometimes you have to kill old friends in this line of work. It's just how it is. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies.
Could you spare a moment? like I'm not the first one to show up. Hello there. No need to pay me any mind. I'll just be absorbed in my book here. I assume you've come to meet someone? As they've clearly not arrived yet, why don't you join me? Here. I, uh, thanks. Uh, hey, Linhart. You're into all that spooky magic stuff, right? Like sorcery and crests and whatnot? Yes. Why? Is there something you'd like to ask me? Oh, no. I, I was just thinking it's kind of weird that you've never really been interested in my power. Do you want me to be? Yeah, I mean, I don't even understand it myself. But with you helping me, I might actually learn something. That and Hubert scared me half to death talking about how you might experiment on me. And just so we're clear, I'm not into that. Uh-huh. Well, not everything piques my interest. Your circumstances simply do not. If you're not interested, then so be it. But is there any particular reason why? Hard to say. Perhaps because a sword is the only thing you're able to manifest? Strictly speaking, I suppose your power does raise some questions. But that sinister weapon of yours, it just doesn't leave me all that interested in learning more. Sinister, huh? That's one way to describe it. Tell me, have you ever beheld one of the hero's relics? They also possess the most peculiar aura. And yet, there's something almost divine about the terror they instill. But your sword? It's cold. Maybe even inhuman. In more complex terms, it's little more than an inorganic, dispassionate construct. Not a hint of the goddess's divine guidance in its design. It's not as if you were able to choose what you manifested, right? It just came to you. True, but what if I could turn it into something else and start manifesting different things? Would you be interested then? Is such a thing possible? I would like to see that for myself, I must admit. In fact, I'd be quite excited by that. What a fascinating topic to lay at my feet. Hold your horses there. I'm not really sure I've laid anything anywhere just yet. But aren't you the one who brought it up? Care to make yourself useful? on you both I'll do the best I can bear witness to my true power we all must do our fair share come here 
Listen up. Let's see. Thanks. Monica, why are you just standing there? I was waiting for you. You were speaking with Her Majesty, yes? Yep, just going over some strategy. Why, did you need me for something? No, not exactly. So, what did Her Majesty say? Well, she wanted to get my opinion on how best to utilize our mercenaries, since they all use different weapons. We're going to be fighting some upcoming battles on terrain that'll make it harder to use lances, so we were trying to figure out how to deal with that. And you didn't speak of anything else? Well, yeah, but it probably wouldn't interest you. Mercenary stuff, you know? That's not quite what I meant. There was cake for everyone, was there not? And I'm pretty certain there were fresh flowers throughout the room. Did you not see them? Oh, yeah, that cake was great. Did you want a piece? Flowers, though. Hmm. I think maybe there were some little white ones. Ugh, I have no interest in your opinion. I want to know what Her Majesty thought of them. Oh, I don't know. She probably said something nice, but I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, never mind. I suppose I will have to ask her myself. I just want to know what Her Majesty genuinely thought. You were summoned by Her Majesty and granted the honor of giving her counsel. Then, she graciously offered you cake. And you didn't even have the decency to watch her eat it? Honestly, what is wrong with you? Sorry if I let you down somehow. I don't think I really get what the big deal is, though. Want me to go ask her right now? No, please don't. If Her Majesty learns I was prying about such things... <clears throat> I do not want to bother her with these trivialities. Forget I said anything. I see what's going on here. The cake and flowers were your doing, weren't they? That's why you were asking me about how Edelgard reacted. Yes, okay? Just please, not another word of this. Alright, I get it. Well, not really, but... I beg you, forget this ever happened. The situation is far more complicated than you realize. Needless to say, that is the only logical course of action. Uh, excuse me, are you even listening? Uh, yeah, I totally am. You're gonna save this prince who's being held captive by some evil cult of sorcerers in order to... restore House Nouvelle? even remotely close to what I said. Where has your mind been this whole time? Creating new magic, charting unknown sorcery waters. Therein lies the means to make my dream a reality. To that end, I have decided that you will make a most fitting test subject for my research. <laughs> no thanks. What reason could you possibly have to refuse? 
Do you not want the honor of helping House Nouvelle regain its former glory? I don't mind lending a hand, but I'm not so keen on being a test subject. You don't even know what'll happen. Wouldn't it make sense to experiment on yourself first? Huh. A rather astute deduction for one such as yourself. However, there is one critical flaw in your reasoning. Were I to do as you propose, I would be unable to properly observe the results with my own eyes. <laughs> Well, then, you'll just have to be patient until someone volunteers. We'd have a big problem on our hands if something happened to me before the next battle, right? Actually, that probably goes for everyone. I suppose you are correct. But then, my research has reached an impasse! Hmm, I guess so. Okay, how about this? Since we're at war, why not try and distinguish yourself in battle? You could still conduct your research at the same time. Combat's more my wheelhouse anyway. In fact, we could even start right now with some training. What do you say? Uh, I respectfully decline. While I am not entirely opposed to the idea of military prestige, I am unable to accompany you at this time. Training at night will surely suffice. At night? But you won't have enough time if you don't train during the day. You're not planning on pulling all-nighters, are you? Oh, please! I am not that foolish! I simply do not wish to train at this very moment. Are you sure? I'm not trying to force you, but there's no time like the present. This is your dream we're talking about, after all. Are you just gonna give up on it? I appreciate the encouragement, but there are extenuating circumstances at play. Nevertheless, I shall succeed in all my endeavors, be they magical or military, and I shall do it all in my own way. <laughs> Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. Oh, this looks great. I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure. Oh, but this is just to die for. It's my favorite, really. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hey, Manuela? Huh. She must be out. <laughs> Did I hear something? Oh, wait. Is she sleeping in one of the patient beds? Oh, you. So silly. <laughs> she's smiling. I wonder what she's dreaming about. Wait, don't go. So you're just gonna leave? Uh-oh, now she's scowling. Looks like things are going downhill fast. 
Get back here. You'll regret this. You hear me? I'll never forget. <gasps> Morning, Manuela. Oh, my. I don't even remember falling asleep. I don't suppose I was talking in my sleep, was I? You said some stuff like, get back here, and you'll regret this. Uh, yes. You see, I was trying to stop my dream man from leaving. I had tears streaming down my face and everything. But he just left me there, alone. Just thinking about it makes me furious. How is it that even in my dreams I am hopelessly single? Oh, I, uh... I need a, a moment. Are you okay? I'm sorry, but uh, could I uh, trouble you for a glass of water? Phew, that is much better. Thank you. No problem. But, uh, it smells like you've been swimming in booze. Are you hungover? I might be. Is that a problem? Well, I don't think the infirmary is supposed to look like a bear charged through here. That seems like a problem to me. Back off, will you? You're the one who trounced in here unannounced and eavesdropped on my private, if humiliating, sleep talking. And now you're attacking me for a tiny hangover in a messy room? Who do you think you are? My husband? What? No, but as your friend and comrade, I can't not say anything. I know, you're right. I'm sorry. I tend to fly off the handle when I'm embarrassed. Hey, can I ask you for one teensy favor? You want me to pretend like none of this ever happened, right? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. You're a class act. Thank you. Well, I don't want everyone to think worse of me than they already do. I mean, honestly, where did it all go wrong? Did you know I was once a diva with a middle franc opera company? But now, apparently I'm just a shadow of my former self. Can you believe how rude that is? Why would you kick a girl when she's down? What? But... I didn't... How about this? In lieu of hush money for our little secret, perhaps I'll let you hear me sing next time. I'll show you that this diva's just as dazzling as ever. Now you have something to look forward to. Anyway, did you need something? Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm sure I had a reason to come in here, but now I don't have the slightest idea what. This is true.
sure? Let's do it. Amazing! No wonder Edelgard trusts you so much. Oh, hey, Caspar. You weren't so bad out there yourself. Not that I'm surprised. You must make House Burglies proud. Don't I wish. I'm still pretty steamed about how the last battle went. I can't even outshine you right now, let alone my father. Ugh, it really burns me up. You think? I don't know much about your dad, but I'd say you're on par with me, at least. Maybe even better. Sheesh! Sore winner much? Just you wait, though. I'm only getting started. Old Caspar here's gonna upstage you once and for all. And I'm gonna do it for me. Okay, but think about it. I'm a mercenary and you're a noble. I'll have way more chances than you to excel in battle. Which also means way more chances to die. Meanwhile, your dad's the Minister of Military Affairs. You falling in combat definitely wouldn't be a good look. You've got that all wrong. Since I'm his second son, I'm completely expendable as far as he's concerned. Ever since I was born, me and my brother were treated completely different. I don't have a shot at being the heir. Which means the only way I'm getting ahead in life is by proving myself in battle. I mean, I guess I could always go into politics or education or something. The point is, whatever I want to do, I've got to climb up from the bottom to do it. And the climb I picked means building a name for myself on the battlefield, no matter the risks. Huh, it's almost like you're a mercenary. I never thought a noble could have that kind of motivation. You're a lot more inspiring than you give yourself credit for, Caspar. <laughs> it's nothing. I mean, I've still got the Burbley's name to lean on and all, so I'm better off than just any old Merc. Right. I guess I'm starting to get why you're so competitive with me now. 
But you should know, I'm not the kind of guy to back down from a challenge. I've been honing my craft as a mercenary for as long as I can remember, even since I was a kid. So you can train till your muscles give out if you want. Some noble brat's not gonna beat me. Oh yeah? Fine. I know I'm not gonna catch up to you overnight. But it'll happen someday. Just you wait. something Is this it? Exactly what I hoped for. Ah, fiery as ever. What an inspiring sight. Oh, hey, Ferdinand. You think so? The way I see it, a mercenary who doesn't train every day probably won't stay a merc for long. Hmm. I cannot dispute your logic. Though, I must say, you never did strike me as a typical mercenary. And your upward trajectory has proven me right. To go from nothing to a commander rivaling even the finest of nobles as quickly as you have is... astounding. You are the most intriguing man. That's because I've made a habit of giving my all. I'm honestly just happy to have earned Edelgard's respect. You're all, you say? Something wrong? To the contrary! I find your attitude inspirational! We are birds of a feather, you and I. Every task I undertake must also be done to utmost perfection. Polishing my armor? It shall have a mirror sheen. Cooking a meal? Let not even a single ingredient go to waste. True nobility means surmounting any challenge before you with no less than every fiber of your being. Uh, that's taking it a little far, don't you think? Maybe you're not wasting food, but what about your time and energy? And I'm not any sort of noble, you know. I am aghast! Are you suggesting that devoting myself fully to every endeavor is wasteful? I mean, yeah. 
If you put your all into every little thing, you'll run out of stamina right when you need it most. You're like the knight in that proverb, the one who spends all day building a fence around his pegasus only for it to fly away. Valuable advice for a pegasus, perhaps, but I am no beast. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. I know that you're different, I do. But everyone needs to take it easy sometimes. If you always keep your bowstring taut, it's just gonna snap when you actually need to fire. I assure you, I am no bowstring either. But I take your point. However, there is no cause for concern. As I have told you on multiple occasions, I am Ferdinand von Eyre. Whether I am resting, enjoying leisurely pursuits, or simply in contemplation, I always apply all my energy to the task at hand. At work, or at rest, I will forever give it my all. <laughs> Seriously? What's full-on resting even look like? Now see here. What to do? Do you have a moment? So basically... Mm -hmm. That's not good. company smack dab in the middle of the imperial capital huh i can't even begin to imagine what that must be like i mean i've been all over the place for my mercenary work but it's mostly just been for small time rural lords and the like honestly i'd never even met anyone from the big cities like enbar or ferdiad before coming to garrick mach even after i ended up in the capital all the glitz and glamour made me feel almost like i was living someone else's life instead of my own Shows in the capital are about a thousand times flashier than the little town festival shows you might be used to. Every important moment of the drama is conveyed through elaborate song, and at the center of the musical ensemble stands its star, the diva. I think I get the idea. These divas sound pretty incredible. They probably get stage names and everything if they're that important, huh? Oh, but of course. I was known as the Mystical Songstress. Hey, that's pretty good. 
There always has been this kind of indescribable aura surrounding you. Thanks, but I have mixed feelings about the name myself. They called me that because of how suddenly a street orphan like me was discovered and debuted. Yeah, I see how there could be some complicated feelings wrapped up in that. But if you were able to rise from that to D.Va, you must have the chops to back it up. Not that I can even picture what that would sound like. But hey, do you think you could sing something for me? Uh, since you asked so nicely, but I'm only doing it this once, okay? How the crimson rain of pain it came, falling hard upon a land of flame. When the sacred blade it split the sky, until the heavens heard our cry. In the hour of vengeance, will you heed the call? On the red fields of revenge, will you help avenge? We must fight strong and stand tall. Well, what did you think? It was, uh, yeah. What, you didn't like it? Not quite the booming applause I'm used to. No, it was incredible, honest. I was just kinda at a loss for words for a second there. That was like nothing else I've ever heard before. Sorry I can't really give you much more than that. Oh, don't worry about it. This sort of thing happens more often than you think. Well, as long as you're not mad. If you don't mind though, maybe you could try again for me sometime? I'd really like to hear you sing some more. And hey, I might even get better at telling you what I thought. <laughs> sure. I suppose I can give you one more chance. I must be telling you. Basically... Yes. This is giving me great joy! If I may. Mm. Right. Studying my preferences. Clever. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Appreciate this.
Time to work you into shape. Great things await me. I think I'm improving. And I'll keep getting stronger too. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. Accept the gifts you're given. For Bridget, I find strength to carry on. Now I can be even more useful. Strength and beauty. What a pair. Death grows distant. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Fight for my land of home. For Lady Edelgard. Let's earn our keep. All troops, withdraw. We Ta must live to fight another day. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. I beg your assistance at once. <laughs> Here I 
go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. I will gladly handle this. I am here to aid you. This place won't be a problem anymore. Get your kindness. Out. 
We escaped only by the skin of our teeth. Now, we need to regroup. Getting stronger. For the fate of Fodlan. No matter what, I will not misplace my heart. I won't let myself stop here. Work to grow. What did your investigation uncover, Hubert? It appears those who slither in the dark had nothing to do with any of this. This plot was hatched by Houses Regan and Gloucester alone. In other words, we know exactly where the idea to encircle our troops came from. Claude Von Regan, leader of the Alliance. He is going to be a true thorn in our side now that he is in charge. Back when Duke Regan had no clear heir, the Lords were busy maneuvering to be next in line. Then Claude appeared in an instant and laid claim to the seat of power. We were hoping that would be enough to throw the Alliance into disarray, but he has done a remarkable job of seizing the reins. Feigning discord with Gloucester while they privately schemed together was an especially nice touch. Sadly, it seems we're facing a gifted tactician as well as a skilled leader. Yet for a tactician, he woefully underestimated Count Burglis. I say we finish his education. It is time Claude learns the gulf between his power and the Empire's cannot be bridged with a few clever tricks. Doze off. I just know it. Put me in there and watch our enemies fly. The fight starts now. You need not risk your life to protect us, position. There's never a disadvantage with me around. I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure. Yeah, 
to die here. We'll strike at their weakest point. They must that was for treaters. Self stop here. Yeah, not bad.
Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. from here. Oh, I get it. We're scanning the horizon for worthy adversaries. Wait, we're not? What? Then what's the point? I don't know a thing about the Church of Seros, but it's never really affected me all that much. Bye. 
But if you'd asked the old me, I would have given you some nonsense about how things had never been better. Thanks! I'm glad I don't have to take over from my father. Not sure if you've noticed this, but I'm not exactly what most people consider Lord material. a nice change of pace. Let me know if you're ever up for it again. To do my best. This war is ours to be won. Let's earn our keep. I must claim victory this day for our destiny and for the future of Adrestia. Yeah, we can win this. We must go glory! This could be a challenge. Turn with anticipation. I have you! We'll show them how determined we are. You may trust in me. I'll do my best. I'm a Watch this! This could be a challenge. Would you provide us with assistance? Take a breather. I do hope you'll make this fun. I do hope you'll make this fun for me. You're done! You shall pay for this. You hear? We're done for. The rest is up to you. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. You 
This is just the beginning. You're worth a thousand soldiers. History will remember this great battle, just as it will remember the Empire's final victory. I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, not bad. I need more strength than this. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. For the future that's yet to come. The fight starts now. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. I will ensure that what needs to be done yes. is done. They must learn who they- Right then. Let us- <laughs> I will see my duty done. I will gladly handle this. Order- <laughs> All would be lost if I were to die here. Strong enough. Orders have been carried out. Watch this. this. What comes next? We won't lose, no matter what. Take a breather. Still improving. Show me what you're capable of. Victory is ours! Well, would you look at that? I won't let myself stop here. I'll surely put this to good use. Ah. 
right. I don't care much for battle. Understood. starts now. We've got an ally to rescue, so stay on your toes. We would fight, even though we're at a disadvantage? Oh, fine. Now! Advance! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn... Oh, if I must. Leave this to... Starting the mission. Starting the mission. Is that an order? Starting the mission. Let us begin. <laughs> Guard this place with your lives. Let's call this a success. Middling results. Perhaps even adequate. Sorry, but I gotta fall back. Bear witness. Starting the mission. Advance. It's now You'll time. have to take things from here. Watch this! Take a breather. I'll give it an honest attempt. Not a problem. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. 
starting the mission. Taste of Blade Breaker style. I'll defeat every it's last time. one of you. I'll take over. Not a problem. I've got this. This is all my fault. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. Take a breather. You really want to see what happens when I take things seriously, don't you? Still improving. Playing with fire. It worked. In any event, the rescue is a success. Let myself stop here. your thoughts. Starts now. 
None will stand between us and the bright new future I envision. Do you want me to lay an ambush? It's Bernie's time to shine! Well, I'm gonna help, okay? Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches... <laughs> Others down. Here I go. No mistake. I'll provide some pr Take a breather. Is that all we've got? Let's do it! We'll do it together! your eyes on the hero of Daphno. By the name of House Daphno, I will not lose. They must look. This could be a challenge. I'm dragging the others down. Take a breather. Right on. Take this! Come on. 
I'll win the next one too, if I just stay focused. such setbacks. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. I won't let myself stop here. Me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. For you. Nothing but the best for you. Nothing but the best for you. Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Is that the one? Nothing but the best for you. Thanks a bunch.
I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Ferdinand, I hadn't realized you'd return to the palace. Yes, here I am. Not that I have official business like you. Then why come such a long way? Ah, I see. You're here to visit your father. I am ashamed to say this was my first time seeing him in his cell. My father insisted I stay away for my own safety. Though I must confess, the dungeon was not the horrid place I had imagined it to be. I was envisioning, you know, fiery hot pokers, spikes, that manner of thing. Oh. Then it may interest you to know that we do actually have such a dungeon. I've only seen it once myself. It's further down from where we're keeping the former duke. It's a dismal place. One where rats scurry to and fro. Rats? I do not imagine Father would cope well with that at all. While he did look haggard, it sounds as though his treatment could be far, far worse. We're doing our best to keep him in good health. The rest will depend on his frame of mind. Well, you will hear no complaints from me. I care only that he is kept alive and given a fair trial, and that his punishment fits the crime, of course. You'd better speed things along then, because Hubert is quickly losing patience. A fact of which I am very well aware. The problem is that I remain unable to connect my father to many of the acts he is accused of. Perhaps you're wasting your time. A noble as powerful as your father could easily have documents forged and witnesses bought off. Any records that remain will be considered far too dubious to prove guilt or innocence. Another fact I am very much aware of. In truth, I already found proof some time ago. Proof of his corruption, that is. I discovered it while looking through his tax records. When I realized what he had done, I was ready to serve him up to the authorities myself. Your own father? I'm surprised to hear you say that. I mean it. I thought I could carefully build a solid case against him while studying at the academy. However, you had him clapped in irons before I could have my case organized. <laughs> now there is a bit of comedy. I idolized my father ever since I was a child. Yet I had to push those feelings aside in order to muster the anger to punish him. Now I find myself trapped between both of those emotions with no resolution in sight. I see. And tell me, is that the end of your story? I thought you were going to become Prime Minister, keep me in line, surpass me even. 
Oh, uh, well, I did not mean... You can still share words with your father and see him punished for his crimes, you know. So, if you desire resolution, start resolving matters. It's never too late. Bernadetta, is that a letter from your mother? Huh? Oh, Lady Edelgard! Yes, she wrote me from the capital. Wait, how did you know that? Are you screening my mail? Spying on my correspondence? Bernadetta, is there anyone else who would write you? Of course there is! There's... um... that guy? Wait, I don't have any friends. I don't even have any family. I don't have anybody. Poor Bernie's all alone in this cold, cruel world. <laughs> Easy, Bernadetta. You have plenty of friends. They simply don't need to write to you because you're fighting in the same army. Well, that's a relief. Also, how can you claim to have no family when your mother writes you regularly? That's certainly more than I can say. Oh, right. I forgot about your, um, parent situation. Guess I shouldn't be complaining, huh? It's fine. Just be thankful that your mother is in good health. And make sure to write back so she doesn't worry. I always do! Pages and pages! That reminds me, have you heard from your father? I'm sure he had much adjusting to do after I installed him in Garrick Mock as the head of the Southern Church. Nothing from him, but my mother keeps me up to date in her letters. She has his attendance and her regular reports. The last update was something like, your father is so scared of the Central Church's assassins, he's locked himself away up in the third-story reception hall. They have to drag him out kicking and screaming whenever it's time to deal with clerical affairs. I'm certain I heard a similar tale when another noble first relocated to Garrick Mock. Really? Huh. Oh, but the locking himself in his room part sure sounds a lot like me, doesn't it? Yes, although you've come a long way from the reclusive, shy girl you used to be. Back at the Officer's Academy, you used to take your shunning of people to something of an extreme. Do you really think I'm that different now? It's hard for me to tell. Maybe knowing that my father has started hiding from the world helps, though. Now I don't have to stay inside to avoid seeing him, you know? One might say your curse has been lifted, just like mine. Wait, hang on. What's your curse? Nothing. Please ignore what I said. Oh, come on! You can't leave me in suspense like this! can be the difference between victory and defeat.
only got some work to do. This is part of me now. eventually reach its destination. This should come in handy. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Time to work you into shape. Hubert, give me your all. Of course, Your Majesty. Especially as you will likely tear me apart if I refuse. We must work together and improve. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Even a mule will eventually reach its destination. This better not be one of those weird powers. Everyone out. Where one struggles, two often prevail. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Training can be the difference between. F Can't wait to see how you do. you what are you doing uh, hey ash not much just perusing this tactics book have you read it before i sure have it was popular in leicester a few years back if i remember right i picked it up myself back at the monastery but it was so dense it took me ages to finish it's a pretty tough one i'll give you that but there's some great stuff in here, too, if you can get past the writing. Hold on. You were born in a remote mountain village in Ordelia territory, right? Uh, yeah. What's your point? I guess I'm just impressed you can handle such an obtuse book, given your upbringing. I mean, nobles and the children of rich families are taught to read by default, but most commoners never get the opportunity. Honestly, I've been wondering who taught you ever since our time at the Academy. I hope I didn't offend you. I'm just curious. Nah, it's fine. I learned from my mom. Adoptive mom, that is. 
Looking back on it now, it is kind of weird that someone as smart as her was off living in the middle of nowhere like that. Hmm. Well, I'm sure she must have had a reason for being there. Hard to say. She never liked talking about her past, so I don't know much beyond what I saw for myself. At the very least, it's obvious she was well-educated. That's clear just from looking at you. Not only can you read and write, but you know arithmetic and how to navigate with a map, too. In that sense, you're not so different from the average noble or knight raised in the lap of luxury. You really think? Yeesh, you're gonna make a guy blush. I only have my mom to thank for raising me so well, though. Yeah, she must have been an incredible woman. You know, I didn't know how to read myself until I met Lenato. Huh. And now that you mention it, I never really saw the other mercs in my company with a book in their hands. Except for the captain, of course. Makes me wonder where my mom learned all that. But it's not like I can ask her now. She's gone. Oh. And what of the Archbishop's movements? She has established herself in Camulus, a town south of Ferdiad, and shows no indication of leaving. The Knights of Saros occasionally go to the front, but the Archbishop appears content to remain behind. A shame, really. Well, we expected as much. It's unlikely that we'll have the opportunity to eliminate her without mounting a full-scale invasion of Blathed territory. We should have surrounded Garrick Mach and torn the place apart when we had the chance, no matter the cost to us. We may have squandered our greatest chance by not doing so. Hubert, that idea came from Lord Arundel. That is to say, Tallis. And it's an impractical idea, at that. One based on unreliable experimental assets that had never been tested in battle. Besides, after breaking ties with him and his allies, we lacked the military capability to carry out an operation on such a scale. True on both counts, Your Majesty. We took such bold steps to excise those who slither in the dark from the Empire, knowing full well the price we'd pay. Though it meant allowing the Archbishop to escape our grasp, I would venture to say that we ultimately came out in a better position because of it. Unquestionably so. I'm certain Talus and his ilk are dreaming up some villainy as we speak. But we're not beholden to them anymore. We are no longer complicit in their schemes. I could not care less what I am or am not complicit in, Lady Edelgard. But I agree, you must not be. For your own sake, and the sake of the Empire, it is vital that you remain unsullied and unencumbered. When I proposed such drastic changes to our plan two years ago, I did so against your best counsel. And yet you made it work every step of the way. None of us would be where we are today if not for you, Hubert. I cannot thank you enough. This is quite unlike you, Your Majesty. Are you feeling unwell? I assure you, I feel ever appreciated. There is no need for you to speak such words aloud. Or perhaps this is meant to soften the blow of yet another drastic change of course? Nothing like that, I assure you. I simply want you to know how much you are valued. This path I walk... I cannot walk it without you. I'm only able to press onward because I have you to open the way. There will always be a place for you by my side. Hmm. 
Are you certain there are no changes you wish to inform me of? I must insist that you hide nothing from me. What? B but I just said I'm not... <sighs> Hubert, are you truly so incapable of accepting a simple word of thanks? If it isn't Yuritsa, what are you doing out here all by your lonesome? Come to think of it, you were always at the training grounds when we were at the Officers' Academy, too. It was quiet there. You don't say. Personally, I prefer somewhere I can kick back with a nice drink. Speaking of which, we should get one together sometime. I'm sure Hanneman would spare a moment to join us. I don't drink. Too bad. I thought it would be a good chance for us to get to know each other. By the way, I've been wondering, why were you always hiding behind that mask? A waste of a perfectly handsome face, if you ask me. I like you much better this way. It's not worth discussion. Oh! From what I've heard, you're probably a good few years younger than me. Yet you're so mature. It's like you have this indescribable air of mystery. I bet there's some burning passion lurking beneath that icy exterior, longing for reprieve. I'm right, aren't I? It's in there somewhere, I just know it. Say, let's grab some drinks tonight and... do nothing with them, because you don't like to drink. I know. Why don't we go out dancing instead? <sighs> I could not reveal my face. And then, when the sun rises, we can... Oh, what was that about your face? Why you hide it? Why do you hide it? Some knew me to be a wanted criminal. I find that hard to believe. Like they say, there are two sides to every story, right? But what made you want to tell me? A moment ago, you blew me off with that broody, none-of-your-business routine. You would have kept talking if I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Did I say something strange? Sorry, I wasn't trying to tease. I just think you're cute when you're flustered. Uh, um. You've become quite the ladies' man. Just you wait. I don't give up that easily. Huh? Care to make yourself useful? on you both. I will finish it summarily. And you need me for this? Are you sure? We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful?
counting on you both. You have not to worry about with me on the job. Oh yeah, we've got this. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Leave it to me. Bear witness to my true power! We all must do our fair share. We'll reach the Great Bridge of Murden soon. Houses Phlegathon and Gloucester are defending it, just as we anticipated. But Ladislava has done her job and broken through the enemy line for us. I intend to claim a swift victory and return her to us whole. If possible, the members of House Gloucester are to be taken alive. As we discussed previously, killing them will jeopardize Her Majesty's ability to rule effectively. If any enemy commanders appear open to persuasion, try to convince them to surrender. Our goal here is not to utterly annihilate our foes. The fewer casualties, the better. That said, anyone who refuses to submit must be struck down without mercy. I know when to catch and when to kill. I am often being faced with such decisions on the hunt. You... you expect me to make that kind of decision in the heat of battle? You just do what you always do, Bernadetta. If it's alright with you, I'd prefer to focus on the diplomacy part. I'm not much for bloodshed. Then you may leave that part to me. I will happily deal with any soldiers you cannot. It should be a simple enough matter to determine which of our enemies wishes to live and which will choose the way of death. We'd better not misjudge anyone, or else our lives will be the ones in danger. Then we should fight first and ask questions later. When in doubt, take them out, am I right? We can sweat the small stuff when the battle's over. Until then, I'll do what I do best. I believe we should all do what we do best. If we do, I feel confident we will emerge on top when the dust settles. Victory is the most important thing, so leave the vanguard to me. Then, if everyone is prepared, let us show them the might of the Empire!
for the future that's yet to come. They certainly aren't fooling around with these defenses. Count Gloucester must be located on the far bank. Ladislava is holding the central checkpoint. We'll mount our attack from there. The checkpoint is our key to taking the Great Bridge. Without it, we have not even a slim hope of victory. Her Majesty is counting on me, and I will not let her down. They're surrounded. Time for a rest. If we rush in heedlessly, we'll be trapped along with. We must secure the route as we go. Never hurts to have a safe place to retreat to. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. I will gladly handle this. Or... The enemy stronghold will be ours. I'm bringing it down. I'm swapping in. I have this. Let us bring the stronghold down efficiently. It takes a trickster to recognize a trick, and the enemy is being suspiciously quiet in the West. The urgent effort is to retake the checkpoint. Begin. The West should be done with first. More of that, please. Look to the West. I am thinking there is something happening. We're almost to the checkpoint. Keep going. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I have this! Not so fast! If you want through, you've got to open those purses and pay the toll. I'll take over. Of all the irritating places to lay an ambush, this man is a mercenary. Perhaps offering a reward will allow us to avoid a fight. Fire! Rain arrows down on their central forces! Anything for Lady Edelgard. I expected such a trap. We should have sent soldiers west to deal with it. <laughs> Looks like you'll be my first real challenge in ages. Now let's dance! Still, that was a brilliant salvo. Our enemy clearly possesses a gifted officer. Thanks. Gifted? Wait, are you talking about me? Not over yet. Then just surrender. Besides, you're a clever man. You know the Empire won't let someone as strong as you rot himself. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Begin. I'm swapping in. <laughs> My
my thanks. Mind taking it from here? Arrows are raining down on Lattice Lava. We have to stop them at the source. Begin. The skies. I'm ready. Watch this. Rest, Ladislav. This is a great achievement. You honor me, Your Majesty. May victory be yours this day. Now we can fight on either footing. Is it my turn? I chose to be here. And I'm going to fight the Empire to the end. The enemy's stronghold will be ours. You are mine! If I stand down now, I'll never be able to face the others again. How do you know, unless you keep living? I mean, things like this tend to have a way of working themselves out, you know? I guess so, but... Alright, I surrender. Begin. So... What should I be doing again? Need a hand? Begin. I am advancing. I have this. The arrows have stopped. Let us proceed. Watch this. Any final word? Those are my lands at the other end of this bridge, and you lot are not welcome. I feel no mercy. There is a fool living by alliance standards. Let us do them a favor and introduce him to an early grave. Listen up, rogues. You will defend the supplies we stole from the Empire to the death. I can already smell the coin they'll fetch me. Supplies. I must smite them before they can make their escape. and didn't help me already. I should have switched sides, but I had the chance. Stealing is a thing of great evil. You will be returning what you took. Is it my turn? I'm ready. I will do Lord Acheron is done for. Grab the goods and head to the hills. I'm all right. Thieves got away! Thanks again. But alas, what is done is done. The Alliance's lands lie ahead, as well as Gloucester's army. So, they've taken the Great Bridge, have they? That makes us the Alliance's last defense. There must be a way to resolve this matter without further bloodshed, Father. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Orders? 
Our first priority I'll is to follow Captain Blaster. He was on our side once. He'll surrender. There is no telling where the enemy might be lurking. We have no choice but to seize control of the entire bridge. If we had some sort of makeshift bridge, we could reach Count Gloucester without relying on our flying units. Those are Gloucester lands you see beyond me, and I will not suffer one heel of your boots to sully them. What about the supplies we recovered? We can use those to construct a bridge. I realize. My turn. Enough. Stand down. Count Gloucester will soon be in our custody. Further resistance can serve no purpose. So be it. I am no use to my people if I die here. Lawrence, no! You monsters, how dare you hurt my son! Our Gloucester will not concede so easily now that we have damaged his precious heir. Take this! I will not shame my people by surrendering to you without a fight. Gloucester bows to your will. Victory is ours, but this is merely the first step of our rescue. Right you are. We need to relieve our allies who are embattled on Alliance lands.
We won, but this is no time to rest easy. There's a lot more work still to be done. Agreed. We will leave some troops here with the wounded to hold our position. Then take the reconsolidated force north without delay. Sadly, there can be no victory celebration until we have extricated Count Burgleys and the others. Based on our projections, they will run out of provisions at any moment. We can also assume they know we have made it to Gloucester, meaning they will be waiting for us. But each hour they wait is another hour their stomachs remain empty. If we peel away House Gloucester's troops, we can create an opening in the enemy ranks. Once that's done, we'll bring an end to Claude's shady scheme. I must outwit even death. Now I can be even more useful! I'm getting better, but at what cost? I'll use this strength to perform mighty deeds! I won't let myself stop here. Interesting. It seems the Empire may not want our heads on pikes after all. That is good news. I was concerned they might be so upset as to seek your execution. But based on their posturing, it seems those fears were groundless. Well, I am an effective lord, if I do say so myself. They must realize taking my life would make it difficult to keep order on my lands. Few lords anywhere in Fodlan are as loved and respected by their people as you, father. Perhaps. But if so, that only makes my misjudgment all the more grave. I never should have let that man cajole me into starting such a needless fight. You say that now because we lost. But would your appraisal not be different in the face of victory? The people would have idolized you for ushering House Gloucester toward even greater prosperity. Questions of what if matter little after you lose a battle, and even less after you have misled your people. The time to judge the right and wrong of things is before, not after. It is for this reason that I have decided to yield command of our house to you. I only pray you might walk us back from the terrible misstep I have made. Besides which, the Empire still views me as a traitor. If I fail to step down now, I will spend the rest of my days wondering when the axe might fall. I... I understand, Father. With all that has happened, it is hard not to see the wisdom in your decision. I will find a way to build a newer, stronger House Gloucester alongside the Empire. And just as it did before, our house will shine brighter than any in Leicester. Your Majesty, Gloucester has yielded his lands and titles to his firstborn son, Lawrence. This new Count Gloucester has expressed a desire to join the Empire. No doubt, he wishes to make his loyalty plain by taking a clear stand against House Regan. Well, I see no reason to reject his offer. See that his soldiers are properly integrated. As you wish, Your Majesty. 
Sometimes I have no idea what goes through your noble heads. How can you possibly trust a house that just plunged a knife into your back? If a merc pulled a stunt like that, they'd either be cast aside or cut down where they stood. I believe it, and I'd like to do the same. But not just anyone can hold Gloucester territory together, and I have no one else to take Lawrence's place. I suppose no one would put up with the aristocracy if it didn't afford some sort of stability. Yes, that is simply the way of things in Fodlan now. But as I've told you, I intend to change this. The age of deciding our rulers by blood must end. A day will come when anyone can vie for the right to rule, and then we will be free of this wretched system. So stand with me. Help me make it so. Scarlet Blaze. The Triumph of Valor. To rescue Count Burglies, Edelgard seizes the Great Bridge of Murden, forcing Count Gloucester's surrender. With no time to lose, she then presses on, unbowed. But Claude is not one to be caught off guard. He rallies every resource at his disposal, determined to tighten the noose around Burglies' forces and prevent any rescue. So we've lost Gloucester. Unavoidable, perhaps, but it still stings all the same. Fortunately, I haven't been sitting on my hands this whole time. If we smash the Imperial reinforcements and stop them from breaking the siege, Count Burglies will have no choice but to give up. We're going to face that challenge, and we're going to face it with the Alliance's latest and greatest, which is why I've asked all of you here. Did you really just say latest and greatest with a straight face? Oh, he said it all right. And while I can't swear we'll have that, we do at least have numbers on our side. Yep, more than half of the old Golden Deer House is here. Some of us may not be quite as great as you say, but, well, you know best. I'm grateful to each of you for answering the call. It's more than I can say for some of our classmates. Yeah, Ignatz and Lawrence both sided with the enemy. No. About that, it pains me to say this, but how Cerdelia has made its allegiance to the Empire clear. It was against my parents' protest that I came here in the first place. If this battle doesn't unfold the way you're hoping, I may be forced to leave as quickly as I arrived. That's okay, Lysithia. You're not the only one who's here with strings attached. Yes. My adoptive father has also insisted I return home at once, should the tides turn against us. Sounds about right. Three cheers for that good old Alliance Solidarity. I'll fight with you to the end, Claude! Uh, unless it puts Maya in danger, then I'm out. Look, what matters is that you're all here, and that we settle this war with the next battle. Also, for full disclosure, I may have sort of brought along some extra professional muscle. Come on in! It's good to meet you. I'm the acting captain of Gerald's Mercenaries. Our guest here is fresh off another battle with the Empire on Kingdom soil. From what I gather, remaining in the Kingdom was no longer an option. And that's when our paths crossed here in Alliance territory. Oh, hello! I know reliable when I see it, and you are definitely that. I'll do whatever you ask as long as I'm getting paid. So long as we're allied, I won't fail you.
All right, let's begin our council. As you've no doubt heard from our scouts, the path from here to Deirdre will be fraught with difficulties. The Alliance has constructed fortalices and palisades, and laid other traps to slow our progress. In addition, they are plotting ambushes at key positions along the way. Needless to say, we will not be able to avail ourselves of the direct route. But if we try to dance around all their traps, we'll never make it in time. Yes, but this is Count Burgley's we're talking about. He could probably stretch his soldiers a few extra days through sheer force of will. I would normally write off such an idea as lunacy, but sadly, it will likely come to that. We have made attempts to smuggle provisions to Count Burgley's through holes in the enemy lines, but this has met with little success. They must be so hungry! I know just how that feels. The struggle to get food when all you want to do is hide under your covers. Hello, old friend. I mean, no offense, but if time is truly so short, why do we waste it dithering in council? We should embark on our rescue mission straight away! How did Hubert put it again? We're here to break their siege, not fall prey to one. I agree. A hunter must never be losing sight of their calmness. Well said. Let's not allow Claude to wind us up. So we must take the safe route, but do so as quickly as possible. A best of both worlds situation, I suppose. Understood. Good. With that decided, let's move on and discuss our preferred formation. is true. Absolutely. I wonder. topic. That reminds me. Very much. Hello there. You 
don't say. Excellent. Let's see. <sighs> My gratitude. Grateful. I guess. Construction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. Actually, Thank you so much! 
have my thanks. Excuse me. May I ask for your ear? Sure thing. What's on your mind? I have the desire to be learning more about mercenaries. It is a subject of much fascination to me. Uh, sure, I guess. But I think you've heard most of the exciting bits by now. Nonsense. Each word you speak is full of excitement. Please give me more illumination. For example, are you receiving payment for your work here? Sure, me and Edelgard have a contract. Lucrative one too, as these things go. Guess the boss thinks pretty highly of me. You said money was of importance for people who sell their swords. But what if an enemy offered a bigger payment? Would you be taking it? Are you kidding? I'd tell them to get lost before they could finish the offer. But there are plenty of mercs who wouldn't. Gold sings loudest, you know? Still, if an enemy can outbid your current employer, it means they've got a good shot at winning. And nobody who enjoys breathing wants to wind up on the losing side. So in Fodlin, one must try to be allies with the side that has more richness? See, that's the thing. Trust is its own currency, too. I mean, let's say someone shows up with a pile of gold and asks you to switch sides. Tempting, right? But you gotta be careful. You could take them up on their offer, only to learn that the money was just bait, and the guy actually wants you dead. And to make things worse, the honest employer you just stabbed in the back now knows you're as reliable as a three-legged horse. Point is, integrity means more to a mercenary than money. Probably should have led with that, actually. I have understanding. Trust is of importance to everyone, but that has even more truth for a seller of swords. You got it. Oh, and trust me, folks who hire for the best jobs make sure to know everything about you before extending the offer. But there's a flip side to that coin. If you're the type of employer who likes to leave mercs in the lurch, you better believe that word will get around. Hard enough to stay alive without that nonsense. That is a thing we all share in common. We wish to keep breathing, as you said. And what if I was offering a job? We are on the same side. Would that be betrayal? Bridget is a land of richness. We can offer much in exchange for the selling of your sword. Sounds tempting, but eh, I can't. I've got to see my current contract through first. Also, didn't we just get done discussing how terrible it is to abandon a job before it's done? <laughs> I knew you would be declining. You are the model of a mercenary. Listen up. Huh? Hmm. Come in handy. Oh, 
Thank you. I love it. Take it you want me to dispose of this? Let me think. As a matter of fact? is simply delightful. This is lovely. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. See you again soon. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? See you around.
Need something? a good result. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. to see how you do. Hey. I don't know. Hey, this is great. I bet anyone would love this stuff. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Hey, my favorite. You sure know how to brighten a guy's day. Come back whenever you're hungry. Days like today when there's hardly anyone around. Hello, Bernadetta. Do you have a minute? Ah, what? I wasn't doing anything, I swear! I'll take that as a yes. Listen, there's a small matter that needs a bit of handling, so I'm gathering up anyone who's available. Which, as of right now, is just the three of us. Okay, well... I'm not much good at dealing with things, and certainly not with, you know, matters. Yeah, we're going after bandits that are holed up in a cave, which means ranged combat will be useless. Bernadetta's just gonna slow us down. Bandits? Hey, and wait! I'm not going to slow anyone down! Don't be 
rude. I can fight when I want to, so maybe I want to today. Just trying to give you an out, but hey, if you want to come bandit caving with us, fine by me. Well, um, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should just sit this one out. Isn't there someone else you can ask? This is my day off. It's Bernie Day. Actually, nearly everyone else is off seeing to one task or another at the moment. Oh, I guess that's why it's so nice and quiet around here today. Enough! If we don't make haste, the enemy will realize we are coming and flee their location. <laughs> Who are you? That's Duke Garrett, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I assume this is your first time meeting. This may very well be, but I have quite often worked alongside your mother. Really? I guess I should be thanking you for keeping her safe, then. Ah, not so. In fact, it is very much I who am indebted to her and her considerable talents. All right, I think that's enough introductions for now. We need to get this show on the road, remember? Quite right. Bernadette, let me get you up to speed. Two years ago, I was attempting to recover the lost fetters of Dromi. But a suspicious personage, seemingly having learned of my efforts, managed to infiltrate my inner circle. They were likely working for Lord Arundel. In a related note, someone attached themselves to my father, Baron Ox, during the time I went missing. My investigation into that person led me to Duke Garrett's inner circle. Point B. These suspicious actors all appear to lead back to a single group. And those are the cave people? Indeed. After many fruitless attempts, we finally managed to track them down. We must strike before they have a chance to relocate. And Edelgard and Hubert and the rest of them really aren't around? It's just... me? Looks like Bernie Day will have to wait. Hey, you're not the only one who wants a day off. But come on, we're all helping out. Let's go. And remember, time is of the essence. We will strike a mighty blow against any who would threaten our empire and her majesty. And as I fear I'm not much of a fighter, I will be depending greatly on you all. Good luck. Is this truly the place? Because it looks for a world like the hideout of common bridge. I think that's the idea. So first, we'll need to eliminate the bandits on top. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure hope this go- I will gladly handle this. Orders come. Look at how scary they all are! Come now, Bernadetta. They're no match for you. You really think so? Well, in that case, I guess I can give it a shot. Bring the stronghold down. 
Under direct orders from Her Majesty. We needed the bargaining chip to ply the Archbishop when we negotiated the reformation of the Southern Church. Your punishment! Already? Go! Now! It's Bernie's time to shine! Take a breather. Tell me, how is Baron? Oh, the promotion. I've not seen him in some time. You're done! Doing well, thank you. He's slowly becoming more accustomed to his standing as Baron, despite never wanting it in the first place. Not a problem. Are you sure? Enter their base now. Into the caves, everyone. Turn. Here it comes! 
Somewhere to catch my mind. Huh? Yeah. And what about that cave over there? Looks like a nice little hideaway to me. You're down! Yeah? No, wait! Stop it. Still here. Might you be? You ruin everything. I'm going to make you pay with your life. That looks like head on with the wrong approach. Still here. Step. But no, I will not fall. 
not here! No, he escaped! Well, it's still a partial success, I suppose. He is certainly proving to be a troublesome foe. I will have to inform Her Majesty. Seems like fighting's... I won't let myself stop here. We should all feel good about getting through that last battle with our heads still on our shoulders. Thanks mostly to the two of you. Yes, you set my mind at ease regarding our future prospects. And I've come out of it with a fine story for Lady Varley. Oh, um, you did? Yes, she's been quite worried about you. But now I can tell her you're getting along wonderfully. Um... Thank you. And with that, I must take my leave. Of all the Imperial nobles I've met, that guy seems like one of the most decent and normal. But it all feels like an act somehow. If there's one thing I know about nobles, it's that they've always got other motives for the stuff they do. Actually, Duke Garrett is a fine man in every respect. There isn't a hint of artifice about him. He tries to keep himself safe and sound, of course, but that's no different than any other noble. He also seemed pretty worried about Bernadetta. So hey, are these caves great or what? All that cold, crisp air just settles right in here. It would be a great place to curl up and hide. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, you know, the mountain air, the clean type, it all settles down in the caves. I like that. Hey, whatever you say. Such caves are often layers for monsters as well. Oh, and bandits, obviously. When it comes to curling up, I think this would be more dangerous than cozy. actually a good point. It might be too dangerous to hang out here all alone. Plus, if heavy rains have been eroding the bedrock, a bad enough storm could collapse the entire system. All that to say, I think you're safer staying in a room with four man-made walls. Fine! I won't hide in caves anymore! Are you happy? Anymore? But you're always just locked up in your room. I'm not! We see each other all the time! Could a locked up person do that? Huh? Uh, I guess not. No. You guess? So mean! Sorry, that came out wrong. Apology accepted. But you better watch it. Well, I think we're done here. Let's head back. We love you, Manuela! Ah, did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Wow, that crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. 
Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly. And let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke mirrors and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Franc Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Hey, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So why me? If we brought along a bunch of starstruck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. The Opera Company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. But when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Sounds like we're up. Don't let them harm any members of the company. We must protect the Opera Company. Make this a performance to remember. We've got a friend in trouble. These kidnappers? Thieves? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll send them packing no matter who they are. Yeah! Take these guys out, quick! Come <laughs> on. 
with the Middle Franc Opera Company, yes? If so, might you be so good as to let us pass? Dorothea! Of course you can pass! I'd do anything for you! It seems your charms have turned even these hardened bandits to jelly. Here it comes! Out of the way! You're dead! Sorry, but 
But you ain't getting through here. Yeah. Here it comes. Say it. One Break more push, away. everyone! We must make it through! I owe you one. The spotlight is mine! Showtime, Dorothea! You know it, Manuela! Take a breather! <laughs> Somebody sock me, cause I gotta be dreaming! You're so beautiful, Dorothea. Lit up the proscenium. I was a huge fan when I used to live in the capital. 
Please, let me come with you. Others like you never learn of their talents and fall instead into the bandit life. Yes, I suppose it's lucky I turned out this way instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some dusty highway. Why? Fishing, but I still like what we caught. It's good to know the people still really love us. Especially bandits, apparently. Not quite sure how to feel about that. Getting better, but at what cost? I'm not at my best today. I won't let myself stop here. Everyone from the opera company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. We even managed to woo some of them to our side. I'm impressed. I could never do that. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? In a sense. Care to explain that? Of course. You see, towns within the Empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigand's life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be targeted, 
and so rush to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. Oh, don't be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave them to it. No, wait! I apologize. Just please don't leave me alone with this woman. I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. All right? Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Soldiers of the Empire. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Why can't you just let me stay inside? Let's earn our keep. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. I'll take the front. Are you sure? be a challenge. Wait, it's ours? I did it, everybody! Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who to... So... Well, sure, let's... <laughs> Is a fucking strategy. 
All would be lost if I were to die here. Success was to be expected. Our time has finally come. It's burning time to shine. Sure. About time. I can finally go home. I'll use this strength to perform mighty deeds. Wow, I did it. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. It's a dream. Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? Hmm. I'm sorry about that. Though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me, eating away at me actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. The Ashen Demon, right? This wouldn't be your first warning about that one. Hmm, that might be it. Perhaps the two of you will square off in battle soon. Good, because this time I'm gonna win. I have to. Fortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Your future isn't the only one at stake here. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. Since when have you been such a warrior? I've got this, trust me. I won't let anything happen. Not to Edelgard, or to the others. What do you mean? I'm always worried about you. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah. I'm your partner in destiny. <laughs> I finally got you to say it! <sighs> How wonderful! What say you? I 
am ready to be battling. Hey, why not? Let's earn our keep. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Okay. Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. I've got this. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. Begin. This but I'm not doing any extra work. This stronghold will fall! With great success. Yeah, I'll swapping in. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. Not for myself. For everyone. I gotta keep up with you. It worked! Can I go home now? Rigid pride.
it so. How about it? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape. Another tool in the belt. Strive to improve. One cannot achieve victory without challenge. Giving less than one's all is unacceptable. Well, don't I look splendid? Yep. 
feels like me. My potential is so much greater. Great things await me. And I'll keep getting stronger too. I think I'm improving. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I carry a little of everything here. Hope to see you again soon. You don't say. You'd like to go for a ride? Very well. It's always important to take a break every now and again. Of course, I have some time on my hands. Watch your footing and take care not to step on anything strange. If Her Majesty wills it, I want to annihilate every last one of those who slither in the dark. I hear that, yes. like to read books and perform research. Knowledge is a powerful weapon, you know. Leave it to me. I remember every single word you've said, even tracing back to when you first burst in to save me. Was time well spent. Let us do it again sometime. You wanted to talk, Monica? This is an interesting choice of location I hear you've been going above and beyond lately that you perform miracles each time you set foot on the battlefield why are you complimenting me all of a sudden I mean things have been going well but oh I assure you I have no ulterior motive you've helped me out a great deal too after all even her majesty praises your fine work she talks about you so much, in fact, I'm more than a little sick of hearing your name. Huh. 
She talks about me that much? Wait a sec. You aren't jealous, are you? Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Indeed, it wouldn't. Why in the world would I be jealous of you? After all, you are merely Her Majesty's subordinate. Your relationship will never transcend the bounds of master and servant. It will never reach the depths of meaning that Her Majesty and I share. So you are jealous. In what way? I am merely telling you the truth as I see it. It never even crossed my mind how irritatingly close you and Her Majesty are. Not once. Uh... Yeah, you basically just admitted it. I certainly did not. You did. You said you were jealous that Edelgard and I are so close. The word jealous never traversed my lips. You sure you're not, though? Perhaps... a little. That's what I thought. But so what if I am? I have always been Her Majesty's most devoted admirer. Hubert is one thing, but you... You're just a run-of-the-mill mercenary. To think Her Majesty has uttered your name more times than she has mine, it makes me want to scream my lungs out! You've been counting? Look, I probably come up a lot because we've been fighting together so much. Don't worry, Monica. Things will turn around once the war is over. Oh, being consoled by the winner only makes me feel even more like a loser. Oh, I can't believe it has come to this. I have no other choice but to ask for your help. Uh, what's come to what now? I will just have to show you. Come on, let's go. Before Her Majesty. This war is ours to be won. Let's earn our keep. They're not taking this from us. T together, we will turn this disadvantage back in our favor. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're... Right then. Let us go to what? <laughs> I will see my- There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this- Not a problem. I've got- I am your man. Don't mind if I do. I'm dragging the others down. Did you all see how marvelous I was? Boon for our future. 
Stand back. Is that all we've got? Going for it! Watch this! You know what they say about playing with fire. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our... Here I go. No mistakes. They Favor. Take a breather. I'm dragging the others down. What's next? We're done for. The rest is up to you. Success was to be expected. I am your man. All would be lost if I were to die here. Show them what we got. I'm all right. Is that all? Stand back. I'll take over. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Can't fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. Take a break. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. Leave this to me. Allow me. My turn. Looks like that's it for us. Stop until I achieve greatness. Great things await me. What say you? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there! Greetings! Well, hello there! Is that the one? Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Wanna go home? Well, this is a new look for me. way to get more power. Can't wait to see how you do. Stand ready. I'll do my best. Let's earn our keep. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. United, we are unbeatable! Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I think this will go well. I'm prepared. Keep your eyes up. None shall survive. Watch this. <laughs> This will go well. I'll provide. Now, let us bring it down. Hit them hard and fast. We must guard this position. Now it is my turn. There. 
Watch that this. was nothing for me. My turn. Keep your eyes on me. My turn at last. <laughs> Thank you. I'll repay you somehow. Allow me to fight alongside you. I won't ever forget your kindness. Take a break. I'm sorry, but we will be taking this land. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. Not a problem. I've got this. Keep your eyes on my turn at last. Watch this! Shall we begin our attack? <laughs> We managed to pull through. For the fate of Fodlet. I am still far from my best. I won't let myself stop here. I am capable of so much more. Thank you. 
I'm going to doze off. I just know it. I fight for my land of home. Let's earn our keep. Conduct a rescue quickly. We can ill afford any losses. Together, we can be turning the tides. You die! We're in bad shape over here! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got Assistance, please. Fine. Watch this. Let's call this a success. Take a breather. We weren't strong enough. Time to get going. Begin. This right on. Watch this. By the name of House Daphne, I will not lose. Not a problem. I've Take a breather. Is it my turn? What pain. The enemy's stronghold will be ours. My turn? I hope this location proves useful. I won't let myself stop here. This will help me break new boundaries. What a fascinating power.
for Lady Edelgard. Oh, yeah. Let's earn our keep. I, Monica von Ox, will pour my love for Lady Edelgard into this battle. No messing around if we want to win. I won't let myself stop here. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Well, how'd it go? Any result's a good result. Nuts, what you're eating? Wow. Yeah, he definitely didn't hear me. Hey, Ignatz! Ah, what? Oh, it's you. Can you please try to not sneak up on me like that? I'm sorry about that. I was trying to talk to you, but it didn't seem like anything was getting through. Looks like you're really into that book, or whatever it is. What's it about? It doesn't look like battle tactics at the very least. You're right. This is the Traveler's Journal. It chronicles places that lie beyond Fodland's borders. You've seriously been lugging books around with you? Though, I admit, that does sound like a good one. Yes, it's fascinating. The author's unknown, but whoever it was really traveled to all these places and documented everything. It's amazing how vastly things can differ depending on where you are, like the plants or the animals or even the ore in the ground. And of course, the way people live in those areas is so diverse too, like their food and their clothes. But what's most interesting to me is the architecture. Ruins in Fodlin contain ancient architectural styles that are, for some reason, also found on faraway islands. All right, all right, I get the picture. You talk like you've seen it all firsthand. <laughs> well, I really try to place myself in the author's shoes when I read. So I guess in a way, I have. I'd love to visit all those places myself, but that's easier said than done. Especially since I became a knight. The way you say that makes me think you never wanted to be a knight in the first place. Oh, no! No, no, of course I did. At any rate, both my father and my brother are pleased that it's official. Sounds to me like you became a knight for them. That's not it at all. I'm very happy with my decision, honest. Even though you can't go off traveling? Yeah, getting sent out to different locations for battle is kind of the same thing. Oh, but of course the mission always comes first. It's not like I go off wandering whenever I feel the urge. Uh-huh. But you would if you could, right? Why do you keep asking me about this? All these leading questions, they're... they're uncalled for. I might not be able to travel of my own volition, but I can read books and go wherever I want in my imagination. And that's good enough for me. something is this it is this it is this it See you around. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat.
My style may change, but my mission does not. I demand further strength. help me break new boundaries who knew this power slept within I need more strength than this so I'm facing you Linhart good I could use some practice against someone taller than me. Oh, have it your way. But just for a little while. I make more progress with you around. I imagine this will serve me well. There must be more to this. Oh, look at that. is good for something. A new power is now being mine. I didn't think I could get any stronger. A useful skill. I'll surely put this to good use. I grow weary of this. Time to work you into shape. Maybe this will help keep me on an even keel. Accept the gifts you're given. Bridget, I find strength to carry on. 
With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. So when it comes to precedent, that is the situation. Yes, I see. Burning the midnight oil, are we? Such zeal. Ah, Hubert. What are you doing here at this hour? Up to your usual intrigues behind Edelgard's back? I would thank you not to make such blind and rude assumptions when you lack any basis for them. Well... Uh, yes. I suppose I was making assumptions. You have my apologies. Not at all. I am, in truth, up to my usual intrigues. So your amends are quite unnecessary. Oh, all right then. Uh, hold a moment. You were? In any event, what are you reading with such vigorous intent? Listen to me, Hubert, I... A book of past judicial precedent, is it? Ah. And specifically concerning the prosecution of nobles. Yes. I have a mind to settle matters with my father. The letter of the law considers rebellion a capital crime. But practically speaking, that is not the case. Members of the nobility are especially likely to be granted clemency. And all the more so in recent years. Yes. They expiate their guilt by surrendering peerage, providing assets and information, and leaning on the strength of their past meritorious deeds. In short, the nobility make full use of every excuse available to hold tight to their miserable lives. One could pluck off their arms and legs and leave them to fester in the dankest of prisons and they would still come wriggling back to the surface. So long as they are permitted to live, that is. Like with the former Marquis Vestra? That one did not serve his emperor properly and acted in a manner easily construed as treasonous. This is incontrovertible fact. Go on. Sadly, he resisted arrest and lost his life in the unfortunate incident that ensued. His guilt, or innocence, on the matter of treason will remain forever shrouded in mystery. That sounds like a careful bit of sophistry to me. It appears to anyone with half a mind that you thought him guilty and had him executed. As a noble, he should have been judged in public, as is right and proper, no? So long as they are permitted to live, the noble creature struggles desperately to continue doing so. Such is ever their nature. Which is precisely why I am investigating precedent. In order to block any means by which my father could escape justice. I will not allow him to stage a comeback. I will see my father properly judged for his crimes. But could you, if matters came to that? I wonder. It is not a question of can or cannot. The man will be dealt with, and by my hand... I could never forgive myself otherwise. Not as the inheritor of the title of Duke Iyer, nor as the one to succeed him as Prime Minister. It is for Her Majesty to decide such things. However, if it proves to be in Her Majesty's interest, I suspect this resolve of yours will be most welcome. yourself useful
counting on you both. Bear witness to my true power. Sure, I'll help. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. And you need me for this? Are you sure? I'll do the best I can. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Leave it to me. I'll do what I can. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. So, Ferdinand, shall we finish this elegantly, like the nobles we are? Indeed, Lawrence. That is what people expect of us, after all. Spectacular work! As should be expected when the nobility of Adrestia and Lester act as one. There is nothing we cannot achieve. <laughs> we all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. I sure hope it's something I can actually do. We all must do our fair share. It's horrible! Bernadetta, what's wrong? Is there a rat in the base? Wait, a rat? Nobody told me about a rat! Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gonna nibble on all my snacks! Hey, calm down. I didn't mean a real rat. I, I was talking about an enemy spy or something. Oh, right. Anyway, it's something kind of like that, but different and still really, really bad. Kind of like a spy, but different? Slow down and tell me what you saw. Well, you see, there was this lady in the camp earlier who didn't look scary at all and even seemed kind of nice. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Shyness and fear of strangers got you down, huh? Let's see if I have something that can help. Thanks. Hmm, I think I've got just the herb. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins, but this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. And then... Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real under-the-table kind of stuff. It's a pot that makes people like you. I would probably recommend against it. But the thing's on sale if you really want it. Uh, you okay there? I just remembered something. Oh, how could you forget, Bernie? There are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you. And you must be one of them! 
Well, that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? And that's how it all happened. I would have been dragged up and murdered if it wasn't for you. But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. I mean, not all of it's the most reputable stuff, but I don't think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. This is all my fault. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not... evil? <laughs> not that I know of. Uh, I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. I don't know. I'm bad with faces. You're pretty judgmental, you know that? Huh? What do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside, though. If anyone's gonna help you overcome this, it's him. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. Are you finding your time in the Imperial Army? Pretty normal, I guess. It's nice to be around a lot of people I don't know. Excellent. For if you were dissatisfied, it could lead to an accident. And I would find that most vexing. Oh, I have my dissatisfactions. Like the way you're talking to me right now, for starters. But if I sighed over every little thing that bothered me, I'd be dead before I took another breath. Yes, quite true. By the by, have you considered my proposition? Though I am loath to discuss it, I am a firm believer in using every resource to its utmost. I don't know. It feels pretty unethical. Even if it is technically something we can do. And did you spare a single thought for how I might feel being used like that? I actually made the proposal based on my estimation of your feelings. I imagine you would enjoy sighing for a greater cause, seeing as you are never able to unleash them freely. And why exactly would I want to sigh, huh? As I am not you, I have no answer to that question. I simply thought it might be... unpleasant. Being the only one prohibited from performing an action others do as a matter of course, that is. Right. Well, no, it isn't. And if you're really approaching this thing without considering my feelings, you're so far off the mark I don't know what to tell you. My. I just thought the woman would enjoy breathing a literal sigh of relief. And to do so in a way where our forces make use of the monster she summons? Where is the harm? Alas, I suspect I am in for another mocking at the hands of Her Majesty for how often people mistake me for a heartless cad. The Bert? Again? Ugh. Happy. Now that you are calmer, I thought perhaps we might share some tea and treats. But, if you're not interested, I am content to deal with them myself. You really want me to buy into this plan of yours, huh? I told you, the answer's no. Now stay away from me. I assure you, I have no such ulterior motive here. Liar. Yes. Well, I can see any further conversation will be fruitless. In that case, I bid you good day. Had I known this would all be for me, I would have made coffee instead of tea. Huh? What's coffee? It does not concern you. Pray forgive my intrusion. Yeesh. 
Just being near that guy makes me want to sigh. I knew Count Burglis was formidable, but I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he would have fallen by now, and yet here we are. If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well-positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. If we rush in blindly and are driven back, it would likely break our allies' spirits for good. Not even Count Burglis would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. <sighs> Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today. We just have to break the siege. We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle. We just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Then it's decided. I look forward to your exploits on the battlefield. Today, we free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. Do my best. I'm ready to be battling. controls the stronghold in the center of the flame, but the enemy has been completely cut off from it. Our goal is to break the siege so he and his troops can evacuate safely. So much for securing a surrender before reinforcements arrive. Well, you all know what to do. Engage the enemy. I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now. Who wants to be first? I think this will go well. I'm prepared. There's no time for the delicate approach. Let's tear into him from all sides. Can you swap? Keep your eyes can on me. There can be no victory this day if we do not rescue both Burglies and his troops. Wait. 
That's Raphael. Don't kill him, please. Let me talk to him first. Charge and attack. Begin. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. I stand with my friends and will not permit you to pass. Are negotiations with Margrave at home still ongoing? Perhaps we can win Marianne over to our side. I'm bringing it down. This is rough. My body's crying out for it, Brave. Come on! What does it matter if I die? I'm not finished. You don't have to do this, Raphael. Think about Maya. She needs you, remember? Hey, no fair. But, uh, all right, nuts. I'm in, but only because it's you. Take a breath. Is it my turn? Keep your eyes on me. Talks with Margrave Edwin will go much better if you surrender here. Do you not consider it? You're right. My adoptive father would want me to lay down my arms. Not my life. We have broken through! Continue pushing! We must secure an exit for our allies. Taking down those... I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Strongholds will drive a wedge into their seat. Watch this! <laughs> Take a breather. Strong we must deploy our forces with cleverness to be taking both. <laughs> Line. So why don't you just leave and we'll call it a day? Now, charge and attack. Begin. The Sky Spirit. Here I go. They must look. I'll take your spot. I knew this was coming, but it still hurts to. Here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down. Fight my old friends. You served House Gloucester. What did you expect? This <laughs> Odelia has already offered us their allegiance. She has my sisters here of her own accord. I'm bringing it down. What do you think of this? I can't mess this up. Not when everyone's jumping on me. Get 
Get out of there, Hilda. We can't lose you. I'll take yeah. over. All right. Sorry. <laughs> about what was done to you, Lysa. And as one who understands that intimately, I ask you to join my cause. You too? Yes, all right. I'll hear you out. My turn? Our allies are nearly within reach. Clear out They're the enemy soldiers in, in those strongholds. Here I go. No mistakes. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. I think this will go well. <laughs> now, if they'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way... The siege is coming apart at the seams. Deploy the reinforcements. Fill those gaps. So near at hand. I will avenge you. All right, you asked for it. Begin. I am advancing. Target their strong. Keep your eyes on and me. crush their reinforcements. Watch this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. Take a breather. They've got catapults. Yeah. We have to stop them. The siege is broken, men. Your courage and perseverance have been rewarded. Not a problem. I've got this. The way is open. Move as my one turn. and defend the Count and his soldiers as we go. You think I'm just gonna let you slink out of here? Ah, I'm already two steps ahead. Looks like we're off. Begin. The sky. Keep your eyes on me. Let's do this. They cut off our escape. Oh no. Look who's with them. We won't put a dent in Gerald's company with the numbers he has. I vote we brush Claude's main position instead. We would indeed catch him by surprise. Do we flank from the left or right? Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. The Count's soldiers we saved could be of great use if we place them under his command. With this many troops, I can finally turn the tide. I can wipe the smug grin off that Alliance kid's face. So much for choosing which side to flank. It seems we must follow the Count's lead. What do you think of this? I'll take over. <laughs> Her Majesty has given us a chance to escape. Rush the enemy and smash the Alliance to splinters! I hope this count isn't doing my right feet, he's doing. Everyone, stay with me! Wait, what? I'm on it. No charge. I've got your back. Not a problem. I'm here to help. They're going the wrong way. It's my turn. I'm swapping in. Good. They're wide open. Push through. We must reach Count Turglis. Pay attention! 
This will not be much of a rescue if... Give the... None of the Count's troops are alive at the end of it! <sighs> well, that was a delight. Maybe we can stop and rest for a few here? No Berkeley's goes the long way round. We smash through and make our own path. Is he nuts? That's not even a proper path. Is he just coming straight for us? This strategy makes no sense at all. That's exactly why I think it may work. You came for me personally, Your Majesty. You can thank me once for clearance. Now ready your troops for retreat. Well met, my son. For the first time in my life, I thought my hand had come for me. Yeah, I've never seen you in such bad shape. Dead. We're nearly clear of the battlefield. Just one more push and. Oh, no! It won't do to have you slip our grasp now. Not a problem. I've... The Ashen Demon. A clever of Claw to keep this little surprise for the moment it would matter most. I'll handle the mercenary. The rest of you press on. Don't stop, no matter what! Take a breather. Yeah. Witness my true Take power. Yeah. You'll never get a better crack at the Alliance's leader. The battle's lost if they've made it this far. But maybe I can still take out an officer or two. The ship, your majesty. Hit them with all you have. Leave nothing on the battlefield. Got this. Not a problem. I've got. Count Fergus is keeping the Ash of Demon busy, which means now is our chance to strike at dawn. Yeah. In the main position, but that's not. I have to go help them. You're avoiding. Not a problem. I've got us uh, entirely attacking the main position instead. Looks like someone over there has half a brain after all. Take your spot. It surprises me to see you among the ranks of my rescuers. Do not be having the wrong idea. I am helping the Empire, not you. Law, can't you just play nice until I achieve what I set out to do? What do you think of this? Funny, I was gonna ask you that. But I'm guessing the answer's the same for both of us. I'm prepared to see this... Watch this! My turn. That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that gold. Enough! I'm falling back! You handle things over there. We'll hunt down the Imperials to escape. There are reinforcements watching the escape route. We'll hold Gerald's mercenaries up there. Which just leaves the action deal. We're close to the finish now. So let's take whatever time you need and do this right. They must learn. My turn. Take that class 
The Count Burglies has left the demon weary. This could be our best chance to crush that pet for good. This didn't go how I expected, but I can still do some damage. for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labored to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! <laughs> To win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! <sighs> you can run all you like. <gasps> Why do you fight me? <clears throat> Why so this? I'm sorry, Claude. They were too much for us. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully, it just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's roundtable is overdue for some big changes. Again, Your Majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Burglies. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone. So I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. 
I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. strength in adversity. I can excel when I need to. This will help me break new boundaries. What a fascinating power. I had this power within me all the while? Hey, anything that makes me stronger. I didn't think I could get any stronger. thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting side by side with the Ashen Demon. Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. A glove does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fodlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet, I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. 
But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! <sighs> What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around and get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. Hubert, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. As you know, our talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. But now we must deal with the Kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. However, Roe is seated at Aryan Road, the fortress city. A citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. Ah, Aryan Road. The Silver Maiden. Seems sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the Kingdom's army, they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But, given enough time, they will. Unless we send reinforcements. Therefore, we must direct our attention to the Kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the Kingdom and Alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Who said we were taking our entire force? We will depart for Garrig Mach with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrick summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the Kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? I would say it is the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. And the Alliance? They may attempt another one of their schemes while we're distracted. They will not. Her Majesty is taking a measured approach to resolving matters with Lester. Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him set up camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. To our advantage, 
Gloucester's new Count Lawrence has decided to join the Empire. Additionally, the daughters of Houses Ordelia and Edmund have been given leave to fight by our side. Besides, from what I hear, the Round Table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the Knights! I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. But that won't happen again. Scarlet Blaze, The Maiden's Peril. When he learns of the Empire's struggle, Dimitri decides the time is right to strike. He moves swiftly to drive the Empire out, toppling one unfaithful Western Lord after another. Finally, he descends on Aryan Road, seat of Count Roe, the first Lord to betray him. Thus does Edelgard's army begin another grueling march to rescue a different count. We've been here before. But we were in such a rush to rescue Lenato that we never got more than a glimpse of Aryan Road. Can't really appreciate the scale that quick. And now we're back to bail it out. If only Claude hadn't hatched his feudal scheme. We could have avoided all these needless battles and saved countless lives. Yet, in a more positive light, he handed us the perfect opportunity to show that not even the Alliance and Kingdom together can match the Empire's strength. Once we crush the army of Fargus, our superiority will be clear for all to see. And will that actually result in fewer casualties going forward? Because that is what would put Her Majesty's heart at ease. I will make no guarantees for matters beyond our control. So long as fanatics are willing to die for the Central Church, casualties are inevitable. Ah. Uh. We broke the Alliance's siege, and we can break the Kingdoms, too! We're lucky it's a stronghold like Aryan Road that's under siege. It shouldn't be half the nail-biter we had to deal with last time. Yes, but last time Count Burglies was in command. For all we know, Count Roe will break like a twig and surrender the moment he hears the first soldier crest the hill. As I see it, we have two options. We can take a direct path for Aryan Road, or we can wait until we scatter the Kingdom troops that are fanned out in the north. It is a most vexing decision. As a professional at staying holed up, I think we should secure the perimeter first and get rid of as much danger as we possibly can. Time is important. We should be striking fast and hard. War doesn't wait. We should free the city while we still have the chance. Let's keep both options open and see how the situation unfolds. General Randolph. Yes, Your Majesty. I commend you for holding Aryan Road with what few soldiers you had. Thank you, Your Majesty. But I am unworthy of such praise when I failed to prevent the siege. Coordination with Count Roe proved difficult. It was all I could do merely to keep the enemy in check. That alone is commendable. The more foolish man would have rushed to glory, then gotten himself and his underlings killed in the process. I have a key role for you in the coming rescue, General. I know you were up to the task. Of course, Your Majesty. My brother and I will give our all. Very good, but do not let your eagerness for victory come at the cost of lives. 
We have many more battles ahead and must conduct ourselves accordingly. Hey there, Edelgard. Leafing through documents, are we? This is new. Yeah, completely out of character, I know. But one of these reports has been stuck in my mind. Back when Count Roe declared fealty to the Empire, other lords committed to doing the same, right? But the moment we left and the Kingdom Army marched south, they fell right back in line. It's like they never betrayed Fargus in the first place. Good memory. That's exactly what happened. Houses Elidor and Duval both made overtures to join the Empire. So why is the Kingdom welcoming them back without so much as a wrist slap? Is this another House Gloucester thing where the politics demand it? Seems like their importance as noble families outstrips the fact that they're all two-faced liars. Politics are doubtless involved, but the heads of Houses can change, as they did with Gloucester. We're not bound to place importance on any one individual, only the bloodline. So the Kingdom's aristocracy gets the same free pass as the Alliance's? Yes, and the Empire's as well, even though I do my best to treat everyone equally. I cannot afford to slight a minister's house, for example. They broke fealty to the former Prime Minister when they swore it to me. Would you call that treachery? What makes it different from the actions of Count Gloucester? I don't know. You tell me. It depends on what motivated the change of heart. Was it for land? For status? To exact revenge or seize glory? Because I view a betrayal for any of those reasons to be utterly worthless. Yeah, money and vengeance are pretty shallow motives. Though, that's why I'm here. I'm not talking about mercenaries. I'm talking about lords. Each of their decisions has the ability to upend the lives of thousands, if not more. Only a person with the character to realize that is truly fit to lead. I've worked for plenty of nobles in my time. Until now, I couldn't have cared less what it means to actually be one. But then you gave me responsibility over all these soldiers, and it... Well, I guess I'm starting to see the world in a different way. And the people who live in it, too. I see. I admit your grand designs sail clear over my head sometimes. Most of the time, actually. But that's why I stand by you. I feel like one of these days, something important's gonna rub off on me. And I feel the same. You've opened my eyes to all manner of things I might never have seen otherwise. You are a commoner without the fetters of a family name, wielding your sword directly for me. That's more valuable than you may realize. Find a good spot for a nap. <sighs> Bernadetta? Why are you skulking in the weeds? <laughs> no reason! Not getting in the way of two people's love at all! No, sir! Huh? But I'm alone here. I see <laughs> that. when I saw them. Oh, 
man and a woman together in the woods getting um heated. Well, neither of them seems to be dead yet. They're on a secret date, you dummy! Not fighting! <sighs> Regardless, how does two lovers stealing a moment alone lead to you curled up here in the fetal position? Because I'm hiding! I mean, if I messed up their date, they might try to get revenge on me! Relax. To them, you're no different than a pebble on the side of the road. Hey, I'm not a pebble! I mean, sure, sometimes I wish I was just a rock, but... Then just roll away quietly and you'll be fine. Just roll away quietly? Hey! Yeah! Wait, no! They'd see me! Stop trying to get me killed! We've made enough racket over here to raise the dead and they haven't even noticed. I think it's safe to say they're off in their own little world. Still, good for them. Sharing words of love when either one could die tomorrow. Wait, they could die tomorrow? They're both soldiers who serve on the front lines. I doubt a rosy future awaits them. No, that's not true! Couples swearing their love and defying destiny are a staple of classic fiction! Sure, but the fact it wouldn't happen in reality is what makes it such a good story, right? Well, wait, but there are tons of stories where two people who have sworn their love don't ever meet again. Likely because that's something people are familiar with from their own lives. Okay, so which is it? I believe those two can be happy together, so they can, right? I hope that's the case. But reality is cruel. <sighs> anyway, I've talked myself right to sleep. Huh? Come on, don't sleep there! <sighs> Uh-oh. Guess I'd better try that turn into a pebble and roll away quietly plan. of you. Hmm. Ah, I was wondering who it was. What fortuitous timing. Did you need me for something? Nothing in particular. I was simply thinking of having a little chat with you. Please, do relax. But I already am relaxed. I've heard your background is quite the mystery. And what's more, that you possess some sort of unknown power. 
It's certainly a bold decision for Her Majesty to put someone like that in charge of frontline forces. I don't know if there's anything bold about it. Oh? It seems you do not understand your unique position, then. Typically, wars among regions are fought between nobles and the knights in their servitude. But you are no knight. Merely a mercenary who commands soldiers in fealty to nobody at all. Maybe so, but all my orders come straight from the Emperor herself. What's the problem? There is no problem, per se. You excel at what you do and fight with true valor. However, protecting one's people during wartime has always been the nobility's responsibility, and theirs alone. Some nobles may feel insulted that they have to rely on a simple mercenary of unknown origin. Seriously? But nobles are usually the ones hiring mercenaries in the first place. On the other hand, it is true that Her Majesty has actively appointed commanders of common birth of late. This strategy has proven effective in shoring up our ever-dwindling resources. And, of course, the nobles have no choice but to obey Her Majesty. Which means there should be no particular reason for anyone to resent you. Didn't you just say they might feel insulted? If nobody's getting all hot under the armor about it, then there's no problem, right? That said, this does not change the fact that a noble's obligation is to protect the common folk. Though your exact origins remain unclear, you undoubtedly fall into the commoner category as it stands. Therefore, you are entitled to all the protection a noble is compelled to provide. Simply say the word if you ever require my assistance. Of course, Lawrence. You'll be the first person I go to. Capable guy like you has plenty of sway with the other nobles, after all. You know, at first I thought you were just coming to complain, but you were actually trying to be nice. Me? Nice? To you? <laughs> oh my, you are funny. <laughs> Allow me to explain. I am the heir to House Gloucester, a noble among nobles. My offer of aid was not an act of kindness. It was a means to inform you of your place in this society. You would do well to remember the order of things here in Fodlan. So, you just came to tell me how I'm disrupting the order? You are complaining. Most certainly not! Do you really think me that small-minded? I've acknowledged your skills, and all I ask in return is that you act according to your station. Understand? Not really, no. I mean, we're at war, and you're seriously telling me I need to worry about how nobles and commoners are supposed to act? In any case, my job as a mercenary is to fight. Simple as that. You're wasting your time if you're gonna get all bent out of shape about me. I am not getting. Mm -hmm. oh, never mind. We shall continue this at a later date. Greetings. Listen. I don't know. Truth be told. Now this is simply delightful. Not good. Actually, hmm. Why, thank 
Tokyo. I suppose. Got a sec? Excellent. Must speak. I am having concerns.
smile on my face. Wow, that was amazing! You really know your way around a sword! Oh, hey, Caspar. You were looking pretty good your... self. Wait, haven't we had this conversation before? I don't know. Must be because you're always sweeping the floor out there. Looks like I've still got my work cut out if I ever want to catch up to you. Hey, come on! I'd never be able to do what I do if I didn't see how hard you were pushing. Yeah, yeah, again with the sore winner stuff. Talk down to me all you want, I'm still gonna beat you. Anyway, let's get back to training. I'm gonna really knock your socks off this time. Bring it on. Actually, hold on a sec. Come on, what's the big idea? You trying to throw me off my game? That's not it. I was just thinking, we've been training together a lot lately. But if we're doing all the same drills at all the same intensity, then aren't we just gonna get stronger at the same rate? Nobody's closing any gaps, that's for sure. Uh, oh, you do have a point. Yeah, definitely have a point. But you know what? I don't care. You don't? Nope. I mean, I don't want to run off and do some cool secret training without you. Sounds boring, if you ask me. Or sort of... cheating? I want to face you head on. Same drills or not, I'm gonna blow past you no problem. Well, you fired up now? Fired up? Friend, I'm the flames. And trust me, you're about to get burned. <laughs> Only one way to find out, and I'm putting my bet down on old Caspar. It's incredible just how focused you are, Caspar. I'm honestly kind of impressed. There aren't many people like you joining up with mercenary groups, I'll tell you that much. Oh yeah? I'd have no idea myself. But hey, let's both give this our best shot. The tougher we get, the quicker we can end this war once and for all. And at the end of the day, that's the goal here. Let's never lose sight of that. Oh, hi. Listen up.
as it happens. Are you serious? a good result. Good day to you. Excuse me. Huh? It's my time to shine. Do you have a moment? There you are, Hubert. So what's going on? This couldn't wait for a more reasonable hour? <laughs> you are the last to arrive. But better late than never, I suppose. I may be late, but I'm also smart enough to smell trouble when it's brewing. And you've definitely got something on the boil. Please illuminate me. How have you come to this conclusion? Because I'm standing here with Yuritsa on one side and Petra on the other. And you don't invite people like them along unless you need serious muscle. It saddens me that I am not included in this toughness calculation of yours. Neither fighting or hunting have toughness for me. I am fighting and others are falling. It is a thing of ease. Get on with it. Yes, well, setting the question of toughness aside, your task remains the same. Can you please just get to the point already? 
I'm gonna doze off if you stretch this intro out any longer. Then I will do just that. I have received information regarding a small-scale raid on Garrig Mark. The raiders in question are the Knights of Saros, but judging by their low numbers, they are not attempting to reclaim the monastery. Rather, their goal is assassination. Specifically, they seek to eliminate Count Varley, the current head of the Southern Church. The Knights. Good. I'll enjoy this. I have knowledge of stopping assassins. Let us be going with all haste. I see why you brought the three of us along now. But still, you've got an entire army at your disposal. Why use so small a force? If we suddenly increase our presence at Garrig Mark, the Knights will realize they have been found out and cancel the raid. But I need them to carry out their plan to the letter, so they might walk right into my trap. They will be like flies to the flame. Not sure that's right, but I get what you're going for. Even if the flies are strong, it all ends the same. You both remain as inspiring as ever. Now then, as we will be heading out tomorrow, we had best get our preparations settled quickly. Seeing as you are a long-tenured mercenary of some renown, I will leave the guarding of Count Varley's person to you. I hope it goes without saying that this is not a job which calls for improvisation on your part. Keep him safe and whole, and do it well. No worries, Hubert. Those knights won't touch even a single hair on your guy's head. That is precisely what I wanted to hear. No wonder Lady Edelgard puts so much faith in you. Seems like a lot of weight to throw on my shoulders. If you fight with confidence, you will never be losing. I will do what I must. Again, get on with it. Yes, yes, very well. Now, as far as Garrig Mark's current military capability... and into the outer courtyard. Is this really safe? Perfectly so, provided you remain close. What's oh, happening? They've come for me. Strange. We have no reports of any excursions. Well, no matter. Our target is Count Far. Hurry up and deal with them. The future of the Empire itself depends upon my survival. I'm not saying, but for now, we need Count Varley. Do not let any harm come from that. Bishop, he gave legitimacy to her course of action. An action that carried great weight with adherence of the faith. Yeah. 
This is our best chance to eliminate this false bishop. We must succeed. and assassins every day. I had to be learning with much quickness. As the goddess is my witness, this is as far as you go! Starting the mission. Is that an order? Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will begin. The Scott. You have proved a most efficacious lure, dear Count. I'm swapping in! I feel nothing. Is this all the knights could muster? This small lady. Likely they sent only what they could afford to lose. Still, I doubt that was the last. Take a breather. Stand back. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Right then. Let us... <laughs> I will see my deep... Starting the mission. It... So easy. Yeah. 
the goddess and must be destroyed. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. Bear witness. I'm swapping it. My turn. They are not finished. Remain on guard. Allow me. They're few in number, but well prepared. News of our raid must have leaked. They make me sick. So, looks like the two of us will have to pull this one out. Aren't you the princess of Bridget? You serve the Empire or know what hit I am serving Bridget, and Bridget is standing with the Empire. You know what? I'm glad of this. We've never had a chance to really go at each other before. Thunder Catherine. Today is a fool. The Empire's always this tough. We've got some road ahead. Thieves will be falling! Farewell. I failed. Take a breather. I'm going back inside, and never setting foot outside the monastery again! I see where Bernadetta gets it from. Still, at least the guy's safe now. I'm getting stronger! Death grows distant. To kill is to grow stronger. I won't let myself stop here. I work to grow. I imagine this will serve me well. We finished the cleanup and inspection of the walls, sir. We also cleared out the Knights of Saros' base at the foot of Garrick Mach. The enemy has been routed and is now engaged in a full retreat. Well done. 
That should keep us secure for the time being. Still, you will want to remain vigilant, Count. But you just said we are secure! True. I do not expect our enemy to launch any military offenses in the near future. But if not military, ah, uh, of course. I get it. They'll be sneaking through the back door instead of trying to knock down the front gates. I imagine another assassination attempt is already in the works. Probably something cowardly like poison or a dagger in the ribs. I shudder to think of those zealots out for my blood. I entreat you to protect me, Baron Barnabas. After all, I won't always have the Minister of the Imperial Household here to save me. The war has reached a critical stage, and his wisdom will soon be needed elsewhere. As steward of Garrick Mach, my life is in your hands. I will do what I can, of course. To start, I want you to confirm the identity of every single person entering and leaving the monastery. Also, the gatekeeper must hear of these new attempts on my life and ensure he keeps his watch most keen. That one is far too casual for my liking. Yes, well, enough of this. I must be off. Of course, Count Varley. Weird guy, huh? Stronger than he looks, though not inclined to fight. He is reminding me of certain woodland creatures. Though he is a fighter of much weakness, he has a talent for remaining alive. When you put it like that, he comes off like some sort of mastermind. But I guess all Imperial nobles are crafty in some way or another. Crafty, is it? <laughs> sure. I mean, the two of you are nobles, and I'd say you're as cunning as they come. Yes, Hubert and Yuritza are both nobles full of cleverness. Don't forget to include yourself among that number. After all, I specifically selected the craftiest soldiers I could think of for this mission. When the enemy is neck deep in skullduggery, I need soldiers who are adept at thinking on their feet. You think I'm like you? Really? That's great! Only a jest, I assure you. But since it clearly pleases you so, I must admit there was some truth behind it. Good. Glad we got that settled. I tire of this. Farewell. He sure knows how to make an exit. We should be going as well. It lacks wisdom to be far from the base for too long. But if you wish to be joining me for a small hunt, we will be passing through woodlands on the way back. Sure, if it's on the way. This is filling me with happiness. We will be landing a nice catch, then return home. Maybe a bear or a boar. Yeah, that's not really what I'd call a small hunt. Petra? Hey, wait up! <laughs> it seems we truly are a crafty group, after all. Mm. Still, facing Catherine and Shamir time and again is a great burden to bear. But I must shoulder it if I am to protect Her Majesty. Tremendous. A truly fitting find for nobles such as ourselves. 
Yes, but I fear it pales in comparison to the tea cakes you so thoughtfully procured. And yet, far more than the provisions themselves, it is your noble self who deserves the greatest measure of praise for organizing this most festive occasion. My dear Lawrence, you flatter me. Yet I must once again return to this lovely tea which has soothed my weary soul. Truly, it is a testament to your impeccable character and taste. Why, Ferdinand, now it is you who flatters me. Ah, but my hackneyed words could never do justice to a pinnacle of nobility such as yourself. Nay, those hackneyed words have become pure poetry by the alchemy of your noble idiom. Uh... My, what fine examples of nobility you are. The two of you shine brighter than any sun, and make my own visage all the sadder as a result. Good day, Constance. Not feeling well, are we? I had thought to offer you some tea, but... Oh, don't worry about me, Lawrence. I'm quite all right. Well, I certainly won't force you, but do let me know if you change your mind. Hmm. Yes, well, there was something I wanted to ask you. Though I fear it's a rather difficult question. I have all confidence the two of us are up to the challenge. Indeed. There has not been a question yet posed that could stump the two noblest of nobles. In that case, and again, please forgive my impudence, but... I notice you both complimenting each other regarding your suitability to your noble stations. But... It is an impossibility for the two of you to be perfectly equal in this. One must be the most suited, the most noble. So, which of you is it? Which one of us? <laughs> I fear you misunderstand. This is not a competition, and would be unbecoming of nobles to compare ourselves in such a manner. But are you not constantly comparing yourselves? You are the most noble, nay, it is clearly you, sir, etc., etc. Hmm. You know, you may be right. Now, hold just one moment. It is true that we compare each other in a purely literal sense, but it is only so we might take pride in our collective peerage. And in that we are equal, for there are no degrees of true nobility. Again, forgive me, but it sounds as if there are indeed differences. You merely turn a blind eye to them in order to avoid unseemly competition. In any case, if that is the stance you both wish to take, I'll not press the matter further. Enjoy your shared throne at the pinnacle of nobility. No, wait a moment. You make it sound as if we refuse to compete because we fear losing to the other. Indeed. I had assumed we were sharing a large divan. But if we are actually squeezing ourselves into a single seat, that is another matter entirely. Not at all. You both are wonderful, perfect nobles. Uh hmm. Hmm. I cannot back down from this challenge. Doing so would disgrace my very name. Indeed. We must determine for good and all who of us is the noble most true. A splendid turn of events, and one I am most undeserving of. I knew I could count on the two of you to reach the appropriate conclusion. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, we most certainly are not. In fact, I nominate you to serve as arbitrator for our competition. Here, here. You may also select the criteria. Okay, but I warn you, my eye for talent pretty much begins and ends at the battlefield. Still, I fear you will have to do. 
In that case, how about we use the results of the next training battle? That should be pretty clear-cut. Hmm, yes. A lord must be able to command their soldiers, after all. An exemplary measure of a noble's worth. And you will also bear witness to our personal prowess as well. For a true noble must be able to safeguard themselves from injury above all else. Sounds like a plan. I'll let Edelgard know. To think my off-the-cuff remark would lead to this. But the stakes could not be higher. For the winner will be forever known as the noblest of all nobles in the land. <laughs> Haven't you fanned the flames enough, Constance? We will now commence today's training battle. Defeat every enemy within the time limit. <laughs> there is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can... Just do as I planned. I shall take <laughs> fools. Did you think I would just sit the battle out? <laughs> Constance! Ah, I see. Well, I will not be so easily outdone. I will prove to all that I am the truest noble. Watch closely, my mercenary friend. Not a problem. I've got it. Here I go! What do you think you're doing? Plebeians are not permitted to compete. <laughs> Just do as I planned. None shall surpass me. <laughs> A point! My most possible point for Constant Von Nubel! <laughs> Lawrence Helman Gloucester stands before you. Now it is my turn. I am your man. Witness the might of Ferdinand von Eich. There is not a question of can. Take a breather. Not a problem. A fine choice. Just do as I can. My turn at last. <laughs> Now it is my turn. There, my turn. General is entering the fray. Their defeat will extend the time limit. Take a breather. You two must have been rather bored to come up with this competition. But this was your idea in the first place. Here I go. My turn. Actually, Here I go. that was a different. Not a problem. 
No, no, never. It would take far too long to explain. Oh, no, None shall surpass me. Second unit, advance. I am your man. My turn. Reinforcements, huh? Wonderful. More fodder for my noble person. There is not a question of can. Only leave this to me. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can just do as I plan. I shall take not a problem. I've got this. Just do as I plan. Ah. Fine choice. Now it is my turn. There. Back my in turn. the day, Constance and I were the twin flowers of Enbar High Society. And now, the bright red rose of House Lobster has made that number three. Now hold on a minute. I want no part of this fell bouquet, sirs. Not a problem. I've got this. The Empire's officers are mighty indeed. Why the soldiers of my realm can scarce compare. Physical strength isn't everything. Just look at my house as Pegasus Knights. Indeed. Many battles come down to chance. No matter how superior the force, nothing is ever assured. None shall surpass me! Bend the knee! Your man! I wonder who felt the most! You were keeping score, yes. Once we get back, you can announce the winner to all! Sure, let me just add things up and... We heard tell of your pathetic little game. We've come to put you in your place. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I just do as I planned. I shall take it from here. There is not a question of can, only a matter of will. Leave this to me. A fine choice. Not really a precaution you? here. <laughs> oh. The bird invited me, and it sounded like fun. Dorothea, I swear we did not intend to mock this train. It is simply that as noble as we... There's no need for excuses, Lawrence. 
I'm sure serious practice is far too boring for big fancy nobles like you. None shall surpass me! Official Imperial training section. We are never here doing our jobs. You got me. Oh, and I'm not actually mad, by the way. I was honestly glad to get some practice in. Take a breather. Hey, what happened with your competition anyway? I have Coco one. Seeing as this was rather fun, I will overlook your churlishness. Practice is concluded. All units withdraw. I am capable of so much more. Oh, what an exhilarating military exercise! But now, let's have the results. Yes, please. No need to beat around the bush. No matter the result, my pride as a noble will remain as solid as bedrock. In that case, let's get to it. So, after tallying it all up... Lawrence is the winner. No surprise there. <laughs> I have emerged victorious, as to be expected. For I am Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, the pride of all Leicester. Well done, Lawrence. You bested me fair and true. I know some like to disparage House Gloucester's military might, but I saw no evidence of anything but excellence today. Indeed! It seems you're not just the loudmouth braggart I took you for! I think some tea is in order. Let us all raise a cup to your victory this day. A fine idea. You must permit me to lend my magical touch to the tea making. Hold, Constance. I think we can make do without your magic today. We just had a large practice skirmish, and I imagine there are many people trying to sleep at this hour. Your magic makes the tea shine so bright, it could easily disturb them. A point well made. In that case, I'll leave the tea to others and dazzle you instead with my sparkling conversation. This will be the best tea you have ever tasted. For it comes straight from House Gloucester's private reserve. <laughs> and I will provide tea cakes to match. 
Each one made to order by the very hands of Ferdinand von Eyre himself. <laughs> this will be ever so much fun! <laughs> Didn't you just say people are trying to sleep? I'm starting to think these three shouldn't be allowed to hang out with each other anymore. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. In that case, you should just keep picking commoners like me for all the important jobs. Strength in numbers, right? The more of us there are, the less anyone will be able to complain. Hmm. I believe your point to be a sound one. But putting it into action will only heighten our chance of failure. Try as you may to troll a river for jewels. You will most often find yourself hauling up mere pebbles instead. I get what you mean, I think. Accidentally picking the wrong person could really hurt the Emperor's reputation. And provide the perfect opening for nobles who want nothing more than for commoners to be kept in their place. An utter disgrace. Here we stand amidst the flames of war, yet some on our side only seek to drag their compatriots down. There is no rot as fetid as that which plagues our foul aristocracy. It would not surprise me if they breathed noxious fumes. Yeah, I guess they are pretty bad when you put it that way. At any rate, it seems you must be the one to plow forward, for the time being. Uh, come again? You are a mercenary, Captain, no? Surely there are worthy candidates for promotion among your subordinates. The situation would be far less volatile if any potential appointees came with your direct endorsement. Oh, good. No pressure at all. And if the person I pick doesn't work out? Assuming they are not wholly indefensible, we would do our utmost to shield them from criticism. Though I suppose if worst came to worst, we would be forced to sever ties with them. And you. That's cold-blooded, Hubert. I'm not sure I'm up to the challenge, knowing what's at risk. Nobody is forcing you to pick someone. If you think it impossible, I will not try to convince you otherwise. All right. Got it. I guess in the meantime, I'll let you know if I think of anyone who might be able to handle the job. Oh, and let's keep the whole severing ties thing to the real worst case scenario, okay? You might look the calm and logical type, but I know your emotions can get the better of you sometimes. <sighs> a keener insight than I expected. Perhaps you truly are the right person for this task. <laughs> Quite the eye you have on you. Uh, thanks? My vision's not too bad, I guess. Now, if you could only pair it with some intellect, we would have a true wonder on our hands.
Follow me, soldiers of the Empire. For Lady Edelgard! I will prepare this Scarlet Path. I fight for my land of home. Let's earn our keep. Hope this is one of those easy wins. I will do all that I can. Begin. I am advancing. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Here I go. No, but they must look not over. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle this. Take a breather. Unfurl the flag. <laughs> Not a problem. Is it my turn? You know what they say about playing with fire. What's next? We'll give it a shot. Take over. How can I face my comrades after this? My turn. All done. What is the next order? Can I face my comrades after this? Success was to be expected. We can ill afford defeat here. This battle will make a fine. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit watch the stage for my hey, debut. Can't fight like this. I'm digging all over the place. I'm On to the next one. Show me what you're capable of. Orders. It is done. Here I go. No. Watch this. Fuck you! <laughs> 
You know what they say about playing with fire. How does that please you? My turn. We'll make good use of this. This place won't be a problem anymore. Stem from love. I won't let my... Can you believe this, Gwendol? We've waited what feels like decades, and still no Imperial Army. What is the Emperor thinking? She promised to protect us. Calm yourself, my lord. They will come. We've received reports of a large army forming to the south of Aryan Road. They will scatter this siege to the wind. I have no doubt of that. They had better. It's her promises that swayed me into betraying the kingdom in the first place. I didn't do this just so my lands could be leveled by the King of Fargus' fiery wrath. The Silver Maiden will keep us safe. She yields to no invader. Viscount Elidor and Count Duval have both sent messages, imploring me to surrender for the sake of my people. Yes, perhaps it's not too late. I can lure the Imperial Army in and kill them, then beg the King for mercy. My lord. Lenato, you fool. Your rashness is to blame for all of this. This is no time to go soft, my lord. Turning our coats a second time would be abominable. One betrayal can be explained away with the right sort of excuse, but a second? A second paints the lot of us as feckless curs. Ugh. Then what would you have me do? Gwendol, you tell me! Command it, my lord, and I will gladly go to my grave. You, however, must not. Yet unless you have fought life and limb for your people, you cannot surrender with honor intact. Anything less would earn you the people's scorn, just as it did your ancestors. Ha! Ha ha ha! Yes, of course. It certainly would not do to forget that row blood is stained with treachery. Well, so be it. A weather vane must go with the wind, and a born traitor must finish the sedition he started. Wise words, my lord. Your people will thank you for this course of action. Hey!
before Her Majesty. There's no time to waste. The fight starts now. We'll defend this position no matter what. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up at. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I won't lose. some protection. Not a problem. I've got this. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. God's path, the conquest continues. This stronghold will fall! Watch this! My turn! It worked! Sorry! I gotta fall back. I'm not afraid to fight. I'm doing this for all the people I care about. I have to fight. And I have to win! Not a problem. I've got this. N Watch closely. We did it! You've got this in it. Deep breath. <laughs> Take a breath. 
breather. Though yours is indeed a power that warrants me. I don't know how we held them off, but we did. I won't let myself stop here. This talent hidden away. That's so. I don't care much for battle. Let's earn our keep. They're not taking this from us. Disadvantage is nothing to fear. We will turn this around. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. Don't mind if I do. I'm dragging the others down. Not a problem. I've got. Watch closely. Retreat! Of course I did. What a pain. Fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. I got this. This is the time to make a name for ourselves. Sick of the lover. You shall Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. You can count on me. Uh. 
I'll do my best. Oh, if I must. Pay for this. Watch you this. hear? Take a breather. That was fortuitous. The stronghold's ours. I can't just swatch this. Retreat. What did you expect? Is that all we got? I almost feel something. They must sorry for them. My turn. It Not a problem. Probably won't sway you, but I recommend a swift withdrawal. How does that please you? Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Oh, if I must. Not a problem. Take a breath. Watch close. What a pain. <laughs> It's my take a breather, new souls. Perhaps even out of it. Right on. <laughs> You held strong. Lift your heads high. Afford such setbacks. I won't let myself stop here.
There must be more to this. Glad I haven't been wasting my time. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. something.
there. Are you doing some research? Yeah, I was just looking through records of past battles. Figure I'll probably run into some similar situations. That's admirable of you. I thought that someone with a mercenary background would be a little more reckless with their fighting. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That sounded a bit rude, didn't it? No, you're right. My fighting style was pretty loose when I was a mercenary. Actually, I can't say it's really changed that much. But I've got more responsibility now, so I've had to adjust some. Any mistakes I make would only cause problems for everyone else, right? Huh. You're much more studious than I thought. I can see why Edelgard trusts you so much. You really think I'm held in such high regard? That's what I've heard, at least. It's very impressive, especially since you're so young. Thanks, Lysithia. And the same goes for you, too. For a kid, you're amazing at what you do. Excuse me? Who is a kid? Huh? Well, you are. I must ask that you refrain from treating me like a child. Uh, I wasn't trying to... You said, and I quote, for a kid. I'm aware that people often treat me like a child, but to think you'd call me one directly to my face! I work harder and contribute more to this army than anyone else here! It is truly vexing that something as inconsequential as my age can dictate how people treat me. Uh, I'm sorry. I had no idea you hated being treated like a kid that much. <sighs> this is not a matter of like or dislike. My belief is that those who fight alongside each other should treat one another as equals. Yeah, I thought I was complimenting you as an equal, obviously. Then there is no need for any qualifying language. You should compliment me as you would anyone else. Hold on, didn't you tell me I was impressive for being so young? Doesn't that mean you assessed me based on my age too? Me saying you're impressive in spite of your age is completely different than you saying I'm pretty good for a weak little baby. Pretty sure I didn't phrase it like that. But it's what you meant! Oh, I should have never complimented you! You know, an adult wouldn't get all stubborn and combative like this. I am not being combative. I'm simply having a normal conversation with you. Is that a problem? What about this is normal to you? <laughs> Another day, another stage to conquer. I fight for my land of home. The fight starts now. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. United, we are unbeatable! Keep up, or get left behind! Got it? Let's get this battle underway! Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Begin.
the sky. I'm swapping in. Here goes. this. Take a breeze, sorry. We weren't strong enough. Not a problem. I've got this. Is it my turn? Can't fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. What's next? Yeah, right. Fight like this! I'm bleeding all over the place! All done. What is the next order? Take no pleasure in this fight, and neither will you.
the sky. I'll not stop. I'll take a watch this. <laughs> Position secured. <laughs> Dragging the others down. Out of the way! No regrets! Luck was on our side today. Feeds my body and mind. Witness Brit. I work to grow. I'm going to doze off. I just know it. Why can't you just let me stay inside? The fight starts now. None will stand between us and the bright new future I envision. Are you sure? Now, we can win this. this. This to me. It's Bernie's time to shine. Take a breather. Recommend a swift withdrawal. I'll take over. Take a break. 
I'm just happy to be alive. I must outwit even death. I won't let myself stop here. to battle and watch it bloom I'll do what I need to the fight starts now let's work together and defend <laughs> We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. I could do with some reinforcements. We've got a friend in trouble. Won't be a problem anymore. Here goes. I do hope Watch you'll this. make this fun for me. Take a breather. <laughs> 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 Fight like this! I'm bleeding all over the place! 
I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Here I go. No mistakes. They... We cannot allow the battle to continue trending this way. Out of way! I do not use it too! Strong enough. Leave this to me. That wasn't so bad. I wield this blade in the name of my king for Dimitri and for Lambert. My turn. I'll take over. It's not bitter than black and coffee. Take a break. This is all my fault. Seize this moment. This is not my accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. You're worth a thousand soldiers. Things have gone quite sour. This is nothing. Watch this. Take a breather. I'll show you no mercy. them off, but we did. Accept the gifts you're given. I won't let myself stop here. I'm going to doze off. I just know it. You don't expect me to go out there and fight, do you?
The fight starts now. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Yeah, we can win this. Not a problem. I've got this. Oh, please. Are you sure? <laughs> Carve a swath through the battlefield. Watch this. I can finally go home. <laughs> Have to be strong to survive, I guess. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. is good for something. Ready any time. My muscles will see me through.
The fight starts now. When we win, I'm gonna eat a pile of steak to celebrate. United, we are unbeatable. <laughs> All right, here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got this. I think this will go well. All right, here I go. is a vital strategy. Yes, that went great. Keep your eyes on me. All right, we did good. Take a breather. Take a so long as we don't give up, we can open a path to victory. The stronghold's ours. Let's give this a shot. Not a problem. All right, here I go. All right, here I go. There's. I'll take your spot. I'll take over. Shall I dress you with? These people are simply begging to be heard! I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I won't let myself stop here. I had this power within me all the while?
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Hey there. Need something? you. How's it going? Any developments to report? You mean with my power? Not really, no. Hmm. Perhaps using it regularly won't be enough to provoke growth. Good to know. <sighs> hey, I thought you said you weren't interested. I mean, how many times are you gonna come ask me if anything's changed before you're happy? Weren't you the one so keen on piquing my interest? I only wanted to check how that was going. If you don't think it's possible, just tell me and I'll stop asking. Okay, yeah, it's definitely not happening. What? But this was all your idea. How cruel of you to stoke my excitement only to back out at the first sign of adversity. Come on, just keep trying a little longer. How about this? Describe the circumstances in which you first awaken to your power. Maybe we can reproduce the situation and see if lightning doesn't strike twice. Well, I was staring death in the face when it happened. I'd been beaten so badly I could barely stand. I kept telling myself I wasn't ready to die yet. Then, out of nowhere, it just came to me. Hmm. I suppose we shouldn't try to recreate those conditions. Nobody wants a dead officer on their hands. Let's consider some other potentially relevant factors. Who was your opponent? Where did the struggle take place? What time of day was it? Do you think your emotions played any part in it? I was fighting the Ashen Demon of all people. I hope we get the chance to cross swords again someday. As for the when and where, we were in a forest, at night, and pretty sure it was a full moon too. And that leaves my emotional state. But I don't know how I could replicate the intense emotions of being at the brink of death like that. I see, I see. That context would prove quite tricky to simulate. And if your power functions similar to a crest, revealing itself even when you don't intend it... That leaves only one option. 
observing you on the battlefield at all times. Ugh, this is turning out to be more work than I signed up for. Hey, weren't you telling me not to give up just a second ago? If I can do it, then so can you. Hmm, I'm not so sure. It seems I'm alone. Are you here, little one? Aw, were you waiting for me? You're a good kitty, aren't you? Guess who brought you some fish? Hey, easy there, no need to wolf it down. Wow! Oh, you want more? Well, just stay put while I... Edelgard? Oh, fascinating. I never imagined I'd run into you in a place like this. Linhart, uh, um, this is a surprise. What are you even doing here? I was having a nap over there. Such is the price for pulling so many all-nighters. Though I pay it gladly. Over there, as in, right over there? Immediately so? Does that mean you saw... Ow! Well, well. A cat. Does it live here? How should I know? I've certainly never seen it before this very moment. Really? Because it seems quite used to you. Yes, it... Uh... Oh, come out with it already. If you have something to say, just speak and stop this interminable dance. No, no. In fact, I like cats as well. Especially ones that live near people. You, a cat person. I never thought I'd hear you say that. Why not? I find them charming. You have to admire the way they draw people in with their cuteness only to be waited on hand and foot. Linhart, people don't take care of cats just because they're cute. Cats rid us of rodents and other vermin. They are fine pets who bring much solace to their owners. As I see it, people and cats have a good relationship because we do things for each other. Well, I wonder how the cats see it. Because it appears to me that they're just doing things their way and don't really care about anyone else. Now there's a charmed existence. Live as selfishly as you like and have people lavish you with praise and affection for it. Not to mention they'll never run out of food. Which just shows how much people value them. What does it matter if they're being selfish? To be honest, I'm surprised you have an opinion about cats at all. Have you owned one previously? Because I could use your advice if so. Please. Do I look like the sort of person to take on that kind of responsibility? You do not, hence my surprise. Ah, uh, wait, now I get it. I was wondering why you were being so cross with me. You're thinking about keeping this cat. But the implication that cats and I both want to lead the same easy life spoils the idea for you. What? I mean... Yes, that's it. You've caught me. Linhart, listen. If you aspire to be a pet, that is your decision and yours alone. However, if you expect people to bend over backward for you, the least you can do is work for it. The problem with you is that you always... Please, Your Majesty, let's not do this now. Look, the kitty cat wants you to snuggle-wuggle.
Now here's a rare sight. Since when do you read tactics manuals? Do you miss your days at the Officer's Academy? There's nothing to miss. No, because I seem to recall everyone being in awe of their incredibly talented combat professor. I had big plans for you after you were assigned to us, but then the Academy was forced to close its doors. Still, you played a small but critical role. Still not one for conversation, I see. Even so, I feel I understand you and your thoughts more now than when we first met. You see, that silence of yours just said, I don't need you to know me. Such a typical Emil thing to say. <laughs> don't call me that. Why? Because Emil von Bartels is dead? Because he was already hunted down and killed for slaughtering everyone in his house? He should have been. Is that so? Well, I disagree. This is why you live on as Yaritza von Hrim, and why you remain in good standing with a house that will one day be yours. This is why the world has the Death Knight. For my goals to be achieved, both men are indispensable. You're greedy to desire that monster's power. His thirst is endless. Every soul he takes makes him less human. If so, I'd say the Death Knight is the greedy one. I must watch my step, lest he and his side come for me in the night. You are my master, for now. You let the Death Knight hunt. I am grateful. Your life is safe. There's nothing to be grateful for. This is, and has always been, a contract that sees to both our needs. It just so happens I like having you and the Death Knight in my corner. Solid, solid. No. Did you really? Oh, you did. This is my absolute favorite. Thank you. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. This is wonderful. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. 
Sure, I'll help. You have not to worry about with me on the job. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Come on, we'll do it together. I don't know how much help I'll be, but... okay. must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Very well. I will join you. Bear witness to my true power! We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. We'll figure something out if we work together. I will see it done speedily. must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Sure. That'll be no sweat. Let's get it done. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Counting on you both. And you need me for this? Are you sure? I sure hope it's something I can actually do. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Counting on you both. I'll do the best I can. I'll do what I can. We all must do our fair share. Time to work you into shape. You have to be strong if you want to protect people. Was a fluke. So, do I smile now or what? Strength and beauty. What a pair. Death grows distant. Good work.
I'm facing you, Linhart? Good. I could use some practice against someone taller than me. Oh, have it your way. But just for a little while. I make more progress with you around. I must make the most of this ability. There must be more to this. One step at a time. That was oddly enjoyable. Hey, anything that makes me stronger. Only thorns left on this rose. I didn't think I could get any stronger. Glad I haven't been wasting my time. do their thing. I need more strength than this. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. We've definitely got some work to do. I've got the hang of it. Definitely got some work to do. Hey, I'm getting better. Well, at least it's over. A useful skill. Time to work you into shape. Can't wait to see how you do. Hey, Marianne, 
You were really doing great during those drills today. Oh, um... I'm heading over to the mess hall. You want to join? After all that training this morning and no break, I'm starving. Oh, sorry, I forgot. You like to eat alone, right? Then don't worry about it. I'll find someone else. No, I'd... I'd like to accompany you, if you would have me, that is. You sure? Well, all right then, let's go. Well, I wonder what's on the menu today. Oh man, that was good. I feel alive again. Yes, that was nice. By the way, why do you decide to come along with me? What do you mean? You usually sit by yourself. I thought you didn't like eating with others. Yes, I do feel more comfortable when I'm alone. I haven't been around people much, so I don't normally know what to say in conversations. Well, now I'm even more curious why you decided to eat with me. Well... You have a strange power, right? It makes you transform, or something like that. Yeah. You... curious about it? It's not so much that. I, um... wondered if you despised having it. Nah, I don't even give it much thought. And besides, my powers come in handy a few times. I know it makes people suspicious of me and curious about my background, but that's just how people are. And yet you always have such a sunny disposition, and everyone here respects you. I wondered why that was. I mean, I sure hope they respect me. So that's why you wanted to join me? I wanted to know how I could be like you. Like me? But, Marianne, it's not like you have some mysterious power tucked away, right? No. I don't. If you just want to make friends with people, then you don't need to think so hard about it. It's not like anyone here hates you. Don't they? I'm so useless. Hey, you're a huge help to all of us. I mean that. So, you don't have to force yourself to act like someone you're not, okay? Alright. Thank you for saying that. I was wondering if I could ask you something. I heard that you don't have any parents. Is that right? Yeah. The woman who raised me died, and I don't even know who my birth parents are. That must be tough for you, huh? I don't really feel sad about it or anything, but I do think about my birth parents sometimes. It can weigh on me, not knowing who I really am, you know? Well, you might not know who you are, but you still work hard and you keep your chin up through it all. That makes you super strong in my book. Hey, Raphael, your parents are gone too, right? Yeah, both my mom and pa died in an accident. Well, then you're just as strong as I am. You work harder than anyone I know, and you do it all with the biggest grin in the world. Of course! It's easy when you love training as much as I do. Hey, I just realized something. We've sure got a lot in common. Our parents aren't with us anymore. We're both commoners scraping our way through this war, and most importantly... What could be more important than that? Both of us have got some serious brawn! I appreciate that, but our body types are completely different. Not sure this really counts as brawn. <laughs> sure, you're a little scrawnier than me, and maybe a lot smarter. But you know, my brain's been getting a constant workout ever since we opened the inn. <laughs> you have an inn? 
Oh, yeah. I went home and started one up with my grandpa and little sis once the academy shut down. Running a business like that takes a surprising amount of muscle. Sure, there's regular stuff like hauling things around, but you need brain power too. If you ever want to make a profit, you have to pay real close attention to keeping the books straight. I mostly let my sis handle that stuff though. That muscle still needs more work for me. Which means I'm in charge of the cooking. But that has its own share of problems. Yeah, it can be tough to find your footing when you switch jobs, especially if you have to start doing things outside your wheelhouse. Trust me, I've had my fair share of growing pains getting used to the army life. Everything's way different from how it worked with my merc groups. But don't you just fight? That doesn't seem so different to me. As a mercenary, the only thing you're responsible for is yourself. Show up and do the job right, and you'll get your pay. But having soldiers to command, people I'm in charge of beyond just myself, that's a huge change for me. And there's way more to military work than just plain combat. Stuff like managing resources, making sure everyone has the weapons and armor they need. I don't think I'm bad at math per se, but it's definitely not something I'm used to doing. And the more stuff there is to keep track of, the harder it all gets. Hey, you're not so good at using your brain either. We're practically twins. That makes us pals now, right? I've got your back. So you just keep on working hard, buddy. Right back at you. Let's keep fighting the good fight. There's lots of bugs around here. Go on and eat a bunch and grow nice and big plants. Hey, Bernie Bee. Doing a little garden care? Huh? Oh, uh, yes. Do you need something, Happy? Oh, wait, wait. Are you here to finish me off and turn me into fertilizer? No! I'm completely devoid of nutritional content. I'm basically just air. No, but if you want to be fertilizer that badly, I'm certain it could be arranged. I just wanted to mention how I'm surprised to find carnivorous plants growing here. I was curious who was taking care of them, and now I seem to have found my answer. Yeah, carnivorous plants are my favorites. And mine as well. I had no idea we were such kindred spirits. That's so great! never thought I'd find another carnivorous plant lover in all of Falkland! Yay! You really don't need to yell like that. So, which one do you like best, Bernie B? There's a lot to consider after all. The aroma, the texture, the way you prepare it. Oh yeah! Some smell nice, and some are just soft as all get out. Uh, but the way they're prepared? Like, how you take care of them? Hmm... I suppose there's a lot of variants there, too. Indeed. So of the ones here, which is your favorite? Maybe... this one. The one that looks like a jug. I like that one as well. It smells divine. And the experience really changes depending on what kind of berries you stuff it with. I've ever thought to stuff it full of berries, but I definitely see how that would change things. Oh, but I also like this one here with the leaves that act like a mouth. They're so teensy and cute, and they blossom with white flowers. I could just stare at them all day. Interesting. I always pick them before the flowers can bloom, so I didn't know that. Aren't the buds wonderful? Of course, wrapping with leaves is great, too. Yeah, the buds are unusual. I love them. And it's fun watching the leaves move. I'm happy you like watching them as much as me. Watching? 
huh? In any case, now we know we like the same ones. We should have a bite together next chance we get. Anyway, I have to be off. See ya! Yep, next time we'll go out together and... Um... Get something to eat? I guess that sounds nice. This isn't good. It seems the fortress gates have been partially breached. The kingdom's soldiers are pouring into Aryan Road. Does that make us right on time or a bit too late? Dimitri is no ordinary king if he managed to pry a citadel like this apart. I assume our soldiers stand ready? We go on your command. If we dally too long, some of our officers and troops are likely to surrender to the enemy. That includes Count Roe, who has a most notorious sense of self-preservation. Yeah, him and every other noble. Come now, that is simply not true. Why, take me, for example. I am the perfect embodiment of what every noble should aspire to be. You can tell us all about it later, Ferdinand. Everyone, move out. show you true nobility. I fight for my land of home. everyone. Aryan Road is nearly ours. Keep pressing until we claim the main hall. The King's army is true to its reputation. Even I can only stall for so much time. They're closing in on the main hall. We must help them, and quickly. We must reach the main hall before Count Row is put in peril. If they get a blade to his throat, the man will betray us in a heartbeat. The main gates are closed. We could circle around from the left or right, but... But the ground along those roofs is filled with traps. We'll have to do this the smart way and use the gates. on the walls to the east and west will allow Now it is my turn 
There is nothing up. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Just to open the main gate. We'll never get anywhere with that device until we deal with the soldiers around it. Now, let us bring it down. I'm swapping in. Are open. Now it is my turn. What now? I'll hold the area around the gates, Your Majesty. You keep going. We can do this, Randall. None will get past us. The enemy controls the central gates as well. How aggravating. This is clearly going to be a multi step process. First, we must use devices within the fortress to gain access to the walls, where we will find the devices that will open the central gates. So you're saying we should... So... what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Begin. I am advancing. Start by using the two devices in front of the central gates. Ah! Why does this have to be so complicated? Maybe they call her the Silver Maiden because our hair will be gray by the time we finish this. You call that fighting? The Grey Lion has only begun to roll! I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on! Watch this! Take a breather! I'm swapping in! I have no joy in battling old friends, but I have a duty and will see it through. Don't make me kill you, Mercedes. Soldiers any day of the week. 
So this is back. where I die. Interesting. Very well. I stand ready for what comes. Is it my turn? Time slips away from us. Move faster. Shall we call on Castle Gaspar's militia? They've been posing as civilians and should be near the main hall now. Well, I welcome you. We will claim victory. That should buy the main hall some time. It's the other devices that will open the central gates. We must move on those gates. Time is our enemy. Not a problem. I've got this. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. So, what should I be doing? Need a hand? are up on the walls to the east and west. In the name of the king, the empire must be destroyed. All troops, advance! Reinforcements have arrived. They must stop them. They can't be allowed to interfere with the rescue. I'm counting on you, Randolph. Defend those gates with your life. Now, let us bring it down! Witness <laughs> demands it! This stronghold will fall! Now it is my turn! There is nothing up. Watch this! Take a breather! One is down, one is to go. It seems you may be able to disarm the traps within the fortress. I saw another device like this on the other side of the wall. Let's disable it. Not a problem. I've got this. Can swap it? None shall surpass it. Reach the central gates. You will go no further. If the Jew is here, that means Dimitri is too. This stronghold will. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up with. Begin. The Sky Spirit will fall! Watch this! Take a breather! To be out of our minds to walk through a bunch of traps! Let's just deal with them already! Take your best shot. The enemy stronghold will be ours. I'll take now we can advance safe. My turn. Then swapping in. Assistance, please. 
Their gatekeeper. We're nearly to the main hall now. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Watch this! Well, we avoided the worst outcome. That's a start. It seems victory is yours, Lord Gwendo. The Empire holds the advantage. Attention all troops! We stand with Lady Edelgard! Put the King's forces to rout! You've left me no choice. Every last one of you shall meet your end here. Lions wants to challenge me. Eh? I might actually enjoy this. If we want to slow the enemy, we must put as many troops by the main hall as we can. Hey, weren't there hidden stairs that lead from the east and west walls down to the fortress grounds? We are at a breaking point. All forces, fall back! Move, your majesty. I will guard your escape. That will not be necessary to do. Stay with our king and live on. Swear that you will return to us. I could not bear to lose you. Bring victory to Fargus, your majesty. Not done yet! Is the king safe? Good. Then I've done what I set out to do. Send troops in from the walls. Time to make the kingdom sweat. She laid down her life to protect Dimitri and proved loyal to the very end. Because of you, we have defended Aryan Road and many of the Empire's loyal vassals. I thank you for your valor. We must hurry, Your Majesty. The others have already withdrawn. I know. I know. Forgive me, Ingrid. It saddens me beyond measure to leave you here. The blame is mine, Your Majesty. I should have taken guard of the rear. Then I would only be mourning your death instead. The decision was mine, as is the failure. Every death this day rests on my shoulders. Your Majesty, please. She deserved so much happiness. Even after losing her betrothed, she faced life with strength and vigor, only to face the agony of death once more. It should have been me who died. 
How can I ever atone to Count Galatea? To Glenn? Please, don't torment yourself. Ingrid chose to be there, and she did so for you. Do not take that from her. In the name of this magic lance, I swear I will defend Fargus. So rest now. I will return for you when you are avenged. I'm getting stronger! Good, but not enough. Witness Bridget Pride. By your valiant efforts, Orion Road has held strong. I thank you, one and all. Ah, I hardly broke a sweat. Those Kingdom soldiers were nothing. Wait, if they were nothing, then why was I having so much trouble? I can't believe we had to kill Ingrid. <sighs> she was a most formidable commander, Dorothea. We had no choice if we hoped to claim victory. I know that. You think I don't know that? Right now, we need to discuss our next move. I'm sending the main body of our army back to Enbar. They'll remain in the capital until they recuperate from this latest string of battles, and until we've had time to retool our strategy. We hold Aryan Road and the Western Church in the West. The Great Bridge of Murden to the east, and Garrig Mock between them. We'll treat all three as key positions and endeavor to hold our lines there. After we regroup, we'll determine a proper time to resume our advance. It vexes me to say this, but I have been short-sighted. We are nowhere near achieving our goals in the Alliance or the Kingdom. My command has been riddled with errors, and for that, I apologize. Oh? And where exactly is all of this coming from? You usually exude confidence. From where I stand, we have come a great distance with minimal casualties. If time has been lost, we should be easily able to make up for it. I'm personally happy I had the chance to see Her Majesty's vulnerable side. Even if just this once. Ah, uh, reassuring her with predictable responses, are we? Well, sorry. For once, I'm not sleepy at all. Nice try. That response still registers way up there on the Lin scale. I will be using the extra time to make improvements, so I can offer more usefulness in future battles. <laughs> I'm lucky to be surrounded by such consistent friends. How about me? Do I count as consistent? I can always count on you to be you. And you may take that any way you like. So, we're finally going back to the capital. Feels like it's been ages. Couldn't come at a better time, either. My bones could use the rest after all the battles we've been through. I wholeheartedly agree. 
The respite will help us prepare to face the Ashen Demon. Uh, yeah. About that. I've been giving it some thought, and I don't think we need to obsess over that anymore. But what about Captain Burling and your old allies? The ones who were brutally slaughtered, remember? You said avenging them was your dream. And think about how much hardship the Ashen Demon has put you through since you joined the Empire. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to prove I'm the better fighter. But imagine if we got someone like that on our side. We'd be unstoppable. It's time for me to put my wants aside and put an end to this war. For my friends. Unless you think that's a mistake. The Ashen Demon's mercenaries have fought for both the Kingdom and the Alliance. They don't have a cause, and they don't care who comes out on top in the end. It's all about who can toss them the most coin. And now that the dust has settled a bit, we've got a chance to lure them over ourselves. And here I thought you were intelligent. Think about it. Their allegiances have changed, yes. But no matter their client, they've always been fighting the Empire. Why would they join us now? For that matter, what makes you think our soldiers would want to fight alongside a person who's murdered hundreds of their comrades? As if nobody's ever flipped sides before? Come on. Yes, but unlike the Ashen Demon, they're not single-handedly responsible for so much killing. Uh, hey, Arval? Yes? Why is it so important to you that the demon dies? Because I care about you, of course. I mean, I think that's the reason. Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do. Scarlet Blaze. Unrest in Enbar. Despite successfully defending Aryan Road, Edelgard concludes it is no longer possible for her to hold the Eastern and Western lines at the same time, and pauses to explore solutions. Almost as if trading places, she sends Count Burglies to the Kingdom Front and returns her own forces to the Imperial capital of Enbar. Okay, I get that this little chat needs to be a secret, but if we get any deeper into the woods, someone's gonna be looking for our corpses. One can never be too safe. We do not know where our enemy lurks these days. Lysithia's here too? What's she got to do with this? Lysithia has had contact in the past with those who slither in the dark. I asked her to come along so she might be privy to all of the information. I'm just listening. Pretend I'm not even here. And besides, they're my enemy too. Right. Now, as you know, our enemy has gone into hiding. But considering what they are capable of, we cannot relax our guard, particularly at the capital. The streets of Enbar practically teemed with them at one time. So we cannot rule out the possibility they will attempt some mischief when Her Majesty and the rest of us return. That's true. They're devious, both everywhere and nowhere at once. We have to be careful. And what's that got to do with me again? You want me to stop them somehow? I have a request, yes, and a warning. I believe that if those who slither in the dark do try something, they will attempt to approach you. 
Me? Yes, you. Your powers may come from the same place as theirs, right? It stands to reason they might try to recruit you. I'm sure, but they'd be wasting their time. There's no way I'm gonna help those monsters. And what if they appear as your long-lost brother? Same hair, same eyes, a voice full of kindness. Or, what if one of them calls out, I finally found you, my child? Maybe they are your family. Maybe they are not. Could you really drive a sword through their heart with that knowledge yet uncertain? <sighs> Forgive me. That was cruel. I am merely voicing one possibility among many. Still, now you will know to expect it. It behooves you to remember how harsh reality can actually be. Data. I see the documents I was waiting for have finally arrived. <laughs> Hubert! I'm not doing anything bad! Then would you be so kind as to hand those over? They are addressed to me, after all. Oh, um, right. Edelgard asked me to bring them. Phew, that was heavy. What are all these documents, anyway? Old records of bandit activity in this area that I need for my investigation. Hey, that reminds me! I heard we had a group of bandits cornered, but they sort of... got away? Yes, a most vexing development. It beggars belief that our troops prove unable to exterminate even these few stray vermin. Are you angry? Oh, I doubt it is worth raising my ire over. <sighs> That's good. Um, but you look like you're angry. Bernadetta, are you aware of how your persistence often leads to the very outcome you wish to avoid? In any event, my mood is what it is because I must now locate a den of rats. I will need to research previous stomping grounds, then cross-reference the location of their old layers in order to work out where this new one might be. Wow, that sounds like a ton of work. Yes, but there is nothing for it. These craven rats will not re-emerge once they've burrowed into their nests. Hey, neat! I definitely understand the desire to burrow in somewhere and never come out. <sighs> uh, I mean, but when there are festivals and stuff, they might slip up and leave? Maybe? Possibly? I mean, everyone loves festivals. It Except when there are people around, which is usually the case. Somehow I suspect you would not emerge for even the most magnificent of carnivals. However, you and the rats may differ on that point. We do what now? Yes, of course. Unlike you, these thieves have no particular desire to live away from others. We have had them on the run for some time, which means they've not been able to earn coin through their usual underhanded work. Thus, 
If I were to prepare a place where they could cut a few easy purses, they might consider the spoils to be worth the risk. Um, okay. And the bait shall be a festival. Due to the war, we have not held a genuine festival for quite some time, after all. So even if we do not capture the rodents, and it merely brings much-needed succor to the people, I would still consider it a success. Well done, Bernadetta. You have come up with a splendid idea that eluded even myself. Why are you complimenting me out of nowhere? Are you plotting against me? Not particularly, no. Although I am thinking I will require your assistance in this matter from now on. No! Someone free poor Bernie from this torment! And of course, I'm worried about those who struggle at combat. Yes, we must do all we can to support them. I'll do my part to watch out for those who need help. Thank you. We'll do this together. Support people who struggle with combat, huh? If there's a more perfect job for me out there, I don't know what it is. Um... You ready, Bernadetta? Let's go! No! Why do I have to do this? Why do you have to train, you mean? It's not training, it's weird! This is torture and I'm gonna die! Hey, calm down. You'll only be fighting me. You're lying! There are people hiding in this armor and they're gonna attack me! That armor isn't big enough for a person to hide in. You don't know that! I could absolutely hide inside one! Uh, I mean, yeah, okay, you probably could. Lysithia too, now that I think about it. What? I'm going to tell her you just said that! Wait, this isn't the time for me to worry about that! The fact you're plotting against me is the issue here! Why do you hate me? Look, Edelgard said we need to help people who struggle with fighting, alright? I'm just trying to put that into action. Nah! You're gonna take me out with a surprise attack from the darkness! I know your game! And how would I attack you from the darkness when we're standing in the middle of the training grounds in broad daylight? You think all these people walking by would see me try to murder you or whatever and just keep going? No. They're watching me. I'm sure of it. Your armor is staring at me. Nope. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm going home to enjoy a life of freedom without my father. What? You can't just run out on me here, Bernadetta. I mean, trying to detect people hidden in suits of armor. That's one of my father's traditional training drills. I don't know any other way to do it. I don't need your lousy support, so just leave me alone! <sighs> Maybe I'm not cut out for this kind of thing. And that's the situation. Now put your head down and see it done. Leave it to me. I can do this blindfolded. And don't neglect your night training. You'll be a wreck in the morning if you don't put the hours in. What kind of lazy jerk do you take me for? Of course I'd never skip my training. Very good. Well, I must be going. It seems you have a visitor anyway, so farewell. Wait, a visitor? 
Oh, hey, Petra. Sorry, were you waiting for me? What can I do for you? Uh, everything all right? You don't look so good. I am well. You have my thanks for your concern. You sure? I, I can walk you to the infirmary. I think Professor Manuela is in, actually. No, I am well. Do not be troubling yourself. If you say so. I do. Kaspar, I was not realizing that your father was visiting. Yeah, he dropped by to talk to Edelgard and some of the others. Guy's so busy he hardly stays in any one place for more than a few hours. I must be remembering that. Oh, you have some business with him? No, not yet. Hey, sorry, but did you need me for something? Huh? Oh, um, Edelgard is needing you. I was coming to tell you. She appeared quite upset. Her composure was almost lost. Wait, she's mad at me? Oh no, I totally forgot she wanted to see me! Thanks, Petra, you're a lifesaver! One day, I will be having revenge. Leopold von Burgles, you will be ruining the day you stole my father's life. Listen up. Hopeless.
Uh huh. For you. Come back soon. <sighs> what do you think? No. Got a sec? Reminds me. Hmm. Do you have a moment? Well, you see. Construction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies.
For me? Speaking of... Right on! In actuality... What do you think? Let's see... Ah... Joy! Do you have a moment? Sure. How unexpected.
right. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. time. doesn't wander to other things while we train. <laughs> can be the difference between victory and defeat.
My potential is so much greater. Great things await. I think I'm. And I'll keep getting strong. Maybe this will help. Accept the gifts here. War feeds my. Now I can be even more useful. Can't wait to see how you do. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Oh, this looks great. I'm gonna demolish this puppy for sure. This surprise pleases me. How did you know I would have enjoyment of this? Come back whenever you're hungry. to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. We can do it. To get Let's get it done. Must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. Very well. I will join you. Must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. You have not to worry about with me on the job. I don't know how much help I'll be, but. Okay. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both I sure hope it's something I can actually do and you need me for this are you sure we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful
counting on you both. Leave it to me. Bear witness to my true power! We all must do our fair share. For a break. Let us concentrate our efforts on rousing conversation. Afterwards, I say we reward ourselves with a gripping training session and crown the evening with a meal well deserving of our ravenous appetites. Huh. Is something amiss? I don't know. It feels like you might be leaning a little too hard on the whole giving your all thing. You didn't used to be like this. I know you want to do your best, but it's starting to feel like I can't even relax when I'm with you. <sighs> Perhaps you are right. I have been feeling rather restless lately. I suppose seeing my father locked away in that dungeon made me feel the need to... accomplish something. At times like these, devoting myself fully to what few things I can do is all that keeps me going. Otherwise, I would simply succumb to the reality of how powerless I truly am. The pressure is... immense. Now that you mention it, I think I finally know what was feeling off about you. It's that pressure forcing you to keep your guard up, like you're constantly braced for the worst. Uh, take your breaks, for example. It never looks like you're doing anything even resembling relaxing. I wouldn't worry about your father, though. I know you'll find the right solution. I appreciate your counsel. I feel as though I have gained some valuable new insight into myself. After all, one can hardly notice the changes they undergo as they happen. It seems partnering with you is the right decision. Your advocacy for maximal effort continues to be an inspiration. Oh, I wasn't really trying to give you advice or anything, and that's definitely not what I'm advocating for. But if what I said helped, then I'm glad I could be there for you. I just hope you can start cutting yourself a little slack. Your future's bright, Ferdinand. A veritable wellspring of advice, as always. I am deeply obliged. As long as you're feeling better. I mean, war councils are grim already, but they'd be practically unbearable with you sulking around the place. And really, it was nothing. Just here to help. Nothing? <laughs> if ever there is a time to give it one's all, it is when expressing gratitude. It seems you could learn something from me as well. And just you watch. I swear on the Iron Name, I will surpass my father in the most stunning fashion. He's never gonna learn, is he? Lifesaver, Mercedes. Could you help me tend to this soldier's wounds next? Lady Mercedes, where would you like me to put this? Oh, um, yes, just a moment, please. You really have your hands full, Mercedes. Anything I can pitch in on? Oh, goodness. I appreciate your offer. But I couldn't possibly ask you to take time out of your day to assist me in these tasks. Hey, don't be like that. Anyone who's still got the legs to stand on after a battle needs to do whatever they can to help. I'm no physician, but I can at least help get some of this stuff organized. But you only just returned from combat yourself. Aren't you exhausted? Hey, I could turn that question right back on you. 
You were there fighting with us that whole time. I suppose that's true. But are you sure you don't mind lending a hand? Sure as anything. Just tell me what to do and I'll be on it before you can even blink. In that case, there's a box over at the training grounds. Would you mind getting it? There should be bandages and medicine inside, so you'll be able to tell which one it is just by opening the lid. Got it. Be right back. Hmm? Oh my! Wait just a minute. What's up? Give me your right hand. Okay. I knew it. You're injured. Here, I can patch this up in a jiffy with my healing magic. Whoa, it's all better. Thanks, Mercedes. You need to speak up from now on if you're hurt, all right? Don't be so nonchalant about your health. Hey, I could say the same thing about... Actually, never mind. Anyway, it should be easier to carry that box now. Thanks again, Mercedes. <laughs> no, thank you for offering to help. Oh, and take all the time you need. There's no rush. Hey there. Need something? See you around. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Got an eye for quality, friend. You've 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 got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Bye. 
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I'll do whatever I can. Can't wait to see how you do. Ignatz Victor reporting, Your Excellency. Yes, yes, come in. Greetings, Your Excellency. I think you're supposed to say, forgive my intrusion. Right, yes. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Listen, Ignatz, I may have a title now, but you and I are still friends as we have always been. All this formality is starting to make my skin crawl. Please, just treat me the same as ever you have. Oh, right. Of course. Anyway, what do you need? You've no doubt heard about the bandits who appeared in Gloucester, yes? The ones who were supposedly former mercenaries. They've been around for a while, right? Yes. My men have been searching for their base for some time now, and I believe they have finally located it. I took the opportunity to look into the provenance of these bandits anew, and it seems they were indeed a mercenary band, one in the employ of my father. I... see. For some reason, they have abandoned the sellsword life and fallen into banditry. But why would they do that? I do not know. I attempted to discuss it with my father, but his only concern at present is finding me a proper spouse. When I ask, he evades me and changes the subject. Hmm, yes. That's quite the conundrum. Regardless, I cannot ignore these bandits, especially if my father had something to do with them. Thusly, I have decided to deal with them myself, and I was hoping you might join me. Of course. I'm a Knight of House Gloucester, after all. Good. Oh, and as it would be a rather tall order for the two of us to take on a gang of brigands alone, I have called in some additional support. Hey, you lords. I came as soon as I could. Just once, I wish one of my acquaintances could split the difference between absurd formality and dire nonchalance. I am a count now, you know. Wait. So are we not friends because you're a count? No, what I meant to say is... Look, enough with the titles. I'm a busy man, so let's get moving already. I will have you know, a noble is nothing without their... Oh, never mind. I asked you here because I need your help dealing with bandits in my territory. That's it? Well, sure. I'm happy to help. Hmm, that was easy. I suppose it does indeed pay to have some true friends in one's corner. Sure does. Besides, 
If just you and Ignatz try to do it, you're gonna get kicked into next moon. Have you ever considered not saying the first thing that pops into your head? The two of us could easily handle this matter. I am simply being prudent. Also, these are not some run-of-the-mill ruffians, but rather highly trained former mercenaries. Right, the old mercenary to bandit career path. They have some connection to my father as well, so I would like to uncover what we can in the process. You got it, boss. If we fight and win, I'm sure some info will turn up on your old man. I am not certain I follow your logic, though I suppose it would be the preferred outcome. Now then, we should be off. With my subjects in peril, there is not a moment to waste. We will depart as soon as you are ready. I'll take my payment in meat, please. I shall tell the kitchen to prepare a ham. Well, you fell brigands, I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, stand in judgment before you. So, not to be a jerk, but when you stand up and scream your name like that, it prevents us from launching any kind of sneak attack. House Gloucester has no need of such dishonest trickery. If our foe is asleep, we kick out their pillow before the battle begins. Firstly, let us deal with the bandits outside the base. Not a problem. I've got this. All right. There's nothing. I think this will go. I'm prepared. To... Now is it? There is. None shall surpass me. Keep your eyes on me. I shall not permit you to wreak any more havoc within my borders. capable of holding my own against this pack of curves. Yeah, right. Not a problem. I've got this. I think this will go well. I'm pre Now that I think of it, we're near the place where Claude's grandfather met his end, aren't we? Indeed. I think you are correct. Could this group perchance have some connection to that most unfortunate incident? This stronghold will fall! You yourself are a former mercenary, yes? Pray point out everyone you recognize. Uh, you do realize that not every mercenary knows each other, right? That is enough for the soldiers outside. Let us proceed to attacking the base. By the good name of Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, you foul marauders shall terrorize my subjects no longer. Gloucester, let's get out of here before we get beaten to a pulp. Again. <laughs> Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. All right, here I go. We let these folks go. They'll just cause more trouble somewhere else. Let's track them down. My mother and father died not too far from here. That was a long time ago now. They were merchants, yes? Yeah, 
They were traveling with the old Duke Regan and got attacked by monsters. Monster attacks were a rather common occurrence in this region. And these monsters took the lives of both the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents. I got this! I'll take your spot! Alright! That should be all! We can't get up the front! Let's cut around back! There is something... I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Not a problem. I've got this. All right, here I go. There's What's strange about the enemy's current movements. Perhaps they have another escape route in mind? Pay attention, Lord. You keep staring off into space. Some bandit's gonna run up and pop you on the head. Yes, of course. I must focus on the battle at hand. They're trying to get out the back way. After them. Yeah. No escape. I think everyone looks scrawny compared to you, Raphael. I'll take your spot. We stop them. You? The count? Where's your father, you black? Retire. I am the Count of Gloucester now. Don't say. In that case, I'll have to take my revenge on you instead. Not a problem. I've got this. All right. Here I there's nothing these muscles can't do. I think this will go. I'm prepared to see this. Now it is my turn. There. He seeks vengeance against my father. Whatever was driving these people. <laughs> This is awful. We have to do something. Not a problem. Uh, my turn. Keep your eyes on me. I am troubled by this development. 
But as the ruler of this domain, I must do my duty and eliminate these bandits. I got this stronghold this. will fall! Take this! Say, Raphael? Keep quiet and fight, Ignatz. These guys are serious business. Noble's My tired of beating us up yet. Preparations complete. Wait, you claim my father betrayed you? He used us and threw us away like trash he did. He tried to make us disappear so as to sweep it under the rug. done with it already at least that way it'll finally be over I would speak with you yet I need to understand what has transpired here <sighs> we did it we won meet party when we get home and Lawrence is buying you all go on ahead I must speak with the bandit we captured Something. I have to pull myself together. I won't let myself stop here. Getting stronger.
there you are, Lawrence! That took so long, I thought maybe that bandit general got you. We had much to discuss, which I will share with all of you now. Did you uncover the reason for their grudge against your father? Indeed. As we suspected, they were once mercenaries in his employ. At first, they were used in the ways one might think, keeping villages safe, guarding the border, and so on. But one day, they were given a very strange order by a supposed envoy of my father. Well, what was the order? They were told to threaten any merchants heading toward Regan and force them to turn back. Yeah, that's a weird one, all right. The mercenaries felt the same and balked at the idea of raising their swords against unarmed merchants. Instead, they decided to chase a pack of wild monsters into the merchant's path and scare them that way. Hey, smart thinking. I'm not so sure about that. The plan worked, at first. Then one day they caught wind that merchants were approaching and loosed monsters on them per the established method. An ordinary group of merchants would have simply run away and lived. But one among this group drew his sword and began to fight. This was Lord Godfrey, who at the time held the title of Duke Regan. He fought valiantly, but ultimately in vain. Sadly, he perished along with the merchants he had hoped to protect. Merchants that included Raphael's parents. So the former Duke Regan and Raphael's parents all died because of your dad, Lawrence? So it would seem. I am terribly sorry, Raphael. Please, accept my apology in my father's stead. Hey, knock it off. You didn't do anything wrong. As it happens, my parents were meant to accompany Godfrey that day. But they had a scheduling conflict and recommended that Raphael's parents go instead, which means... Not you too, Ignatz! Look, everybody. Kids aren't responsible for what their parents do. Lawrence, do we know for sure that the order came from your father? I was wondering the same thing. Your father was always protective of the nobility's reputation, and it seems strange he would do something so sneaky, and so anti-merchant besides. Based on what the bandits said, I suspect it was someone from our house acting alone. By the time my father realized what was happening, the culprit had vanished, along with any hope of ever sussing out their true motives. Only the mercenaries remained, and my father had no choice but to punish them. I bet they didn't care at all about what happened behind the scenes. Far as they were concerned, their employer betrayed them. But I don't get how any of this has to do with you right now, Lawrence. A feudal lord is responsible for all that happens within their realm. Therefore, anything left unresolved by my father falls by necessity to me. I would also like to pay appropriate reparations to both you and your family, as is fair and proper. But I don't need anything from you. I can take care of my family plenty well on my own. Besides, I made my peace with what happened to my folks a long time ago. You can't change that now. All you can do is stir up a bunch of old, painful memories. Yes, but still... But nothing. I'm done talking about this. I'll still take my reward for beating up the bandits, though. Meat party, remember? You promised me the finest ham in all the land. And just thinking about it's got me drooling. This does not sit right with me. What should I do? Less talk, more ham. And you better have enough for me and Ignatz, too. Oh, uh, right. Very well. In that case, I shall arrange for the finest spread of meat the world has ever seen. I stake House Gloucester's very reputation on it. <laughs>
Now that's the right thing to do. Still feels a little weird to leave it like this. But I guess this is for the best. I'm glad we have returned to Enbar. It's far warmer than the kingdom, for one. How are you doing, Your Majesty? I hope you've been getting some rest, at least. It seems you never stop working unless someone physically pulls you away from it. I've been getting more rest than Hubert, at least. We're here in the gardens, chatting, are we not? Fair enough. And so I'm clear. Even a sliver of your time is a blessing beyond all measure. Though, I suggest you find a better point of comparison than Hubert for how hard you work. This is the part where you nobles all crowd around a table slurping on tea, right? Seems like a good enough way to unwind a bit. Tea? I wouldn't mind were it just myself and Her Majesty, but... Hmm? What's happening in the throne room? Hubert, what's wrong? Intruders in the palace, Your Majesty. They entered through one of the secret passages, and are even now attempting to hunt you down. I sent soldiers to intercept them, but we should be prepared for anything. Do you think it's those who slither in the dark? I know not. But they could not have breached that passage without assistance from the inside. Though there are only a few who know of that passage, and would be capable of acting as a guide. Your Majesty, might you kindly step this way? Hubert, do you really think he would do that? Trying to annihilate me as well? Thanks to you, the assassin made their escape! As though one of your paltry skill would have caught such elusive prey in the first <sighs> place. What matters now is that we give pursuit. All trespassers must be felled without mercy. Ready to be battling. Just turn me loose already. Handle this. That 
with Shamir, which means the attackers. They must be the Knights of Cirrus' assassins. We must protect Her Majesty with everything we have. Yeah. Hey, stop the enemy incursion. Seal off those entry points before reinforcements arrive. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. You can count on me. I'll do my best. I will gladly handle this. Allow me to work with you. Oh, if I must. This should be easy if we work together. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of let us face our foes as one. So, what you need a hand? Fine, let's go. Lady Edelgard, I must ask that you remain in the throne room where it will be easier to defend you and predict enemy movements. And as your protection will require my full attention, I will remain here at your side. Let's take it down at once. Begin. I am. It is clear why he allowed the assassins himself. We must exterminate them with much haste. Peace, good and true. I assure you, there no fight. Not a problem. I've got... Says the wolf in sheep's clothes. But sure, whatever. Where's the Emperor? I'm swapping in! Take a breather! It's my turn! Good. Just a little more and we'll retake this section of the palace. Target, which means you're wasting my time. It seems you're actually willing to work when the Emperor's life is on the line. Could you imagine the headaches if she died? Not that you don't already work every second of the day. Time to wreck. Is it my turn? My turn. Creature, let's stay on guard. Over here! Not a problem. More intruders! Watch closely. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit, what? I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. The teams with enemies. Trust them all. In. Is there My even turn. one room I can be alone?
you can count on me. You can count on me. I'll... Stronghold in the rubble. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Not a problem. It's my turn. The enemy is trying to seize the fire orbs. For you. For you. They'll be able to target Her Majesty. You can't let that happen. This stronghold will fall. I claim the Emperor's head myself. I won't lose. Let me your aid. Let us join forces. We won't be defeated. Out of my way. That enemy poses a nasty threat. Dispatch her at once. You can count on me. Uh, the sad is it my turn? They're an army. Not good. We're sitting ducks now. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over the magic to send in attackers. I'm on it. No charge. It's too close. We best You're stay right. on our guard. Take a breather. Not a problem. I've got. Watch I'm glad you took care of those reinforcements. The last thing I want is more work. I'm on fire! <laughs> This stronghold will fall! It's my turn! My turn? Takes care of the rabble, which leaves us with the true problem at hand. 
will not escape our club. Not a problem. I've got this. Just this time. Watch closely. I'm really keeping my heat on. All right. Time for another approach. Enough of this. It seems clear the enemy won't come out of hiding until I do. Let's do this! That may be true, Your Majesty. But is it wise to place yourself in such a pit? try and lure us out, but such courage will cost you your life! Thunder, Catherine. It seems Rhea is not playing around. No mercy to the Archbishop's enemies! I guess it's now or never. We'll do it together! I've got you now! My turn. My lord, we stand ready to walk the Emperor back to your throne room upon your command. They've broken through. You must hurry to her Majesty's side. Here goes. You do it. Let me your aid. Let us join forces. We won't be defeated. As you wish. Use the magic. A wise man is ever ready. Nicely done. Thank you, Minister Heather. You're taking a beating, Catherine. But don't worry. I've got your back. I'm swapping in. It is strange, Shemar. I heard you quit the Knights of Saros, yet here you are. Well, someone's done their research. But yeah, I'm just another mercenary now. Come work for us, and we will spare Catherine's life. Don't listen to him, Shamir! That can't be good. Run, Catherine. I'm staying. Don't make me drag you out of here, Shamir. Go before I kill you myself. Damn it. Good. We have a contract. The threat has been quelled. But we allowed them far too much leeway. The situation calls for careful reflection. Still, you saved my life, which means my path for the future remains intact. Thank you.
Hubert, did you hear? My father has... vanished. Yes. We should have killed the dastard when we had the chance. What happened to your solemn vow to not let him stage a comeback? <sighs> I told you this would happen. I think you knew he would try and scrabble his way out of his predicament. Such is the nature of a noble. Until you finally squash them, that is. I have no way to refute that point. I could excoriate you further, but we lack the time. We must get to the bottom of this, and quickly. The Knights of Saros descended on us with the fury I have rarely seen. In all that confusion, even a bear could have slipped away without raising an alarm. I would not go so far as to call them conspirators, but my father had many old friends in the palace. Some may have turned a blind eye. They should be found and questioned. I agree. That is one possibility. Though well, there is another. Yes, well, now that we have a fugitive on our hands, I intend to make full use of it. This situation affords us a chance to remedy another. If that is the beginning of a scheme, Hubert, you do a terribly poor job of veiling it. It is no concern of yours. Not yet, at any rate. Right. Lovely. Well, so long as whatever you're planning has Edelgard's blessing and will be of aid to the Empire, I will brook no complaint. All will be revealed in time. <laughs> I must make more progress. This isn't my finest moment. I'm told the secret passage they used was sealed off centuries ago. Yes. The palace floor plans failed to even show it. I'm shocked the church knew of its existence. In the age of Saros, the Empire and church were intimately related. It's safe to assume the central church took pains to retain its information from the time. I shudder to think what other inconvenient secrets they might be privy to. Yes. Well, based on the scale of the attack, they must have seen this as their first and only chance. Ah, oh, there you are. And they said you wanted to talk? Uh, yes. I believe I owe you an apology. Oh, yeah? What for? To be blunt, I thought you were with the enemy. I had you pegged for an informant, planted among us by those who slither in the dark. It was not an unreasonable assumption. You enter Her Majesty's life at the perfect time, allure her with your strength, and choose our house to study with. And oh, surprise! You have dark powers. It was all too much to dismiss as mere coincidence. It was at Hubert's suggestion that I appointed you captain of our mercenary unit. He felt this would allow us to quietly assess your abilities and allegiances, and I agreed. I know I told you I did this because I believed in you and your strength, but the decision was somewhat more nuanced than that. I'm sorry. The moment I got wind of this attack, I immediately thought of you. 
This is it, I thought. The traitor has sprung the trap, and now the Emperor's life is in danger. But instead, you thwarted the assassination attempt and kept Your Majesty safe. I was wrong about you. Deeply so. And for that, I am ashamed beyond measure. Pray forgive me. Don't worry about it. I would have done the same. Honestly, I thought it was weird how quick you both trusted me. Good to finally know the reason behind it all. That does not excuse our actions. We had no right to deceive you as we did. But I swear, we will make amends. You have but to let us know how. You can start by trusting me. Or, if that's not in the cards, have the decency to tell me you don't to my face. At least then I'll know where I stand. I doubt doing so would have changed anything. But I understand the sentiment. We will attempt to be better going forward. Be better? Really? Hubert, why not just promise to be more forthright? Because that might make me a liar. Let me speak plain. I no longer believe you to be working with the enemy. However, that does not necessarily mean the possibility is now non-existent. Well, I guess I did ask for honesty. But look, do you guys trust me or not? Of course we trust you. Or I do, at least. So please, let us begin this relationship anew on solid ground. Hmm. It is now 1182. The great war Edelgard instigated has swept across Fodlan and looks more grim with each passing day. The Empire struggles to hold Arian Road to the west and the Great Bridge to the east. The kingdom cannot bring Western lands to heal. Even the Alliance must face changing times. The Central Church sends the Knights of Saros to the Imperial capital to assassinate the Emperor, but fails. Roughly half a year passes before the tides show any true sign of shifting. Scarlet Blaze, Shifting History. 5 months have passed since the attack on the emperor and 1182 nears a close. Though each army schemes, the battle maps barely change, but now history is about to resume its course. Today is a momentous day in Fodland's history that people will mark for generations to come. Then why do you look so conflicted? <sighs> I'm not conflicted, Claude. I'm just painfully aware of how much stronger I need to be. That's why I'm counting on you and the Alliance to make up the difference. Hey, I've got feeling unprepared down to a science, so let's say we help each other out. If we work together, we can achieve what's best for both of us, right? Indeed. I have reviewed the terms, Your Majesty. All that remains is the placement of your seals. Everything looks good to me. I'm especially glad we found a solution to the control of murder. You've done fine work here, Hubert. Thanks. And thanks to you as well, Holst. You know I'm not good at this sort of thing. I've never known you to shy away from ceremonial affairs like this. But it is the most significant pact since the founding of the Leicester Alliance, so your caution was most prudent. I must admit, I was quite nervous. Thankfully, I managed not to follow it up. You surely jest? 
You did your work masterfully, without batting an eye. I am truly impressed that Lester's most valiant general is so well-versed in diplomacy. Don't be insulting, Hubert. Sir Holst is a duke. A man can be brave in battle and still know how to get things done. Take our Minister of Military Affairs, for example. A man for whom the term looks can be deceiving was likely invented. Speaking of Count Burglies, where is he? I thought he'd be here so we could go head to head. We never did get to finish our battle. I'm afraid the Count couldn't make it, but perhaps you'd consider my bodyguard instead? I'm certain you'll find the challenge to your liking. Is this your first time meeting, by the way? It is. Well, friend, care to go around with me? They say this Holst character is the strongest man in Leicester. But is he as strong as the Ashen Demon? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Now that's what I like to hear. I hope you mean later and not this very second. It would be a shame to get blood all over this nice paperwork. Yes. All eyes are on us. We must make this a grand gesture and show our soldiers that Adrestia and Lester have joined forces for a brighter future. Well, let's get to it. As leader of all the lords and knights who sit at the round table of the Lester Alliance, I, Claude Von Regan, hereby swear this pact. Lester pledges to work in harmony with the Adrestian Empire and do everything in its power to secure a peaceful future for Fodlan. By the covenant between the red blood and the white sword that crowns the double-headed eagle, I, Edelgard von Hressfeld, hereby swear this pact. Adrestia pledges to work hand in hand with the Leicester Alliance to deliver peace to the land and secure a future for all its people. The pact is sealed. And now it is our job to uphold it. Goodness, look how far you've risen. You're standing on the stage of history. I know you'll do great things. Yes, and greater things still. Right then, we've got plenty of bright new faces here at the round table today. First, a brand new Count ruling Gloucester. And Duke Goneril and Count Ordelia have decided that their heirs will sit for them. Unfortunately, Lawrence and Lysithia can't join us due to their responsibilities in the Imperial Army. I called you here to give you notice. The Leicester Alliance is assenting to the Empire's request and sending troops to the Kingdom Front. Houses Regan, Gloucester, and Daphne will be supplying most of the soldiers. And instead of the usual route through Aelel, we'll be invading Fraldarius directly by sea. You're staying behind, right, Holst? Indeed I am. Almira is still an unknown quantity. And we've no idea if or when Prince Shahid might stage another attack. And the same goes for House Ordelia. They've had more than their share of troubles on their border. We agreed that shipping their army away might not be the most prudent of ideas. And that's all she wrote. You'll find the details in the document you've all been given. I wish the kingdom would see there between a rock named Adrestia and a hard place named Lester and throw that white flag high, but of course they won't. So good luck, everyone. I'm counting on you. And so, the Alliance has agreed to bring their troops to bear and attack the kingdom from the east. At the same time, we will resume our invasion from the west using Aryan Road as a foothold. We'll subjugate the kingdom's lords one by one as we work our way toward Blathen. 
News of the pact will doubtless have spread throughout the kingdom by now. Provided enough houses see the futility in fighting, we may be able to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. However, that is likely wishful thinking. We should instead expect the worst, and prepare accordingly. You think? Some of them already bent the knee to us once, along with Count Roe. Wouldn't they jump at a chance to swap sides again? An idea I am certain has already occurred to the King. Lately, we have been scrambling to reorganize, dealing with an attack by the Knights of Seros and negotiating a pact with Lester. And during that time, the winds of purgation have swept across Fargus. In one fell swoop, the King has expunged most of the nobles likely to align with us. Still, it's us and the Alliance against him, which means we've got the advantage. What's there to worry about? The concern isn't that we'll lose. It's that winning might come at the cost of too many lives. What an utterly pointless, senseless thing to do. Oh, I find it all so very draining. Whatever our intent, we're the instigators here. We can't expect the enemy to do anything less than defend their land with tooth and claw. Speak for yourself. If someone invaded my territory, I'd hand over lands and titles on a silver platter. Especially if I had no chance of winning. There is truly no other noble like you, Lenard. And perhaps no person at all for that matter. Regardless, we must proceed with caution. When people think someone is after what they possess, they respond with fear, even if the thought is all in their head. In the eyes of the people of Fargus, there is no limit to what evils the Empire might visit upon them. My father started saying he can't sleep, because he's scared the old church is coming to Garrett Mock to kill him. From the sound of my mother's letters, he's really shaken up. Remember that the kingdom has much coldness. We must not forget to be bundling up like people of the snow. Our Petra is always ready for what lies ahead. I wish I had better understanding of your Fodlin ways, so I could be giving more assistance to everyone. Don't worry about it, Petra. With all the different factions in this thing, even we have a hard time keeping it straight. <sighs> this all must seem so backward compared to the way things were in Bridget. In any case, the battles ahead will be more brutal than any we have yet fought. Keep a vigilant eye out for both yourselves and each other. That is all. Dismissed. Guess things aren't gonna be so easy anymore. We're under some real pressure to win. strategy. I have a 
proposition. Hey, so hear me out. I what if we tried this? Just leave everything to me, shall we? What do you think? Edelgard, I'm glad I found you. Got a few? Of course. What is it? Well, remember how Hubert laid into me after the Knights of Saros raided Enbar? It got me thinking, what do I need to do for you to trust me again? Nothing. Hubert and I stopped doubting you the moment that business was behind us. You worked tirelessly for me, and I'm grateful for that. So please, there's no need to worry. Still, we have no idea when those who slither in the dark might try to interfere again. Honestly, it kind of feels like there's more I should be doing to help. Like I'm just floating around without a purpose or something. Very well. What do you propose? Hmm. If I had to pick something, I'd say protecting you would be my top priority. Everyone's got a bone to pick with you, especially the church and those who slither in the dark. And they won't rest till they have your head. After all, the Imperial Army's not gonna lose if we've got you at the top handing down orders. And I figure Hubert will stay off my back as long as I put my energy into keeping you safe. Then you can lead us to victory, and we'll all live trustfully ever after. Perhaps, but I think you're forgetting something. The only way to protect me is by staying at my side, and therein lies a conundrum. Allowing you that close to me would in itself be proof of my trust, without which you would have never earned such an opportunity in the first place. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Still, I can't help but feel like that's what I've got to do to prove myself to you. Please, Edelgard. Even if it just means shielding you from your enemies. Hmm. Very well. Do as you will. In the meanwhile, I'll tell Hubert... Well, I'm not entirely sure what I will tell him. At the very least, we know those who slither in the dark are able to shapeshift at will. So, in a way, it doesn't matter who I choose to surround myself with. They could just as well turn out to be someone wholly different. Thanks, Edelgard. I honestly could have sworn you were gonna say no. Of course. 
What I truly want to know is why you'd risk your life just to earn my trust. Do you really have to ask? You reshaped my entire life. Before I met you, I had nobody. I was nobody. But you still chose me, of all people, to command one of your armies. Now, I can't walk down the street without people yelling my name. And I've got a great life, surrounded by amazing friends. All of it possible because of you. That's not true. You would not have earned this post if you lacked the talent. Maybe now, but before you came along, nobody in the Empire gave a Pegasus's backside about talent. You gave me a seat at the table when no one else would. Ah, I see. If you want proof you've changed the world, just take a look at me. Because this guy, he's a whole new person thanks to you. going on and on. Do you think we will ever have sight of the end? Yeah, I do. Maybe not today or tomorrow, but it's definitely out there on the horizon. It will be good to be putting this war behind us. When the war is finished, what are you wishing to do? That's a pretty big question. Then I will give more clarity. How will you be supporting yourself when your contract is completed? If you have the desire, you could come to Bridget with me. Wait, seriously? I thought you were just pulling my leg about that. I would never be pulling your legs. Also, I am speaking with seriousness. After losing the war with the Empire, Bridget was forced into becoming a vassal state. This war is giving Bridget the chance to stand on equal feet again. We will be opening our borders to Fodlin. The exchanges between us will flourish. I am needing a person I can trust to give me help with this. Huh. Please, accept my apologies if the offer was given with too much suddenness. No, it's not that. I was just taking a moment to admire you. This war has been particularly ugly, and it seems like we're tearing each other apart on a daily basis. But people like you and Edelgard are already thinking about what comes next, how to plan for it. You're every bit the ruler they are. No, I am different. I am the Queen of Bridget. We are the proud isles, placed upon the sea by the spirits who are watching over us to this day. Our future has the brightness of the sun. I am hoping you will be at my side as we are shaping it. Powerful words. And I'm happy you put that much stock in me. Honestly, it's a good fit. I've got nothing tying me down. No family, no titles, no property to speak of. I am not asking for your answer in this moment. I know your sword is sold right now. But when this war is over, I hope the making of a decision is at the top of your to-be-doing list. That is why I am approaching you so early, because I am very, very sneaky. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll keep that in mind. And I don't blame you for trying to sneak ahead of the competition. Honestly, I'm kind of flattered. So, how about this? Let's both make it through this war unscathed and decide what comes next together. Any results, a good result. Well, well. 
That reminds me. Let's see. Truly. What do you think? <laughs> that reminds me, I actually found myself at a noble's tea party not too long ago. Oh, you must be talking about Ferdy, right? He does love his tea. Uh, no. It happened while I was doing some work as a bodyguard. The nobles who threw the party even gave me a cup of tea to show their appreciation. I didn't really know what to make of it, though. Hard to say if it was even good or bad. Understandable. Settings like that tend to choke the flavor out of any food or drink you happen to come across, among other things. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm built for all that fancy stuff. Hey, remember when I asked you to sing for me? You belted out a verse from one of your operas? It kind of reminded me of that tea. It's like I just don't have the background for that sort of stuff. If you don't grow up in it, you're not gonna get it. Everyone has a right to those things, though. Taking in a tragic opera, letting an elegant meal dance across your taste buds. Nobody should be excluded from those pleasures just because they were born a commoner. It'd be good if that's how things worked. Hmm? You think it's not? Take my time back as a mercenary. I would have gladly eaten a half-cooked rat if it meant I was getting food in my belly. It's only since I joined up with this army that my palate's become a little more discerning. But what I'm saying is, if you never have the chance to eat good food, then you'll never know what good food is supposed to taste like. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, but... In that case... Uh, Dorothea? Oh, sorry. I got a bit caught up in my thoughts there. But I think it might be just as you say. Will you indulge me for a moment? Sure. What's on your mind? When I first started singing, I did it for me. Only me. But it wasn't long until Manuela discovered my gift. So, I joined the opera company. It felt... incredible. I wanted the whole world to hear my singing. But once I became a songstress, I started attracting more and more attention from the nobles. Before I knew it, I wasn't singing for myself anymore. I was singing for them. 
Now you can't even appreciate my songs if you weren't born with a silver spoon in your mouth. That might be true, but like I said, that isn't necessarily a bad thing. So many people would kill to be able to do what you can do. So don't belittle yourself like that. Your singing is incredible, Dorothea. I appreciate that. <laughs> I really do. But I still can't help but wonder. Basically, I suppose. Why would you want to speak with me? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but no.
My, this is wonderful! That's appalling. Hey, could you spare a moment? Wonderful. Thank you. Greetings. In actuality, Excuse me. Actually, hello there. Nice one. Hmm. <laughs> what do you 
What do you need? <sighs> I agree. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army.
Everything has its use. Time to work you into shape. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. Someone knows my weakness. Thanks. Aw, oh, thanks. That's sweet. Food tastes better when you eat it with someone anyway. Come back whenever you're hungry. Soldiers of the Empire. Literally anyone else would be more useful. Let's clean up. The fight starts now. They're not taking this from us. We will surmount this challenge together. <laughs> I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Pardon my ineptitude. I shall exert what meager ability I possess. I've got it. Me. <gasps> Looks like that's Stand it for us. Watch this. Let's get started. Not a problem. Down. I can still fight. Nice. I'm 
know you can do better than that. On to the next one. We can always count on you. I'm alright. No! Just in case. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No, but they must learn who th I'll take over. <laughs> More bitter than black as coffee. <laughs> Not all days go the way you hope. My turn? Yeah. Looks like that's it for us. Success was to be expected. Is that all we've got? What's next? We're not looking. I've got it. Listen to anyone. The stronghold's ours. My accomplishments won't need a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. That's some power you've got. Nicely done. Stand back! The enemy's offensive was unexpectedly feeble. I can't afford such setbacks. I won't let myself stop here.
We've finished laying out where the troops will be positioned, Claude. But, uh, are you sure about this? Am I sure about what? This isn't even remotely like a standard attack formation. It's like you're going out of your way to limit casualties. Not true. The moment the enemy drops their guard, we'll swarm them like a pack of bees. And if they don't drop their guard? Then I guess we'll just sit here making angry faces at each other. Okay, come on. This strategy is not helpful. Look, just by being here, we're drastically reducing the number of Kingdom soldiers the Imperial Army has to deal with, right? Which means we don't have to kick our troops into action until the Empire has marched further north. Once they're positioned to seize Blathed territory, that's when we'll move. And if it all goes wrong, the losses could have catastrophic consequences for the future of the Alliance. I'm not used to you being so worried about the big picture, Hilda. You've grown. I wasn't going to stay a kid forever, you know. Apparently not. I'm impressed. Look, Hilda, I promise you, your fears are misplaced this time. The Empire's already compensated us for any potential losses, and will continue to do so. You don't think I would have signed that fancy pact if they weren't taking care of us, right? Sure, but are they good for their word? Because I have doubts about that. I want to believe the pact will hold. I really do. But they strike me as folks who won't think twice about sticking an axe between your shoulders if the situation calls for it. Fortunately, I can be pretty ruthless myself when it suits me. If I don't like something the Empire is doing, it might even be me who ends up breaking the pact. If that's supposed to make me feel better, it is absolutely not working. Easy, easy. I'm just throwing out a what if here. Just promise that you'll always have my back, even when things look their worst, all right? I need you. Oh, fine. But only because it's you. A report, Your Majesty. The Imperial Army marches on Western Fargus. Just when we'd brought peace back to the area, too. We should get ready to provide aid at once. Rodrigue has already been dispatched to Mateus, along with all the soldiers I can currently spare. And I've sent Annette and Gustav to the Baron's side, though if it's for better or worse, is yet to be seen. I don't doubt we'd all ride to the rescue if we could, but that's clearly not possible given the situation. Agreed. Now that Claude's joined up with the enemy, we can't risk doing anything foolish. If we move our soldiers even a breath away from the Northeast, the Alliance will be all over us. All we can do now is divide our forces to keep the enemy in check and meet their attacks as they come. We never should have let this happen in the first place. But who could have seen the Empire and Alliance forming such a union? Bor, are you seriously going to just stand by and watch? They'll overrun us if we don't stem the tide. Though it smacks of desperation, I'm told the Western Front has enlisted the services of Geralt's mercenaries. They're the same band that carried the battle at Magdred Way, so I hope we can make good use of them again. Is this really the plan? Burn through mercenaries while we hole up here? Do try not to be so grim. The Empire has pushed rapid reforms on the land over these last few years. Not everyone was happy to have such changes thrust upon them, and that includes their new friends in the Alliance. The Empire is leaning over the Kingdom with such greed that they might yet trip over their own feet. Do you think there will be revolts? I'm certainly not going to plan my strategy around it, but there have been whispers, yes. The old ways must die, with that I agree. But shove that down the people's throats, and you risk breaking the very land you're trying to rule. 
Yes. We've grappled for years with the aftermath of trying to enact reform. Change is a painful process. But rushed change will set the region to rot from the inside out. I wonder why they're so intent on doing this the quick and dirty way. It's difficult to say. Uh, perhaps were things different, we might have found some common ground, some harmonious way forward. But I've lost too many I care about to this war. Ingrid, chief among them. <sighs> when I think about what they fought for, what they died for, there can be no turning back. I stand ready. There's no time to waste. The fight starts now. I will lead us to splendid victory. I won't let you down. Now it is my turn. Go for it. Not a problem. Move out. You can count on me. Watch closely. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Let's take it down at once. I did it. You can count on me. None shall surpass. Watch this. Take a breather. <laughs> Would you expect any less of me? It is my turn. Go It's no use. We can't gain any ground. You can count on me. I'll... How does that please you? It's nothing to boast about. What did you expect? Yeah. 
Not a problem. I've got this. You can count on me. I'll go on ahead. Now it is my turn. Go for it! It's my All turn! All would be lost if I were to die here. None shall surpass! I'll take over! I do hope you'll make this fun for me. Now it is my turn. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. Here I go. No. Let us begin. <laughs> You're pretty useful sometimes. Watch close. My turn at last. Not a problem. Last. We're done for. The rest is up to you. I almost feel sorry for them. Now it is my turn. There is nothing. You'll not have to this. take things from here. My turn. <laughs> I beg your assistance at once. Here I go. No. <laughs> Myself stop here. The Imperial Army will soon be knocking at our door. Why haven't Duval and Dominic stopped them? Baron, you'll never reclaim the title of Viscount your Lord Uncle lost if you go weak in the knees. Letting yourself be pressured into betraying the kingdom will see you cast out of the aristocracy for the rest of time. And your fickle nature would earn you the derision of both the kingdom and the empire alike. They'll view you the same way they do Count Roe. I care not. I've no interest in going to my grave just because I drew the shortest straw. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I figured you'd want to know we finished cleaning up the enemy's advanced troops. Excellent. You certainly live up to your esteemed reputation, Captain Geralt. 
I've never met a more reliable band of mercenaries in all my years. It's a shame we only engaged you for the one contract. I don't suppose we could convince you to extend your term of service. His Majesty the King has heard tale of your exploits. I could arrange for an introduction. I appreciate the offer, but that would mean going to Ferdiad. Hmm. I've got reasons for avoiding that place, so thanks, but no thanks. I see. It will be a shame to lose you, but I won't pry. It's nothing against you or the kingdom, mind you. Then I'll hold out hope we might fight alongside each other again someday. Now, if you'll excuse me, the Baron and I must inspect the camp. Best of luck to you in battle, Captain. You feeling any better? <laughs> I have to say, I'm still not used to this new look of yours. That makes two of us. But it will bother me less once I'm on the battlefield. If you say so. With the war and the state it's in, the Empire is throwing everything they've got at this thing. I don't know if it's that or something else, but I've got a bad feeling. So watch yourself out there. I will. You do the same. Oh, right. <laughs> I've been meaning to give you this. Never used to be without it. Cuts like a dream. I want you to have it. Swords like this are given to captains of the Knights of Saros, and mine was just collecting dust in the band's convoy. That's right. Alois mentioned you used to serve there. That was a lifetime ago. I don't plan on swinging this sword ever again. But are you sure you want to give it away? It must be quite special to you. Uh, I'd be happiest seeing you get some use out of it. Thank you. I'll do that. Be good to it, all right? Do you think this might work? We need to work with what we have. Do my best. Oh, me? The fight starts now. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. Not I hope I can be of some use. Not, Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Please, excuse me. Is...
Excuse me, is this okay? Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're- I think this will go well. I'm going. Not a problem. Looks like that's it for us. What's next? I... I'll fight too. I'm just glad I could be of service. I face my comrades after this. That worked. What a relief. We won't lose, no matter what. Is this... was on our side today. I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, not bad. I've got the hang of it. I'll put this to good use. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Another tool in the belt. Can't wait to see how you do. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. I will heal my own path with this power. done for the sake of power. Can't wait to see how you do. What's up? Let's earn our keep. Striking swiftly is our best <laughs> chance. Now, we can win this! Out of the way! Spirit watches over me. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. I Shall we? Let's give it a shot. to be expected. Not a problem. I've got this. Allow me. I'm swapping in. Take a breather, it's no use. We can't gain any ground. I have finished with great success. I 
We won't lose, no matter what. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The sky's... Allow me! This doesn't look good. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Give it a shot. <laughs> Is it my turn? I'll take over. is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. Oh yeah! The fight starts now. Hope this is one of those easy wins. United, we are unbeatable! Not a problem. I've got this. Right then, let us go to it. I will see my duty done. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I'm on it. No charge. Just li Time to Stand back. Let's do this! 
lost if I were to die yeah, here. We did it! I'm on it. No charge. Finish. Watch this. Take a breather. Retreat. Retreat is a vital strategy. Time to rip Let's stuff. carve a swath through the battlefield. This victory is in the name of Lady Edelgard. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape! to get more power. Can't wait to see how you do.
There's no time to waste. We have a duty to fulfill. starts now. There is little point in dying on a rescue mission. I had best exercise caution. Disadvantage is nothing to fear. We will turn this around. Lend me your strength! Yeah? Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of will. There's not a question of can. Only my will is theirs. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Out of the way! I am your man. Watch closely. Take a breather. I am your man. You're dragging the others down. Right on. Watch closely. Watch this. Take a breather. Let me your strength. It seems you could use some help. This isn't looking so good. Yeah. That turned out well. Here I go. No mistakes. There is not a question of can. Leave this. Take this. This place won't be a problem anymore. To the next one. Here I go. Oh. My turn. My turn. You demonstrate your strength and You may continue to rely on me. My turn. Watch this. My turn. I am your watch club. I'll take over. Stand down. Retreat. 
We did it! I won't ever forget your kindness. Take a breather. I am your man. It's all my fault. of the rescue, and not a moment too soon. I will take all the strength I can get. I won't let myself stop here. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. My instruction comes at a high price. This will help me break new boundaries. Hey, new power! Hey, new power! All right! Hey, new power! All right! What a fascinating power! What a fascinating power! What a fascinating power! What a fascinating power! Who knew this power slept within? Don't neglect your daily studies. Simpler with you. I mean that in a good way. It's so peaceful here. It makes it easy to forget we're in the middle of war.
I find the mercenary lifestyle fascinating. It's a world that's so far removed from my own. Very well. You don't bear a crest, right? I wonder who you really are. <sighs> the responsibilities of a noble are such a burden. I don't have time for all that. You've made my day. It's been a while since I've been able to relax like that. It wasn't half bad. I will prepare the Scarlet Path. Another day? Another stage? Starts now. I have to focus. United, we are unbeatable. Here I go. They must learn who they're right then. Let us go to what unholds ours. Have these defenses crippled in short order. <laughs> in our favor. I'll take over. Take a breather. Victory awaits if we can claw our way back from this disadvantage. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> uh. 
I will see my duty done. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Here goes! Until I've seen my performance. Right then. Let us take over. I'll take over. Nice one. Probably best not to overdo it. There are avenues that yet remain open to us. you nowhere.
very well. Greetings. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Something. Is this it? 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 See you around. can be the difference between victory and defeat. <laughs> Giving less than one's all is unacceptable. I 
just want to go home. My style may change, but my mission does not. Can't wait to see how you do. I'm ready to be battling. For Lady Edelgard! Let's earn our keep. I, Monica von Ox, will pour my love for Lady Edelgard into this battle. United, we are unbeatable! <laughs> They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Not a problem. Okay, so I have this. Will be useful to Lady Edelgard. You need some backup. The enemy's stronghold will be ours. I go. No. Take a breather. Looks like we got a live one. Time to get in there and fight. We'll give it a go. I will gladly handle this. Or ah! Is it my turn? I Don't ready. give him a chance to retaliate! Finish this! Take a breather. I'll take over. The stronghold's ours. What's that? The wounds are severe. I have to fall back. What's next? <laughs> Sorry, we weren't strong enough. I'm sorry. 
We just don't have what it takes. Here I go. No, Miss Famous. My turn. I'm swapping it. The stronghold's in danger. Keep the enemy away from it. Watch this. I'll give it an honest attempt. Take a breather. I'm swapping it. No Not a problem. We can't gain any ground! You underestimated me, didn't you? A feat of much impressiveness. Swap through the battlefield. Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. I don't know how long I can hold up. Help me, please. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No, they must learn who. I'm not falling. I can't hold anyone back over this. My turn. Here it comes. You're dead! Sorry, but I gotta fall back. You did it! I'm unstoppable. I see why Lady Edelgard likes you. Is it my turn? Flame Spirit. I won't let myself stop here. This will help me break new boundaries. Bye. 
Time to work you into shape. Acceptable, I suppose. and improve. We both were sweating greatly. I'll remember this. Who knew this power slept within? We both were sweating greatly. I think it's making sense now. Training can be the difference between can't wait to see how you do. 
delicious and though it's not quite sweet enough for me it has a lovely aroma ah you've noticed yes I added some rare rose nectar that explains the unique flavor I rather like it as the saying goes the richer the nectar the richer the time spent with your companion yes and it goes so well with the treats that no! We've eaten them all! Sadly, I fear that is all we have. Sweet treats are rather difficult to come by in these dark times. But if there is anything else you desire, I will endeavor to provide it. If there are no more treats to be had, I feel our tea is complete. Good day. Wait! Stop! We may not have treats, but surely there are matters on your mind you might like to discuss? No. Again, good day. Lysithia... Uh, <clears throat> I know you do not want to talk about it, but I am aware of a certain... anxiousness on your part when it comes to joining the common folk. <sighs> I don't know who you heard that absurd idea from, but it's certainly not true. It's true that I seek to become a commoner. So when the war is over, I intend to relinquish my peerage and live peacefully with my parents. But anxious? Perish the thought. Yet you must be wrestling with serious matters indeed if you are willing to surrender your title. And you must have at least some unease about what sort of life a commoner leads. From what I hear, Every noble who has descended in status is suffering, without exception. If such a future awaits you, it is surely just cause for a concern or two. You speak of fallen nobles who had their ranks stripped for one reason or another. I'm surrendering the trappings of nobility because it's what I want. Don't lump us together. I see. Well then, if I might raise a final point. What if you become a commoner, and live a life which transcends the barrier between the two classes? You have experience as a noble of some quality, and it would be a terrible waste to see that buried once you join the proletariat. You would bring a unique perspective to your new position, and you could use it to change this world. The nobility will certainly listen to any suggestions you have to improve the lives of the public. Yes, yes, it's all a very pretty thought. But it is meaningless for me. It's the duty of nobility to worry about what is best for commoners and the world at large, no? I can no longer accept responsibility for things in Fodlin. All I can do is be close to my parents and live out what life remains to me in peace. Lysithia, I... Your tea was exceptional. Thank you. I should call it a day. You sticking around? Nah, I should finish up too. Thanks, Shamir. I have to work out new unit formations for our next battle. Hmm. You're pretty conscientious for a mercenary. That's rare in our profession. Well, sorry to cut and run. Good luck with all that. If you're really sorry, you could always give me a hand sometime. It's my responsibility, but that doesn't mean I have to do it alone. Fair enough. Come find me next time I'm off duty. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Dependable as always, Shamir.
Honestly, you're so mature for your age. You always seem so composed, almost wise, even when we're just chatting. I wouldn't say wise. Save that for the higher-ups. I just mind my own business. Plenty of mercenaries do the same. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. You know, you're pretty easygoing yourself, even by Merc standards. Have you been on your own for long? Didn't you belong to a mercenary group at some point? Yeah, but I bounced around a lot. Let's see, the company I was with the longest was... Probably Burling's Mercenaries, the last one I joined. But then we clashed with Gerald's band, and I was the only one who survived. There isn't a mercenary who hasn't lost someone or something along the way. The losing trusted comrades stays with you. Yeah, Captain Burling, Getz, Lasley. We were a tight-knit group, if a little rough around the edges. I would have been content staying with them till the end. Maybe your experience is what's made you so pragmatic. It takes real strength to overcome past hardships and move on. That's what I think, anyway. You know, you seem way more pragmatic than me. I wonder what made you that way. You should know not to pry into a mercenary's past. But if the right moment comes, maybe I'll tell you about it. Hubert, I have been searching everywhere for you. And to what end? Has Her Majesty summoned me? Oh, she would never use me for a task like that. I just wanted to thank you, albeit reluctantly. I do not recall having done anything that would merit such a sincere display of gratitude. Well... You probably just saw it as part of your normal administrative duties. You fixed quite a big mistake in my last report before Her Majesty had the chance to look at it. I woke up in a panic when I realized what I had done. Imagine how mortified I was to see you'd already corrected everything. Ah, yes. I may have done something of the sort. As Her Majesty's loyal servant, it is my duty to pare down the number of... Unnecessary matters, which wander across her desk. I must say, I was surprised to see you make such a foolish and obvious error. Have you truly grown so lax, even as you style yourself the greatest of our Emperor's retainers? I'm aware of the mistake I made, but I would never dream of calling myself something like that. Well... Perhaps I said it once or twice in the heat of the moment, but I never actually meant it. If anyone is Her Majesty's best retainer, it's you. And without House Vestra's say-so, I could never become one of her servants. <sighs> At present, I very much doubt you are fit to serve as Her Majesty's servant. Excuse me? It is true that I did not make a conscious choice to serve Her Majesty at first. Instead, I simply did it because my father decreed it must be so. But such bounds no longer define our relationship. I do not serve the Emperor. My loyalty is to Lady Edelgard and her alone. I stand with her in a manner that goes beyond the bounds of ruler and servant. Do you understand this? I want to be like that with Her Majesty as well. But I am only the child of a Baron, so I don't have excuses to linger in the palace all the time. I have to return to my family's estate once I've fulfilled my duties for the day, and I get summoned back to our territory often. I am not like you. I cannot just be at her side unless I have a good reason to be there. Indeed. 
Hawk's territory is in the far west of the Empire. I surmise you have had to spend much of your time away from Enbar. Furthermore, you will be a Baron one day. Your duties will prevent you from dedicating yourself solely to Her Majesty. Exactly. Unlike you, I have an entire territory's worth of people to protect. But I still won't give up. Even from afar. No. Precisely because I'll be afar, there will be things I can do to protect Her Majesty. In fact, always being at her side might actually cause you to overlook threats from time to time. I may even serve Her Majesty in a way you never could. <laughs> that is a promising thought, Monica. Mercedes, got a sec? Hello, Caspar. What do you need? I wanted to ask you something about Professor Yuritsa. He's your little brother, yeah? Yes, that's right. What of it? Nothing. Except that I've challenged him a bunch of times and he keeps wiping the floor with me. So I thought, maybe you might know some special way I could train to beat him, seeing as you're his sister and all. Hmm, a way to beat Yuritsa. Oh, I have it. All right, lay it on me. Here, follow me. I don't think this is going very well. Please allow me. There, see? If you do it like so, it's actually quite simple. Yeah, that's actually... Wait, no! How is baking supposed to help me beat Professor Yuritsa? Because we're making treats. Oh, I see. A again, no! How does that help? Unless... Hang on. Are these actually magic treats that fill me with unimaginable strength? I don't want to win like that. It's cheating. <laughs> You're so amusing, Caspar. But no, there are no magical treats that do such a thing. Look here. They're almost done, so watch what I do very carefully. look amazing but again and I hate to keep repeating myself here how does this help me beat Professor Yuritsa is there some kind of terrible secret in the method black magic in the brown sugar maybe oh Caspar there's no secret Yuritsa has loved sweets for the longest time but he's terrible when it comes to making them so if you can make a better sweet treat than he, I'm sure he'll be vexed and acknowledge his defeat. I'm trying to beat him in combat, not baking! Hunger is the true enemy. Hey, this is great. I bet anyone would love this stuff.
for me? Really? Well, that's very kind of you. Let's eat it together. How did you know this was my favorite? I thank you deeply. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Oh yeah, we've got this. I will see it done speedily. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both you have not to worry about with me on the job let's get it done we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I know this is for Her Majesty, but I wouldn't mind if it turned into a chance to outshine you. Well, what better way to get results than a little healthy competition? I am amazed we managed to get along well enough for our work to pass muster. Indeed. I wouldn't be able to face Her Majesty with pride in my chest if we botched this task. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both and you need me for this are you sure I'll do what I can we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Counting on you both. We can do it, together. Very well, I will join you. We all must do our fair share. refrained from drinking tea today a bit unusual don't you think I believe the last time that happened was 15 days ago 
Ergo, we can conclude she tends to renounce the beverage when... Hey, remind me why I'm doing this again? What's the point of recording all this stuff? Why not just hang out with her? It is not stuff. These are Her Majesty's great exploits. They must be accurately recorded and preserved within the annals of Imperial history. Not sure I'd call her tea habits great exploits. No one's ever gonna need that information. And how do you remember this stuff? I couldn't even tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. <laughs> I remember everything Her Majesty does. Every word she has ever spoken to me. Every morsel she has ever eaten. Not to mention where and when she ate it. Every sigh that has escaped her lips. Each and every one of her favorite. Yeah, let's stop there. This is all sorts of weird. Why do you say that? These are simply records that need to be kept. All right, you've convinced me. So you understand. This is the very reason I have been granted my excellent memory. But if your memory's so good, then there's no reason for me to help, is there? Oh, but there is. Her Majesty places a great deal of confidence in you. She often engages you in conversation, and the two of you spend an insufferable amount of time together. As such, you're able to obtain information I could not otherwise verify on my own. There is nobody more qualified than you to assist me in this undertaking. All right, fine. I get that you're serious about all this. I don't mind lending a hand when I'm not busy, and there doesn't seem to be much harm in it, for Edelgard, anyway. Spoken like a true confidant of Her Majesty, how dependable of you! It's no wonder she trusts you more and more each day, even if it is maddening. And so, the time has come for me to grant you a very special privilege. I will permit you to devote yourself to Her Majesty as a sign of your undying love. I'm honored. I guess. Does that mean you're not jealous of me anymore? I suppose not. We will be comrades, joined in our quest to bestow love and affection upon Her Majesty. Well, all right then. I wouldn't get your hopes up, though. I'm not really sure how I'd show my love for her, or if I'd even want to. Hmm. Very well. You clearly still fail to appreciate the full extent of Her Majesty's charm. However, I am confident you will come to your senses the more you assist me. I hope that one day you will ascend and become a true admirer of Her Majesty. Uh, yeah, you do that. Um, may I speak with you a moment? Oh, yeah, I was just about to take a break. You need something? Our relationship has been strained for a while, so I thought it was time to resolve our issues. Uh, it has? Yes, at least I felt that way ever since... The incident. Oh, you mean that time you were hollering about some ghost, but it turned out to be a dead tree? I didn't think anything about that, and I didn't tell anyone either. No, not that. Well, yes, there was that, but there was another, more defining incident. Remember? Are you talking about the time I treated you like a kid and you got all mad? Yes, of course that's what I'm talking about. That happened a long time ago, 
Has it really been eating at you ever since? Well, I mean, I was unable to maintain my composure and got rather aggressive with you over trivial details. I kept telling myself that I had to apologize, but I could never bring myself to do it. But now, I'm... Uh, I'm sorry. Well, I'd like to apologize too. I should have been more careful with what I said. Why does being called a kid upset you so much? If you don't think of yourself that way, then any comments of the kind should be like water off the duck's back. Look, I'm a tiny bit younger than everyone else, and it doesn't help that I'm shorter, too. Plus, I do have somewhat of a baby face. Really? You don't look that young to me. You... you don't think so? Yeah. Now that I really look at you, I think you're a very pretty young woman. And you act real mature, too. Oh, no. I'm not really. Uh, but most importantly, your skill at commanding troops puts all the real adults to shame. Hold on. Real adults? So what you're saying is that I'm ultimately still just a child? Ah, oh, crud. I misspoke. What I meant was... There you go. Making excuses again. Now I know exactly what you think of me. Uh, this conversation's going sideways again, isn't it? Huh. It would seem so. Though... I suppose forgiving you would be the mature thing to do. Hey, there you go. See? You are a real grown-up, Lysithia. Something about this still rubs me the wrong way, but... Oh, fine. I just ask that you keep treating me like the adult I am. We'll soon arrive at Baron Mateus's lands. Once we claim them, all of Western Fargus, roughly one third of the kingdom's territory, will be under the rule of the Empire. House Mateus was demoted from a viscountcy to a baronage for their part in some sort of revolt. The current Baron Mateus, whose father was the previous lord, is hardly the most loyal subject of the crown. Removing him from the picture should be a simple matter. However, the kingdom has sent the Baron help in the form of the former Duke Fraldarius, who they call the Shield of Fargus. So long as he holds authority here, we won't be able to break their soldier solidarity. Rodrigue is Felix's father, right? That's unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, I'll fight whoever I need to. It just feels like we're pitted against familiar faces every time we turn around. And that isn't all. Our reports indicate the enemy has hired Gerald's mercenaries. We know from personal experience how formidable those foes can be. The Ashen Demon again. Say, that reminds me. What are you planning to do about that exactly? We can't keep letting one mercenary mess with our whole army. So just watch. I'm gonna take that monster out once and for all. Or at least slow them down, if nothing else. That hesitance doesn't suit you. Not anymore. You're far stronger than the last time your paths crossed. Just say the words and I'll give you all the power I can muster. We will prevail. 
I possess skill at leading surprise attacks, and Bernadetta would be making a good decoy. If we are all working together, we will reach our goal with much ease. I get a say in this whole decoy plan, right? I was only saying a fact, not asking you to be doing it. Please accept my apologies. Oh, okay. I hope you plan to leave some of the enemy for me. You are all so skilled. I often feel like the fifth wheel on a well-crafted carriage. Don't downplay your talents, Ferdinand. You give us courage every time we step on the field. I'm lucky to be surrounded by so many gifted leaders. With all of you at my side, there is no limit to what the Empire might achieve in the years to come. Victory to the Empire! Yay! Come on, Arval. Seriously? You can't drag me off to sleep like this when the battle's about to start. Sorry, but we need to talk. Do you remember the warning I once gave you? Well, I've been struck by a similar premonition now. Something feels wrong. Very wrong. Last time this happened, the Ashen Demon showed up and nearly sent me to an early grave. You think the same thing's gonna happen today? Hard to say for sure. But the feeling's worse this time around. Stronger. So if I had to guess, I'd say they're on the cusp of something terrible. An act far more dangerous than we previously imagined. Well, whatever's happening, I'm just gonna have to stop it. So long as you don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger, yes. Remember, your death would cut both of our destinies far too short. Ready to be battling. Kneel before Her Majesty. Why can't you just let me stay inside? Our enemy has placed Baron Mateus front and center, while Geralt's mercenaries are over with the main position. We have no option but to defeat the enemy commander, Rodrigue. Anything beyond us, however, requires careful consideration. It will take time to ready a path to the shore. Until then, let us begin by attacking the plane to the west. Out of the way! Out of the Empire's here! No! I'm too young to die! Now there's a pitiful man. You're the lord of these lands. Show some pride! Shore up your defenses! Do not permit the enemy to break through! If we take down the strongholds surrounding the Baron, we might convince him to lay down his arms. Get away! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Clearly desperate. Though, those projectiles will admittedly slow us down. <laughs> Who are these wins? Spirit watches over me. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> I was here. I go. No pick. I can't believe it's come to this. Spirit watches over me. Right then, let us go to work. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. Your hidden sorcery engineers in this area who are preparing a fearsome magic that will lay waste to our foes. Watch this! It did not take long for the enemy to spot our engineers. We should stage a rescue if we can. We intend to use their talents to ravage the battlefield with devastating magic. Their absence will completely alter the tide of battle. Rescuing them should be our top priority. <laughs> The enemy stronghold will be ours. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. So far, so good. Though I'm prepared for something to go horrifically wrong in the now. 
I'm all for exercising caution, Lin. Would you not be such a white lady? Take it! Begin! The Sky Spirit watches over me. Right then, let us go to work. <laughs> Thanks for the rescue. <laughs> Any final words? You'll finish. Is it my turn? Good. Keep it up. Here's all the engine users. So, what should I be doing again? Need a hand? I will gladly handle this. Allow me to work with you. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Let us face our foes as one. It's Bernie's time to shine! Now we can truly make the battle. Now, watch this! Send your lightning crashing across the battlefield. I would be honored. This sounds like a job for Alois. Right then, let us go to work. I will see. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. Move it! The enemy detachment from the rear? Here I go. No mistakes. They must take, take them out now. We can't Stand afford the risk. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. We will soon control the area. Good. Aloise's reinforcements have arrived. Might you go help our soldiers in the Northwest, young mercenary? Consider it done. Not a problem. Move. I said I'd hand them the victory, and I'm not going to back down now. He's at least semi reasonable. If we can pin him down, I think he'll listen. Please, Please tell me you're not over. pointing that thing at my beautiful face. Yes, I will beat 
They must learn who they're up against. I won't last long trying to hold them off from two directions. Not Reek's in danger. I'd better go back. We've come to help, Lord Rodrik. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my duty done. I'll take over. Not turn. a moment too soon. Let's show them the steel Fargus is made of. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit What? Right then. Let us go. Bringing it down. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Now go and help your comrades. Begin. I am advancing. Stand back. We have Swapping nothing in. to fear from that rabble. And take the strong. There's 
No avoiding a fight with the Ashen Demon now. Allow me. My turn. Empire will not be impeded. Let's do it! We'll do it together! I've got you now! I can still win this. No. Not again. I have to get out of here. Happy to see the demon flee, but that erratic behavior concerns me. Here for me? You must be eager to die. Reinforcements. I don't remember agreeing to take the rear. I'll have to charge double for this. I've got. Watch this. Any final words? Can you keep up? Do you forget who I am? Get out of Looks like you finally beat me. About time my luck ran out. Guess I'm overdue. The rest is up to you, kid. I defeated the Blade Breaker. I can't believe it. Randolph! Don't worry about me. Just go. Hurry! I won't! Please, Flesh! No! How? How could you? You monster! Hey! <sighs> Please 
Mrs. Randolph. This can't be real. Randolph, I'm so sorry. You're gone forever. And it's all because of me. It's all my fault. Enough. You know that's not true. But he could have escaped. And instead he stayed behind to protect me. And that's why that... That... Thing... <laughs> In that case, the fault is mine. I had the Ashen Demon cornered and couldn't close the deal. And then Gerald gave me so much trouble that I wasn't able to reach you in time. I could have prevented all this if I'd just been a little quicker. A little better. That's not true. You saved me. That wasn't me. It was Randolph. He gave his life for yours. No. No, I... <laughs> I know there's nothing I can say that's gonna help. So instead, I'll let my sword do the talking, when I cut the Ashen Demon down. You're more than capable of it, too. You had that monster right in your grasp. I only wish my premonition hadn't come true. Gerald's... gone? No. This is all my fault. I let them walk all over me. I left him unprotected. I'm sorry, Captain. I'm so sorry. It is what it is. Mercenaries live short lives. It did not have to be like this. Had you not scorned my strength, your father would yet live. The Captain was a true titan among men. I... I can't believe he's gone. <sighs> there is a way to solve this woe. Just grant to me your worldly flesh, and vengeance shall be yours. We must now send the whelp that killed your father to an early grave. Do you mind taking command for a while, Heloise? There's something I need to do. Well, yes, of course, but... Surely I can aid you. No, this task is mine alone. Very well. But don't you dare get yourself killed. <sighs> Kill is to grow stronger. Great things await me. Seems like fighting's all I do these days. I won't let myself stop here. I'm getting stronger! I must make the most of this ability. Enemy commander, the former Duke Fraldarius has been defeated. Now Mateus territory and all the western lands of Fargus will yield as one to the Empire. Still, 
This battle came at a far greater cost than we are used to paying. This is the most dead and wounded we have ever faced in a battle. Not to mention the loss of General Randolph. And yet, we might finally be rid of one of the greatest thorns in our collective side. Eliminating Captain Gerald was a masterstroke. If we are lucky, his band will fall apart without him. Or it may throw them into a vengeful fury that makes them stronger and more united than ever. That's going to be a problem, especially with the Ashen Demon still roaming the land unchecked. An intriguing figure, that one. And a crest bearer for certain. We'd be smart to step lightly. Guess that explains where all the awesome power is coming from. But the Ashen Demon doesn't strike me as nobility, and only nobles have crests. I'd posit the man standing next to you doesn't exactly exude nobility either. The demon's hair exhibits new color. It is like something from one of Bridget's old stories. One will be chosen by the spirits and granted their protection. And with that protection, great power. Can I just go on the record and say no to vengeance? I have zero interest in being revenged upon. That's the risk one takes when entering battle, Bernadetta. Sadly, you can't take up arms and not expect reprisal. We have no control over whether they come for us or not. We can only control what we do next. No way! No one's making me take my medicine! If you insist on continuing to interrupt Her Majesty, you will have far more immediate things to fear than an enemy's nebulous vengeance. <laughs> Come to think of it, has anyone seen our mercenary friend? I know what I told Fleisch, but did I really do the right thing? Of course, you did what no one else could. The Ashen Demon may have escaped, but you got rid of their captain. There's no question you've grown, and next time, the Ashen Demon will fall. But so many people died, including Randolph. A price must always be paid for victory. And besides, Randolph is just one man. One man who was hand-picked by Edelgard, just like me. One man who shared all of our struggles. He was a good man and a fine ally, and now he's dead because of me. I had no idea you cared so much. All the more reason to finish what you started. You can still make this death mean something, and I can give you the strength to do so. Now cheer up! Seeing you sad like this makes me... Makes you what? Yes, it, it makes me very... something. Tight in the chest. Anyway, stop frowning at me. I don't like it. No matter what anyone else tells you, I'm the closest ally you have. Remember, we're partners in destiny. Are you prepared for this? Honestly, I don't know. Gerald wouldn't want this. He didn't believe in vengeance for vengeance's sake. Indeed. You could not be more right. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. <sighs> I could do this by force, you know. Be grateful then that I asked for your leave at all. You're right. This has to come from me. And I accept your power. Help me win, no matter what it takes. Ah, 
Ah, yes. You shall make a most worthy vessel after all. And now, behold all that I have discovered at the edge of time. Scarlet Blaze. Heroic Bloodlines. Through a new pact with the Lester Alliance, Edelgard can direct her might at the kingdom, and though it comes at no small price, her forces steadily gain the upper hand. But the kingdom does not stand idly by. Dimitri rallies the Western Lords, led by House Dominic, blood of one of the ten elites, in a last-ditch effort to forestall the Empire. No, brother. Anything but that. You cannot force the relic onto Annette. Calm yourself. I've merely bade her wield it, not sent her rushing off into the teeth of the enemy. It's all right, Father. I know I'm the only one who can do this. Just seeing the crest of Dominic and our hero's relic is going to improve everyone's morale. It shames me to thrust this task on you when it should have fallen to that craven son of mine. Yes, I doubt we can expect Simon to return and wield the relic, considering how quickly he abandoned us. It seems I raised him poorly, yes. I should have taught him how our house managed to survive this long without starving or freezing. Don't look so sad, Uncle. I'll gladly carry the burden until Simon returns. But, Annette... Enough, Father. Stop worrying. After all, this is nothing compared to what the soldiers are going through at the front. So many people are fighting and dying out there. Some of them my good friends. I'm not going to cower in safety while they struggle. Especially when I'm in the best position to help. Forgive me, Annette. If you sense any danger at all, child, Promise me that you'll run. I couldn't bear to lose you. I know, Father. So let's just all do the best we can to keep our land safe. The nearer we get to Blayfit territory, the more resistance we're likely to face. The lords surrounding the capital are the most loyal to the crown. We have Geraint. Enid, Brennius, and Bellinus. There is no telling whether these houses will choose subjection or destruction. Regardless, we cannot simply ignore them as we attempt to march on the capital. We must seize control of each of their lands and establish footholds before continuing on. The Alliance is still doing everything we expected of them. There are no changes on that front. So as long as we continue tightening the vice around the kingdom, we're certain to fulfill your majesty's goals. Glad to hear it about the Alliance. Does this mean the war will be over soon? I feel some actual motivation coming on. Well, in that case... Nope, nope, never mind, motivation gone. That was a close one, Bernadetta. You almost got yourself assigned to the front lines. As for me, you know what to do. Just put me right at the front and let me start wrecking stuff. We shall see who does more wrecking of stuff, Kaspar. I will not be letting you outshine me. Watch as I am bringing glory to Bridget and the Empire on the battlefield. <laughs> I wonder if I'll find someone worth marrying before this war is over. Enough. It's easy to let your guard down when the end is in sight, and we can't fall victim to that. Stay disciplined, and together we will take Fodlin's future in hand. Don't worry, Edelgard. We're ready to get this done. That goes doubly so for me. I must ready myself for the final clash that looms in the coming days. Right then. Let's start by taking care of the enemy in front of us.
Hmm. I have the most brilliant idea. What do you think of this? I have an idea. What do you... Hey, so hear me out. I'll do what I can. Shall we? What a lovely breeze. Truly, there is nothing so liberating as the great outdoors. Your Majesty, Hubert is looking for you. My apologies. I didn't realize you were resting. I only stepped out for a bit of fresh air. I'll be ready to return shortly. Oh no! Please don't rush back on my account. I am more than happy to keep Hubert occupied in the meantime. Please, Your Majesty, enjoy yourself. I'll simply tell him I failed to find you. Ah, and are you cold? I can bring you a coat and some hot tea. I, I appreciate the concern, Monica, but I'm quite all right. <sighs> but while you're here, there is something I must tell you. Why are you staring at me, Your Majesty? Is there something on my face? I was only going to say how fortunate we are to have you with us. Those who slither in the dark had you in their clutches. In another world, we might have lost you to them forever. Yes, it seemed they were only keeping me alive so they could use me for some kind of dark ritual. And I can only assume that would not have ended with me alive and well. You saved my life. I wish I could express what an honor it was to be personally rescued by the woman I've dedicated my entire life to. That's kind of you to say, but I only did it because I needed the military leverage. That doesn't matter. I'm serious when I say that the day you rescued me was the day I stopped simply idolizing you and decided you were the one for me. The... One for you? Yes. You risked your life to protect a lowly noble like me. You need to understand the situation, Monica. I was fully prepared to sacrifice you if doing so would bring me even one step closer to achieving my goals. I had no intention of rescuing you until right before the opportunity presented itself. Oh, but, um... Why not? I was under the impression that those who slither in the dark needed you quite badly. And as I required their strength to wage my war, I was prepared to look the other way. When we laid out our plans, your death was something we took as a given. All the same, you still chose to save me in the end. I don't care how you got to that decision, only that you did. You could have offered me up as a bargaining chip, but you chose not to. Instead, you closed that door just so I could be standing here today. Monica, I... I only get one life, and I can't tell you how lucky I am to share it with you. It is my destiny to walk beside you, and that makes me happier than you could ever know. Well, thank you. That means a lot. to someone. You seem to be in a good mood, Burn. Ah! D Dorothea! You scared me! <laughs> Sorry about that. 
It just looked like you were enjoying your conversation. That was a man you were talking to, right? He walked away before I could see who it was. Y yeah but it's not like that. Oh no? It sure looked like you were getting along well. Who was he, hmm? Is spring finally springing in the heart of my dear burn? No, it's not like that! Um, do you remember the commoner friend I had once? You mean the one who vanished from your estate half-dead? Yep. Well, it turns out he's actually alive and in our army. That's great, Burn. A childhood friend, thought past, reunites with his treasured companion amidst the fires of war. A noble daughter and a common lad. A love that knows no social boundaries. <sighs> this is the perfect plot for an opera. Yeah, that sounds impressed. Uh, wait, no, it's no love! <laughs> yes, but if they made it into an opera, that's how it would be portrayed. For example, there's a series of operas known as the Empire of Love, and their latest could be the Bernadetta Saga. Absolutely not! If that happens, I'll lock myself in my room and melt down the key! Then I'll have to keep it secret. <sighs> a shame, though. It's such a lovely story to waste. It's not a waste! I'm taking it to my grave! I'm sure you are. <laughs> Still, I'm glad your friend is alright. Perhaps your father wasn't as cruel to him as wagging tongues would have us believe. Actually, he says my father was protecting me. I guess someone was trying to kill me, so he had no choice but to kick out my friend. Um, but if that's the case, doesn't it mean you can patch things up with your father? No. My problems with him go way beyond this one incident. I mean, yeah. It seems like there was a bit of a misunderstanding around this one thing. But even if he was protecting me, it wasn't for love. It's more like how a smith protects a valuable tool. That sounds very much like my father. It does? Yes. He tossed my mother aside like some worn-out tool because their child, me, didn't have a crest. That's why your situation feels so personal. I really want you to overcome your struggles with everything that happened with your father and find a way to be happy. Um... But I'm already happy. Really, I am. And it's all because I have friends like you, Dorothea. Then I can be happy too. Because I have friends like you, Vern.
so. I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty great. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. 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 Hope to see you again soon. Right. Okay. Please be listening. for this. Excuse me, actually. Got a minute?
Do you have a moment? Well, let's see. Exactly what I hoped for. Think. What? Thank you. I deeply appreciate it. Appreciate it. My, this is wonderful. Hold on. Got a minute? Appreciate it. Thank you. 
well. Thank you. a good result. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape! Splendid. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. 
Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. new look for me. No matter the path, I'll forge ahead. This is different. It's hard to feel bright in the sun. the job without the outfit. A fresh start, huh? Well, let's not waste it. to see how you do. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Oh, this is the best! Let's eat! For me? Really? Well, that's very kind of you. Let's eat it together. Come back whenever you're hungry. Let's move. <laughs> 
Let's earn our keep. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. United, we are unbeatable! Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. Please, excuse me. Is this okay? I've got it.
This'll make things easier. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. This'll help me break new boundaries. This should come in handy. Hubert, have you learned anything about my father's whereabouts? Nothing. We've not the faintest idea what he is up to. If we are lucky, he will be naught but a corpse by the wayside. I know that sounds cruel, but frankly, his death would do us a great service. You remain as blunt as the blacksmith's anvil. Still, I cannot deny the truth of what you say. I still think it for the best if he is taken into custody and given a fair trial under Imperial law. And yet, at times, a different thought manages to creep in around the edges of my mind. There is a part of me, a very small part, granted, that hopes he has found a quiet life for himself somewhere out of the way. The man can strive for a bucolic life all he wants. But he will never have it. Adrastia looks to be at peace, but beneath the surface, many disagree with the Emperor's ways. Make no mistake. These dissidents will seek out your father and prop him up as their leader. Yes, I suppose he will never stop being the former Prime Minister and a symbol of the old regime. But to frame it as you do, I am right, and you know it. Make your peace with it. Once a man strays from the path, there is no guiding him back. I disagree. I believe we all deserve a second chance. In any case, if you find out anything about my father, be sure to inform me. I almost wish they did prop the man up. Because perhaps then... Ah, but no. Either way, it seems I will have to start taking more serious precautions. I only hope he can settle things with his father in one manner or the other. Just as I did. I will prepare this scarlet path. I will show you true nobility. I am ready to be battling. Let's earn our key. I will defend this land. Together, we can be turning the tides. Begin. Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. <laughs> I was now it is my turn. There is nothing I cannot do. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
A taste more bitter than blackest coffee. We did it! We'll strike at their weakest point. Out of the way! This is all my power. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Fault. Not a problem. None shall surpass me. From it's nothing to boast about. None shall take a breather. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. <laughs> We weren't strong enough. What's next? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. No, there. Looks like we got a live one. Time to Take get in there and fight. My turn of <laughs> Not a problem. All would be lost if I were to die here. I have finished with great success. Run for your lives! My turn. is indeed a power that warrants caution. We have done it! I were to die here. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I will long remember the sight of our enemies' dejected faces.
I won't let myself stop here. I work to grow. giant waste of everyone's time, but I've got an idea. They have to pull this off, no matter what. What you think? Right? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Time to work you into shape. Not gonna stop now. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Listen, I'm sorry about what happened back there. Oh, it wasn't your fault. I'm the one who should be apologizing. I didn't realize things could even go that bad. I'm glad we managed to get you in front of the meanest looking guy in my company. But that didn't last long before the nerves got to you. Quickest I've ever seen someone run, let me tell you. And then I accidentally stepped on that horse's tail, so it started going wild and totally trashed the place. It'll probably take weeks for them to clean that up. Oh, you really did it this time, Bernie. Hey, we all make mistakes. Water under the bridge, you know? Yeah, thanks. 
That aside, though, you still want to do something about your shyness, right? I can see why this is a bigger problem than your whole staying indoors thing. Your anxieties can be quite the hurdle to overcome. You're right. But hey, I haven't been keeping to myself at all lately. Bernie's out in the open. Either way, now we know how things turn out when we try to force the issue. Looks like we're better off taking an incremental approach. How's that work? Well, we can start by having you hide nearby while I talk to someone you're afraid of. Then, I don't know, if the conversation gets interesting, maybe you can come out and join in? I'm not going to care whether it's interesting or not. It doesn't matter if they're serious or boring or the most fascinating person in the world. All I care about is that they don't scare me. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be tough to manage on its own, huh? Well, maybe the incremental approach won't actually be as hard as we think. Really? How do you figure? I mean, I did used to think you were pretty terrifying. But with all this stuff we've been doing together, I've actually gotten used to you. And now I'm not really shy around you, am I? <laughs> Not exactly flattered to hear that, but... Well, I guess I'll just be glad I don't scare you anymore. It sounds like spending time with someone is the key, which means we'll just have to toss you straight into the deep end and see if you can swim. Ah, no! Not the deep end! I hate the deep end! Sorry, sorry. Just messing with you. Anyway, here's hoping you and I can keep getting closer, Bernadetta. Soldiers of the Empire. Sure thing. So be it. Let's earn our key. Nothing bores me more than defense. We will surmount this challenge together. It's not yeah. Will you aid us? Take this. The stronghold's ours. You 
dragging the others down. A taste more bitter than blackest coffee. This place won't be a problem anymore. Take a breather. There is time. Still turn it around. Don't lose hope. Sequential. I won't let myself stop here. Who knew this power slept within? Let's earn our keep. Leave it to me! Yeah, we can win this!
All right, here I go. There's nothing these muscles can't do. Not a problem. I've got this. About time! for ourselves. one too if I just stay focused I won't let myself stop here hey a new power all right
Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. has its use. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Time to work you into shape. An ideal match for my talents. Can't wait to see how you do. What you think? Soldiers of the Empire. I'll do my best. Who, me? Fine. What's the plan? The fight starts now. Don't throw your lives away. Fall back. We will surmount this challenge together. You could use your help here. Pull this short hand. Not a problem. I'm here to help. Here I go. No mistake. I'll provide some protection. Shall we? I'll provide assistance. Here goes. Yeah, yeah. This 
place won't be a problem anymore. This will attack here. Take a breather. Yeah, we'll right. make good use of this. Allow me to do it. Watch this. Take a breather. <laughs> Let's fight My accomplishments I'll won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. That's great, but should you be using so much power? Hurry up and help me, you fools! Shall we? Oh, my God. 
No pleasure in this fight. Neither will you. Let's do this. You like that? Watch this. My turn. Yeah. Sorry. We weren't strong enough. We did. Take that. Jelly after all that running. I won't let myself stop here. Yeah, not bad. thoughts. I will prepare this scarlet path. We have a duty to fulfill.
Let's earn our keep. One must be hungry to survive a battle. Do you not agree? Yeah, we can win this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> there is not a question of can. Only a map. Leave the tank. I will capture this stronghold. I'm bringing it down. I am your man. Defenses crippled in short hold. Not a problem. Take a breath. Watch this. Did you all see how marvelous I was? Any final words? Success was no to worse. be expected. Any final words? I hope I can count upon your full cooperation. <laughs> Watch this! Take a breath. I almost feel sorry for them. There's not a... Yours is indeed a power that warrants caution. As in all things, this victory is in the name of Lady Edelgard. Myself stop here. Flower to battle and watch it bloom. Let's move. The fight starts now. I have to focus. I'll do whatever it takes. 
Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up with. Leave this one to me. That's my cue. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. It's not over. Watch this! I can still fight! Strong enough. Here I go. No mistake. Take a breather. All would be lost if I were to die here. Stand back. We can ill afford defeat here. This doesn't look good. I'm all right. I'll go my comrades after this. Done and done. Now, what's next? I'm the star now. I'll face my comrades after this. No, not yet. Easy enough. A taste more bitter than black as coffee. I'll take over. Take a breather. I've got knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. How does that please you? My turn. surprised. I'm getting better, but at what cost? The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Must outwit even death.
Majesty. This war is ours to be won. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. Let's earn our keep. Sharpen your minds and hone your blades. We ride for victory! I'll take the front! Showtime, loves. Shall we be off? Let's see how this strategy plays out. There's not a question of can. Only a Leave this to me. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. Right then. Let us go to work. All would be lost if I were to die here. This is all my fault. The rest is up to you. Out of the way. You may continue to rely on me. Not a problem. About time. With some form. The rest is up to you! Time to get going. Orders have been carried out. What comes next? Looks like that's it for us. Give me something to smile about. Let's have a little fun. The time to stand our ground. It's not over. Oh, come on! I am your man. Stand back. Take a breather. Yeah. You're dead! Stand back. Objective fulfilled. Bring it down! Right then. Let us go to work. I will see my duty done. I will see my duty done. Right then. Let us go... Here I raise the banner of the Empire. We're at a disadvantage here. Must fight with caution. Yeah, 
That's a massive victory! to perform mighty deeds. I won't let myself stop here. I need more strength than this. Can't let this power go unused. Another step toward victory. For Lady Edelgard! I'm ready anytime. It's my turn. My heart beats for Lady Edelgard. Take a breather. We can win this. You'll make this fun. I'm ready. 
ready. Watch this. did it! We won! The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hubert, what do you make of the Ashen Demon? Aside from having proven to be both impossibly powerful and a constant thorn in our side, Though we paid dearly for it, the nuisance's father died by our hand. I imagine the brat is unlikely to be tickled about that. Indeed. If only we'd won the demon over to our side when we had the chance. Why do you bring this up, Your Majesty? Is there something on your mind? I'm not entirely sure myself. My apologies, Hubert. Pay me no mind. Like as not, I am overthinking the situation. Surely you realize that telling me to pay this no mind only gives me greater cause for concern? <laughs> I didn't mean to worry you. I'm simply having trouble putting this feeling into words. I just felt... <sighs> I don't know. As if... Something was drawing me to the Ashen Demon. I wonder, could it be the influence of my crest? Your crest? 
Now I am truly becoming concerned. Forget it. Whatever it means, we'll never know. We'll meet the demon in battle, and let this mystery die there. As you wish, Your Majesty. So long as you realize, I will be taking the liberty to investigate this most thoroughly. I thought you might say as much. Do as you must. Honestly, Hubert, you never change, do you? When I emerged from beneath the palace all those years ago, you acted as though nothing had happened. Do not worry, you said. I took the liberty to investigate while you were indisposed. For the record, my blood was boiling. However, as there were others present, I kept still my tongue. I could not risk showing my anger, lest they find a way to turn it against you. My role to play is the cold, crafty, unreadable servant. I am happy with the casting, so let us leave it at that. I'm certain you are. But just once I'd like to see our roles reversed. Your Majesty, you cannot possibly be serious. Not in the slightest. I'm well aware I am not cut out for the kind of work you do. Nonsense. There is nothing beyond your capability. That said, I prefer you best when you are the one in charge. Command me as you see fit. No matter how daunting or impossible the task may be, I will come through every time without fail. Thank you, Hubert. It's good to know that I can always rely on you. Time to work you into shape! Now. 
Time to work you into shape. Do you think it's a fit? within me all the while? Training together isn't always easy. This will help everyone out. Go easy on me, Ferdy. All right? I only hope my mind doesn't wander to other things while we train. Acceptable, I suppose. <laughs> a middling performance, but acceptable. What a fascinating power. I must make the most of this ability. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. is suitable. Teamwork can really take you places. For training, you'll be unstoppable. Hmm. It's sad how we have so few research materials here at the base. And in addition... What luck that we might encounter each other at this late hour, Lysithia. Ugh, don't scare me like that, Hubert! You're terrifying enough under normal circumstances, let alone when you're creeping about like a spider. I should hardly think myself any more frightening than the disembodied spirit people have reported seeing night after night. So the spirit was sighted? Around here, then? Nearby? Oh, yes. Quite near to this training center. It is a positively frightful tale. Just remembered... a thing. Important thing. Biggest. I gotta go. Good night. Don't follow me. Positively frightful, I say, them calling my light a disembodied spirit. Wouldn't you agree? Hm. 
Oh dear. She left before I could finish. Hmm. We've barely had any vegetables with our meals lately. It's honestly kind of nice. Huh? What's going on over there? Then they've not noticed? Not at all. While preferences vary, there tend to be many people who love meat and dislike vegetables. But to think, we found a way to hide the vegetables in all of that delicious meat and broth. <laughs> Those who ate it found it delicious without being any the wiser. And of course, she did as well. That is splendid news. Pray continue then. Wait! Did I just eat a bunch of vegetables? Goodness, Lysithia. You look positively gobsmacked. Did you have yourself a recent surprise, perhaps? So many vegetables. Ah, Hubert! Ah, uh, it's nothing. I'm busy. Gotta go! It really is sad how much time I spend trying to make vegetables palatable for people. Oh well. I suppose I should just consider it part of managing our soldiers' health. Lysithia, you seem to be in high spirits. I certainly am. Edelgard told me that I was going to get some delicious sweets today. Wait, why am I even talking to you about this? You might find yourself without any sweets whatsoever if you continue to treat me so cruelly. After all, I am the one tasked by Her Majesty with the honor of giving them to you. Then why didn't you open with that, Hubert? Hand them over. First, permit me to brew a suitable tea to accompany them. Huh? Leopold von Berglis, I am challenging you to a duel. Meet me at the time and place designated. Signed, Petra McNeary. <gasps> Sorry, but my father won't be coming. Why not, Kaspar? Because I got a hold of your letter before it could reach him. He doesn't know a thing. Why are you making interference? You do not have the right. Because I can't stand the thought of you dying. You're a great fighter, Petra. But you don't have a prayer against my father. You've got to know that. <sighs> then you can be dying in his place, Kaspar von Burglies! Huh? What the... Ugh! Why are you backing away? Just finish me off. That would be achieving nothing. I thought you said you were gonna kill me in my father's place. I was losing control of my emotions. Okay, so now what? You gonna start following my father around again? What are you thinking? I don't know. I mean, I know he killed your father, so if you really hate him that much, then go for it, I guess. But I'm gonna try and stop you because I don't want you two killing each other. Kaspar, for certain reasons that are not being public, I am queen of Brigid now. A queen cannot be acting on personal grudges. Then why did you challenge my father to a duel? I do not know. It was... a mistake. It was not normal for me. Well, I guess even a queen can't push her feelings down forever. I can't imagine what it must have been like to go through what you did. But 
I think I can still relate. Um... Hey, here's an idea. From now on, take it out on me. No, this is silliness. There is no point in killing you. I'm not talking about killing, Petra. What I want you to do is unload on me. Tell me off. Just talk to me about whatever it is you're feeling. If all your hate becomes too much, dump it on me. If you want to hit something, I'm your guy. I just want us to keep being friends. All right? We will stay friends by yelling and hitting? I am not certain that is the kind of friendship I am wanting. But I am thanking you all the same. I will be giving it thought. Great. Then just tell me when you need me. Is something wrong, Ferdinand? You're staring quite intently at those plants while you water them. I was merely reflecting on something I saw long ago in Enbar. Oh? What would that be? In truth, it is nothing noteworthy. Back when I was a child, I saw a water nymph dancing and singing in a fountain along the main street. She was radiant. Brilliant in the dewy light of the sun. But as an immature young lad, I grew embarrassed and ran away. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. And you're sure of what you saw? A water nymph? Absolutely. Her song resonated within me. It was a bucolic tune sung by common folk around the capital. As I recall, she had not been wearing so much as a scrap of clothing. Anyway, once I finally mustered up the courage to return, the nymph had vanished. Such a tale hardly seems possible. What? That's the reason Ferdy ran away that day? No way. I've been wrong about him this whole time? I mean, considering how I must have looked in that fountain, Oh, no. Uh, I can't even begin to face him right now. I have to go back. Hmm? Is that Dorothea? I wonder what she's doing over there. Uh, he's seen me! All right, Dorothea, just be calm. It's fine. It's all fine. Everything's fine. If it isn't Ferdy and Aidy, what a coincidence to bump into the two of you here. Uh, Dorothea, your face is red. Yes, indeed it is. Do you have a fever? Really? Um, uh, I feel fine, but... Well, I was just coming to check on things, but since it all checks out, I'll be going. Bye! Wait! You could suddenly take a turn for the worse. So, I will escort you back. No, I'm fine. I'm not going far. Yet still too far to travel alone. If something were to happen to you, it would already be too late. Come now, take my arm. Or, if it please you, I could carry you there. Enough! I am perfectly fine, so just mind your own business and... Stay away from me! No one appreciates obstinance, Ferdinand. Apologies. Although, given the intensity of her rebuff, I worry she may not have liked me to begin with. Have I committed some grave wrong against her? What should I do? Still not back yet? It's been five days. Hmm, what's this? 
A letter? Not like him to leave his stuff lying around. I wonder if it says anything about where he went. Well, it's just sitting there. Can't hurt to take a peek, right? Are you well? Eating enough? I worry about you all the time. Thank you for sending money always. I want to see you soon. Huh. Is this letter for Yuri? It's got a different name on it. Having fun? Yuri! Wow, you really snuck up on me. When did you get back? Just now. More importantly, why are you snooping through things that don't belong to you? Choose your next word carefully, if you don't want them to be your last. I'm sorry. It was just sitting out in the open, so I thought it'd be okay if I read it. I was worried you weren't coming back. <sighs> Never mind. I can't imagine you'd have a reason to pry into my affairs. I suppose this is what I get for taking off without telling anyone. And for being so careless. Yeah, I thought you'd be the last person to leave something like this behind. You must have left in a hurry. You could say that. Was it because of the letter? I assume it's from someone in your family. Maybe a little brother or sister? <laughs> My mother, actually. She doesn't really have a way with words, I know. She's always been prone to illness. But lately, her condition has grown worse. I try to visit whenever she asks to see me. Obviously, there are times when I can't go, but... <sighs> I have to take all the time I can get, right? I never know which visit will be my final chance to see her. I understand. Once someone's gone, they're gone. But wait, the name on that letter... Is that your real name? So, Yuri's an alias, and you're really reg- No need to say it. And yes, what parent would call their kid by an alias anyway? Fair point. It's a nice name, though. Why hide it? In my line of work, it pays to have more than a few names. And don't go telling anyone about this. You won't like to find out what happens if you do. I won't, promise. And if I do slip up, you're free to do your worst. In any case, I am sorry for prying. And for what it's worth, I hope your mom gets better soon. If it were easy to cure, then we wouldn't even be talking about it. But I appreciate the sentiment nonetheless. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. Very well. I will join you. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful?
counting on you both. You have not to worry about with me on the job. Oh yeah, we've got this. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. You'd work yourself to death for me if I didn't say something, Monica. Now let me help, and that is an Imperial order. Of course, Your Majesty. It's just that I like being productive, especially when it makes you happy. You did it, Your Majesty. Um, unless you think I also partially did it, in which case, thank you? We did it together, and you were wonderful as usual. I always know who I can count on. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both and you need me for this are you sure I'll do what I can we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both I will see it done speedily let's get it done we all must do our fair share here to make yourself useful Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. Rest, Mercedes. I'll handle this. I won't let you do everything on your own. Come on, let's work together. <laughs> I'm not used to working with you like this. It went well enough, thankfully. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. Sure, I'll help. Must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I can only hope to repay a fraction of the kindness you have shown me. Both above and below ground, my dear happy. You've done plenty for me, Coco. 
So let's just take it one step at a time like always. Done. Good thing nothing happened that would have made me sigh. I disagree. It would have been ideal for you to sigh in my direction. That I might have served as bait, and at least provided some modicum of use. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. We'll figure something out if we work together. I always get the job done. And I'm thorough. We all must do our fair share. should be everything in its place now. And high time we took a break, if you ask me. Lugging all those boxes was hard work. Hey, why don't you join me for a meal? Might be nice to head into town for once. Mm, I'm not that hungry just yet, though. Oh, I've got it. If you'd like, we could have a tea party. I have a cache of delicious treats we can eat as well. Sure, I guess I could go for some tea. Where'd that idea come from, though? Well, I received some sugar recently as a gift from one of the soldiers I mended back to hell. I used it to bake the most wonderful confections. I'd love for you to try them. Huh, that does sound good. And a little something sweet once in a while never hurt anyone. Then we're settled. Give me just a moment, I'll get everything ready. Whoa, these are incredible. I've never had anything quite like them before. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'm particularly happy with how those turned out. It does actually taste kind of familiar, though. Almost like this snack my mom used to make. Really? You don't say. Yeah, I was raised in this little village off in the mountains, absolutely surrounded by nature. Sometimes mom would go out and gather fruit from the trees, then bake things with them. Mmm, there's nothing better than a dessert made with fresh fruit. I love them myself. You can knead them into dough and bake them, or preserve them in honey so they can be enjoyed the whole year round. My mom's stuff was never quite as fancy as the things you make, but they were special in their own way. And even though we didn't have them too often, just one hint of that flavor and it's like I'm a kid again. Guess they were just that good. It's wonderful you have that memory to look back on. I can tell the time you spent with your mother was very precious to you. For sure. Though I don't remember it too well anymore. Can I ask you something? Do you ever wish you could return to the past? To those days with your mother? It would be great to go back if I could, yeah. We'd have so much more to talk about now that I'm older. But the past is the past. My mom is gone, and there's nothing I can do to change that. Yes. Yes, I suppose you're right. Uh, hey, what's wrong? Was it something I said? Hmm? Oh, my apologies. I must have been daydreaming for a moment there. Here, try this one next. I made it specially to pair with the tea. Uh, sure. Thanks. Bernadetta? 
What are you doing here? Uh-oh. Looks like I'm interrupting. I'll be going. Lenard! Listen to me! <sighs> Remember the two people we saw out on a date here? Well, the guy died. Sadly, that sort of thing does happen. Another tragic love story for the books, I suppose. I really believed they'd live happily ever after, and... I can't take an ending like this! It's so awful! Perhaps so, but this is the result of the Empire choosing war. But... I thought the power of their love for each other would see them through, safe and sound. You expect too much from love. Yes, there are instances where emotion allows the body to go beyond the bounds of what should be possible. But the effects are quite minor. It's certainly not going to bring the dead back to life. I know that, Linhard. I just think it's sad. I mean, don't you think it's sad? If pushed, yes, I would consider that to be sad. I didn't even know the man's name. Also, plenty of our enemies die, so why are we only sad for allies? Because they're, you know, our allies? I wouldn't want you to die, of course. That would make me quite sad. And I don't want to see you die either, Linhart. I'd cry even more if you died. Just the thought of it makes me... Makes me... <laughs> oh dear, please don't cry over things that haven't happened yet. Oh no, that's what I'm doing. I'm so sorry, Linhart. It's fine, but to that point, let's just make sure you and I both survive this war together. If we can do that, what you said will have come true, and I'll happily apologize. Um, apologize? For what? For disputing the idea that two people's feelings for each other can help them overcome the risk of death. After all, the two of us surviving the war would refute any arguments I've made to the contrary. Oh, I get it! So you and me and the power of our feelings for each other could... Uh, wait, are... what now? All of this earnest conversation has me exhausted. Time for some sleep. <sighs> What a rest. Hmm? What's going on there? Is... is this really happening? Oh, my prayers have been answered! When I was about to die, your face floated into my mind, and then a miracle happened. It seems reports of his death in battle were greatly exaggerated. I'll have to let Bernadetta know. Although given her sensibility, She's as likely to think he's a ghost as she is to be happy about it. Hey there, Shamir. What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Nothing in particular. Just had some time to kill. Thought it'd be nice to chat. Shouldn't you and Caspar be off punching things? That sounds nice and all, but I've had my eye on you for a while. Try anything funny and you'll regret it. Oh, take it easy, pal. I didn't mean it like that. 
I was just thinking the two of us have got a lot in common, yeah? Nothing comes to mind. Hey now, let's not be too hasty. Take gambling, for instance. I happen to know you like a little game of chance. And I fancy a wager myself every now and again. <laughs> you can't call it gambling if all you do is lose. Sure, I've probably lost more than I've made, but hey, it's part of the fun, right? Keep telling yourself that. What about booze? From what I understand, you're quite the drinker. But unlike you, I can actually hold my liquor. Hey, that was one time. Nobody drinks Balthus under the table. Not unless I've lost a bet. You must lose often. I've seen you stumbling around here quite a bit. All right, so gambling and booze are out. What about fighting? The battlefield is where we both come alive, yeah? My fighting style is nothing like yours. I can't argue with that. I like to get in real close and crack some skulls. Well, you prefer to pick off enemies from a safe distance. But even if our methods are different, the end result is the same. It's kill or be killed out there. Huh. So you do see how we're different. Give me some credit, will ya? I might not be the best drinker or gambler, but I am the desirable king of grappling. I can tell you're not looking for your fights to be a bloodbath, unlike yours truly. Because I don't like dying, I prefer to be the one doing the killing. That's why I use a bow. The only one who bleeds is the enemy. Aren't you forgetting something? After gambling and booze, you're supposed to ask me about women. Though I doubt our tastes are similar. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Hey, Shamir! Where are you going? Huh. Wonder what that was about. Our recent battles have won nearly all of the kingdom's central and western lords to our side. Those who chose not to bend the knee are making their last stand in that castle. They are weary men unable to keep pace with the times. And now we can be rid of them all in but a single stroke. They had plenty of chances to surrender and chose not to avail themselves thus. Show no mercy. If they wish to cling to the past, let them die in its embrace. I wish they'd consider all the poor souls they're forcing to perish along with them. Sure, but I fully understand why they'd want to hole up in a castle. That's my go-to move. They're beneath a siege, not holed up. The difference is unequivocal. Sorry, what? Unequivocal. It is a new word I have been learning. Its meaning is clear and unambiguous, yes? Again, what? Look, the way I see it, we just need to bust through the gates and pummel the stuffing out of them. It unfortunately is not that simple. 
most of the kingdom's castles are specifically designed to withstand a siege. Our only option is to chip away at them slowly from the surrounding forts. I agree, there is no place for mercy on the battlefield. If the enemy desires a fight, we will rend them asunder and leave their bones on the midden heap. We need to move carefully. A cornered foe is capable of anything. I vote we play it safe. We didn't come all this way just to die so close to our goal. That's right. There's no need to rush when victory is all but assured. It's time. All units to positions. Prepare to attack! Soldiers of the Empire. Let's move. I am ready to be battling. As we thought. They've made Baron Dominic their figurehead because of his blood ties to the Ten Elites. But frankly, his lineage is of no concern to me. Your orders are to breach the castle, find him, and cut him down. Begin. I am... We will begin by eliminating the troops outside the castle. Split up and take control of those strongholds. Take care not to forge too far ahead now. It would be disastrous if the enemy... Not a problem. I've got this. Not a problem. Move out! Begin! We were to seize our Watch this! Find a way to help! It's a bloodbath out here. Let us in. We beg you. I can't leave those people out there to die. Open the gates. Yes. Throw the gates wide. Let that bleeding heart get the best of you. Not a problem. Move out. Right then, let us go to work. Shall we join hands in battle? So, what should I be doing again? Need a hand?
No one will ravage these lands while I still draw breath. I will lay the lot of you low. Watches over. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Not a problem. Here I go. No mistake. They must. Not a problem. I've got this. Yeah. They have both of our flames. Split out and eliminate them before they cause any real <laughs> The day has come to repair the debt my lineage owes the royal bond. And should the cost be my life, so be it. My turn. Is everything prepared? All of our hopes rest on this strategy. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I never wanted this bloodshed. Now there's no stop. You got my back? Watch my back. <laughs> we'll do it together! I've got you now! I'm swapping in! We've yeah. underestimated our foes. Send word to Duke Eva and Count Karen and have them send reinforcements. Yes! I will be joining you! You are mine! Not a problem. I've got this. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I've got it. Let's give it a shot. Here I could be. Charge! Slay those messengers. We cannot permit them to summon reinforcements. My strength, please. The rest is in your hands. Boy, the reserve. Don't let those messengers slip through. Stand up. We need to eliminate the other ballista before this thing really gets out of hand. The enemy's stronghold will be ours. Is it my turn? Every messenger must be silenced. This is the way of battles. Yeah. 
Take a breather. I'm certainly glad you won't have to deal with those reinforcements. Yeah. She always takes this way for villains who try to harm her majesty. I'll take over. Careful. There's no escape. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. Not a problem. Move out. I've got it. Let's go. Goddess above, I beg you to watch over the people of Fogs. <laughs> I'll take point. Show yourself, Baron Dominic. I've got it. Maybe. Surrender, and I will spare your life. My life means nothing if I must spend the rest of it facing my people in shame. I will not abandon them in their time of need. I will not suffer you to lay a hand on my brother. Not a problem. I've got this. Charge! My turn. Watch this! According to our intelligence, there is a secret passage in the area that can help us gain the upper hand. The enemy off guard. Just... I guess it's now or never. I know what to do. Get out of my way. Brother, your majesty, I pray you deliver our kingdom to peace. what you started. I'm not afraid to fight. I'm doing this for all the people I care about. She wields a hero's relic. If we strip her of it, it could serve us well in the future. Secret passage is useless now. I promise to defend this passage, and I will, no matter who I have to face. Let's do this! The enemies are out here risking life and limb, and I can't let them down. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything in my power, but it just wasn't enough. Yeah. Oh, 
love you as well. How will I ever tell your mother? Alas, poor Costa. And now I, too, go to battle for the last time. Though our fates may be sealed, we will fight to the very last. Such fruitless resistance. Seize the remaining strongholds, and let us nip this problem in the bud once and for all. Seize every last enemy position. Brook no resistance. Go. No, <laughs> you will pay for the blood you have spilled this day. Very well. <laughs> Bringing it down. <laughs> Let's do this. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> to the kingdom our campaign is not over but for now we celebrate and so I reach my end pray forgive me my weakness your majesty Annette Gustav forgive me They deified him for being the descendant of a hero. And in return, he got a life he could never control, and a death he could never ordain. Yet surely the man was happy to die for his people. He must have felt as though he had fulfilled his set purpose in life. That notion alone should tell you how warped the world has become. Still, right and wrong are spoils to be handed out by the victor of this war. Well said, Your Majesty. We must prevail if we are to change the world. This war is only the first step. I get it now. I beg your pardon. Everything's finally clicked for me. I understand what we're really up against here. Oh? I told you before, I don't always get where you're coming from. Still, you trusted me, and that was enough. But what you said just then... It made me realize we're not fighting the church or the kingdom. I mean, we are, of course, but what we're really up against is the world itself. And even if we win, there's no guarantee we'll leave Fodlin better than we found it. All we can do is try our best and hope it works out. Pretty hard to wrap your brain around, honestly. I can't even begin to fathom how you can grapple with something that heavy. <laughs> Once again, you managed to find a most surprising nugget of philosophy. I knew you'd understand. Even if I can't point to the reason why I felt that way. But I'm glad to hear you say it. Thank you. Oh, 
I'm getting stronger. This is not what I expected. I won't let myself stop here. I'll remember this. Imperial soldiers, the lands of Brennius now belong to us. As you know, Brennius shares a border with Blathed territory. The enemy stronghold of Ferdiad is but a stone's throw away. At long last, we approach the final push of this campaign. Stay vigilant, but be not afraid. We shall wield our weapons as one, claim our victory, and unite all of Bodlin under our flag! Blathed land at last. The kingdom will be more desperate than ever now. As they should be. We have stripped away nearly half of their territory at this point. But we still have the remaining houses to contend with. Karen, Galatea, Fraldarius, and Gautier are all unshakably faithful to the crown. They would tear us to pieces had they the chance. Certainly not my idea of a fun afternoon. Still, we have no choice but to face them unless they decide to stop harboring the Archbishop. Do you think that's even a possibility? The people of the kingdom are quite devout after all. I highly doubt it. So let them huddle together like the cornered rats they are, and... Hmm? Huh? What's going on? Urgent news, my lord. Massive revolts have broken out in Hrim and Ordelia territory. What? Did you say Hrim? Unrest in the Empire can't be a coincidence. So, those who slither in the dark have finally made their move. This is it. This is our chance to figure out who or what those people really are. Scarlet Blaze. The Rising Darkness. Having smashed the kingdom's last desperate defense, the Empire takes the battle north. Further pressure from the Alliance to the east forces King Dimitri to make a difficult choice. Will the Empire and Alliance prevail and unite Fodlan? Just as all begin to entertain the possibility, those most opposed to the idea finally emerge from the shadows. Apparently, it started with attacks by bandits and insurgents, which touched off a widespread revolt. The people have taken to the streets, and now Hrim and Ordelia territory are in total chaos. We have no choice but to intervene. At present, it is just Hrim territory. But if the unrest spreads to neighboring Imperial lands, there will be no water cask large enough to quench the flames. Especially if the fires were intentionally set. And yet, redeploying our forces to deal with the unrest could be exactly what they're after. I believe it is, Your Majesty. With the aid of the Alliance, we were on the brink of securing the Kingdom's surrender. The war was all but decided. It seems certain parties were not at all happy with that particular arrangement.
Yeah, yeah, you can't exactly wage a war when your own land's falling apart at the seams. No one is more reluctant than I am to turn back when victory is within our grasp. But it is the only option. Fortunately, the kingdom now lacks the soldiers to take advantage and regain their lost territory. We'll leave enough troops to hold the line and take the main force east at speed. I'll have Count Burglies take position at Aryan Road. That sounds exhausting. But you're the boss. Do you mind if I just link off to my room and... Oh, here come the dagger eyes. Never mind. If it's settled, let's not waste another second. Every moment we delay means more suffering for the innocent people who are caught up in this. Going to Hrimland will take us close to Ire. Needless to say, I am in favor of departing at once. Let's go find the masterminds behind this mess and send them to meet their maker. But how will we be telling the innocent people from those who are causing trouble? A fair point. If we're too reckless, many good people are going to be killed. Only one thing to do. Let's get to Hrim territory and sort this out. Position. I have a stratagem. Do you think this might work? I have... I have a proposition. It will be done. Shall we? Actually... Really? <laughs> right. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
appreciate it. You there. Got a minute? Now what? Thanks. I appreciate it. Please. Let's give it a go. Take it. Understand. Same reaction, huh? Sorry, me and singing just don't mix very well. Though it did make me feel warm inside, kind of like I was a kid again with my mom. 
Hey, you do get it. That was a lullaby from a long, long time ago. Nowadays, nobody remembers the lyrics, though. Or sings it to their children, for that matter. A lullaby, huh? I guess that's why it took me back the way it did. But wait, if nobody knows the words, how are you so sure that's even what it is? Just from how it sounds? Well, there was this scholar who researched it a few years ago and said as much. Couldn't tell you if they were right, though. Huh. Honestly, I kind of liked that it didn't have any words. That way it can hit you straight in the heart without all that lyrics and meaning stuff getting in the way. I'm glad to hear you giving music a little more thought now. And I'm glad I've had so many chances to listen to you sing. Your voice touches people, Dorothea. Even if they don't have the knowledge to really appreciate the high-level art of it. I mean, look at me. Bottom of the barrel and you still practically move me to tears. Oh, come now. Don't talk about yourself like that. Eh, it doesn't really bother me. And I'm not wrong, am I? No birth parents, no real background to speak of. The whole wandering Merc gig, it is what it is. <laughs> That's quite the positive attitude. I'll have to try a little bit of that myself sometime. In the meantime, I've once again been able to rethink my singing thanks to you. I lost much of my emotion about the craft during my time as a diva, but I can feel it coming back now. <laughs> You really are incredible, you know that? How do you mean? I don't know. There's just something beautiful about the way you speak. It's like your thoughts come out of your mouth fully formed, almost perfect, and find their way straight into people's hearts. Probably has something to do with all the training you did to become a diva, and all the training you've continued doing since. Meanwhile, here I am, struggling to even make proper sentences when I try to talk about your singing. Thank you for the kind words. It, it makes me feel a lot better hearing you say those things about me. But, for the record, I don't think you're bad with words at all. Even your little speech now was the definition of smooth. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were trying to flirt with me. <laughs> What do you think? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Truly incredible. In point of fact. What do you think? Oh. Trembling hands, I humbly accept. Hey, got a minute? This is for me? 
It's so nice! Thank you so much. Come here. That reminds me. Stuffed. Looks like you can really pack it away too, pal. Still can't compete with you, Balthus. That sure did hit the spot, though. Got that right. Now we can charge into tomorrow's battle fully energized. Hey, let's say we make a little bet. See so you can go deeper into enemy territory. to compare who made it farther in the end. No other stakes. I'm not about to risk my life behind enemy lines just to win a bet. The way I see it, us mercenaries fight for two things. Gaining renown and staying alive. This isn't some kind of game. Figured you'd say something like that. You seem like the type. And yet, you asked me anyway. Don't try to drag me down with you, Balthus. What's wrong with a little game of chance? It's not like it's evil or something. Then what would you call it? Financially irresponsible? Because I don't want to end up broke either. Not like some people I know. You're one tough nut, I'll give you that. But I'm not talking about money. You know what I'm getting at, right? When you're on the battlefield, the only thing you can bet is your life. That's exactly what I take issue with. Okay, I know this might sound a little far-fetched, but hear me out. This ought to be good. Whatever you do, you'll do it ten times better if you're having fun, right? That's the key to success. 
I mean, you're not wrong. See, so there's nothing wrong with having a little fun on the battlefield, whether it's with bets or with something else. Living on that edge between victory and death is the key to survival. <sighs> Maybe for you, but that's not how everyone else approaches it. I've known plenty of mercs who have said the same thing, but they never made it back home. In fact, you're the only one of them who's still kicking. So, I'm sorry, but I have to disagree. You know, you and I have a lot in common. We're practically kindred spirits. But this is the one thing we don't see eye to eye on. Strange, isn't it? From where I'm standing, the only strange thing is the way you're thinking about this. Well, I guess the bet's off then. Let's just put this little chat behind us and give it our all tomorrow. Sounds good. Just don't get too reckless and wind up losing your head, okay? Over here. Mm hmm. I won't allow it. Hmm. Leave it to me. What a kind gift. Do I want to know what you two are talking about? Is it not obvious? We are debating who might be behind the recent disturbance in the peace. The slithery people, right? Correct. Absurdly phrased, but correct. We may have ousted Lord Arendell and the others from power in Enbar, but we knew it was not the end of their vile schemes. Which is why we have been preparing for the day they bared their fangs once more. Granted, we lack solid proof they are behind this. 
But it is the most likely explanation considering the scale of the revolts, as well as where and when they all occurred. I'll keep that in mind on the battlefield. Oh, and for the record, I like this part where you all trust me enough to tell me what's going on. A strategy I strongly oppose. But Her Majesty insisted we keep you in the loop. Must you always antagonize Hubert? I merely state fact. Though I will admit you saved the Emperor's life once. Still, I would not be shocked in the slightest if you suddenly changed your colors and tried to kill her. Yet sharing such knowledge with you achieves a dual purpose. It helps prevent those who slither in the dark from using you, and it gives ample justification to dispose of you, should you betray us. You never change, Hubert. At this point, I don't know how I'd react if you did. You may not have Hubert's trust, but you have mine. I'll be counting on you as always in the battles to come. If those who slither in the dark appear, we must strike them down. Well then, Edelgard, what is this new information regarding those who slither in the dark? And can I assume it is somehow related to her inexplicable presence at this meeting? Hey Liz, how's it going? Indeed, Lysithia, for you see, she is the same as us. Yet another poor soul whose fate has been bent to their nefarious will. It can't be. Then the rumors about Happy are true? Her powers came from their experiments? Yup. What, you didn't believe it? I did not, in fact. Rather, I assumed it was a lie you told to keep others away, or else slander spread by arrival. A bit overboard for slander, don't you think? But still, I'm actually glad you didn't believe it. I presume we're ready to move on to the main topic. That is, if you're following all of this. Uh, yeah. No, I'm totally following. Yep. You have no idea what we're talking about, do you? All the same, I'll press on. If you're curious, you can ask Happy for details later. Now then. Happy's captor was a woman named Cornelia, the kingdom's former court mage. Apparently, she is also one of those who slither in the dark. When the kingdom learned she was planning an insurrection, they rallied an army and defeated her. But is she truly dead? A cunning woman like her might have secured a body double and escaped. We've no way to confirm for ourselves and can only trust the kingdom was thorough in this regard. Anyway, we think we found one of her old hideouts. Seems like it might be worth checking out. Based on what we've been able to extrapolate from Happy's testimony, this base is somewhere in the western portion of the kingdom. With the war's front having moved further north, we're currently well positioned to investigate. Oh. So that's why it took you so long to look into this. You had to wait for the war's tide to shift and grant you an opportunity. And what? I'm just extra muscle in case any baddies show up? Or does this have something to do with my power? For now, you are merely serving as additional steel. However, it's possible we might find a connection between Happy's power and your own. 
And though it might end up being nothing, I'd very much appreciate it if you came along. Eh, alright. Probably shouldn't let anything happen to you while you're paying me, right? Hey, if you're not into this, we're good on our own. I'm afraid we need our mercenary friend to come regardless of their passion for the work. Especially since Hubert isn't around to join us. Say, where is Hubert anyway? He usually jumps at the chance to be involved in this kind of thing. Hubert has a good deal on his plate already. Now let's be off. With any luck, this won't take long. I pray we might finally dispel the darkness that haunts us all. This is the location we deduced from Happy's statements. Hopefully we find some too. I think our suspicions were correct. All signs point to their having been. Intruders! Away with you! Yeah, I've been here before. No doubt. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here goes. Yeah. It's not over. telling when somebody's gonna jump out at us. Here goes. Who's anything? I can't remember. I guess we'll attack here. Not a problem. I've got it. Watch this! Here I go. This stronghold will it's fall! They're trapped. We must help them quickly. We've been cut off. I'm afraid you'll have to find a way to open things up. Take 
attack. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who... They Watch this! Watch Nothing closely. of note here. Way to open things. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Stop. Yeah. Surprisingly calm about all this. Cornelius' research seems to have had different aims than the experiments I was subjected to. My turn. Which means it likely differs from my own experience as well. For the sake of your future recipe, I hope we find some connection. But I fear it does not look promising. There are still rooms we haven't searched yet. Let's investigate those. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here goes. I got you. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must... Take a breather. Yeah. This stronghold will fall. <laughs> They're trapped. We must help them quickly. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're... You can count on me. I'll do... Yeah, not yet. Watch closely. Get it over with. We won't be defeated. And that's what you get. That was close. Watch this. Here I go. No mistakes. 
They must learn who they're... You can count on me. I'll do... Seems like nothing. Let's press on. Not a problem. It's my turn. You do realize you're stuck in here with us now. Let's go. Let's get it over with. Get lost. We won't be defeated. Is this a weapon? It looks like their technology at least. Aside from the weird shape, it doesn't seem anything like my sword. We've given this area a thorough look. Is there anything else? Hey, was I the only one who heard that? It came from over there. <laughs> Take a breather. Here I go. No mistake. Everyone, to me. You can count on me. I'll go on ahead. Not a problem. Move it. Is this a dungeon? I've never been in here. This air feels just like the area beneath the palace. How many have met their ends to? Be it alliance, empire, or kingdom, their evil has left its mark everywhere. What triggered the door mechanism? Could my brethren have fallen? <laughs> Achiever, aren't you? I don't know why you came here, but I won't soon forget this. How could he not know? Let's collect what we've found and leave this place. Hubert should be able to tell us more. Uh. 
I must make more progress. I have this talent hidden away? This better not be one of those weird powers. I thought for sure we'd find better info in this place. And also that I'd be way more freaked out. Although, it seems like it was a different experience for you and Liz, eh, Eddie? I can't claim to be as disaffected as you, but I'm fine. No need to put on a brave face, Edelgard. I feel terrible, and I'm certain you do as well. It's just that nothing ever bothers Happy. In that case, I feel as if I've just gone digging through an entire crate of old nightmares. And yes, this base seems mostly abandoned now. But who knows how many found themselves chained to operating tables while Cornelia was still alive. That kind of thing happened to all of you, right? Well, I'm glad you made it out the other side, and that we got to fight together like this. We were lucky, that was all. Sometimes I wonder if we were the lucky ones. Anyway, why don't we get out of here before more jerks decide to crash the party? Good idea. Nothing like a nice bed and a warm meal to lift your spirits after something like this. A meal with something sweet, I hope. Wasn't necessarily planning on that, but sure, why not? Tea time it is then, for all four of us. Let's hurry back. I mean, if that's all right with the two of you. Of course. I'm actually growing fond of our weird little band. Still, you sure you're okay with me crashing your tea party with Eddie? Seems like you guys do that a lot. Actually, I believe Monica is the one who has tea with Edelgard most frequently. No, it's definitely you, Lysithia. And then Ferdinand. Don't forget about yourself. I've seen the two of you hoisting cups on more than one occasion. I had no idea everyone was so interested in my habits. You make it sound like all I do is drink tea. Oh no, if anything, you don't drink enough. You're always working yourself too hard. But you could stand to work more, Happy. And while we're on the subject of change, Let's talk about Lysithia and her sweets addiction. I beg your pardon? Why, I barely have any interest in sweet things at all! And it's hardly fair to compare my work ethic with, you know, an emperor. I said what I said, and I stand by it. How rude! As punishment, I demand you give me your daily dessert ration from now on. Don't make me sigh at you, pal. Sigh? What would that do? Oh dear, you were all so very odd. But I'm still delighted to count you all as allies. Well, at least someone's enjoying herself. What'd you bring the five of us together for, Yuri? We beaten someone up? Because I'm always ready for that kind of thing. <sighs> it is always the same with you, Balthus. How can you possibly be so uncouth in my presence? Not to mention our dear, frail Happy here. 
Stop thinking with your fists and use your brain. Who are you calling frail, Coco? It was a figure of speech, dear Happy. Nothing more. <laughs> We've been topside for a while, and you guys haven't changed a bit. You really think I'd call you out here just to lay a beating into someone? <laughs> We're too busy for that. I've got a favor to ask of you all. Oh, and you as well, if that's all right. If this is the crew you've gathered, it must be important. Count me in. That was almost suspiciously easy. But I'm not going to lick this gift horse in the mouth. Let me fill you in on the details in that case. Some old friends of ours, rogues from Abyss, are in trouble. They've been caught up in some kind of struggle, and now bandits are after them. Considering the circles they run in, we're the only people willing to help them. Which means it's on us. Got it. Definitely still in. You should know better than to take Yuri at face value. No doubt much of what he said is true, but I am certain there is another angle to it as well. One which benefits himself. I take care of my own. That's all. I think the point is that there are folks from Abyss who need help, right? So let's quit bickering and go help already. Good point. This is no time for anyone to be arguing with the shady lady here. How dare you! I am not the one who is constantly scheming at one thing or the other. Yuri Bird? Coco? Hey, hey! Save some of that fire for the fighting! Yeah, you can air all your grievances at the bad guys. Exactly. You're actually smart sometimes, friend. Sometimes? I'm always saying smart stuff. Huh? Oh, right, right. Let's go with that. That doesn't help. Eh, don't worry about it. Anyway, Yuri, it's time for the thing. You know, the thing to get us fired up before we roll out. He used to do it in Abyss all the time. Our house doesn't exist anymore. But if it means we can finally get going, very well. Let's do this, wolves. Oh. And you too, Mark. Seems like our friends fled into the mountains. To get there, we'll need to take these strongholds. Nope! Enemies! I gotta get out of here! Out of the way! We're here! Pardon my ineptitude. I only hope not to get... And we won't let any of you die! Not a problem. I've got this. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Stronghold in the rubble! Oh, 
them die. Help, please. They're dead. No. No. Said one of us had a bounty on their head and told us to turn them over. Uh, they were probably talking about me. Well, that's awkward. There were plenty of folks with bounties on their heads in Abyss. But no one can begin to match the rich price on yours. You're the one who summons monsters, yeah? Happy or whatever? Yeah. Well, Done. time to open up. You've got the wrong person. I don't have any idea how to summon monsters. I swear. Yeah. I'm sorry yeah. to ask, but can you please rescue the folks of the mountain, too? The fantastic king of grappling is on the case. My turn. Not a problem. I've got this. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Take a breather. They think that person is me? Well, I don't want that on my conscience. Guess I'd better. That time already. Let's get this operation into starting the mission. Yeah, all right. Wait. Why is there... I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it to me. Here goes. Yay. Yeah. A monster over there. Time to rip. My turn. Must have had the wrong person. <laughs> Come on. Take a breather. I'm guessing they'll follow the path to the monsters now. Yeah? Do you think that mage was working for the lady who kidnapped me? It's not over. 
Proud of me. I didn't sell you out or nothing. Finding this to be most unwelcome. Is it over yet? Yeah. Help me. Not a problem. I've got this. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission. I'm on it. No charge. Just leave it. Here goes. The enemy is some distance away. I will try to use my sorry excuse for magic to attack. What is she even aiming at? Oh dear. 
It seems my other side has been doing some experimenting, and my magic has been put out of hand as a result. So, does that mean you can stop it now? Because we're getting burned alive over here. Apologies, but I fear my meager intellect is not up to the task. about friendly fire than the actual enemy. It seems the goddess has not forsaken us quite yet, for I was able to put a stop to it. Here comes the big boss. <sighs> Gotta get this over with. Just some slapdash bandit. You have another thing coming. A thing. I understand this is how such folks make their living. And I have certainly been there. But these roads are our roads. And we are going to protect them. You're done! Yeah, hands off our roads. Yeah, hands off our... Hey, wait a second. When did this lot become our ropes? Someone always gets in my way. Looks like it's over. You folks go on ahead. I want to talk to these rogues. deserve all the praise. I won't let myself stop here. No surprises here. This better not be one of those weird powers. Now that's how it's done. Thanks for the help. Things would have been pretty hairy with just the four of us. I mean, we've got this guy pulling bounty hunters in from across the continent. Hey! And this gal summoning monsters. Not my fault. Also, totally necessary. 
And finally, the grand sorceress who rained pain down on friend and foe alike. Even your condemnation is far too kind. I was of no help whatsoever. Yuri's right. This is one battle I hope they scrub from the history books. Hey, it all worked out in the end, so buck up. It was nice to blow off some steam at any rate. And I'm certain my other self was pleased to do more field tests with the new spell. Though at the expense of my complete and utter mortification. Well, I've still got my complaints, but I suppose I gained something from this too. Oh yeah? What's that? I went ahead and hired the folks we saved. I made it look like I was doing them a favor, and those in debt never seem to ask questions of their saviors. <laughs> I'd been feeling a bit short-handed anyway, so it all worked out. <laughs> You're always looking for an angle, Yuri. That's the one thing about you that never changes. What do you mean, the one thing? What are you trying to say? <laughs> what else changed? You know, the, uh... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, so now I haven't changed? Do you even know what you're saying? Or are words just falling out of your mouth faster than your brain can make them? Pretty much, yeah. Clearly V hasn't changed either. Well, I have certainly changed. Alas. I have lost all of my hopes and dreams. Are you kidding? That is a hundred percent you. <laughs> you four really are old friends. We are quite the quartet, all right. But hey, why don't you make it a quintet? Plus, I could use some help babysitting this lot. They call us the Abyssal Four, but now that we're five, we'll have to change that name. Psst. Constance, did anyone ever call us that? It's hard to say. Sadly, my feeble memory has all but wasted away. We were probably called that. I mean, it's not like Yuri Bird to just make things up. Hey, what's with you guys? Do you want to be a part of this group or not? <sighs> and here I was thinking we'd all go out and celebrate our victory. I guess it's just gonna be the two of us, friend. Uh, sure, I guess. No fair. It should at least be the three of us. Hey, if you're paying, you know I'm in. Also, you're right. I think we were called the Abyssal Four at some point. Wherever you lead, dear Yuri, I shall follow, for I have no desires of my own. I will happily feast upon whatever meager morsels you see fit to scatter before me. Enough yapping. Let's get out of here already. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Oh, hey, Happy. You sure like the outdoors, huh? I guess you could say that. Probably because I grew up in a forest. Or maybe it's because I was forced to live in Abyss all that time. Oh, that's right. You were at Garrig Mach too. I wasn't there for very long, but I never would have guessed there was a whole town hiding just below my feet. Well, it was. I should know. What about you, though? 
What did you do before hopping into the mercenary business? Before that? Oh, well... I lived with my mom in a village deep in the mountains. Feels like forever ago now. Oh, I call her my mom, but we weren't actually related. She was more like a foster parent. So what was she like? I don't suppose she was interested in magical research, was she? I don't know about research, but yeah, she knew how to use magic. Interesting. How did you two end up living together? I don't really know the details. I can't remember anything from before I was with her. Apparently, I was a foundling. Sadly, finding a starving, abandoned child isn't that uncommon. But for her to take me in and raise me as her own, I think my mom was someone special. Yeah, I guess. She was probably a good person. Something on your mind, Happy? I was just wondering why someone who could use magic was living in a remote mountain village. You know, someone told me one time that she wasn't actually from there. But when I asked her about it, she just gave me this sad smile. Hmm. Very interesting. Seriously, Happy, what's going on? Does it have something to do with my mom? No, it's nothing. Sorry to bring it up. I was just letting my imagination get the better of me. Sorry if I upset you, really. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. No big deal. Besides, I'm sure you had your reasons, right? If you ever feel like talking about it, I'm always here. Thanks. Just some old demons of mine. Happens to the best of us. Don't sweat it. You want to head back and get something to eat? Sure. Oh, and we can pick some berries on the way. I think I saw some a little bit ago. What kind? After all my time in the mountains, I'm something of a berry expert myself. Another step toward victory. Now you'll see how hard I've been training. I'll handle this. Let's earn our key. Imperial forces, attack! Yeah, we can win this! Not a problem. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's try it. You can count on me. I'll... <laughs> The better the opponent, the more fired up I get. This place won't be a problem anymore. Not a problem. Ah. Won't you 
severe. I have to fall back. Yeah. Yeah. We need backup. Please hurry. About time. Looks like we got a live one. Time to get in there and fight. Watch this! A taste more bitter than black as Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. Take a breather. Of course I did it. Especially my comrades after this. What is that? Not a problem. Please, you. I'll take over. About time! It's a fight like this! I'm getting all over the place! What's next? Watch closely! Our time has finally come! We're done for. The rest is up to you. They appear to lack rigorous discipline. <laughs> Be wary. They have someone dangerous on their side. Closer to our desired future. I won't let myself stop here. see another gruesome sight. Look what they've done to the homes, the fields, the people. These bandits are like rats. They're nothing alone, but if you let them band together... I've been here before. It was a long time ago, sure, but I can't believe this is all that's left. Apparently, the first thing they did was find and kill Viscount Prim Standin, along with the rest of the local magistrates. With no one in charge, the bandits have taken free reign of the place. Assassinations, too? They've cut us deep, indeed. But why were they killing the leaders instead of taking them hostage? Are they not wanting control of the land? It would seem their interest is little more than unadulterated chaos. Someone clearly does not wish Fodlin to be united beneath the Empire's flag. This is a sick way to show it, though I imagine there is a method to their madness. Even I won't let myself run away from a situation like this! We need to restore order as quickly as possible and return to the Kingdom Front. Once I've brought an end to the war, I will never permit something this ghastly to happen again. Uh, 
Aha. Send a flower to battle and watch it bloom. Sure thing. The fight starts now. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. There will be no failure so long as I'm here. Here I go. No mistake. They must learn who... Leave this one to me. That's my cue. Let's get this operation... <laughs> I'd rather be attacking than defending. I still find this whole affair to be very annoying. Bringing it down. Out of the way. Watch this. The stronghold's ours. Position secured. Let's get this operation underway. Here goes. Escape is our Here only goes. option. My turn. Step closer to victory. Out of the way! Time to make a name for ourselves. Take a breather. Yeah? Nice. I'll try to face my comrades after this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? Starting the mission now. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn. Here goes! 
Use your power to win the day for us. Here it comes! Attack! Out of the way! You're done! Hard life sharpens the senses. I won't let myself stop here. Guard. I'll do my best. Let's earn our keep. I'll paint us a path to victory. United, we are unbeatable. It's not over. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. They must learn who they're up. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. I think this will go well. I'm... Treat. Keep your eyes on me. <laughs> 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 
done for. The rest is up to you. Yes, that was great. Take a breather. Let's call a swap. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. I think this will go well. Up through the battlefield. This doesn't look good. Take a breather. Sir, this is defeat. I'm sorry. Success was to be expected. I've got this. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Now, where to next? Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. we managed to pull through. I won't let myself stop here. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any result's a good result. Perfect timing, Caspar. I was just looking for you. You were? Oh, I get it. You want to go a few rounds, huh? Fine. We'll take you down without even breaking a sweat. Well, no. I mean, okay, yes, at some point. But that's not what I'm here for. Your dad's around, right? 
I was sort of hoping I could get a session in with him. You know, a little lesson from the Minister of Military Affairs himself. Yeah, you might not want to do that. Why not? You're training with him, aren't you? Well, sure, but I've been doing that since I could barely even talk. And it still knocks my backside into next month. A regular person like you wouldn't stand a chance. What about this looks regular to you? Come on, I'm serious. Don't say I didn't warn you. You want my advice? Don't eat anything beforehand if you don't want to be cleaning it off your armor later. Oh, and uh, cancel all your plans for after, because I can guarantee you are not going to make them. Just keep that in mind, okay? It can't be that bad, can it? You're kind of scaring me here. Oh, trust me, it can. I'm just making sure you don't get blindsided by the pain. Training with my father? It's a marathon of blood, sweat, and tears that'll leave you feeling like you're face to face with the goddess herself. Uh -huh. Hey, you still alive? I can't feel my legs. Don't worry, you'll be fine. You're just out of energy is all. You know, my father praised you. Nobody's ever kept up with him as long as you did. Apparently, he's gonna come up with even tougher training now. Though I really wish he wouldn't. I think I underestimated you, Kaspar. I don't know how you can handle training like that every day. Getting used to it was kind of my only choice growing up. I mean, I'm not as clever as you, so I had to make up for it by being tough as nails. That's why I'm always so gung-ho about getting stronger. Though, I don't know if that's really the most efficient way to go about it. No, that training. Efficiency has nothing to do with it. I think I get where that unwavering focus of yours comes from now. Yeah? Well, in any case, I'm glad you're still alive and kicking. Our enemies aren't gonna know what hit them next time we get out on the battlefield. <laughs> you know, it's a nice change of pace seeing you like this. Please don't laugh at my pain. Looks like he's at it again. How's the book, Ignatz? Ah, could you please not surprise me like that? Sorry, sorry. So, you got more books, huh? They look expensive. They were tucked away in my family's storeroom. I had my brother send them to me. We're a merchant family. All the books here are technically meant to be for sale. But they've gone unsold for years now, so he sent them, without telling my father. Your brother sounds like a nice guy. Are you too close? We weren't when we were younger, but I guess we are now. <laughs> we do write to each other a lot. And he listens to even my strangest requests. That's why I tend to go to him for everything. Wonder if he feels sorry for me since I became a knight for our family's benefit. So, you didn't really want to do it then? Well, no, that's not... I did it because I wanted to help them. Now that I'm a knight for House Gloucester, I've been able to make a lot more connections with the nobility. If I use that to help my family's business, then I'm perfectly happy with where I am. If you say so. 
What kind of books did you borrow? A bunch of travel journals and collections of letters from far off places. No matter how painful life may be, it all fades away when I read these books and imagine myself traveling. Wait, did you just say painful? I knew you weren't happy. What you really want to do is travel around and paint all the scenery you like, don't you? What? How do you know that? You're not exactly hiding it. You've got books on painting techniques, preparing pigments, and all that kind of stuff right here. <laughs> yes. The truth is... I love painting. I know the world holds all these wondrous sights that I can't even begin to imagine. If only I could see them for myself and capture them on canvas. I used to dream of doing that. But things are different now, you know? I don't regret becoming a knight, and I didn't do it just for my family's sake. I want to do my part to shape Foglin's future. It's my responsibility as much as anyone else's. That conviction has only grown with every battle. Ah, that must have sounded so arrogant. I'm sorry. I'm embarrassing myself. All right. If you're gonna make it that clear you don't regret your choice, then I'll stop pestering you. But this war is gonna end one day. Why not keep your dreams alive for when it does? Maybe I will. There's no stopping me. This war is ours to be won. Let's earn our key. They're not taking this from us. We will turn this disadvantage back in our favor! Not a problem. I've got this. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. Here I go. They must learn who they're up to. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me. Watch this. The spotlight is mine. Allow me. Take a breather. I am your man. Hit them hard and fast. Here I go. They must learn who they're. There is not a question of can. Only a mat. Leave this time. The spotlight is mine. Fight like this. I'm all over the place. Yeah. Did you all see how marvelous I was? <laughs> 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 Not a problem. I've got this. I'll take over. Enter Manuela. I'm dragging the others down. Hey! Success was to be expected. Never be too careful. Witness our valiant efforts. Huh? 
Here I go. No mistakes. They must look. Into the fray. Wounds are severe. I have to fall back. Typically, do not show my back to the enemy. When needs must. You are done for. The rest is up to you. You may continue to rely on me. Looks like that's it for us. How delightful. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. I do hope you'll make this fun for me. Position secure. It is certainly worth an attempt. Safeguard the future. One day the war will be over. I won't let myself stop here. This power will serve me in the times to come.
I don't care much for battle. Let's clean up. The fight starts now. Both the life to be saved and the life seeking to save, but yeah, for We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. Just find it in your heart to help me. Not a problem. Not a problem. I've got it. Nathan, back up. Here I go. No mistakes. I'll provide some protection. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. of my Fighting a losing battle. I'll take over. I'm at a loss. 
even adequate. to make, no matter the sacrifice. Guard. Understood. The fight starts now. It is time. I will do all that I can. the mission. Is that an order? I will gladly handle this. Not a problem. Take over. Take a breather. 
not bitter if you black as coffee. Perfect execution, wouldn't you say? on our side today. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. One step at a time. A useful skill. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities.
Let me know if I may be of further service. This war is ours to be won. I shall make my dream a reality! Let's earn our keep. I cannot allow myself to lose. United, we are unbeatable! There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. My <laughs> Here I go! Just do as I planned. Ah. Take a breath. Watch this! We'll have to take things from here. Take a breather. Sorry, but I gotta fall back. I'll use this. You won't lose, no matter what. I'll take over. A taste more bitter than black as coffee. Looks like that's it for us. I'm dragging the others down. We won't lose, no matter what. My turn. Standing when the battle's over. You're worth a thousand soldiers. Another peerless victory! I won't let myself stop here.
I will show you true nobility. Hey, why not? The fight starts now. I'd prefer not to die here, if that's okay with everyone. You can rely on me. today. I won't let myself stop here. I am capable of so much more. to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. may be of further service. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? Is this it? Is 
Is this it? 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 See you around. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. You just let me stay inside. There's no time to waste.
fight starts now. Victory awaits. Now show me your courage. Yeah, we can win this. Yeah, right. Here I go. No mistakes. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I've got this. This place won't be a problem anymore. Here I go. No mistake. Are you sure? It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure. Watch closely. This is all my fault. Tell me somebody saw that. And we can ill afford defeat here. It I can't let it end you. like this. Okay, of course I did it. You can count on me. I'll d take a breather. You'll have to take things from me. I do hope we'll make this fun. You know what they say about playing with fire. I can't believe that worked. We'll give it a shot. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Here I go. No mistakes. They must. in my way. You're the best, Edelgard! <laughs> that turned out well. Me? It's my turn. Already? <laughs> We're closely. in bad shape over here. Close. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> What a nuisance! I'll win the next one too, if I just stay focused. I won't let myself stop here. been wasting my time. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. We have a duty to fulfill. I'm ready to be battling. The fight starts now. One must be hungry to survive in battle. Do you not agree? United, we are unbeatable! We're dead! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches... There is not a question of can. Only a ma Leave this to me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, we weren't strong enough. They must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Look. Take a breather. Our time has finally come.
I won't let myself stop here. I work to grow. about it. Me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Sometimes I think about going back to Ferdiad. I wouldn't want to live with my adoptive father, though. Thank you. Making sweets, 
But recently, I've tried to expand my horizons into savory food, too. It hasn't gone very well. That's incredible! I wonder how my mother is faring. I do get letters from her sometimes, at least. to take proper care of my hair recently. can do it again soon. Training was a total mess. My feet are killing me. We need to stay in peak shape, though. You never know when we might get tossed into a battle. True. We've got to be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, Mercedes? You daydreaming again? I've got to say, you've been acting all kinds of weird lately. Have I? I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. You sure? Back when we had that tea party, you looked so... I don't know... sad. I suppose I can't hide anything from you. <laughs> Things like tea parties with dear friends, or seeing the trainees work so hard to improve? It reminds me of how things were before the war, if just for a moment. You mean back at the Academy? Yes. And before that, when I lived with my mother and my little brother. It also reminds me of the time I spent studying with friends at the School of Sorcery in the capital. Things may not have been easy then, but I would give anything to return to those days. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen you get this sentimental about something. The feeling surprises even me. All my years, I've gone wherever the current of life chose to sweep me. In truth, I used to think nothing ever went precisely how I wanted it to. But looking back now, I realize just how joyous all those moments really were. And yes, I'm aware it isn't good to dwell so heavily on the past, but I can't seem to help myself. There's no going back in time, though. It's better to focus your energy on the things you can control right now, in the present. Sure, we're smack dab in the middle of a war, but that doesn't mean you can't find joy in your day-to-day -day life. So keep pushing, 
and make the kind of decisions future Mercedes will look back on and be proud of. Thank you, truly. You're such a strong person. Still, you shouldn't keep all your emotions bottled up like that. We might not go back to the peace of the old days anytime soon, but we can still have tea parties. I'm always here to listen if you ever need to get something off your chest, Mercedes. You mean that? I'm so glad to hear it. In that case, why don't we have one right now? Sure, I don't mind. But why now? Because I used the money I've been saving up to buy some more ingredients. Remember how we were talking about all those different kinds of delicious fruit desserts before? Well, I went ahead and whipped some up. I could never turn down an invitation like that. Can't wait to see what you came up with. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Does this make me stronger? I'll do whatever I can.
This is a way to get more power. Should have gone far better with me here. Go easy on me, Ferdy. All right. I only hope my mind doesn't wander to other things while we train. Hmm. Acceptable, I suppose. Can't let this power go unused. was to hold you back. Oh, look at that! Prowess means nothing without resolve. Has he been merits in our training together? I am capable of so much more. Take your places. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. An ideal match for my talents. My 
still have a long way to go. I think I'm improving. And I'll keep getting stronger too. Maybe this will help keep me on... the gifts you're given. War feeds my body and mind. Well, would you look at... You have to be strong. I am still far from my best. I want to do my part. I'm feeling confident. If these arms... That was a fluke. So do I... Strength and beauty. Death grows. Can't wait to see how you do. Training is useless. Swords are for killing. I can see why you'd find it vexing. To you, real battles are a source of sustenance. It's easy to forget how some people welcome this war, especially the Death Knight. Without the war, I would just be killing someone less deserving. When it ends, our contract expires. Then, I face my punishment. You're still adamant about that? I agree. That circumstances aside, a crime like yours warrants some kind of punishment. But there are other ways to go about it. For example, you could atone for your sins by doing good in the world. Or is anything less than perdition off the table? It's not as if the members of House Bartels were completely innocent, after all. Hmm. That is what you want, not me. It is my future. I choose how I live and die. <sighs> well, I'm sorry to hear you'll be leaving us, but I do respect your resolve. I'm pleased you're choosing to live and face the consequences, instead of taking the Craven's way out. Let them lock me up. And, if I'm ever forgiven, this is my path. If I die in a cell, so be it. Well, whatever you seek for yourself, I hope you find it. I truly do. We all deserve to be the architects of our own lives. I believe that so fiercely that I started a war to remake the world under that ideal. You did so much for me. I'm sorry it came to this. Don't apologize. If anything, I'm grateful. Thank you, Emil. I mean, Yuritsa. So I won't get scolded for saying the wrong name? That's a step forward. <sighs> Whatever you and I expect from tomorrow, we have to keep fighting for it. Are you with me? 
I am. Sweets truly are a delight. Might I interest you in a cup of coffee? It cuts through the sweetness of the treats perfectly. Hmm? No, I'm good. Honestly, I don't understand how you can drink that all the time. It's so bitter. Well, I suppose one with a youthful tongue would not care for it. Yet the bitterness, the deep richness, the subtle acidity. Oh, and I'm not treating you like a child here. I am merely discussing different palates. I'm not a child, and neither is my tongue. Now give me some of that coffee. <coughs> Are you all right, Lysithia? Here, wipe your mouth. I fear that attempt was ill-advised. If you wish to enjoy coffee, you must first modify it to your liking. Perhaps we might try adding sugar and goat's milk. It would mellow the flavor and add sweetness. Yes, please. There's something I'm curious about, Hubert. And what might that be? Why are you being so kind and indulgent to me, and only me? Compared to how you treat other people, it's clearly strange. And what if I were doing so because Her Majesty had commanded me to pay particular attention to you? Huh? She did? Uh, I mean, even if she did do that, you're still being far nicer to me than you have to be. If I tell you, you must not breathe a word of it to anyone. I will erase you if this gets out. Permanently. You'll... erase me? Well, all right. I promise to keep it a secret until the day I die. Is that good enough? It will do. <sighs> I... have a younger sister. On the same age as you. The pair of you have similar personalities, so perhaps I end up doting on you for this reason. You have a sister? Why doesn't anyone know? I conceal my family's existence as much as possible to avoid their becoming a liability. I also have a mother and little brother. Yet you certainly do not know the first thing about them, either. Hmm. I suppose it would be strange for a noble like yourself to not have a single relative. Still, it's surprising you'd keep it under wraps from even your close friends and comrades. That is my business. Regardless. I imagine that is the reason I unconsciously end up favoring you as I do. So you aren't treating me as a child, but a little sister? Well, if that's the case, and considering how much older you are than me, I suppose I can allow it. Oh, but that will not do. My sister would be most indignant if I were to treat anyone other than her as such. Ergo, I will simply have to exercise more caution and refrain from treating you as anything other than a normal child. If it would make your sister upset, then... What... What do you mean, treat me like a child? Oh dear, I let it slip. It appears my tongue is the one that still has some maturing to do. I saw one too. Glad it wasn't just me. There you are, Ash. 
I've been worried sick about you. You were white as a sheet during our training earlier, and I was concerned you had taken ill. No, I'm sure that was all just in your head. <laughs> hmm, that's not your usual carefree smile. I guess I can't hide anything from you, huh? <laughs> Truth is, I turned my ankle during practice. Thankfully, it's all right, but... Well, it reminded me of the time I saw a ghost when I was a little kid. Wait, a proper ghost? Ooh, what did it look like? Did it say anything? What was it wearing? Oh dear, I'm sorry. I let myself get carried away there. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. No, it's all right. I can't let myself live in fear of it forever. So on that day, my brother took sick with a fever, and I went into the mountains to look for medicinal herbs. As I was walking along some unstable ground, I saw a large figure in the fog. And you're sure there wasn't anyone else on the mountain with you that day? Yeah, I was definitely alone up there. Plus, when I tried saying hello, the figure didn't answer. I knew then and there it was a ghost, and in my hurry to escape, my foot slipped, and I turned my ankle. Well, it's important to be careful about where you step. Wait, that's your takeaway? The story doesn't scare you at all? Not really. If I'm honest, I heard a similar tale some time back. A long time ago, a man on a pilgrimage saw a strange, shadowy figure deep in the Ogma Mountains. He panicked and began to scream, thinking at a ghost or some other manner of evil omen. But in truth, it was none of those things. Wait, so if it wasn't a ghost, what was it? <laughs> it was his own shadow reflected in the mist. What? Then maybe what I saw was... I can't say for certain, but it may have simply been a trick of the light. Oh gosh, I feel silly for being afraid of my own shadow for so many years. It's quite understandable for you to mistake it for a ghost. Especially since you hadn't heard the story about the shadowy figure. Thanks, Mercedes. That makes me feel a lot better. Hey, but if you have time, you should listen to this guy's story. Sorry, whose story? This guy right here. Apparently he saw a real ghost a long time ago. Um, Ash? You are the only other person here. What? Come on. He's standing right next... Huh? You were alone when I found you. Wait, so you never saw him. What does that mean? Was he a... Uh... Hunger is the true enemy. This is great. I bet anyone would love this stuff. I'm surprised you know what I like. Thank you. 
This is wonderful. How'd you know I love this stuff? <laughs> you must be more clever than I thought. Come back whenever you're hungry. What a wonderful meal. Hey, you've still got some food left. You don't want it? That Agma Wolverine meat's super hard to come by, you know. Oh, I don't really eat meat. You can have it. Don't mind if I do then. You know, I always feel strangely energized after eating this stuff. <laughs> you look so pleased to be eating it. It's not every day I get to hear you laugh. Did I look funny or something? No, it's just that the look on your face made me feel happy. Instead of just watching other people stuff their faces, maybe you'd enjoy trying some yourself? I'm perfectly content just watching. Huh. Well, anyway, it seems like you've gotten more comfortable eating with me, Marianne. I have. When you told me not to act like someone I'm not, at first I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still thought I could learn something from you. And as I talked with you more, I just got used to us seating together. I see. Then why not branch out and eat with other people too? Mealtimes are a great opportunity to make new friends after all. Making conversation and sitting around the dinner table go hand in hand. That's how we ended up friends, right? It might be a good chance to get to know someone else. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... My adoptive father said the same thing to me once. He did? He often criticized me because I avoided other people so much. He said that... As the heir to House Edmund, I must be at least somewhat sociable. But he never bothered to understand how difficult it was for me to do that. I'm sorry. I was being insensitive, just like your father. No, no. You've done nothing wrong. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to get involved with too many people. Why? I only bring misery and misfortune to anyone who gets too close to me. That's not true at all. Why do you even think that? It is true. I know it. Okay, if that's the case, then how is it possible for us to be hanging out right now without any problems? You're right. I should have been more vigilant and kept some distance between us. But you're so kind and I just like being around you. I'm sorry. I'll stay as far away from you as I can from now on. I should go. Hey, wait! Marianne! <sighs> what am I gonna do about her? Hungers, come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? on you both come on we'll do it together I don't know how much help I'll be but okay we 
all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both very well I will join you you have not to worry about with me on the job we all must do our fair share here to make yourself useful on you both best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted in the dirt my sword is yours we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both right let's get this out of the way I sure hope it's something I can actually do we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts sure I'll help we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both we'll figure something out if we work together I always get the job done and I'm thorough we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both sure that'll be no sweat let's get it done we all must do our fair share You've been getting enough food? Definitely. I'm eating way better than I was back in my mercenary days. You didn't eat so good, huh? I spent most of my time moving from place to place, so I had to manage on my own. I'd just fling whatever I could get my hands on into a pot. Can't say any of it ever tasted too great. Wow. I'm surprised you could even live like that. And you never stayed at an inn? Sometimes, if one happened to be nearby, and I had a little extra money lining my pockets. But I never really felt like the food there was any better. Sounds like you were at all the wrong places then. Nothing fun about a bad meal, I always say. 
That's why I want my inn to be known far and wide for its delicious food. I was actually hoping to do some cooking out here, too, so I could hone my craft. But I don't think it's going so good. You want to know why? Hmm. If I had to guess, it's because you think everything tastes good no matter what. Hey, now. I know the difference between regular old grub and the kind of stuff that gets your mouth watering. See, all the meat and fish we've got in the pantry is preserved. When you're not working with the fresh stuff, nothing you make's gonna have people hollering for more. You think? But there are dishes from all over the world that use ingredients that are on the verge of going bad. You sure that isn't because they don't have a choice? I'm no expert, but I've heard it can make a nice cut of meat even more savory, depending on how you prep it. Huh. Maybe we can learn some more if we ask someone who's from one of those places. Not to mention, there are other ways of preserving food, too. You mean, besides dumping salt on everything? I'm sure you know about smoking your food, right? Things will keep for even longer if you do that after you cure them. Yeah, but I heard that makes meat all smoky and gross. Kinda defeats the point, if you ask me. I think it depends on how you do it, and what kind of wood you use. Apparently, it's really good if you do it right. Wow, you sure know a lot about this stuff. My mercenary days showed me more about the world than I could have ever imagined. I only really remember bits and pieces, though. Come on, don't be so modest. I can't wait to get back in the kitchen with these new ideas you gave me. Hey, speaking of ideas, you want to help me think up some recipes with the stuff we've got here? Well, I'm not so sure me and cooking mix, but yeah, I wouldn't mind giving it a shot. That's the spirit. I know we'll come up with some feast-worthy food if we just put our heads together. <sighs> there you are, Ignatz. Oh, Lawrence! I find the beauty of this place to be so relaxing, don't you? Yes, I must wholeheartedly agree. It is marvelous. As are you. Not only are you a Knight of House Gloucester, you have even taken on the role of a general within this army. To be honest, when first we met, I could not see you as anything more than a mere merchant's child, who happened to be gifted with a better eye than most. That's probably all I really looked like back then. But now, you've grown so capable that I regularly mistake you for someone else entirely. That's nice of you to say. But I still have a long way to go before I'm where I want to be. Do you remember your time working as a knight in my territory? And back before the war began? Compared to then, you are practically brimming with life now. Especially as we march from locale to locale. You really think I'm that different? I always thought you not fond of battle, hence why I find this reversal so very puzzling. Well, it's because... Uh, I confess, I've been painting. Whenever I've had the free time during our marches, that is. Is that so? Yes, there are so many places in Fodlin just like this one, with the most incredible views. I simply can't help but put them down on paper because, well, I want them to stay with me forever. Maybe that's why I've been looking so alive lately. You certainly see straight through me in any case. <clears throat> I am sorry, Ignatz. Huh? About what? I granted you a position as my knight because I thought it to your benefit. But I see now that your heart lays somewhere else entirely. Hearing you talk about art with such passion, such fervor, it fills me with regret. 
Oh, you don't need to apologize. If anything, I should be thanking you, Lawrence. You should? What have I done to earn your gratitude? When the Officers Academy shut down, I was lost, deprived of my purpose in life. But then you came and offered me the job as a knight. Everything I experienced in that role has given my life new color. One I don't think I could do without. I see. So no matter how I live, no matter what I paint, there will always be that one hue that reflects my duty as a knight of House Gloucester. That will never disappear. And I couldn't be prouder that it's there. I too am proud, Ignaz. Proud to call you a knight of my house. And a friend. something. See you around. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality, friend. You've got an eye for quality. 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 You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. We're too late, Professor. She's the only one left. What an abhorrent sight. Oh, not my Miguel. Give me back my little boy. I'm so sorry, but your boy is... He's gone. Please, you must live on. Come with us. Leone, will you take her? I'll check down the other way. Come with me, ma'am. It'll be all right. We got more bandits! They're kidnappers! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, we need to move. We are hopelessly outnumbered. It seems these streets will be my grave. Oh, this town's even worse than the others. Quickly! Wait, is that... Professor Hanneman? Does that fool really think he can contain this alone? Everyone, to me! We're mounting a rescue. I will not lose one more innocent life today. These monsters are gonna pay.
You don't expect me to go out there and fight, do you? We have a duty to fulfill. This is a rescue first and foremost. We must save the townsfolk from danger, as well as the brave fighters defending it. Remember, the perpetrators of this atrocity may be hiding amidst the chaos. And if you find them, they are to be shown no mercy. To protect the evacuees, we must defend this shelter at all costs. Stay on your guard. How many of these ruffians are there? I can't protect everyone forever. I have Professor your Hanneman is in trouble. Sure? Hurry, we can't afford to lose him. die than accept aid from the people who killed Captain Gerald. But the townsfolk need you, so I'll put my feelings aside. Excellent. Right then, let us go to work. Shall we join hands in battle? Leave this one to me. This will be easy with both of us. So... What should I be doing again? Need no nobleman worth his salt can ignore the cries of citizens in danger. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. There's not a question of can. Only a matter of leak. I never doubted you would come. We got to Professor Hanman in time. This has been a fine place to conduct business. Keep at it, friends. There's coin to be made. I am your man. This is the one leading the band. It's time to do out some justice. Thank you. Oh, that was too close. Citizens are here. I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. Move out. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Loop safe. Carry the loop to safety and be quick about it. Let's see if you cross the 
Might we be able to construct a bridge there? Good thing we collected all those materials. Build a makeshift bridge. Quick. What? Uh, no, I'm not him. Uh, you've got the wrong... Fine, have it your way. My turn. Now we can make sure this plunder is returned to its rightful owners. The double I planted turned out to be a stroke of genius. Now to take my leave while the taking is still good. Wait, so the other guy was a fake? No fair! You'll pay for that! Hey, I'm just a passing merchant. I'm not good. Well, it was worth a try. My turn. Take a breather. I should have stayed a merchant. The money came easier. I've seen that rogue before. Wasn't he one of the merchants who frequented Garrett Mock? Please! Someone help me! Stop for me! and strip his bones of whatever you can find. There's a trouble to the east. Hurry! We haven't a moment to lose. There are still people under attack. We must be giving them assistance. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Leave this to me! Here I go. Everyone to meet. Not a problem. Move. Distance. Yeah. Not. Heartless monster. <laughs> Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine. You need some backup? You'll pay for this. Yeah. Save your breath. You'll need to scream as I tear your limbs from your body. You do realize you're dead now. Yes. I am your man. Somebody help. Please, don't leave me. Behind! Are you Not the man may be depraved, but orchestrating all of this is beyond his meager capability. Our true enemy is those who slither in the dark. I'll take over. Watch my back! <laughs> No worries, we've got this! It's Bernie's time to shine! Alright, let's keep moving! 
There is not a question of can. I owe you my life. I am your man. Thank you. Demonic beast, eh? I wager they have been quite eager to spring this little surprise. We can't allow any more damage to the town. We must eliminate the monster ourselves. Is this... There is not a question of can. Only Poison? You coward please your weapons! All the people have been saved. Now we can be returning to the task at hand. We only Leave this to me. Has been poisoned. Bring her to the shelter for treatment. Take over. Take over. My turn. Yeah. Two's better than one. I'll follow your lead. I've got you now. Not it's the old, right? Look, you've done enough. Come with me and let's get you this way. Two's better than one. I'll follow your lead. I've got you now. I don't need pity for murderers. Yourselves. This menace will not go down so easily. Come on! Bigger doesn't mean stronger. We can definitely take it. We've come a long way together. This tail creature is no best for us. Out of the way! I don't think I'm gonna make it. Thank goodness. We no longer have to worry about the town being demolished. I'm sorry, Captain. I couldn't keep my promise. I should have known these thugs would serve as little more than bait. My name is Solon, and I am the savior of this beast-infested world. Our true enemy. First, we will break this match, then, we will break the man. Do not make the foolish mistake of trying to take the man alive. Solon must be struck down here and now. Fresh enemy soldiers are attacking the shelter. go no mistakes they must learn who they're up against strike where we are most vulnerable to arms we must defend the shelter or all is for naught i will put no interference from beasts the militia is offering to help you on your command i will dispatch them to defend the shelter to protect the evacuees. Bring it down! <laughs> you got my back? 
Two's better than one. I'll follow your lead. I shut you down. Takes care of the bear dust. Now we don't want to do it at the mage. We must know how you came by those powers. Watch this! It seems our adversaries know something about us after all. present itself ere long. <sighs> we knew he would try to escape, yet still we cannot stop him. This should put an end to the disturbance in town. You all fought bravely. We have finished assessing the damage, and it is a grim picture indeed. Thanks to the swift action of our rescuers, we were able to free the abducted townsfolk. However, there are still countless victims who have lost their homes and families. The bandits are targeting the most populous towns here. And it appears the Alliance is dealing with the same problem across the river in Ordelia Land. I can't give back what they lost. All I can do is give them the time they need to heal and rebuild. Yet, perhaps the most vexing part is that Solon and the others slithered out of our grasp again, and we barely know more about them than when we started. My apologies, Your Majesty. Their warping magic is unlike the white magic we know, and as yet cannot be disrupted or thwarted. Additionally, a town such as this gives them far too many places to hide. I'm not blaming you, Hubert. The guy didn't even seem phased by us. What do you think they're after? Nothing savory. That much is certain. I've heard enough. Proceed as we discussed. Make sure the survivors have everything they need to carry on. strong to survive, I guess. I will take all the strength I can get. I'm getting better, but at what cost? I won't let myself stop here. there's any point in me getting stronger. I need more strength than this. I must make the most of this ability. 
Edelgard, why was it so important for us to suddenly convene like this? We are quite busy preparing to remobilize the troops, you know. Ah, Ferdinand. Have you not noticed the flock of messengers coming and going? I doubt anyone's missed it with all the commotion they're causing. What happened? I am sorry you have to repeat your report. But would you mind telling everyone here what you told us? I come with the most urgent message from Burgley's territory. Fort Mercius has been seized. It happened after most of the garrison left to deal with Hrimlands. Apparently, some of the remaining troops staged a rebellion from within. At the same time, the fort was besieged by unidentified mages, along with the army of the former Duke Eyre. Together, they managed to reach the heart of the fortress and seize control. As we speak, they hold hostage many key commanders and their families. Ayer? Then the man behind all this is... The former Duke himself, my lord. It seems he's come out of hiding. I see. They're using the hostages as leverage over our loyal soldiers to force them into their ranks. It seems they intend to use the fort as a launch point for a march on the capital. Wait, what? That's catastrophic! My brother is stationed at Fort Mercius. Is he even doing anything about it? Count Burgley's successor, who was serving as the provisional garrison commander, was taken prisoner. Apparently, he made the prudent decision of refusing to join the rebellion. Not sure if that's good news or bad news, but I know I'm glad he's not dead. The former Duke Iyer has vowed to overthrow the Emperor, and is even now calling on the other lords to join the cause. To my knowledge, there have been no takers so far, but given time, who can say? There is no shortage of rotten nobles, whose status and interests were set aside by Her Majesty's reforms. There is unrest ahead in the Empire. Make no mistake. As if we haven't dealt with a lifetime's worth already. Obviously, these people don't care about anyone but themselves. This is calling for swift action. We must retake the fort with quickness. Our fortunes continue taking one poor turn after another. Still, there's nothing for it. We must deal with Ayer's machinations immediately and decisively. Try to look on the bright side, Your Majesty. This could be our chance to dispose of everyone who opposes you in one fell swoop. Scarlet Blaze, Severing the Past. After a furious march, Edelgard's army restores a measure of peace to the imperiled lands of Hrim, only to learn of a revolt at Fort Mercius, staged by the deposed Duke Eyre. The disturbance in Hrim was but a feint to give those who slither in the dark time to capture Mercius, and eventually the capital of Enbar. But Edelgard moves to thwart them. Have you heard, Duke Iyer? Viscount Minya has hastened from afar to join your cause. Our houses, Fenya and Menya, share a distant blood ancestor. And now we stand together again to save the Empire from her plight. Hastened from afar with what? That miserable smattering of soldiers? From what I hear, Menya's heir is a rabid supporter of the Emperor. Are you certain the father is not being foisted on us just to get him out of the picture? 
Absolutely not. And besides, all of House Fenya is united behind you. If we appeal to the other lords jointly, I'm certain a multitude of troops will flock to Fort Mercius. I should hope so. I've no idea why they'd side with that pathetic excuse for an emperor. Only I, Ludwig von Eyre, can restore Adrestia to its former glory. About those mages, they say they want to, uh, alter the fort's defenses? Fine, fine. Let them do as they wish. So long as we're outnumbered, we must embrace creative solutions. Edelgard will strike the moment we give any indication we're after the capital. We'll lure her troops inside, then dispose of them all at once. It will be an easy victory. I always knew you were a brilliant tactician. They will never see it coming. Now, if we might discuss key posts in your future administration. I can only hope Her Majesty is weak and foolish enough to be so ensnared. It was never my intent to divide the Empire in war. That's not what I wanted. If she'd said one word, one word, indicating there might be a place for me, None of this would have been necessary. Enough. I must purge my mind of such thoughts. I must win. I must prevail over her. And if I cannot, you must be the one to cut me down, Ferdinand. Edelgard, do you have a moment? Of course, Ferdinand, but please keep it short. It is about my father. My pleas for a fair trial cost you time and delayed his sentencing. It also gave the Knights of Saros an opening to conduct their raid, which provided him ample opportunity to stage an escape. I am to blame for all that has transpired. Let me hurry you along to the point, if I may. What are you going to do about it? Or, more likely, what do you want me to do about it? Put me in the field when we retake Fort Mercius, and permit me to rectify my own mistake. Will you allow me that? <sighs> I was wondering when you'd ask. Don't worry, I've already made the arrangements. But you mustn't do anything reckless. You will stick to the battle plan, and that is a direct order. Ah, Edelgard, you are the very picture of reason, the very epitome of wise stewardship. Enough. You can gush over me after the battle if you still feel the urge. We've no idea how things will go after all, and you may be in a very different mood. True. All the same, I am grateful. Thank you. You can come out, Hubert. I know you're listening. I came to give you the latest report, Your Majesty, but decided to wait until this other business reached its conclusion. Then you know what must be done. Make sure he's given protection. Oh, I will if I find the time. You do keep me quite busy, after all. You found a way to take care of them? I can assure you. Those Cretans will rue ever setting foot in Her Majesty's fortress. They wanted thick walls, and we will give them the thickest ones a coffin can provide. This is our chance to decimate the forces of those who slither in the dark.
I have an idea. Hey, so he what do you think of this? Hey, I have an idea. This tactic could work. Shall we? Good news. We've dislodged another foothold those who slither in the dark held in Empire territory. Good news. That's great. So, that soldier was one of theirs after all, huh? He was. It's uncanny how you managed to identify their agents so precisely. Ordinary spies would be one thing, but these villains are another entirely. I'd like to say it's just intuition, but there's more to it than that. It's my power. Their magic is almost identical to the one I use, so it's not hard for me to pick up on. I guess we have Hubert to thank for connecting the dots between the two. How strange that you would hold such an important key. The more I look back, the more I realize... Without you among our ranks, I may never have broken the stranglehold those who slither in the dark exerted on the Empire. Me? What did I do? Our hidden foe was deeply entrenched in almost every facet of Adrestian society. The two were almost inseparable. And so I turned a blind eye to the lives that were being lost to their cruel designs. Opting instead to focus my energy on preparing for war. But then, you came along, and helped show me a way to kill two snakes with one stone, as it were. You were the cog that was missing from the turnwheel. The one final push that urged me to act. Right. Well, I'm not sure I can take credit for that but I'm glad I could be there for you all the same. Really makes me wonder why you all didn't trust me, though. Yes, I can see your point. It was my mistake. In any case, I'd like you to know just how pleased I am to have you fighting alongside us. You were a perfect stranger who owed nothing to the Empire. Yet you're still here. That means much. Eh, uh, it wasn't that big a deal. I just needed some gold, and figured if anyone was gonna have the coin to spare, it'd be the Empire. <sighs> you know, some things are best left unsaid. Oh, and you were really quick to compliment me back at the Academy. That left an impression for sure. I mean, most nobles don't give us mercs the time of day. You were different. It's nice to hear you say that. And hey, I was right about you. I wouldn't be shining half as bright as I am today if I didn't hitch my wagon to yours. Trust me, no regrets here. Uh, uh. Anyway, back to it. Victory is so close, I can almost smell it. And I'll be right here by your side the rest of the way. No stopping till we've united all of Fodlan. We will reach the end of this path soon. All of us. Together. Why are you always doing that? A question, if I may. Have you had any further contact with our slithering friends since that day? Not in the slightest. Why? Do you know something? Yes, actually. 
What with the riots in Rim territory and the former Duke Ayer's attempted rebellion. Thanks to that, we now have a lead on the insurgents within the Empire, as well as those who slither in the dark. Speaking to the latter, I also tried to determine if they had been attempting to reach you, or otherwise thought you an ally. But at present, it seems neither is the case, regrettably. At present? Still don't trust me, do you? In our conversations, the future of the Empire, promoting commoners... I would have hoped you'd ease up at least a little after all that. Believe me, it brings me no joy and, in fact, some guilt to doubt you, sir. But I must be prepared for any eventuality. When needs must, I have made even my greatest enemy feel as though they are a trusted friend. Yet... At times, I have also shown extreme suspicion towards those who were, in all manners, undeserving of it. Yeah, I get it. Keep your cards close to the chest. Never let them know what you're actually thinking. You really are something, you know that? I'm just glad we're on the same side. I must admit. I only tell you all this because I do, in fact, consider you deserving of my trust. Even if you were once connected to those who slithered in the dark, that is clearly behind you now. So believe me when I say, I have the utmost confidence in you. I'm not sure how much you really mean that, but I'm glad to hear you say it, at least. Thanks, Hubert. How very diplomatic. Just the response I would have expected from you. Enough on that, though. Our problem now is what lurks beneath your mind's veneer. What do you mean? I can sense another you, bubbling away behind the one you present to the world. Call it intuition. What really worries me is that you may one day shed this husk you bear now, and become that someone else entirely. Uh, uh, another me, huh? Well, I appreciate the concern, but even if that someone does exist, I won't let them overtake me. I mean, come on. I'd shove that other me right back where they came from and earn your trust once and for all. Though, just so we're clear, I don't think you have anything to worry about. Very well. I suppose I will have to take your word. For now. In any case, I hope that as we inscribe Fodlin's new future, we do so with you by our side. So in the end, it seems we're no closer to unveiling the truth about your powers. You can say that again. At this rate, the war will be over and done with by the time we make any headway. That would admittedly be cause for celebration, at least. Your power, like that of a crest, is undoubtedly meant to be wielded as an instrument of war. And as the tides of battle recede, your chances of encountering a life-or-death situation grow slimmer and slimmer. Therefore, you'll be forced to use your power less and less often. And that's probably for the best. True. The less reason to unleash this on the world, the better. You know, they say even a hero's relic, wielded by its corresponding crest bearer, will still drain a portion of that person's life. It's reasonable to suspect your power could have a similar impact on both your body and mind. 
Hey, you're starting to scare me here. Honestly, I was just planning on going back to being a regular old mercenary after the war ends. Can't really imagine life without a blade in my hand, you know? I should have guessed. I imagine your expert services will be in high demand even once the conflict is over. In fact, Edelgard herself seemed keen on asking you to settle down in Imbar to support the Empire. Really? Not that I'm not flattered, of course, but putting down roots isn't really my thing. No, I suppose not. Though I have to admit, it would put my mind at ease to have you by my side once this is all over. You want me by your side? Would you care to elaborate on that? Consider the possibilities. A seemingly unarmed attendant who's able to produce a sword in the blink of an eye. It would be a great crime deterrent, don't you think? You'd prove quite handy on my travels. <laughs> I figured that's what you meant. A pure Linhart answer if I've ever heard one. But how's that any different from a regular bodyguard? Seems like you could just hire one of those and be done with it. Maybe so. But I don't want to be spending the rest of my life with a random bodyguard, do I? Oh, hold on. What? Oh, well, look at the time. It seems I've forgotten an urgent matter I need to attend to. Bye for now. Wait, Linhart! Come back! This is lovely. Tough fight, eh, Lawrence? I'm just glad we both made it back safe. Indeed. Without your help, I surely would have met a noble warrior's demise. Thankfully, my admirers will have no reason to weep today. And for that, you have my gratitude. Well, that took a weird turn. Do you remember what I said before about the order of things in Fodlum? Yeah, wasn't it something like, you nobles are here to protect us commoners, so we all should just be good little kids and go take a nap or something? Well, I don't recall saying anything about naps, but yes, we nobles have an obligation to protect the common folk. However, were a commoner to take a lethal strike in a noble's stead, then we have failed in our duty. I was dangerously close to suffering that fate myself. Okay, sure, but you would have died if I hadn't saved you. And in doing so, you put yourself in a most precarious position. Your life could have been forfeit. Risking my neck to save others is just what I do. Yes, well, you were lucky to keep it unsevered this time. Mark my words, there is no reason a commoner should ever put their life on the line for a noble. I couldn't bear the thought of someone of your status sacrificing their life for the sake of my own. So do not do that again. Are we clear? That's how you repay the person who saved your life? I expected better from you, Lawrence. Oh, no, that's not it. Truly, you have my sincere thanks. I simply want you to understand my position. 
All right, all right. Take it back. No need to get all riled up. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Me? How rude! I will have you know I'm quite serious about this matter. Well, I hate to break it to you, but we can end up in that situation a hundred times, and I'll save you every single one. Astonishing. You fail to understand me after all this. Nah, I get what you're going for, but I've got my own way of doing things. Mercenary or no, I know there's nothing worse than watching an ally die right in front of me. Especially if they're weaker than me. I just can't help but jump in to save them, you know? Weaker? You cannot possibly mean me! Hey, you're the one who almost kicked the bucket out there. If you don't want people rushing in to save you, then you've just got to get stronger. I must admit, your argument is sound. I cannot refute it. In that case, I ask you keep your eyes on me from this day forth. I shall endeavor to improve myself. The day my strength surpasses yours, my noble personage will save your commoner skin and restore the proper order to this world. Yes, this shall solve all of Fodland's problems. <laughs> This is why nobody believes me when I say he's actually a decent guy. Must you look so Come to think of it. Excuse me. Well. This might come in handy. Hey, thanks. This might come in handy. Thank you so much.
Wow, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hey there. Oh, I know. Right on. What's wrong? Something on your mind? Kinda, yeah. Uh, remember before when we were talking about my mom? The more I think about it, the more I'm realizing she really was a strange person. What do you mean? Exactly that. Everything about her was kinda just... a mystery. I've spent hours trying to puzzle out how she might have ended up in that remote village, but I keep coming up empty. I mean, someone that smart is rare even in the biggest cities, right? She practically knew everything. Even using magic was a breeze for her. Hmm. She may not have talked much about her past, but can you think of anything she mentioned that could give you a clue? Maybe something about the people she knew, or unique things she owned. If she did, it's not coming to me. She's been gone so long now. So, yeah, nothing really springs to mind. I don't even have any mementos to remember her by. Then we'll just have to investigate. I'll help. Investigate? As in, my mom? Where'd that come from? Well, both of my parents died in an epidemic when me and my siblings were still very young. I still have some hazy memories of them. Food they used to make, that kind of stuff. But that's really all I have left. And since they were commoners, there's almost no record of them. All my searches came up empty. I know how much that hurts, so it's not hard for me to sympathize with what you're going through. Huh. <laughs> really, it's just so I can get my own closure. We don't have to do it if you don't want to. Alright, I'm in. I'd love to learn some more about my mom. Okay then, how are we doing this thing? The most sensible place to start would be talking to people who knew her. I doubt anyone in the village really remembers her, though. We weren't exactly the most social family. Still, someone must have known her. It's impossible to stay completely unnoticed in those small mountain towns. It's entirely feasible one of the villagers can tell us something. Or, uh, what about the village chief? If anyone's gonna remember her, it's him. But for all I know, he could be dead by now, too. 
then we'll just have to send a letter and find out. And if we never get a response because no one there can read, well, in that case, we can go ourselves. Guess it's worth a shot. I feel kind of bad sending a messenger out that far, but we might as well see what happens. Great. Now, come on. Let's get started on that letter. Care to be training? I must be telling you. You sure? Interesting. Is everything okay? Hmm. Grateful. Take it. Hmm. 
My gratitude. Yuritsa? What's wrong? Not here, either. Hey, hold on. If you're looking for someone, I'd be more than glad to help. Uh, leave me be. Friendly as ever, I see. You know, it's kind of hard to believe you and Mercedes are related. Why don't you let me help you? You seem worried. How could you tell? You're not exactly hiding it. You nearly busted the chapel door clear off its hinges. Hmm. I'm looking for someone. She is injured. Huh? Did someone go missing from the infirmary? Wait, are you talking about an enemy? Not an enemy. However, she fled when she saw me. Well then, why would she run? Oh, I get it. Was it Bernadetta? Not her. Though, the one I seek was likely frightened by me as well. Well, you're not really the most approachable guy. There's kind of this murdery aura about you. Like, if I let my guard down for even a second, it'd be the last thing I ever do. That is not my intention. I know that, but you probably still scare the life out of someone who's already jumpy. Even a beast would turn tail and run if it caught sight of the Death Knight. Then, what would you suggest? I will never capture her at this rate. Your biggest problem is that you always look like you're out for blood. Maybe we should start there? Just try to smile when the two of you talk, and definitely don't look like you're gonna kill her. When we talk? Interesting. Time is wasting. I must go. Wait, Yuritsa! Huh. Is he really gonna be okay? all jumbled up. Let's see. Right, right. For me? It's so nice!
Thank you. For me? I love it. That's not true at all. But... Oh, look who it is. You really don't look like a kid. You shouldn't worry about it. You think so? Yeah. Now that I really look at you, I think you're a very pretty young woman. You act real mature, too. Oh, you're just saying that. I'm not like that at all. <gasps> Excuse me? Just what do you think you're doing? Whoa! Uh, what's wrong, Lysithia? You were speaking to a girl just now, correct? Just now? Oh, yeah, I was. What about it? Care to explain that line you fed her? What? Uh, did I say something weird? Allow me to refresh your memory. Now that I really look at you, I think you're a very pretty young woman. You act real mature, too. You said the same exact thing to me, remember? I'm not a fool, you know. So what? You just go around spouting off the same lines to everyone? Whoa, wait, wait. Just calm down. I know that was wrong of me, but I do have an explanation. By all means, enlighten me. Just hear me out. You might have noticed, but giving advice isn't exactly my strong suit. And yet, for some reason, people always ask for my opinion on their problems. I never know what's best, or how to respond. So, I memorized a bunch of lines from some stories so that I'd at least have something to say. And it just so happens, one of those lines is complimenting a girl. So what you said didn't come from you, but rather some fictional character? Yeah, that about sums it up. I'm really sorry. And then when people have asked for your advice, you've just parroted back some meaningless words. I can't believe you! I thought it would be better than people getting mad at me for being honest. Hearing the truth is always more preferable. So tell me now, what do you honestly think of me? To be honest, half the time I don't even understand how I feel myself. But if I had to put it into words, I'd say... You make me smile when you're around. You're interesting, all the time. When I'm with you, it's like I never want to leave. Oh... Is... is that so? Very well. I will endeavor to keep that in mind. I apologize for pressing you. I have matters I must attend to right now. So, uh... I wanted to tell her that she's fun and I never get bored around her, but it came out all weird. Ah, well. Hopefully she got it.
And what have we here? I suppose it's only right I give you this. Might I borrow you? Is that you? I don't think I've ever seen you train during the day. Good day to you, though I fear my presence is as a storm cloud in an otherwise clear sky. My sincerest apologies for subjecting you to this wretched sight. I shall vacate the premises at once to spare you any further distress. No, wait, don't go. Since you're here, why don't we train together? You're here because you're trying to achieve your dream, right? Though it pains me to deny such kind words, of which I am truly unworthy. I am afraid my dream will likely never come to pass. This pathetic excuse for athleticism you see before you is nothing but a futile attempt to strengthen my frail body and stave off death. How could I possibly ask an exemplary warrior such as yourself to squander your time with one such as I? Training so you don't die is as good a reason as any. I'd say that's why I'm doing it too. See? Our goals are the same, so there's no reason not to work together. Well, since you have given it much more consideration than I deserve, <sighs> what a workout. I'm beat. <sighs> to think my other side would be able to keep up with such rigorous training. <sighs> you okay, Constance? 
Never better! In fact, I am just getting started. Are you leaving so soon? Alright, let's go again. But it's strange how you're suddenly so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. <laughs> I surprise even myself sometimes. Making my dreams a reality takes effort, you know. I cannot allow something so trifling as exhaustion to stand in my way. Who knows how long things would take if I did? Therefore, I shall spare no opportunity to train today. And tomorrow, all of Fodlin will behold my military prowess! Uh, that's all well and good, but then why didn't you want to train before? I told you there were extenuating circumstances! Had I known you would respond in such a manner, I would have asked for your assistance much earlier! <gasps> oh! I just had a brilliant idea! I've got a bad feeling about this. We can train together and conduct magical experiments at the same time! You see, I've invented this particular spell that imbues the palms with a suction power that makes dropping one's weapon a hindrance of the past! Sure, why not? I'll try anything once. Go for it. Splendid! Let us begin, shall we? One side has an overabundance of confidence, while the other clearly has some deep-seated issues. Maybe the two balance each other out. What are you blathering on about? Let us be on with it! How'd it go? Any results, a good result. Let's earn our keep. I'll show you how my hard work has paid off. United, we are unbeatable! Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Yeah! <laughs> 
The rest is up to you. Uh, of course I didn't. Here I go. No, but they must learn who they... Watch this. We won't lose, no matter what. Myself stop here. I had this talent hidden away. Our scouts have returned from Fort Mercius. There's less movement than we anticipated. That likely means the former Duke Iyer wants us to attack the fortress to make up for his disadvantage in troop strength. The numbers don't lie. One needs three times the forces of their enemy to claim a castle in a siege. Although, that's if you attempt to take it head on. So, do we have a plan or what? I mean, Fort Mercius is basically impenetrable. <laughs> Actually, this one time we came home well after curfew and had to try and sneak back in. Turns out there was no way in. The guards mistook us for bandits and father shouted at us until he lost his voice. <sighs> good times. The good news is that we have learned of a passage into the fort which has been kept secret since its construction. The bad news is that I are likely also learned of the passage when he was Prime Minister. Unless his reason has completely taken flight, the man will take some sort of measures to defend it. The fortress is huge in size. We should organize small teams and be attacking from many points. If we achieve success, we can open the gates from the inside and be giving the enemy a surprise. It only serves other regions if the Empire starts shedding Empire blood. We should find a resolution that minimizes casualties on both sides. Um, is this the part where I chime in? Because, um, if you want to coax someone out of hiding, breaking down the door is the wrong way to go about it. That'll only push them further into their shells, so... I think we should try talking to them instead. Is it just me, or is our corner of the world an uncontrolled mess? Why don't we just put all of your plans into action? We've got the numbers to do it. We can sneak soldiers in, use the secret passage, talk it out, and apply brute force all at the same time. As long as one of those approaches works, we'll win. That's actually not a bad plan, and it didn't even come from me. Amazing! I mean, the brute force part is a little risky, but I dare say, you're learning. Hmm. An intriguing idea. But what about the hostages? If we force our way in, they're likely to be killed. I will not permit that to happen. And while my father may be a fallen noble, he is still a noble, and not the sort of man to start butchering innocent people when the tides turn. I pray you are right, Ferdinand. 
Though I believe you never know what a person is capable of until they act. We will proceed with this plan at once, adapting as the situations dictate. We cannot fail. Not here. Not now. carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Well? duty to fulfill. I am ready to be battling. This war is ours to be won. Turn our key. Striking swiftly is our begin. Best chance. Yeah, we can win this. Spirit watches. There is not a question of can. Leave this to me. Not a problem. Here I go. No. Take this. Yeah. Done. I will capture this strong man. The enemy stronghold will be ours. Yeah. Done. I'm bringing it down. I am your man. Success was to be expected. Here I raise the banner of the Empire! Here I go. No mistakes. They must look... Yeah, right! Two, two, no! Don't mind if I do. My 
turn. How does that please you? The stronghold's ours. I'll take over. Let's carve a swath through the battlefield. to make a name for ourselves. This is all my fault. Not a problem. A rousing success. Give this a shot. Take a breather. I'm proud to fight beside you, Edelgard. Luck was on our side today. War feeds my body and mind. future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. Oh, 
How about it? this over with. Let's earn our key. I don't want to get left behind while I'm stuck hiding in my room. United, we are unbeatable. Here I go. No mistake, they must learn who they're up against. Prepare to be amazed. Go for it. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. today. Check me out, gentlemen. To think I still have hidden talents.
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. My instruction comes at a high price. Neglect your daily studies. I'm ready to be battling. My muscles will see me through. The fight starts now. I will stand strong against the enemy. We will surmount this challenge together. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone, to me. Begin. I am advancing. All right. Here I go. I'm go. I go. No mistake. They must learn who they're up against. All right. Here up there. Watch this. <laughs> Success was to be expected. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. How does that please you? Retreat! Face my comrades after this. Begin the sky. Sorry, Close I gotta fall back.
I almost feel sorry for them. Looks like you could use my skills. All right. Begin. The Sky Spirit, what begin? I... Time to make a name for ourselves. Still here. I will crush all obstacles in my way. I'm proud to fight beside you, Edelgard. We did it. We held with strength. I must outwit even death. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I stand ready. Oh, me? The fight starts now. Shall we? I hope I can be of some use. Now it is my turn. There is nothing I can- Please, excuse me. Is this okay? Here I go. No they must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. I'm Out of the way! Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. This place won't be a problem anymore. Let us take them by storm. Not a problem. I'm, I'm sorry. Watch this. We weren't strong enough. Will you aid us? I almost 
almost feel sorry for them. Here I go. They must take a breather. I gotta fall back. How does that please you? I... I'll fight too. I'm sorry, but I gotta fall back. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. We did it! For the love of it! We can ill afford defeat here! We're not losing to anyone! Take a breather. Watch this! Right on. What a relief. Fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. Success was to be expected. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. None shall surpass me. Now you know the strength of the Adrestian Emperor. Yes, sir. I'll give it a try. My turn. Still improving. You're so strong. Don't mind if I do. Goddess, please let their spirits rest in peace. is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I don't care much for battle. Hey, why not? The fight starts now. None will stand between us and the bright new future I envision. I'll do what I can. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Here I go. No mistakes. They ah! wounds are severe. I have to fall back. I'm dragging the others down. Yeah, all right. Yeah. 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 
Let myself stop here. This better not be one of those weird powers. Do what I need to. The fight starts now. Our conquest hinges on victory. Do you want me to lay an ambush? Got a real fight on our hands. hours. No! 
Stepping away for a me. moment. Do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Begin. This. Take a breather. No less fighting or losing battle. I have finished with great success. A nice one. I'll take over. We need your help. Retreat! Not a problem. I'm here. This place won't be a problem anymore. I'm swapping in. Unfurl the flag. All would be lost if I were to die here. Have to keep the momentum going. Leave this to me. I almost feel sorry for them. Is it my turn? Looks like we got a live one. Time to get in there and fight. Here I go. No mistakes. They must... You're in your place. Just in case. Watch this. My turn. Here it comes. Out of the way. You're dead. Great! Let's keep it up! This is all my fault. You'll have to take things from here. I was lacking caution. I'll take over. I'm swapping in. Not mind if I do. Position secure. My turn. Take a breath. Watch this. We did it. Mission complete. <laughs> We'll make good use of this. Was this the battle of finality? War feeds my body and mind. I won't let myself stop here.
I'm going to doze off. I just know it. I'll do my best. The fight starts now. None will stand between us and the bright new future I envision. Yeah, we can win this. Not a problem. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. I think this will go well. I'm prepared to see this through. Here I go. No mistake. You'll have to take things from him. All we've got? Watch this! Looks like we got a live one! Time to get in there and fight! The battle just got tougher. So long as we don't give up, we can open a path to victory. What a pain. Keep your eyes on me! You know what they say about playing with fire. Looks like that's it for us. Yes, that would great. I won't let myself stop here. There must be more to this.
Allies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. This over with. The fight starts now. We'll defend this position no matter what. I won't let anyone stand in the way of our success. We need your help. Here I go. No mistakes. Prepare to be a ma Need a hand, dear? You can count on me. Here I go. You'll make this fun. Yeah. Here it comes. Take this. You're done. Watch this. No one meant to retreat is a vital strategy. How can I face my comrades after this? It's not over. Watch closely. Knowing when to retreat is a vital strategy. This doesn't look good. We know what they 
they say about playing with fire. You know what they say about playing with fire. We got a live one! Time to get in there and fight! is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. For her majesty.
for Lady Edelgard. The fight starts now. Conduct a rescue quickly. We can ill afford any losses. Oh, the wind blows. Victory is never beyond. Get going. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> I will see my deal. Here I go. No mistakes. Okay. They must it won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. The mark you've left on history deserves an impact. The swifting shadow for us. I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Here I go. They must learn who they're up against. Not a problem. 
Right then. Let us go. My apologies, but we require immediate support. Time to make a name for ourselves. Here I go. No mistake. How can I face my comrades after this? Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. Taste more bitter than black coffee. Now, where to next? Here it comes! Out of the way! You're done! I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Too easy. You and I will forge a new path forward. I'm glad we made it in time. to grow stronger. I won't let myself stop here. What you think? Fight starts now. Goddess, please protect us. United, we are unbeatable. They must leave. Please, excuse me. Just do as I planned. Now let us be off. Please, excuse me. Let's go. It's 
no use. We can't gain any ground. to retreat is a vital strategy. That worked! What a relief! Looks like that's it for us. We won't lose, no matter what! Here it comes! You're done! Onward and upward. I won't let myself stop here. Mastery is within my grasp! Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Time to work you into shape.
You can't do the job without the outfit. I work to grow. Can't wait to get back out there. To think I still have hidden talents. Can't let this power go unused. I think it's making sense now. Hey, I'm getting better. Oh, look at that. Not that there's any point in me getting stronger. I didn't think I could get any stronger. A useful skill. Be the difference between victory and defeat. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Today's battle wasn't half bad. And minus that close call, I guess. I tell you, when I charged ahead and saw all those archers waiting for me, a single thought flashed through my mind. Not how I'd like to go, but that's life, I guess. <laughs> I was sure I was done for. What are you talking about? It was so windy, there was no way they could have gotten a clean shot at you. 
You completely wiped them out. Are you telling me you didn't plan it that way? I mean, I knew a breeze was blowing, but still. You're right. You would have been Balthus-sized target practice if the wind died down. But you bet your life that it wouldn't, right? That's something only you could pull off. I never would have taken those odds. It was all lady luck, pal. Pure and simple. Where's this coming from, anyway? I thought you hated all that gambling on life and death stuff. I did. But you're living proof that it can have a place on the battlefield. You roll the dice and get the job done. Can't argue with success. I have to accept that your way actually works. All I can do is hope you win your bets every time. Hmm. Thanks for saying that, but what happened today wasn't calculated at all. Things were going great, then I got carried away and made a stupid mistake. It just so happened that the wind was blowing the right way. Otherwise, I'd be dead. You mean it was all just a coincidence? Well then, color me surprised. It was a complete fluke, honest. That's why I was gonna tell you I've learned my lesson. That I'm done gambling with my life. Really? <laughs> That's the best idea you've ever had. But since you admitted my way has merit, I think I'll keep rolling the dice. I gotta do what works for me, you know? Can't let one close call make me lose my nerve. Wait, what? Isn't that what almost got you killed today? I take it back. You are definitely gonna die. Please stop. Nope. Too late. A warrior doesn't go back on their word after all. We might have had some misunderstandings along the way, but what's important is that you learned to accept me for who I am. Right? In that case, what about you saying you weren't gonna bet your life on this stuff anymore? A warrior doesn't go back on their word, after all. That doesn't count. I only said I was gonna tell you. What kind of backwards logic is that? You absolutely said it, so this whole warrior code thing applies to you too. I don't have a clue what you mean. It's not even remotely the same. Anyway, we can butt heads about it later. We gotta go celebrate our victory, right? Fine, I can live with that. It's a tough job, but someone's gotta talk some sense into you. Fancy running into you here. How are you acclimating to life in Her Majesty's army? We are constantly traveling all across Fodlin, so I'm sure there is a lot to adjust to. I find myself being cold often, but the others have shown great kindness in telling me what to expect. I have no troubles. <laughs> Marvelous. I want nothing more than for you to fit in and feel comfortable. Know that there is a permanent place for you in this army, if you so desire. No. I will be returning to Bridget when the war is finished. I am going to be queen. That day is approaching with quickness. <laughs> yes. I am very much aware. And upon your coronation, Bridget will be released from its vassalage to the Empire. Her Majesty and your grandfather have agreed to this in secret. For having consideration of Bridget's interests, I give Lady Edelgard and Duke Gert my gratitude. As I understand it, the Minister of Foreign Affairs pursued this particular policy most vigorously. He has met with far more success, now that Lord Arundel is no longer around to impede him. I might even go so far as to say the Duke looks like a new man. 
A new man? No, he's still being the same man. Well, yes. I suppose you have me there. Regardless, I do hope that you can forgive us. Though we would very much like to make our agreement with Bridget public, doing so now would be most unwise. I have understanding. The war of seven years ago still has freshness in the minds of many. You do not want to give them cause for anger when this war has not reached its finish yet. I'm glad you appreciate the situation, as I was certain you would. But, all in Bridget have knowledge of our agreement. Every man, woman, and child. If it is broken, they will have knowledge of that as well. Blood would be spilling. Petra, was that a threat? Not a threat, a concern. I know I can place trust in the word of the Empire. The Emperor would never be breaking a promise. Would she, Hubert? <laughs> I beg your pardon, Queen Petra. Clearly, I failed to realize that you had already ascended the throne. Rest assured, our promise will be kept. If Her Majesty and yourself are any example, the Empire and Bridget will support each other and walk into the future side by side. And I have certainty that you will be there, witnessing it. important to say no you can go first Bernadetta okay well I guess I'll start I saw a lovely white butterfly in the mess hall this morning oh but while the wings and body were both white its eyes were crimson it was beautiful I saw one just like that at the stables. You saw one too? Yes, its eyes glittered like tiny jewels. It was wondrous to behold. I wonder if it was the same butterfly I saw. That would be something, huh? Yes, it would be a most lovely coincidence. Well, I guess it's my turn. This morning, I awoke earlier than usual, and... Well, since I had extra time, I climbed a small hill and looked out over the landscape. You woke up bright and early, huh? That's great! So how was the scenery? Seeing the plains hued red by the sunrise was especially striking. It's like I was standing inside a painting, or... Uh, I'm sorry, I can't put it into words very well. Wow, I wish I could have seen it. Maybe I can manage to drag myself out of bed before noon one day. Oh dear, listen to me. I'm sorry for going on as long as I did. No, it's alright, really. And actually? Yes, Bernadetta? Well, I guess... I mean, it's been a long time since I've been able to talk this much with someone. I'm rather awful at speaking to other people myself. So this has been somewhat strange for me as well. Yeah. So, I was thinking it might be nice if we could chat again sometime. What do you think? 
That would be delightful. Oh, thanks, Marianne. I gotta think of lots of things to talk about for next time. Okay, so there's carnivorous plants, interesting books, the doll I'm knitting, carnivorous plants... <laughs> you talked about those today as well. Yeah, but there are lots of different kinds? Anyway, I think this is gonna be great. Is that? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're getting along great with the soldiers now. Maybe it's because they can finally see your face. I have never been concerned with how others view me. But if you say so, then perhaps it's true. You have always been perceptive. Even back at Garrig Mach. My, you flatter me. I'm honored you noticed me at all. Hmm. Yes, that's it. All we need is that one finishing touch. Finishing touch? Yes, there's something you're missing. Do you know what it is, Yuritsa? Too bad, time's up. The answer is... A smile. Yes, nothing makes people feel safer than a nice set of pearly whites. Don't get me wrong, your cool demeanor has a certain charm. But if you smile like I do, people will be naturally drawn to you. It would also make it easier to talk to your peers and subordinates. Wouldn't you like that? No. Oh, no need to be shy. It couldn't hurt, right? And it doesn't just work on people. Animals will be more comfortable around you, too. Animals? Like... cats? Of course! Cats, dogs, even fish! They'll all flock to you in droves. Fish. Mm. Sounds good, right? Now, when it comes to smiling, the important thing is to move your mouth. And your demeanor will suffer if you're always mumbling, so keep that in mind, okay? Alright, let's try it out. Give me your best shot on three. One, two, three! It seems being a teacher was your calling. A teacher? That's not really what I was going for. This must be why I'm still single. I don't think you need to change.
the flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. Oh, thanks. Did you know this was one of my favorites? I like this a thousand times more than those fancy dishes nobles are always stuffing their faces with. Come back whenever you're hungry. Hunger is the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. This isn't nearly enough for me. Hey, Lawrence, if you're not gonna finish that, pass it over. What makes you think I am not going to eat it? I simply enjoy savoring my food, like some people. Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I can only hope to repay a fraction of the kindness you have shown me, both above and below ground, my dear Happy. You've done plenty for me, Coco. So let's just take it one step at a time like always. There, done. Good thing nothing happened that would have made me sigh. I disagree. It would have been ideal for you to sigh in my direction. That I might have served as bait, and at least provided some modicum of use. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. Sure, I'll help. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Come on, we'll do it together. Right, let's get this out of the way. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both we'll figure something out if we work together I always get the job done and I'm thorough we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. Rest, Mercedes. I'll handle this. I won't let you do everything on your own. Come on, let's work together. 
We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Sure, that'll be no sweat. Best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted in the dirt. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. You are always one step ahead of me, but today is my time to shine. Go easy on yourself, Ferdinand. You've nothing more to prove to me. Just look at what we accomplished together. Let there be no question the Empire will flourish. I hope so, although I'm not certain how much one has to do with the other. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. And you need me for this? Are you sure? I don't know how much help I'll be, but... Okay. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. I will see it done speedily. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. Oh yeah, we've got this! Let's get it done. We all must do our fair share. Oh, Yuri, you're back. I thought you'd still be away. Well, look who it is. I figured if I didn't come back before sunset, someone might get worried and ransack my room again. And who might this someone be, huh? You're never gonna let that go, are you? Just joking, friend. No need to take everything so seriously. Anyway, it's late. Shouldn't you be getting some shut-eye? Probably, but I just got my second win. How is your mom, by the way? Ah, well, it's not looking good, that's for sure. But she's still got some fight in her yet. I'd planned on staying longer, but she told me to do what I had to do and sent me on my way. One minute she wants to see me, the next she's telling me to go home. Honestly, she's all over the place. Reminds me of my mom, the one who raised me anyway. She passed away, didn't she? Judging by your expression, she must have been pretty special. She was. More than I can say. She took me in when I'd been abandoned. Taught me how to live. We weren't blood related, but she was my mom. No doubt about it. I'm sure wherever she is now, she's very happy to hear you say that. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to ask you something. It's been on my mind for a while now. About your real name? Your mom gave it to you, right? Where does it come from? I've never heard anything like it before. 
Look up. No, a little more to the left. See that bright star over there? Bright star to the left? Which one? There are thousands of stars up there, and they're all bright. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if you find it or not. Anyway, it's that star's ancient name. The white star that the goddess herself made into a disciple. My mother is a devout follower of Seros. But I know it's a pretty ostentatious name for a penniless kid. I don't think so. It just shows how much you mean to her. Yeah. Well, I do like it. She gave it to me after all. I'm not sure how much of the scripture she really understands. But knowing her, I'm certain she put a lot of consideration into my name. Then, doesn't it seem like kind of a waste not to use it? What with how much thought she put into it? I've used many names, and each one comes with its own mask. But when I hear my real name, all those facades fall away. The only people who can call me that are those who are truly special to me. Immediate family, or someone just as important. Which means that if you're so intent on using my name, you'd better be willing to spend the rest of your life by my side. The rest of my life, huh? Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> the look on your face right now, it's priceless! Regardless, it does make me happy to hear that you like my name. And if you ever decide you're up for it, let me know, okay? <laughs> I'll think it over too, just in case. What's with the mountain of books? Wait, please don't tell me you're planning to use them in your training somehow. What kind of guy do you think I am? They're books. I'm gonna read them. Read? A, a book? You? Did you eat something weird? Come on, you sound just like Linhart. I've torn through books before. Sometimes even two or three whole chapters a day. Please don't use the word torn when it comes to books. You're going to make my heart stop. And books are divided into chapters, not chappers. Oh, Caspar, promise me you won't hurt those books. You don't have to worry, Dorothea. I realized something the other day. A person who's responsible for troops can't rely on physical strength alone. You probably wouldn't guess it from how my father looks, but he's pretty good about that stuff. Can't say I'm shocked that the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs has read the occasional book. Speaking of, you may have heard this story before, but I'm going to tell it anyway. Back during the War of the Eagle and Lion, there was an Imperial General named Francis who was quite proud of his strength. But while he was indeed strong, he was unlearned, and so everyone looked down on him. Why do I feel like this story is going to make me feel like an idiot? Just listen. The Emperor at the time gave Francis an order to study, and said that if he didn't, he wouldn't be allowed to lead anyone in battle. Francis did as his Emperor ordered, and studied as though his life depended on it, growing especially talented in the area of tactics and strategy. As a result, his deeds on the battlefield were great, and he eventually rose to the rank of Minister of Military Affairs. So I should take a page out of Francis's book, right? So long as you don't mean literally, yes. Incidentally, the words the Emperor used to praise Francis were memorable enough to have survived even to this day. With the passing of five sunrises and five sunsets, even the meanest soldier may burgeon into a peerless commander. 
It means if you study hard for five days, even a common soldier can become a great general who commands an entire army. Five days? That's nowhere near enough time. It'd take me five days just to read one book. You gotta at least give me until the end of the war. But by that point, won't your chances to distinguish yourself in battle have already passed? Oh, you're right. What am I gonna do, Dorothea? Well, I suppose I have no choice but to help you. Who knows? I might even learn something. You're the best! Thank you! Here you go, Kali. As promised. Hmm. This feels a little light. You run into trouble moving the merchandise? Eh, sure did. With all the fighting lately, even the noble folk are getting real selective about who they do business with. Well, nothing to be done for that. Our competitors certainly won't back down, so we can't afford to either. I'll think of something. Might involve crossing a dangerous bridge or three, but we'll work it out. I'm pretty sure he went... Huh? Yuri? Well, if it isn't Ash, you seem out of breath. Am I really so charming? Did you see someone suspicious come this way? I was chasing them down, but... I lost them. Ah, you must be referring to my lackey. Your lackey? Wait, what is that you're holding? Oh, just various proceeds from this and that. Dirty money, is it? Coin is coin. Whatever grime it may bear always washes clean in the end. You know, I've been biting my tongue on this for a while. But I don't think it's right to earn money the way you do. You're so much smarter than me. You could do anything if you put your mind to it. There's no need to resort to cheating and hurting people to turn a profit. Are you seriously trying to lecture the Lord of the Underworld? Oh, that's adorable. No one makes it through this life with clean hands. You should know that better than anyone. Sometimes you have to resort to just the most terrible things imaginable in order to feed your family. Am I right? How do you know about my past? I've never told anyone. No, oh, I don't know. Perhaps I heard it from Count Roe. Or maybe even Lord Lenato. The sins we commit follow us until our dying day, my friend. I know that, but even so, I... Well, I'm a bit busy, so you work that out while I walk away. Bye then. Yuri... No, I won't turn my back on you. result. Hey there. Need something?
If everyone is prepared, it's time to make our move. Our troops attacking the gates have been instructed not to force their way in. Before long, the enemy will notice as much and realize we're already inside. We need to locate and strike down the rebel leader. That should put an end to the insurrection. Along the way, you may encounter suspicious agents. They are the true masterminds behind the rebellion and must all be eradicated. Got it. Now let's get going before those bloodthirsty monsters hurt any of the hostages. I haven't been this angry in a long time. When is that man going to stop being a thorn in Her Majesty's side? Ah, how splendid. But do try not to become so flush with rage that you make a foolish error. Perhaps if you grew flush with rage every now and again, you wouldn't have the complexion of a coffin dweller. Quiet, both of you. You don't have to do this, Ferdinand. You can always stay back if you have doubts. No. Fate put me on this path. And now, I must walk it. Sure thing. Enemy soldiers have breached our fortifications. To arms! <laughs> Defend the glory of the Empire! They seem to grow our rules already. Prepare to take the fort. The detachment is safely inside. We should wait to see how the enemy responds before we deploy them. Start by seizing the inner ward. Yeah? Not a problem. I've got this. I will put orders received. These mercenaries are no better than common bandits. How did my father make a deal with such a pack of rogues? Yeah, done. Looks like this ain't your lucky day. Take this! Yeah. I should have expected an ambush. We used to play hide and seek here all the time. It appears we've taken control of the fortress walls. Now we can move our catapults into position and attack. Looks like they're here. And once we kill them all, we'll have more riches than we know what to do with. <laughs> Yes. What the... no! Look out! Somebody do some Save control or something! I will gladly handle this. Orders received. Let's get this operation underway, shall we? But This is 
going well. Almost too well. Is Iyer truly so short-handed? Take a breather. That barrier was formed with dark magic. We must eliminate the caster in order to pass. They only delay the inevitable. We have the enemy where we want them! Unleash the arrows! I will gladly handle this. Those ballistae require stopping. Let's get this operation under. Out of the way! Bring it down in no time. This shady magic business just doesn't do much for me. Her Majesty, you will pay! Pathetic fools! And to think I was entertaining the idea of letting you scamper away! Not a problem. I've got this! Possess a magic construct. <laughs> I give you the Viscum. I hope you like being roasted alive, because that's exactly what's about to happen to you. We would be fools to try and force our way through this. The time has come to call upon our detachment. of that scale is certain to be controlled by some kind of device. On your command, we can use the agents we scattered amongst the rebels to throw Watch the enemy this. into disarray. It was a mistake to join this rebellion. Our allegiance lies with Emperor Edelgard. What's going on? Here I go. Who's switching sides? The enemy's here! Kill them all! Get in there and hammer them while they're pinned down by that magic weapon! Are you kidding me? Reinforcements? Missed it. Not a problem. It just keeps getting better.
construct is still operational. I won't lose my secret device. Keep looking. I gave you the wretches leave to screw me. Exterminate! Not a problem. I'm... Step up and do something about those other vermin there. Rescue our detachment is by going straight through Kranya. But can we defeat her in time? I'll take over. I never expected much from those shifty birds. And here I am with the cold embrace of the grave hovering at my shoulder. I thought our victory was assured. How could everything have gone so wrong? There's not left but to resist with all our might. Help me push them back. The riding is on the way, but those fools would sooner perish than admit it. I don't know how we made it, but we did. On the fire orbs! We'll rain death down upon them from above! Fire orbs? Those must be new. A little gauche, if you ask me. They look real- They must feel dangerous, though. Also, what's a gauche? Viscount Fenya, Viscount Menya, for you. Already lost. I will beat you. I'm coming for you, Father. Your Majesty, forgive my weakness. The outer defenses only just fell. On the contrary, your timing is perfect. Is that? Hold the mark! 
Why must he always show up at the worst possible moment and ruin everything? Leave the enemy no place to hide. Seize every key position in the fortress. The enemy is getting too close to Duke Iron. We must hurry to his side. I will end you. Now perhaps we can stamp out those who slither in the dark. I will crush all obstacles in my way. All hands. Follow your emperor to glory. My name is Ludwig von Eyre. I see the empire in the throes of a terrible sickness. And I intend to cure it or die in the attempt. <laughs> That is enough. There is no escape for you. <laughs> Go on, then. I'll leave for you the final blow. You leave me nothing. This was ever my burden to bear. Father! No. You are just a traitor now. In light of your crimes against the Empire, the punishment is death! <laughs> Send a runner to House Menya and have them deliver the letter I drafted. Also, take the soldiers under your command and begin investigating any magic constructs abandoned by the enemy. At once, Lord Hubert. <sighs> it must be awful to end your own parents' life. Shouldn't you say something? You comforted Flesh, after all. Come on, Ferdinand. Let's get going. No. You may continue without me. I would like to stay here a moment. Just a moment longer. Hubert, we have a messenger from the Alliance, and I need to know where our Western campaign stands. Ferdinand, may I have a word? I thought I'd let you decide how to punish your father's followers now that they've surrendered. Ah. Uh. Furthermore, this incident has led to the end of Fenya and several other noble houses. We need to settle the matter of the next Duke Iyer, and we need to do so quickly. So if you don't mind... Is this your attempt at solace, Edelgard? What? I will punish the troops, and I will find a way to administer my father's lands. You can trust in me. Your Majesty. And thank you for considering my feelings in the matter. I will take all the strength I can get. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. I must outwit even death. No surprises here. I never expected we'd have our hands this full after returning from Fargus. 
still, we have managed to quell the turmoil and maneuver our way back to Enbar. Due to the valiant efforts of Count Berglis and his Aryan Road garrison, the Kingdom's counteroffensive has hardly put a dent in the Western Lines. I wager the reinforcements reached them in time. It's a good thing we do not have to maintain a large military presence in Leicester. But of course, that was Her Majesty's plan all along. We'd be up to our shoulders in trouble if we hadn't settled hostilities with the Alliance. Do you think people in the Empire will be alright? I'm worried about the Opera Company, of course, but I'd also be devastated if anything happened to my friends in the capital. The end result of all this was the complete expurgation of the Empire's remaining dissidents. <laughs> in a way, we should be thanking them for handing us this opportunity on a gilded platter. Adrestia deserves some stability for a change, so I think it's good that Her Majesty has total power now. With the opposing nobles wiped out, it's a breath of fresh air after the way things were under the old Emperor. Lynn, think about who's here. It is all right, Dorothea. I have moved on. It's funny, though. I was sure my father would take part in the rebellion, but he just didn't. I mean, I feel like all he ever did was complain about Her Majesty, you know? I guess he was so scared of the church that he decided to stay holed up in Garrett Mach. What is our next action, Lady Edelgard? If we are returning to the Western Front, I will have preparedness. Fighting your own people sure takes the thrill out of battle. So let's go wall up the kingdom instead and put an end to all this. Who's with me? All that remains is for Adrestia to claim victory. And along those lines, I wish to present an idea. One last stratagem to ensure that we prevail. We were successful in striking down Cronia at Fort Mercius. However, Lord Arendelle, which is to say Talus, remains at large. And any schemes Solon may be plotting are so much conjecture in the wind. Still... His efforts in Hrim territory effectively empowered the late Duke Iyer to stage a coup. Whatever the case, he must have a very good reason for seeking to prevent the kingdom's fall. But why would they help the people who are harboring the Archbishop? It makes no sense. Unless their aim is simply to prevent the war from ending by any means possible. We know the Kingdom's court mage, Cornelia, is connected to those who slither in the dark. They may have planted other associates in Fargus as well. If they already have the King's court dancing on strings, it stands to reason they would focus their attention on obstructing the Empire. I agree the theory hangs together, but does that mean we should expect more interference? We should, Your Majesty. Though I would at least like to think they no longer have anyone left who can act brazenly in the open. And need we worry about our mercenary friend? I was under the assumption that they had your implicit trust. Absolutely, but not enough to purge all of the doubt from my heart. I once trusted my uncle, as well as the late Duke Iyer, and he wasn't even replaced with a doppelganger. People who come in contact with those who slither in the dark are not the same afterward. How am I to trust anyone in a world where such a thing can happen? I do not disagree, Your Majesty. Yes, well, we must remain vigilant until the war is over for good and all. Although I wonder if we can rest easy even then. We still don't really know much about Solon, Kranya, and Talus. I was thinking this would be a chance to learn about my power, or who you actually are. But, oh well. Oh well. Is that all you have to say for yourself? 
I mean, I'm still curious, but my attention right now is on the battles ahead. And hey, it's not like knowing the truth would change much for you anyway. Even if I am related to those slithering people somehow, it's not like I'd want to split up with you. Plus, I need to focus on getting ready to face the Ashen Demon again. Now that's what I like to hear. It's incredible to see again just how fast you've matured. Makes me proud to call you my partner in destiny. <laughs> Is this what being a parent feels like? Uh, yeah, I guess. Anyway, this war will be over soon, so let's do what we've got to do to see it through together. I'll be counting on you, Arval. And I on you. So promise me, you'll do what needs to be done. Scarlet Blaze. A Clash of Ambitions. Edelgard succeeds in containing Ayer's insurgency, and while she is concerned by the absence of the nefarious Tallis, she prepares her army for the next step regardless. The time is nigh to crush the kingdom and central church's growing momentum and put an end to the war. But no one knows that fate holds another cruel twist. I've gathered you here in Garrick Mark because the time has come. We are returning to the front. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to hear that forever. Let's go wreck things. For the next phase of our campaign, we'll be working with the Alliance's leader, Claude, to tighten our cordon around the kingdom. Rather than try to advance on the Western Front, we'll join forces with the Alliance and press in from the East. This means we'll be marching northeast from the monastery and infiltrating Galatea. So long as the Alliance does not attempt any underhanded schemes, our victory there is assured. I hope we can finally end it this time. I don't think I can deal with doubling back again. Agreed. This slog has slogged on long enough. Worry not, friends. I'll not be blindsided twice. I promise you that. We won't rest until all of Fodlan is united. We will fight tooth and nail for it, and we'll do so together. We made some headway on the Western Front once the Empire pulled its main force back. What does it matter when their Minister of Military Affairs still holds Aryan Road? Even if we were in a position to keep throwing troops at those walls, we're never going to crack them. But if we keep digging our heels in here, their main force will be on us again in no time. It appears they have already dealt with the insurrection at Fort Mercius. If they don't come at us from the west, they'll soon waltz right in from the east. Might I offer a suggestion, King Dimitri? Of course, Lady Rhea. We should retake Garrick Mark. It is the only way to reverse our current fortunes. If I call upon the Church's faithful, they will come running from every corner of Fodlan to liberate the monastery in the Goddess's name. With Garrick Mark under our control, we will be able to keep the Imperial Army in check. Additionally, it might convince some of the more fickle Alliance Lords to reconsider their loyalties. I mean no disrespect, Lady Rhea, but this proposal hardly seems... There is more. As you know, the Bishop of the Southern Church is currently seated at the Monastery. If we remove him, it reminds the world anew that Archbishop Rhea is the rightful head of the Church of Seros. I believe this will shake some of the more devout Adrestian lords from their Emperor's grip. While their faith may waver now, Adrestia is still the cradle of the Church of Seros. There are yet many pious believers among their nobility, 
If we can pull them to our side, it may shift the war back in our favor. We should strike while the iron is hot. I will get the word out at once. Hold, Lady Rhea. While I now concede that your plan to retake the monastery has some merit, I must ask that you alert no one. And why not? I need only say the word, and an army of believers will flock to our cause. Yes, and the moment the enemy spies people flooding in from across Hill and Dale, they'll realize what we're planning and bolster their defenses. You believe their defenses are mightier than the faith of the people? By the goddess, have our enemies truly become so powerful? In that case, what do you propose? We entrust the eastern lines to houses Karen and Galatea, and ride in mass toward Arian Road. The enemy will think we intend to assail the Silver Maiden, but instead we break east. East? Then we'll be attacking the monastery through the Valley of Torment. I get your thinking now. If we attack from the west, Aryan Road would be at our backs, and the Empire could box us in. Very well. I have no objections. My church members will assist in guiding your soldiers through ALL. The monastery is holy and precious to us, and by the name of the Goddess, I swear, it will be ours again. Good. Then I'll ready the troops. Lady Rhea, Sedeth, I place all of our futures in your hands. of everyone's time, but I've... What if we tried... this? So, this... I have a stratagem. I shall ensure it is done with no mistakes. Shall we? I will ask Edelgard to handle this matter. As for this one, it seems as though I have no choice but to do it myself. <sighs> if only I could spare the time. Hey, Ferdinand. Uh, you should probably think about getting some sleep. That's an order, actually, from Hubert. But I agree with him. My apologies. My list of responsibilities has grown rather unwieldy of late. Exhausted as I may be, I will be done here shortly. You need not fret. Ferdinand, come on. I thought you were supposed to be giving everything your all. If you're really that tired, how are you going to be in any shape for what's coming tomorrow? Go on and give your all to a good night's sleep. Ah, yes, you are right. How could I, of all people, not realize the error in my ways? I shall take that to heart. Glad to hear you're coming around. Oh, and uh, finish fast, okay? Here, I'll even help. I don't want to go to bed just to find out you stayed up all night working. Let me just... Wait. Hmm? What's up? Uh, never mind. Thank you for the concern. I will be sure to convey my gratitude to Hubert later as well. Don't forget, he's really worried about you, you know. Is he now? Usually he finds any occasion to criticize me. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Is that so? 
Dear, I thought he had taken a shine to you. Well, if he has, he sure doesn't show it. Ah, before I forget, what would you think about coordinating our schedules tomorrow? I've been so absorbed in my work of late, we've scarcely had the chance to spend time together. I have been pouring all of my effort into rising early, training, eating, and in the process, I have neglected our friendship. As fellow advocates of giving one's all to all of life's pursuits, I say we work together to draw out each other's dormant potential. Works for me. My schedule's pretty light these days. It'll be good to spend some time together, but just so we're clear, we are not on the same page with this whole giving our all thing. Splendid! This should serve as all the motivation I need to continue pressing onward undaunted. And with that settled, I believe it is time for us to devote ourselves fully to a tranquil slumber. Come, our lump-riddled camp beds await our zealous efforts. Okay, this time you are joking, right? It's seriously impossible to tell with you sometimes. trouble for everybody yet again <sighs> there you are I was worried when you failed to appear at mealtime ah! I'm fine all quiet here please do not tell me your hunger was so great that you resorted to eating those plants there you should be careful I have heard there is some rather poisonous flora in this area I'm not going to eat poison. What kind of dummy do you think I am? I know exactly which plants are safe and which ones aren't. It is strange to see you this confident on a topic. But if you are so certain, I think I should give your eye a test. Just to be safe, you understand. We're doing what now? Ah, I know. What say we have a little game to see who can collect the most edible plants? What? And as an army can never have too much food, this will serve to benefit the others. <laughs> what a splendid idea! Oh, why me? Okay, so this one would cause stomach aches, and that one would be really bitter, um, I think. Oh, I don't know. I've only ever seen it in books. But hey, I'm sure it's fine. I'll also take this one, and this one, and this one. Oh, and that one over... Wait, is that Ferdinand? Such luster, such size, such a gorgeous crimson. Yes, this looks like a scrumptious leaf indeed. Ah, and there are bulbs under this tree. Rich white bulbs with the luster of a precious pearl. Ah! Bernadetta! Ah, I see. You were frightened by a mouse scampering by and took a bit of a tumble when you fled, yes? Yeah, and I dropped all my beautiful plants that your dumb game made me dumb collect! Never mind that now. Uh, show me your wound, please. Ah, uh, yes. Just a scrape. Still, we should return to base and treat it before it festers. Yeah, I suppose. Thanks for looking at it. Wait, that leaf! The one you're carrying! This one? What of it? If you were hungry, we could snack on it while we walk back. No! No, no, no! That plant has medicinal properties. It's a styptic. Well, 
What luck. We can use it to treat your wound. Oh, I must say, your talent for identifying plants is no idle boast. Yeah, I eyeballed them pretty well, huh? Now let's take a look at yours and... What? <laughs> Are you at a loss for words with the quality of the plants I gathered? Every one of these is poisonous! What? But... the gorgeous leaf! The robust vine! Death in plant form! Throw them away before we die! What am I supposed to say to Ferdy? Oh, this is such a problem. All my animosity towards him has been due to a misunderstanding on my part. I really owe him a... Mm hmm? Dorothea! Ferdy? What in the world? I shall not approach any closer! So pray, stand there and hear me out! My deepest apologies for what happened the other day. I fear I may have wounded you most grievously. As I am a fool who knows not how I upset you, you may freely laugh and jeer at my inadequacies. There's some kind of lover's quarrel, maybe? You think he's cheating on her? Nah, couldn't be. But then again... Oh, for the love of... Please stop screaming our private business for all the world to hear! But you told me to stay away from you! And I must not disregard your wishes in the matter! I implore you to forgive me! I have no wish for our relationship to end in such a horrid manner! <sighs> this is getting good. Can't say the lady looks too into it, though. True, but if two folks really and truly love each other, they can overcome anything. <sighs> I forgive you, Ferdy! Now for the love of everything, stop shouting! <sighs> thank you for forgiving me, Dorothea. And thank you for hearing out my thoughts on the matter. Oh, I think everyone heard you out. Uh, I see. And you are still cross with me. Listen, Ferdy, you don't need to apologize. Does this mean you will never forgive me for as long as I live? Oh, whatever am I to do? Just listen to me for a second. You don't have to apologize to me because I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. Oh? But why? I should not think you have any defects to speak of. I overheard you and A.D. talking the other day. When you were telling her about the water nymph you saw in the fountain in Enbar? Well, I'm fairly sure what you thought was a nymph was actually... me, as a child. Come again? That was the day I met Manuela, and was invited to be a singer, and I was over the moon about it. I slipped into the fountain to wash up, hoping to scrub some of the dirt off of me. And then you appeared. I... see. But... if the beautiful water nymph was actually you, then that means... Uh... <sighs> yes! Right. Anyway, I got embarrassed thinking about it, which is why I told you to stay away. That's all. Uh... Yes. Well, uh, I am glad we were able to clear that up.
minute. Hmm. Uh, you sure? For me? It's so nice! Mm, how disappointing. Honestly, I don't know. Absolutely. Hmm. So, let's think about that. So much. If you please. Can we talk? Hmm. 
thing is... Got a sec? Nope. And that's it. Thanks, I suppose. Let's see. Do you 
have a moment. You sure? Right. Hmm. Are you busy? You sure? Are you even listening to me, Linhart? I know what I saw. Oh, I heard you the first time. I just think you misunderstood what your eyes were telling you. The guy didn't have a head. What could I possibly misunderstand about that? From a distance, many things could resemble the indistinct shape of a headless torso. It's irrational to assume it was a ghost. There must be a simpler and more scientific explanation. And you'll never convince me otherwise, no matter how much you howl. So best to just let it go. You're being real stubborn about this. Wouldn't it be easier to just mumble something about how he might be right and move on? A fair point. But you see... Father? Well, this is unexpected. You too, Father? What are you doing here? I had some matters to discuss with Her Majesty, and prefer to do so in person. And I came to consider the continued unrest in the east of the Empire with the court. And you thought it might be nice to pay your dear sons a visit while you were in the area. A sensible conclusion. Death awaits around every corner in these times. Each visit could be our last. You are a fountain of positivity, my son. We're not just here to bandy words. There's a fight waiting for us, and a lot of you are going to help. Uh, all of us? He can't possibly be counting me among those slated to help, can he? Father? I was against the idea, but as you might imagine, Count Burglies would have none of it. You know, some of the former Prime Minister's rebel sympathizers escaped, yes? Well, we've tracked them down in a town near to here. Leopold means to mount an attack and wipe them out in one fell swoop. With just us? I hope you have more troops on the way. Sorry, but this is all we've got. My army's engaging the Kingdom on the Western Front, and Her Majesty's forces are busy with preparations for the next battle. Now come, we don't have much time. Right, got it. And what do you think will happen to us if we let the two of them go it alone and they end up dead? Hmm? Oh, fine. As you said, it's not like we can talk the Count out of anything once he's set his mind to it. And Caspar is just as bad. That apple is so close to the tree, it may as well be part of the roots themselves. I assume we can count on you as well, friend. It will be a hard battle, 
and I cannot vouch for our safe return should you refuse. Don't see how I can say no when you put it like that. You're just as bad as Count Burgley's in your own special way. You appear to have a bond of mutual trust. Nicely done, son. I'm not sure that's how I'd phrase it, but moving on. If we're going to do this thing, I suggest we move out and do it already. Yeah, if we don't hurry, Caspar and his dad will be drowning in bad guys before we even get our boots laced. Come on, we gotta catch up. See, I knew I could rely on you. Hmm. I get the feeling this is going to be quite the bother before it's all said and done. So much for catching the enemy unprepared. Well, no matter. We'll wipe out what's left of this rebellion regardless. That racket you caused outside the town certainly didn't help. Still, at least they've been drawn out. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. So, what should I? It's been a while since I fought alongside my father. Better step it up. Out of the way! Even more than you usually do? In that case, I'll try to keep out of your way. Are you kidding? My usual approach was getting blasted away by my father's battle cry alone! A good point. I'll stay away from him as well. When did we two last fight side by side? During the Troubles in Enbar, perhaps? Quite recently, then. Hopefully things go better this time. About time! I'm taking this place down before you have time to strap your armor on! Your training is starting to pay off, son. You've become much more disciplined. Oh, now I feel his eyes watching my every move. Better not let him down. Not a problem. I've got this. Oh, if I must. Please. Leopold von Berkeley stands before you! Come and face me! Hey, what's that noise? Hang on to us? Take a breather. Your standards seem unrelated to the right. Still, you might as well deal with it. Mowing down weak enemies is so very... Not a problem. I've got this. So... What should I be doing again? Sure, let's... No! <laughs> what say you, Caspar? Care to compete over which group can rack up more kills? You and Cap have been versus the three of us! I like those odds! Or you can leave us out of your absurd contest. Oh, if I must. Left entirely. Take a breather. This stronghold will fall. Out of the way! Come on, Voldemar. You're falling behind. I don't know why you insist on this foolish competition, Leopold. You know full well I can never keep up with you. Oh, 
What of your older boy? I understand he was taken captive? He lives, but the temporary loss of mercy has had dire repercussions. I fear we must reassess his fitness. Oh, if I must. As for the bird, my so, what should I be doing with it? Sure, let's try it. Oh, if I must. Leave this to me. Not a problem. Warp the ears. Another one-man assault? Well, if that's what you want. A wise man is ever ready. Would you like to be warped as well, Caspar? I personally think it's a terrible idea, but I'll let you make your own decision. No thanks. I'm uh, running on pure clean Caspar power this time. I'll take this place down before you have time to strap your armor on. I'm feeling great, Father. What about you? Did you even ask? Thanks to my training, my stamina is the envy of men half my age. Though I am reluctant to do this, I can see no other choice. All right, that's one down. Come on, give me another. Can't we just have a nice, more battle? Counting bodies is so tacky. Not a problem. I've got this. So... What should I be doing again? More bandits? Just sleep? Mostly bandits, I guess. I don't see very many rebels. What's all the commotion? If we're under attack, then fight back, you idiots! Oh, if I must. Leave this armor on. This will be amazing. <laughs> this stronghold will fall. Still not yet. Take quite close to me, Father. Is the Count's company not to your liking? You're done! Precisely so. The man is a selfish, overbearing oaf who doesn't even pretend to listen to me. He is the worst, and I curse fate for seeing fit to settle us together since birth. Pardon me. <laughs> to match your intensity. Come on! Let's show our fathers what we can do! Show me what you learned! Every technique and talent! Hold nothing back! You're done! Fight against the strongest man in the Empire? You've got it. 
I'll give you all you can handle! Are you sure you have the right son here? Because I'd much prefer to stay out. Out of the way! You're done! My force of will seems rather weak in the face of the might you display so casually. Sorry, I can tell your heart's not really in this. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna prove how strong I am! Yes! Yes! Give me more! The vigor of youth! Let this battle be your proving ground! Impressive! You've done yourself proud! This day has been simply awful. Time for me to hurry home and fall into bed. Bed? It's still early. I bet my father has plenty more training in store for us. I won't let myself stop here. Getting stronger. There must be more to this. <laughs> so you finally bested your old man, huh? I'm proud of you, Caspar. And Linhart? You've come a long way as well. Oh, and it puts my mind at ease to know these two have a companion like you around. Don't you agree, Valdemar? Any peace of mind I may have gained will doubtless be wiped out soon by more of your antics, Leopold. But yes, as one never knows what will happen on a battlefield, it is always good to have capable allies. Wow, did you hear that? My father isn't easily impressed, so you must have really knocked his greaves off back there. It's an honor to get complimented by such a renowned military mind. Ha! Well, if you ever want to test your might, you know where to find me. I don't think that was ever on the table. No? Well, that's disappointing. Anyway, Kaspar, I wanted to give you something. My gauntlets, Yarn Griper. They've been in our family for generations, and you don't even need a crest to use them. I, uh, really? Are you sure? It's only right that they get passed down to the next generation of Burgley's warrior. You mean I've earned them? Looks like all your hard work's finally paying off. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Truly. I'm gonna get even stronger to keep proving I deserve the honor. Ha! 
Well said, my son. Now then, it would be rude of me to let the rest of you go empty-handed after all that. Here. Consider this as a thank you for letting me drag you all on my little adventure. Hey, now we're talking. After all those years as a merc, I always expect some kind of reward after a tough battle. You throw yourself vigorously into the fray to help your friends, yet also keep a tight grip on the strings of your purse. You would make for a fine civil servant, if you ever had the inclination. Mm, tempting, but I think I'd rather fight people than paperwork. Guys like me aren't cut out for the civilized life. I prefer to let my sword do the talking. Wait, you have a talking sword? What? Of course not. <laughs> if only you trained your mind with the same vigor as your muscles, my son. Hey, speaking of minds, where's Linhart? He's been awfully quiet through all this. Did he seriously just pass out? Hmm? Oh, are we going? Wow, look at that. I have a second wind. Just enough energy to get me home and into bed. Another step toward victory. I'll do my best. Literally, anyone else would be more useful. The fight starts now. Are you all prepared to meet the enemy? I lack the ability to help you overcome this, but I'll assist all the same. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No, but they must learn. I think this will go well. severe. 
I have to fall back. You'll have to take things from here. How can I face my comrades after this? They will not take this from us. Not a problem. No, I'm all right. Really. My turn. Pardon my ineptitude. I suppose I'm more useful than a. Here I go. No, they must learn who they're. Not a problem. I've got this. I think this will go well. I'm prepared. We'll be I'm in sorry. a good position if we can capture this stronghold. A taste more bitter than blackest coffee. This is right on. I can't lose. Unfurl the flag. This is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Forget my analysis technique. Yeah. Unfortunate chance moves. Yeah. Take a breather. So this is defeat. I'm sorry. I'll take over. Can't let in like this. Success was to be expected. You'll have to take things from here. I'm just glad I could be of service. Training are magnificently evident. You held strong. Lift your heads high. I want to do my part. I won't let myself stop here. I had this power within me all the while? Long story short, the kingdom is preparing to ride west with a huge army. It looks like they're gonna throw everything they've got at Aryan Road. Yes, we have received similar reports. It's a pretty strange thing to do. I don't trust it. Then you believe it to be a feint? Interesting. Well, if true, there are only so many places they could go. 
They cannot ignore our troops and attempt to take Deirdre. That would be folly. So the only other place I can imagine they would be after is Garrick Mark. That's what I was thinking. So what's our play? We can't risk losing the monastery. We'll have to send more troops to defend it. But at the same time, we can't unclench the fist we are trying to bring down on the kingdom. Our only choice is to mobilize the full resources of our regions. Spoken like a woman with might to spare. I'm afraid we in the Alliance are already at our limits. But hear me out for a second. If the Kingdom really intends to attack Eric Ma, they won't approach from the west. That would put them smack between your forces in Aryan Road and the Monastery. It'd be suicide. That leaves them with only one option. You're saying they'll take the northern approach through Aelau? Yep, the Valley of Torment, which just so happens to be the route we were planning to use ourselves. The Church of Saros will likely mobilize every night they've got, and that is a very big army. Supposing you are correct, what do you suggest we do in response? Should we change our marching route to avoid clashing with them? Nope. In fact, I vote we do the opposite. The Kingdom will catch on no matter how we try to deploy our troops, so I say let's meet them right there in Aelo. Interesting. But the valley path is treacherous and difficult to navigate, which will blunt the impact of our superior numbers. Why would we play into the enemy's hands like that? Because sometimes trying to claim every advantage can be a double-edged sword. Leveling the playing field can often be the key to bringing an opponent down, especially if you know you can handle it. Besides, what better way to keep casualties to a minimum than by finishing them off in one battle? You know how to convince me. Very well. I can get behind this plan. Hmm. Is there anything you would like to add, Hilda? You appear to be deep in thought. Huh? Who, me? Nah, I'm good. I'm just standing in because Clot asked me to. If it brings the war to an end quicker, I'm all for it. are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Ours to be one. All right, I've got this. The fight starts now. Imperial forces attack. Let's get this operation under. Let's. Yeah, we can win this. Yeah! 
We'll make good use of this. There is not a question of can. <laughs> Capture this stronghold. Don't this. mind if I do. I am your man. I'll take over. Position secure. Give it a whirl. You may continue. Let's get this operation underway. Starting the mission to rely on me. My turn. Take a breather. Somebody wants to die. You know what they say about playing with fire. The stronghold's ours. Watch this! Looks like we got a live one! Time to get in there and fight! You will not fall in faith. We have taken another step forward. Done and done. I'll take an ill afford defeat here. My turn. Leave this to me. This victory moves us closer to great things. I won't let myself stop here.
Indeed. If you would. Right. What you think? I will prepare this scarlet path. I'll do my best. Let's earn our keep. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. We can win this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're right then. Let us. I think this will go well. I'm done. Now, take charge of the tower. We'll have these defenses crippled in short order. Watch this! This place won't be a problem anymore. No, not yet! Take a breath. Keep your eyes on me. Stand back. Any final words? I'm all right. Position secured. I won't lose. Perhaps we will incorporate this territory into our future strategies. We're not losing to anyone. I'll take over. Onward! <laughs> Looks like you got one tough Not a problem. I've got this. Fight on your hands. It's not over. at their weakest point. Right. Bring it down! There are avenues that yet remain open. Here I go. No mistakes. They must... Take a breather. I face my comrades after this. Take it down in one fell swoop! Take this! Hit them hard and fast! Out of the way! Luck was on our side today. To kill is to grow stronger. The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. 
for the fate of Fodlan. <laughs> go out there and fight, do you? So be it. Let's earn our keep. while I'm stuck hiding in my room. United, we are unbeatable! Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service.
Now you'll see how hard I've been training. I'll do my best. The fight starts now. Imperial forces, attack! Yeah, we can win this! Watch this! They must learn. So, what should I be doing again? Sure, let's... Shall we? Looks like that's it for us. Bringing it down. Let's get started. How can I face my comrades after this? Now, we go on the offensive! Still improving. I'll take over. This is why we've been training together. You will not fall in vain. My turn. Allow me. <laughs> I have to try even harder to keep up. Maybe this. Okay, thanks. You shall pay for this. You hear? Not a bad way to test my skills. Not a problem. Please retreat. All would be lost if I were to die here. Out of the way! You're dead! That's a massive victory! Day. I won't let myself stop here. Thanks for tipping me off. It was the push I needed. I've been grappling with what to do for a long time. If I'd had someone like you around, I might have made the right decision in the first place. 
I bet I'd be walking a very different path right now. Lester would sure be different. Maybe even all of Fodlan would be different. I think you're giving me too much credit. I don't know. I'm a pretty good judge of character. But anyway, if you don't have anything else lined up after the war, why not come with me? I think we make a pretty good team. Yeah, maybe we do. I'll give it some thought. That's all I could ask. But for now, I guess you know what to do next. starts now. I'll do what I've got to do. That's it. Done. United, we are unbeatable. Get this operation in. This place won't be a problem anymore. My turn. Somebody wants to die. Done for. The rest is up to you. That turned out well. We can ill afford defeat okay. here. Take a breather. Here it comes. Take a bit. You're done. Onward and upward. Majesty, 
Let's earn our keep. Stay safe. A life is the only thing we can't replace. Um, so I can't just sit Watch this one this. out? I mustn't bring shame upon my good name. I mustn't bring shame upon my good name. Here I go. No, but they must learn. Not a problem. I've got this. It's Bernie's time to shop. Sure hope that... Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> Position secure. Take a breather. This is not all my fault. Yeah. How does that please you? Stand back. This is all my fault. What's next? Fight like this. I'm bleeding all over the place. I can't believe that worked. You shall pay for this, you hear? Somebody help me! Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. It's Bernie's time to shine! Sure, hope right then. Let us go to work. Are you? I'll take over. How can I face my comrades after this? <laughs> Perhaps this will shift the situation in our favor. <laughs> I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. Success was to be expected. My turn. Walk through the battlefield. Yeah. This battle will make a fine stage for my debut. This victory is in the name of Lady Edelgard.
The future is ours to make, no matter the sacrifice. <laughs> I've got this. Let's clean up. Let's earn our keep. Let's move. Yeah. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. We need some help, and fast! Not a problem. I'm here to help. Here I go. Nope. You'll make this fun for me. Got this. Rescue successful. I won't let myself stop here. What do you think?
Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Hey there. Need something? Is this it? Is this it? Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results a good result. Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Everything has its use. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. We have a duty to fulfill. I have to do my best. Let's earn our keep. One must be hungry to survive in battle. Do you not agree? I'm with you. <laughs> Not a problem. Move out. Here I go. No mistake. Everyone to There is not a question of can. Forward. I'll do my best. Let's move. This is bad. That's it for us. Huh. 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 
against you. You may continue to rely on me. Success was to be expected. I do hope you'll make this fun for me. Here I go. No mistakes. Everyone to me. And Take a breather. <laughs> We did it! Not a problem. This is I'll take over. I am your man. I had a few. Watch this. Does that please you? You shall pay for this, you hear? I would be lost if I were to die here. What's next? <laughs> Not a problem. Uh I'll take over. My so turn. this is defeat. I'm sorry. Watch this. A boon for our future. <laughs> For my debut. My turn. Time to get going. Here I go. No mistake. On to the next one. This is what comes from one who shares my belief in giving you your all. This. this place won't be a problem anymore. The only acceptable outcome. I'm proud to fight beside you, Adelgard. one too if I just stay focused What you think?
Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. <sighs> You're in better spirits than I expected. You look at least two shades less pale than you did after the battle at Fort Mercius. <laughs> oh, but your majesty does enjoy telling it like it is. Would it be the end of you to show a little compassion? <sighs> no. Then you would just be pitying me. I do not know which is worse. Regardless, I am well. Thank you for noticing. Ask of me what you will. And I shall see it done. I don't need anything from you, Ferdinand. Or at least not in that way. Just give me your usual effort. And that should be enough to get us through the upcoming battle. You can count on me. Point me at a foe, and I will dispatch them with all haste. I cannot afford to die now. Or my page in the history books will end in a most horrid fashion. Plagued by the guilt of striking down his father, Ferdinand welcomed the cold embrace of death on the battlefield. Or some such hogwash. Yes, I killed my father. And I would be a liar if I said it did not wound me nearly beyond reckoning. But I will not hate myself for it. It was the correct choice. I did the right thing. Well, don't feel too bad. Imagine what they would write about me if we lose this war. Despite her futile attempts to wrest power from the Prime Minister, the Emperor's people turned against her and her life ended in abject failure. The end. I know exactly what the world would say of me, which is why I have no intention of losing. I will not permit such a thing to happen. If ever my life were to be weighed against yours, I would gladly perish in ignominy if it meant keeping you alive and well. <laughs> what? Did I say something amusing? No, it's just... You're so strong, so proud. If all the world's nobles were like you, there would be no need to dismantle the aristocracy. That's all. I know it's a futile thought. Nothing is futile. Though even I must admit it seems to be so, given the circumstances. Still, you vastly underestimate the potential of the aristocracy. For generations, our ancestors worked hand in hand, sharing knowledge and wisdom to administer our great land and ensure it was well protected. They acquired knowledge of the region and developed good policies to rule it. And in doing so, they earned the trust of the people. We cannot throw away everything they have built. It would be folly. Of course not. What do you take me for? I'm dismantling the aristocracy, not their legacy. The common folk will take up the torch and carry on. Do you believe they are ready? No matter how gifted they may be, they are only commoners. In order to replace the nobility, they need to be educated. Wait a moment. I see your plan now. You intend to establish a school. One that is not merely for nobles and wealthy merchant children like the Officer's Academy once was. A school where anyone can enroll regardless of wealth or standing, and get an education rivaling that of any noble. Ferdinand? I cannot begin to guess where that idea sprung from, but this is exactly why I need you beside me as we shape the future of Adrestia. You mean to say that you did not actually... So I was... Well, it is nice to be needed.
Time to work you into shape. A new way to fight? Good. A fresh start, huh? Well, let's not waste it. One step at a time. Can't wait to get back out there. I work to grow. This is part of me now. There must be more to this. Oh, look at that! Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. So long as I can still rumble. Can't wait to see how you do. Oh, hello. Are you on your way to get something to eat? Yeah. You? Shall we go together then? 
The sure thing. I wonder what they've cooked up for us today. Ah, that was satisfying. Pretty nice getting such tasty meals all the time, huh? I agree. The meal was lovely. You didn't finish your meat again. It's kind of a waste, you know. I ate a lot of the vegetables, so you can have it. Hey, if you're offering... Wait a minute. Haven't we had this conversation before? <laughs> I think we have. Did something happen to you, Marianne? You seem more... relaxed today. In a good way, of course. Oh, no. Nothing in particular. But I made a decision. I'm not going to worry about whether I bring misfortune to others or not. I've been a part of this army for a while now, and I've worked closely with everyone in it. And nothing terrible has happened to anyone as a result of being around me. Well, of course nothing bad's happened. I'm still a bit anxious about everything, but I decided to adopt a more easygoing attitude. I'd like to emulate you and your nonchalant demeanor, how you can just move through the world without a care. <laughs> You're making me sound kind of irresponsible. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I say if you want to talk to people, then talk to them. If you want to be alone, then do that. I really think it's best to just be yourself. Don't force anything. Yes, I think so too. But I fear my adoptive father might chastise me again if I say that to him. I'm not so sure about that. I think he'd acknowledge how far you've come if he saw you now. You really think so? You might not have noticed, but you're a lot different than you used to be. You're definitely somewhat sociable. More so, even. I just hope that's good enough for him. I'd like to think it will be. Well, I mean, I guess I don't really know what kind of guy your father is. Sometimes I think you say whatever pops into your head without thinking. I suppose that's what I like about you, isn't it? I can already tell I'm going to learn a lot from you. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. enough for one day. <laughs> you really know how to make me work up a sweat. You kept me on my toes as well, Caspar. Thank you. Hey now, you'll never have to twist my arm to get me to train. Just shout when you want to go again. Oh, and we should invite Raphael next time. The muscles on that guy are something else. I'll keep that in mind. I often have trouble finding people to spar with. No surprise there. Not like folks are lining up for a chance to knock the Emperor's teeth out. You seem to have no problem coming after my teeth. Sometimes I think you're trying to kill me. What? No! I, I mean, I only do it because I know you can handle it, right? Look, just don't say anything to Hubert, okay? If he finds out we're sparring, he'll have me cut into pieces and dumped into the nearest river for sure. He already knows. I convinced him that I need the training if I'm to stand on the front lines. Well, that's a relief. So, uh, why do you, by the way? Uh, fight on the front lines, I mean. You're an incredible fighter, but the Empire would be in deep, deep trouble if anything happened to you. And it's not like you're after the glory like I am. Shouldn't you just hang back and send us orders from some distant hilltop? Seems like it goes pretty hard against that rationality thing you're always talking about. Caspar? Lecturing me on what's sensible? I must be dreaming. But yes, you're right. It's not entirely rational. See? I'm 
a thinking man sometimes. That's not to say I don't have a rational reason. My presence on the front lines improves morale, and my skill betters our hope of victory. So long as I don't fall in battle, taking the field is the smartest thing I can do. Right, sure. So, what's the unrational part? <sighs> the emotional side. I can't stand the idea of remaining safe while friends and comrades alike risk their lives for our cause. You're all out there on my command, taking lives from others and giving your own in return. It doesn't seem fair for me to do any less. Except that you're the Emperor. And I say the Emperor should help. Hey, I get it. You want to get in the dirt with the rest of us to pull your weight, right? You and me are the same in that way. Uh, a dreadful suggestion, but I'll allow it. Aw, oh, come on. You should be happy. Here I thought we were completely different people, but it turns out there's a little Caspar in you after all. You know, I can't even imagine you lording over us from far away. You work best when you're down in the mud with the rest of us, sending chumps flying. If there's a little Caspar in me, perhaps it's time to put a bit of someone else in you. Someone with manners, perhaps? Ugh, the M word? No thanks. You know all that politeness would only hold me back. really done it this time. Her Majesty is the kindest person I know, so she's likely not upset with me, but I still cannot bring myself to face her. Hello, Monica. What brings you to this particular wall for conversation? What do you want, Hubert? I lack the energy to keep you company right now, so please just leave me alone. Very well. I thought you might be interested to know that Lady Edelgard was overcome with grief, as she told me how deeply she regrets wounding you with her words. But, as you desire solitude, I will endeavor to keep that to myself. Good day. She did? And wait, did you not just tell me what she said? Hmm? Oh, not at all. I was merely speaking to myself. <sighs> there was a painting in Her Majesty's chambers, and... Subtlety is not my strong suit, to put it lightly. I asked her whose child had scribbled on such an expensive canvas, before realizing Her Majesty had actually painted it herself. So she didn't hurt me, I hurt her. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Lady Edelgard can be quite sensitive, despite how she carries herself. Perhaps she was so stunned by your comment that she made a hurtful one of her own in the heat of the moment. You need not let it weigh upon you. Such events are commonplace for me as well. You amaze me, Hubert. How are you not beside yourself at Her Majesty's every utterance? I know I said that I wanted to become her servant, but now I think it may be impossible. Her Majesty is so radiant. I'm not sure I possess the fortitude to bask in that glow every minute of the day. Perhaps some distance between us is better for me. Do you truly believe that? Even though you now have an opportunity to become her servant? Wait, I do? Once this war is settled, Her Majesty will endeavor to tear down the entire concept of the nobility. Her first action will be to separate territory from title, making it so that being a noble no longer means one must lord over some plot of land somewhere. Once she does this, 
I rather suspect you could remain at her side, even if you do inherit your family's title. You're right. How could I have failed to realize that? I have heard her talk about her plan so many times before, but I never considered what an impact it would have on me. Ah, oh, I am such a fool. Not at all. You simply illustrate what it is to be part of the established system. One is not easily shaken from its structure. This is why Her Majesty takes such drastic measures to rid us of the accepted practice of categorizing individuals as either noble or common. <sighs> Honestly, I don't believe there's another more suited to serving Her Majesty than you. But I still will not give up. I'm going to become her servant too, and show everyone a new way of life for the nobility, and for whatever lies beyond. Which means I cannot simply stand here in this state of indecision. There is much work to do. <laughs> I suspected she might be stopped in her tracks for but a moment. And indeed, she has gone and left me in the dust. Well, I cannot permit myself to be left behind in such a fashion. I must keep making progress of my own. Lysithia. Must you cry out my name whenever you see me? Ah, <sighs> yes, well, what do you need? A moment of your time, nothing more. I have an issue I would like to discuss. Very well, but please make it fast. It concerns your future. Huh? I just could not understand why a talented young woman such as yourself would make such a rash and frankly illogical decision. Why would you throw away your nobility? Why must you live with such hasty abandon? I sought answers to these questions. I attempted to understand your reason for living. Could you not, though? It's incredibly irritating. Ah, <sighs> fine, whatever. Keep talking. Right. Well... In the end, I happened upon your secret and came here to talk to you. I know you have been condemned to a brief life. <sighs> so you know the truth. Good for you. Well, as I have no options or choice in the matter, I'd appreciate you just leaving it be. Do you truly have no options? What option do you think is open to me? I can't do anything but take on responsibility for my parents. I do not know. At least, not right now, but... Don't you think I'd do something if I could? Of course. And as I said, I lack a solution to the issue at present. Though there may only be little time left to you, does it mean there is no tomorrow? No day after that? As long as you draw breath, you can take action. And what action can I possibly take, Ferdinand? I stopped clinging to false hope long ago. Do not turn away from the magic of possibility. Lord Arundel and the others who worked in the shadows of the Empire left behind a great deal of information. And, as you know, I have been delving into that information with Hubert. In the course of our work, we located records of the fell experiments conducted at House Ordelia. <gasps> you... did? We did. Now, there is no guarantee we will stumble across a solution to your particular problem. But we have the wisest minds of the Empire, including Linhart, Professor Hanneman, and many others, researching the matter as we speak. 
So please, just hold on a little longer, Lysithia. Let us finish this before your life flickers out. That's... I don't even... Ferdinand, wait! Let me help with the research, too! That way would be better! Much, much better! Wait for me! Are Lynn. Hmm? Oh, Dorothea. How unusual. I didn't expect to see you in a place like this. It's not unusual when I've been looking for you literally everywhere. You skipped out on the War Council meeting this morning and Aidy was livid. Yes, something came up that required pulling an all-nighter two nights in a row, so I had some sleep debts to repay. Maybe spare a thought for the person who'll get stuck having to track you down. We discussed important matters in the meeting, you know. There was some kind of accident, and now we're experiencing a delay on supplies. And now we need to ration our food? It's a pain, but these things happen. In the worst case, we are supposed to be considering ways to forage for food ourselves, right? I suppose I can handle it if we need to fish, but I'll have to pass on tromping through the fields and mountains to harvest wild... whatevers. Wait, how do you know all this? You weren't even at the meeting, were you? Because I had someone who attended take notes for me. Wait, you had someone... More importantly, you should go to Her Majesty and propose a review of our supply logistics. Considering our current position on the front lines, we should break up the transportation of provisions along multiple routes. It may cost a little more to split things up, but it'll allow us to avoid situations like this. Overall, it should provide many benefits, and the plan will be viable for use in future campaigns, too. Dorothea? This sort of thing really gets your brain going, huh? Still, I wish you'd just go to the meetings and share all of these opinions. People would be thrilled at your resourcefulness, you know? Oh, I'm quite happy with things the way they are. Attending meetings would only add to my headaches. You can only run from this for so long, Lynn. And sure, I'll propose what you asked me to. But, I'm going to do so in your name. Wait, are you serious? Oh, very much so. I couldn't possibly take the credit for something you thought up, right? I suppose that's fair. I can feel the headaches forming already. I don't think I've ever seen you miss. Balthus, you've been training a lot lately. I can't have people thinking that all I'm good for is getting drunk and begging for gold, yeah? The problem will go away if you stop doing those things. <laughs> you sure don't hold back, pal. Your words pierce my heart as sure as if you'd shot them from your bow. Could have fooled me. Hey, I was being serious. My heart's got more holes than an old pair of boots. But it only adds to the allure if I don't let that show, yeah? Well, I can't argue with that. Assuming it's true. Right? Looks like you're finally starting to see my good side. I gotta say, the compliments have been pretty one-sided up till now. You're tough, 
Skilled, determined, a stellar gambler and drinker, straightforward and humble too. You're so perfect, I don't know what to do with myself. That's your business. Anyhow, there's not much for me to praise in return. You can't gamble or drink to save your life. You're more pig-headed than determined. And it's impossible to tell fact from fiction where you're concerned. But at least I can count on you on the battlefield. You're a skilled fighter. Oh, that's it? Skilled? <laughs> that's harsh. Would you rather I lie? Nah, I wouldn't expect that from you anyway. I guess it's true what they say. A person's strengths only matter in the eye of the beholder. Look at that. I'll have to add, occasionally says semi-intelligent things to my evaluation. Can't you just cut me a break and say I'm smart? If only it were true. Oh, come on! Guess it's back to the drawing board. Just you wait. I'm gonna earn your respect. I'm sure you can do anything you put your mind to. I won't hold my breath, though. <laughs> you never ease up, do you? Always gotta get in that parting shot. the true enemy. The flavor's not really there. Might want to try something different next time. <laughs> wow! That hit the spot! I'm so glad we're friends! This surprise pleases me. How did you know I would have enjoyment of this? Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I can only hope to repay a fraction of the kindness you have shown me, both above and below ground, my dear happy. You've done plenty for me, Coco. So let's just take it one step at a time, like always. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. I don't know how much help I'll be, but... Okay. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. Rest, Mercedes. I'll handle this. I won't let you do everything on your own. Come on, let's work together. <laughs> I'm not used to working with you like this. It went well enough, thankfully. 
We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both sure I'll help you have not to worry about with me on the job we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. Guess I'm stuck with you today. Look, you stay here, and I'll go do my work over there. Later. Hey, wait, Yuri! I guess I'll just do my part then. Not half bad. See? A little teamwork goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. Nice job or whatever. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? I've got nothing to worry about with the two of you on the job. I hope you can forgive me for the indignities you suffer at my expense, such as this one. It was all part of our accord. To not be sweating the smaller stuff. Our teamwork today is saying much about the future of both the Empire and Bridget. Yes, I hope your land and mine can continue to cooperate just like this. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. I will finish it summarily. I'll do what I can. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both oh yeah we've got this let's get it done we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful Counting on you both. Best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted in the dirt. Sure. That'll be no sweat. We all must do our fair share. It's been a while since we sent that letter, but we still haven't received a response. Yeah, we know the village chief got it, though. And we know he read it. 
The soldier who delivered it confirmed as much. But he never wrote back. I wonder why. Hard to say. Maybe he just doesn't want to get involved, or maybe he doesn't remember us. Part of me almost wonders if my mom didn't make him promise not to tell me anything. Not that I have any proof she'd do that. Mm. It's too bad, you know. We should probably assume we're never getting a response and just leave it at that. We don't have any other leads either, so there's not much point holding out hope. I mean, yeah, I want to know more about my mom, but it's not the end of the world if I can't. You had to give up learning about your parents too, right? I did, but... No matter what kind of past my mom had, she'll always be my mom, and I'll always be me. I know that she put every bit of herself into raising me, and that's what matters. There's nothing more important than that in my book. You're right. Whatever your parents did before they had you, and wherever they are now, they'll always be your parents. Glad you understand. And hey, not knowing the truth lets me make up all sorts of stories about her in my head. Oh! You mean like imagining she was actually a high-ranking noble, forced into obscurity? Not a bad idea, but not totally original either. I was thinking more along the lines of a legendary knight, known throughout every inch of Fodlan. Or maybe a mysterious adventurer who came from somewhere far beyond its borders. <laughs> it would be incredible if it were true. And it would certainly explain why she was so knowledgeable. Still, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the end. It's all good, Ash. Without you, I never would have spent all this time thinking about my mom and who she really was. So even though we came up empty-handed, I'd say the journey itself was entirely worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably get going. Just remembered I've got a huge to-do list and not nearly enough time to do it. See ya. Huh? I could have sworn I saw the commander here a moment ago. Oh, you just missed them. I can take a message if you want, though. In that case, please deliver this letter. Do you have a moment? Hmm? What's going on, Ignatz? Finally leaving on that journey to see the world? No, not that. In fact, we're not going to talk about my dreams today. You always ask questions about me, but you never talk about yourself. So, I thought it was high time I asked about you. You certainly have piqued my curiosity. What, you got a crush on me or something? Huh? No! I mean, I like you, but not like, you know, in that special way. I'm joking, don't worry. No need to get all flustered. So, what did you want to know? Well, since I told you about my dreams, I wanted to know about yours. My dreams, huh? I think being a mercenary and going wherever the wind takes me sounds pretty good. You still want to be a mercenary? Even after the war's over? But we'll finally have peace. You won't have to fight anymore. Yeah, but that's all I've been doing even since before the war started. I'd just be going back to my old way of life. Killing monsters, guarding villages. There's still plenty of work even in times of peace. And who's to say some enemy from outside Fodlin won't show up? That may be true, but isn't it difficult having to constantly fight all the time? 
Every job's got its tough parts, but the mercenary lifestyle's a perfect match for my personality. I can't even imagine settling down and establishing roots somewhere. Yeah, that does sound like you. Does it now? Oh, I'm sorry. I just meant that you don't really seem like the kind of person who wants to stay tied down. You think so? Well, whatever the case, I plan on earning my keep with my sword. As long as my body holds out, that is. What about you, Ignatz? Are you gonna stay a night once this thing's over? I'm not sure. I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it. But if my duties as a knight were to end at some point, then I guess that's when I could make my dreams a reality. If I were to do that, do you think you'd like to come with me as my bodyguard? You do realize I'll be Fodlin's most sought-after mercenary by then. Well, I'm not gonna come cheap. Oh, really? Then I'll have to work extra hard to save up some money. Because I really do want to travel with you. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ignatz. I'll be counting down the days till then. Lady Edelgard? I'm sorry, Petra. Am I interrupting? It is okay. I will soon be finishing. I am offering prayers to the spirits, so they will be guiding us to victory in battle. Is this how you pray in Bridget? In Fodlin, we usually save such things for a chapel. Yes. In Bridget, we are offering our prayers to the forests. The mountains, the skies, anywhere the spirits are dwelling. In Fodlin, the people are offering their prayers to the goddess. In this, we are differing. But we are the same, in hoping to live long and fight for what has meaning. Yes, of course. Perhaps I shouldn't ask this, but... Is it not unwise for you to be risking your life here in Fodlin? You are the queen of Brigid. Your people need you to return safely to them. Yes. Your words have truthfulness. If I am dying here on foreign soil, I am betraying my people. You gave me your promise to be releasing Brigid from its vassal relationship to the Empire. And if I die, your promise will be dying with me. Yes, I suppose it would. If you died, I would have to renegotiate our terms with your successor. That wouldn't be an issue if she were as capable and reasonable as you. But would she be? And for the record, Petra, I don't want you to die. You are a dear friend. Your words give me great happiness. But I am still content to be risking my life here in Fodlin. As we get closer to cornering our enemies, there's no telling what kind of foul tricks they'll employ. Are you certain you don't wish to walk away from this? It could easily go awry after all. I am knowing the danger, but I have done my deciding. I will not be turning my tail and running while you are standing and fighting. I'm grateful, but unlike you, I cannot back down from this fight. This war is one of my own making. And I am choosing to share it. If we lose, then we will lose. But I will not be having regrets. I will be fighting with you until the end of bitterness. That is the prayer I was offering. Well, I'll do my best to avoid a bitter end. Regardless, you have my thanks, Petra. Your resolve humbles me, but also gives me strength. You are the Emperor. I am the Queen. Our relationship is not one that is usual. 
Not everyone can be standing on equal feet with you. This is something only I can be doing. And so, I will continue standing by your side. Let no one say the Queen of Bridget is not gracious and noble. But I do hope we never turn into a couple of stuffy royals who insist on doing everything by the book. I have trust that you will never be letting that happen. Another clear victory for the Empire in battle. You can surely guess who stole the show yet again. Our mercenary friend? Always a force upon the battlefield, that one. Their approach on the battlefield is exceptional. Yet their curious power has also proved quite the boom. It is deeply fascinating, isn't it? Something beyond the principles of magic, and yet different from the power of crests. I might go so far as to say it veers close to the realm of dark magic, but I fear that's beyond my expertise. I am possessed of some small knowledge, yet still fail to understand the nature of that power. Then at present we can do nothing but throw our hands to the sky, and with that, I must be off. Oh? I thought you would be more curious about our mercenary ally. Would you truly raise the white flag merely because the matter lies outside your usual ken? What are you playing at, Hubert? If you want me to investigate a specimen, go ahead. Hook it and reel it in. Aha! But you are the better angler of the two of us. Furthermore, my method of hooking would... complicate our relationship with so valued an ally. An inducement from your lips would ensure things proceed more smoothly. Well, this is becoming a hassle. Can't you push yourself to learn some new hooking strategies? Like... I don't know, one befitting the elegance of a true nobleman? Involving fancy tea, perhaps? A positively hair-raising notion. Please, do not speak it aloud again. Then, maybe get in their face and pick a fight with them. You two could end up becoming fast friends. So you wish me to shout myself hoarse and swing my fists about like a common ruffian? I shall pretend I did not hear that suggestion. No. Then the only option left is aggressive persuasion. Driven home at the point of an axe, let's say. Linhart, who in the world are you talking about right now? I should think there is no one quite so barbarous in our own army. Hmm? Oh, I didn't have anyone particular in mind. I was just brainstorming new methods to ensnare our illustrious mercenary friend. Why? Did they remind you of acquaintances of ours? <sighs> In any event, let us leave this sleeping dog where it lies. I do not dislike conversing with you, but we seem to procure results of little benefit when we do. And with that, I have matters to attend to and must be off. Farewell. Until next time, Hubert. So when can I expect you to have reeled in our mercenary friend? I suspect we'd make headway on the research if we engaged in it together. I'm afraid I've not the time to play along with your capricious whims, Linhart. I will, of course, be cheering you on with some enthusiasm from the shadows as you hook the subject yourself.
Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well, and that you and your sister aren't fighting too much. It's been some time since I left the church in the kingdom, but I'm making do. Once this war is over, I hope the three of us can live together again. She seems in good health. Yes, she sent me this letter as soon as I wrote her about being reunited with you. I know she was happy to hear that. She was always so worried about you, you know? <sighs> we haven't seen you since we left House Bartels, so please go visit her when you have a chance. As you read, we were thinking that after the war is over, we could perhaps reunite. No. Why not? I cannot face her. I killed my father, slaughtered everyone in the house. Our mother shouldn't meet a murderer. Yes, I heard about that. But I'm certain you took those actions because you felt you had to, right? Just explain it to her. She'll listen to you. You do not understand. There is a murderous demon in my heart. The Death Knight inside me would cut you and our mother down without hesitation. If that happened, I would lose myself. But we're here talking right now, and you're just as you always were. You're my little Emile, who loves kittens and sweets. Mercedes. I may be fine now, and perhaps the demon in me will even perish someday. But I cannot live with you until I pay for my crimes. And considering the weight of them, that day may never come. But... I seek only to be judged by the law, and thereby atone. So that's what you've decided, is it? In that case, I have no choice but to support you, no matter how sad it makes me. But just know that Mother and I will always be waiting for you, no matter how long it takes. I look forward to the day when you can show your face to her proudly. I see. We might both be old ladies by then. But we'll still be able to talk over tea like always. Thank you, Mercedes. gonna make it happy what in the world do you mean you look rather unsteady all of a sudden I'm so sleepy why not just end my suffering now can you not pull yourself together you were the one who volunteered for guard duty in the first place I know but whenever it's just the two of us like this it reminds me of how things used to be and then I get all nostalgic and sleepy. Usually I'd be in bed right now, you know? Well, I cannot deny feeling a little nostalgic myself. I can't believe we're still together after everything that's happened. First we had to help the knights, then we wound up in the Imperial Army. Wild, right? I don't know how to describe it. It's almost like we're best friends or something. 
Have you already forgotten what you once told me? You said that you would be so utterly lonesome without me to keep you company that it would only be a matter of time before you began to sigh. It was necessary that I stay with you in order to avert certain disaster. I had no choice in the matter, you see? Did I really say all that? You did indeed. It was the very day we left Abyss, if memory serves. Alright then, fine by me. I wonder what everyone else from Abyss is up to now. We know Balthus and Yuri are alive and well, and I believe it is likely everyone else is thriving too. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Do you ever wish you could return to those days, back in Abyss? Me? Nah, not really. Most of the people here don't know about my power. They actually treat me like a normal person. Indeed. Plus, you're here. It's like you said, I'd get lonely without my Coco. What about you? Would you be lonely without me? Well, lonely is not necessarily the word I'd use. Hmm, so it's just me then, huh? Okay, fine. I would! I would be positively despondent without you here! There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? I'm glad you finally admitted it. You knew? Why must you always tease me so? Come on, you were pretty happy when I volunteered for guard duty, weren't you? Yes, well, you see, that was because it had already been assigned to me. I merely thought it would be easier to have a partner with whom I was already familiar. Same here. That's why I volunteered. I knew you'd be my partner, Coco. Ugh, I simply cannot win with you. Everyone, lend me your ears. Soon we will arrive in the Valley of Torment, where our Imperial allies will fight for supremacy against the forces of the Kingdom and Central Church. This is certain to be a violent and bloody battle. Death will indeed feast well this day. So think long and hard. Is this what you want? Yes, we signed a pact with the Empire, but only under duress after they overran our lands. And what was the other option? To side with the corrupt church and the kingdom they cling to? Never. A false choice is no choice at all. But now, right here and now, the Leicester Alliance has a chance to turn the tables. <laughs> Loyal friends, Brave allies, fellow visionaries. Will we accept an emperor who pays for her needless wars in the coin of our blood? 
Will we submit to an archbishop and a king who would shackle us to their outmoded customs? I say no. I say never. And this day, on this battlefield, we stake a claim to a future of our own making. This day, we help these monsters destroy themselves and claim this world for our own. This day, we declare war against the Empire and the Kingdom. I take it you heard the ill news, Your Majesty? Moments ago, yes. I don't get it. Why would the Alliance want to make enemies of both the Empire and the Kingdom? It doesn't make any sense. I underestimated you, Claude. I will prepare this scarf. The Alliance, the Kingdom, even the forces of the Church. To think we would all meet in such a cramped locale. Hold on. Does anyone actually see the Knights of Seros amidst all this? I wonder if they're not even here to begin with. We strike at the Imperial Army today. Do not let the Alliance distract you. Yes, as you command. The party's already starting, huh? It's too bad we couldn't throw it for something a little more civilized. Would it kill you to be serious for once, Claude? For the last time, Flane, I am against this. It is not too late to retreat. And for the last time, I intend to fight. Besides, it would seem the battle is about to begin. Well then, just give the command, Edelgard. Good. Our very hope depends on you. Brave warriors of Adrestia, the time has come to demonstrate the Empire's valor, to prove our supremacy. Any who dare stand in our way must be cut down. Now! As one, attack! Flora clearly wants us to deal with the kingdom and the church ourselves, so that she can profit from the foe. It would appear someone has let our plan slip. The enemy knew precisely how to box us in. We will be torn apart if we fail to forestall yeah. the enemy. Seize their forward stronghold. 
Push their lines back. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. There is not a question of can. Only a matter of will. Let us face our foes as one. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. I will gladly handle this. Allow me to work with you. So, what should I be doing again? Need a hand? Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. Let us go to it. <laughs> I will see my duty done. I have no intention of retreating anyway. Instead, we'll bring the fight to them before they can overwhelm us. Go! Seize the Empire's strongholds! Some kind of foothold. Our strongholds Watch must this. be protected at all costs. <laughs> Watch the ground. Not a problem. I've got this. A single wrong step will cause breathe. undue pain. Are you sure? I will heal your wounds. Please, be careful out there. This should be of use. What is this? The second coming of Saint Sephine? Strike her down and put an end to it already. Say, check out that boulder. I wonder if we can use it to block the lava and reach the other side. We can probably secure a crossing if we find a way to stop the lava. Yes, but if we can cross, so too can our enemy. Now is not the time. My turn. Watch this! My turn. I'll carve my way right through them. will send me packing. Stand I'll down, Felix. <laughs> it's a wonder you can still stand. Now would you please let us handle the rest? You better come back alive, Sylvain, or else. I 
hope you're watching, Ingrid. Today is the day I avenge you. I hope you're ready to part with your head. Because I mean to lay it at my friend's grave. I'm done being nice! This is nothing compared to the pain the she way. felt. Take this! Forgive me, your majesty. May fortune favor you in battle. So late. What am I supposed to do now? If we keep this up, the battle may be ended before it can truly begin. It's unnerving how well we're doing. I hope that means we're headed for a quick victory. We should be able to take our troops across now that the ground has cooled. Look! The lava stopped! They're wide open! Attack! It seems we were too hasty with that strategy. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who... Right then. Let us go to work. I go... Clear a path! Now, give the signal. You got my back? Now I'm throwing this down! I'll follow your lead! I'm telling you The Empire has fanned out to the north and south. Split them in two and box them in. Alliance reinforcements have appeared in the middle of our ranks! If I may... There's no time to regroup. Just deal with them as best you can and minimize casualties. Hardly a problem. Those are the forces we slipped our angels into. You will go no further. Let's do this! The seed early sown is a reward richly. Imperial agents, Watch this. break the skies and Watch cut this. the Alliance down! <laughs> Looks like they didn't trust me as much as I thought. Oh, no, this is gonna hurt. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they My turn? Well, if this is our fearless leader's big moment, I guess I can pitch in. Let us go to- I go forth! It's Bernie's time to shine! Our way- Not a problem. I've got- It's clear! Onward! I'll take over. <laughs> Do not maintain control of our footholds as we go. The battle will turn against us. Get ready for Hilda Valentine Goneril. You've already lost. I will end you. In the 
name his majesty. You will perish here. Any final words? I feel no mercy. Any final words? Yeah, right! I'm in way over my head, but I'll take I'm over. not letting up until it's over. I can still fight. <laughs> Take a breather. I'm not finished yet. Fall back to do. Please, I cannot afford to lose you. Losing the battle. I must act. It's not. It's Bernie's time to shine. Sure hope this goes okay. Oh, if I must. This should be easy if we work together. Not a problem. I've got this. Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up at. Right then. Let us go to work. <laughs> well, Take a this turned out to be a stupid now. idea. Now what do I do? Hilda's in trouble. Archers, give her some cover. Call it off when you need to, Hilda. There's no shame in falling back. Thanks, Claude. But I'll be okay, so long as the archers are with me. No one's slowing us down! I'll follow your lead! I've got you now! Things aren't looking so hot. I told you to get out of there, Hilda. Now back off and let me take over. Sorry, Claude. And good luck. If I may. Not in case I put eyes on those enemy archers. We can't eliminate them on your command. Best to get But I must go on. For flame. Yeah, right! That is the Archbishop's aim, but there's still no sign of most of the Knights of Seraphs. Enough messing around. You'll have to contend with me now. The man strides to the floor knowing it will cost him his life. Stop. It's Bernie's time to shine! Here I go. No mistakes. They m now I know what Death's door looks like. Watch Do this. It. Take out the archers. How did the Empire get behind us? Hubert set us up. I should have known he'd have a dozen tricks up his sleeve. Shame, Claude. I thought we'd finally forged a path to true friendship. What can I say? I've got big dreams, same as you. Plus, I think we both knew this was gonna happen eventually. Is that all you got? People trusted me to pull this off. So I have to win. Come with me. I guess it's now or never. I know what to do. Get out of my way. It was a good strategy, but not good enough. And now, look what I've done to all of you.
It's not what you want to do. But the world won't forget your ambition, because it will live on through me. I take the field. Every last one of them will yield to me, or they shall perish. Here I go. No mistakes. My turn. The time has come to bring our war with the kingdom to its end. Take control of the whole area. Our victory must be beyond question. to work. It's not too late, Dimitri. Sever ties with the Central Church and return to your people. And I'm to believe that will end your aggression? You'll come for me anyway. Your thirst for blood is unquenched. I guess it's now or never. I know what to do. I must retreat. Then it's me, my There's no time to get chased. Still, this is a victory for the Empire all the same. Yeah, they kept us guessing, but at least we... What's that? Butcher most vile. You killed the sire of this vessel, and now you die for it! It's you the monster wants, so let's give the Ashen Demon a fitting end. Something of my own. And this time, I know I can take you! I'm going to see you. I'll see you. I'll see you past the question of the world. I hope I'm not ruled as I command! You've finally done it. The Ashen Demon is no more. Mm-hmm. You don't sound too pleased with yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I know I should be. But now that it's over, I just feel kinda... empty. 
What if all this was just some horrible mistake? What if there was another way we could have solved all this? Sorry. I shouldn't be dumping all this on you. There's nothing to apologize for. You're processing a lot right now. I'm not sure what it means to feel happy and empty and regretful all at the same time. But I think I'm going through it myself, too. Though I wouldn't call it happy, per se. More like free. Like I finally finished a quest I thought would never end. The relief could practically move me to tears. I... Hey, are you crying? I'm... I'm not sure, but I do know this. I'm beyond grateful for everything you've done for me. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in destiny. Same here, friend. To kill is to grow stronger. I won't let this stand in the way of my love. I won't let myself stop here. A last-minute betrayal like that should have been the end of us. This is a massive victory, and yet... Something bothering you? Where was the Archbishop? Where was the main force of the Knights of Saros? Rhea would have relished a battle like this, yet she was nowhere to be found. No. Hubert, let me ask you something. When the Archbishop escaped from Garrick Mach, we found no evidence of how she managed to reach this valley. Correct? Indeed. We searched high and low, but it was only by chance that we picked up her trail in ALL. That is how we knew she had entered the kingdom. Without that clue, she would have been in the wind. Just as I suspected. What is it, Ferdinand? Is Gary Mock in danger? Of course. There must be a secret path that connects this valley to the monastery. Rhea and the knights might be using it to attack Garrick Mock right now. It's certainly possible. Hubert, your thoughts? I will look into it. But I am almost certain that Ferdinand's theory is correct. We should assume this is the case, and take action immediately. Of course it is correct. Very wise of you to see that. In that case, we'll divide our troops. The main force will proceed with occupying Galatea. We'll lead the remaining third south to Garrig Mach. Scarlet Blaze. A path forward. The Empire manages to prevail over the Kingdom and Central Church's coalition, despite the Alliance's declaration of war. But Archbishop Rhea is nowhere to be found. Edelgard and the others soon realize the Archbishop aims to use Alel's secret trails to lead a surprise attack on Garrick Mach, so the Empire regroups and moves to intervene. Dire news, my lord! Huh? What now? What's happened? Another fire? Has a horse escaped? Don't tell me it's an assassin! Where's the body? Uh, 
Uh, no, my lord. Worse. There's a legion of soldiers closing in on Garrett Mach. We think it's the Knights of Seros. Oh, but we're safe in here, yes? My life is of great military importance, you know. Protect me! Put those troops Her Majesty sent to use! Count Farley, the enemy is inside the monastery. We couldn't hold them back. But these walls are thick! How did they breach them? The walls yet stand, my lord. But it appears they have made use of a number of unknown secret passages. Now they are inside and wreaking havoc, and it's only a matter of time before the monastery falls. We have the numbers to stop them, but that matters little if we don't know where they actually are. We must flee, my lord. All hope is lost. Urgent news, my lord. Spare my life, I beg you! An unknown army has appeared and started attacking the Knights of Saros. Her Majesty's reinforcements! Doubtful, my lord. This army wields large-scale magic and is also attacking the Imperial forces. The battlefield is sheer chaos. It's impossible to tell friend from foe. What in the blazes is happening?! Church or Empire, I care not. Eradicate them all. Engulf them in our darkness. It will be done. At last we can finally give the foolish descendants of those beasts the lesson they deserve. We will expose their filthy underground resting place and steal every last one of their essences. If we can breach it. The hole in the forest that the bandits raided was secured with a seal. Shall we deal with it after we take the monastery? We tear this disgusting rat's nest apart. Lady Rhea, who are these people? They're attacking both sides indiscriminately. A clandestine organization that wields dark magic. Could it be? Have they returned to seek vengeance on Fodlan? But why show their hand now? Deal with them, Catherine. Not a single one of them can survive. They pose a far greater threat to our world than the Empire. Yes, Lady Rhea. Make way for Thunder Catherine! Clear a path or die! And that appears to be the current situation. The Knights of Saros are one thing. We came prepared to deal with them, and we can do so. But now you say those who slither in the dark have turned this into a three-way battle? Why? I am as baffled as you regarding a possible motive. Perhaps it was vital they seized the monastery before we could get here. If they knew we were engaged in a lengthy fight at AOL, they might have seen this as their chance. Well, they saved Count Farley's life either way. So be it. We will use this situation to our advantage and conduct a rescue. We can't afford to lose Garrig Mach or Count Farley. With one battle, we'll destroy the Central Church and put an end to those who slither in the dark. It's strange. I stopped caring about my father a long time ago, but the thought that he might die is... It's... He is not dead yet, Bernadetta. Unless you intend to be leaving him to his fates. No. No, of course not. I'm going to save him. If we're sloppy about this, we'll get dragged into the ongoing battle and suffer heavy losses. I would prefer to make this as easy for ourselves as we can. Let's find out what's going on in there, then look for the safest way in. I can tell you one thing. If Lord Arundel is here, I will choke the life out of him personally. I'll even let you watch, Your Majesty. Yes, just... 
Try not to overdo it. If that is settled, we will accomplish nothing more by brooding down here. Agreed. We'll begin the attack as soon as our preparations are complete. I have a stratagem. I shall ensure it is done with no mistakes. Shall we? Exhausted, Your Majesty. I was beginning to believe that council would never end. Should I make tea? Thank you, Monica. Why don't you join me? Oh, I would love to. I can hardly remember the last time I saw you rest. You need to stop overworking yourself. We can't afford for you to get sick. Her Majesty has invited me to tea, and she's worried about my health? Oh, this is the greatest day of my humble life. Come now, I've always cared for your well-being, and it's not as if we never have tea together. Oh, I'm aware. This is the 253rd time you worried about me, and our 139th time sharing tea. I've been keeping a record on paper, and in my head. Now I'm even more concerned. Aw, thanks! I suppose it just shows how hard you work for me. I hope you feel I do enough in return. If there is anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Truly? You'd really listen to my request? Your Majesty is actually willing to make Monica von Ox's impossible wish come true? Well, let's keep the wishes within the realm of the plausible, if you please. Alright. In that case, may I... Oh, this is so disrespectful. May I hold you in my embrace? Just for a minute? I... I don't see why not. What kindness! I promise to be even more loyal to you from now on, Your Majesty. As if such a thing were possible, you've given me more loyalty than I could ever rightfully expect. Oh, that reminds me. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. It seems as if you have been upset with yourself because you were planning to leave me for dead. But I just want you to know that had such events come to pass, I still would have died happy. I would have been at peace because I helped you achieve your vision. Well, I should go see to that tea. She really is something else. I knew she was strong, yet she always finds new ways to surprise me. Thank you, Monica. Linhart, come on, this is no time to be snoozing. <sighs> really, Caspar? It's not even midday yet. Uh, we're well into midday, Linhart. Yes, but the warm rays of the sun and gentle cooling breeze have utterly enraptured me. So on that note, it's back to sleep. 
I'm going to rip that blanket right off you. Now get up, because I found something amazing. How many times in my life have I heard that from you, only to find the truth considerably less engaging? Okay, first of all, not true. And second of all, this is way more amazing than all those other times. Hmm, I wonder. But very well, astound me. Look, someone took down that gigantic bear! I'd rather not look, thank you. I have little interest in witnessing blood and gore so early in the day. Oh, but it's already been cleaned and everything. Which means some open wounds will still be present. Plus whatever blood was slopped about in the process. Fine, then don't look at that part. Just look at that terrifying face. I'd give anything to take out a monster like this. Then you should form a hunting party, set up traps, and proceed with your life's work. No, I don't want to hunt it. I want to take it down. Barehanded, barehand, Lynn, you know? I understand your fixation, but in all of Fodlin... Only my father could pull it off. Is that what you're going to say? Hey, I'm not going to be content being in his shadow forever. Rousing words, yet I seem to remember Count Burglies was still in the Academy when he brought down a bear and emerged unscathed. You're already older than he was then. Don't care, it's not too late. I'm gonna beat a bear, then I'm gonna get armor made that's just like my old man's. You said the same when we were young, then decided to drag me along for the ride. You took me through hill and dale in search of one, which made an absolute mess of my clothes and hair. And I had to treat your wounds every time you hurt yourself, though I did become quite adept at healing magic as a result. So, win-win, right? Plus, you helped me, which I very much appreciate. I suppose we'll call it a good thing and leave it at that. But perhaps a moratorium should be declared on such behavior for the time being? Yes, I think that would be best. A uh, more a tor Sorry, what now? Our focus should be on our enemies, not a bear. For this reason, I think it's best for you to put your dream on hold until the war is over. When peace reigns in you and we live in a world far better suited for free napping, I hope you can see your dream realized. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, and when that day does come, I will be happy to accompany you again. But for now, let's just focus on what is in front of us. Put the bear brawl on hold, got it. And hey, once I survive this war and get stronger, that bear will be a pushover. That's not... Actually, yes. I suppose the possibility of that isn't zero. Let's survive this war so all of our wildest bear dreams can come true one day. Data, I'm sorry about before. No, I'm the one who should be sorry. Forgive me. Huh? No, I'm the one who wants you to forgive me. Did you hear me apologize just now? If I forgive you, will you forgive me? Then I forgive you. Please just let me live in peace. After what happened, I went to Edelgard and asked her what I should do. She told me not to do anything and just to apologize. So I'm gonna figure out something I can get for you to make this right. No, I don't need anything! Oh, rats, he's gone. I have a bad feeling about this. Look, Bernadetta, I got you all your favorite foods. Uh, thank you? But, um, I think there's enough food here for ten people, so... Food is a foundation for building your body, 
If you train three times harder, you gotta eat three times as much. I mean, that's just science. And don't worry, if you can't eat it all, I'm happy to scarf down the rest. <laughs> okay, so I can't actually train three times harder. And even if I did, I sure couldn't eat three times as much. Look, Bernadetta, I took the bow you used for training and replaced it with an extra strong one. Oh, and don't worry, I won't interfere with your training. I learned my lesson last time. Wow, this does look strong. Let's just... Oh, come on! I can't even pull the bowstring back! How am I supposed to train with this thing? Um, Caspar? Hey there, Bernadetta. What's up? Listen, I wanted to talk to you about all the stuff you're doing to apologize. Oh, yeah? Say, how's that training coming? Lousy! So please, stop apologizing already! What? But I softened up the training so it was way less than what I'd do myself. Softer? What kind of training do you even do? Well, for starters, I go 15 times harder than everyone else here. But of course, I don't have 15 times as many hours in my day. So instead, I do three times the amount, five times as fast. As for food, I generally need to wolf down about six times as much as everyone else because of how hungry all my training makes me. Okay, you're not human. Oh, and when I train with a bow, I use one with a string pulled five times as taut as normal. All right, I get it! Your training is ridiculous! You think it's ridiculous? But my father came up with it, and he's the Minister of Military Affairs. Well, if he's the standard you're aspiring to, then no wonder that's how it is! Huh. You know, I never considered that my father got so strong because of how unusual his training regimen is. I mean, I don't know about all that, but your routine is definitely not normal. But I've been doing it since I was a kid. Yeah, that explains a lot. Hey, good luck with that! I've been waiting. Shall we? Um, hey, let's think about that. So I've been thinking.
let's see. Hmm. Can I be of use? Listen. What's up, Raphael? You're looking extra cheerful today. Have you seen the looks on all the soldiers' faces lately? Don't they seem way more motivated? Well, yeah. I was wondering what was going on with that. Well, I was curious too, so I asked. And you know what they said? Is it because they got a pay bump? Finances are always a great motivator, I've found. Come on! Not everyone's fighting just for the money. 
Sorry, guess I can't help but look at things from a mercenary's perspective. They all said it was because of the food! You don't mean... Yep, they've all been eating the dishes we came up with. You know, with the smoked meat and the rotten food. Hey, didn't I tell you not to call it rotten? In any case, our hard work definitely paid off. And the food's great, too, if I do say so myself. Right? I could eat that stuff over and over again and never get sick of it. And it's a big hit with the soldiers, too. They said they actually get excited for mealtime now. Plus, it's made them fight way harder in battle. I'm really glad everyone's so happy with it. it makes all our effort feel completely worthwhile. You bet. See, food's important no matter who, when, or where you are. Yeah, back in my mercenary days, I'd scarf down any old scraps so long as I was full at the end of it. But I've changed my outlook. Honestly, I feel like I can work even harder now that I can look forward to all my meals. And I never would have gotten here without you, Raphael. Thanks. Huh. I was just thinking the same thing about you. Guess we helped each other equally. You know, I scrounged up every last piece of gold I could find just so I could go to the Officer's Academy and become a knight. But once it shut down, opening the inn was basically my only option. But then, running the inn helped me realize all sorts of important stuff too. And now I'm sure. Once this war's all wrapped up, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to become the best innkeeper in all of Fodlin. Sounds like a solid plan, but you'll probably need to up your cooking game even more if that's the end goal. Yeah, I bet I'll have to train under a real great chef to get me where I want to be. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm gonna come up with a brand new style of cooking. Something that'll really work my muscles. What would that even look like? Well, I don't know. I haven't invented it yet. Whatever the case, I know what I want to do now. Hey, what do you say to tagging along with me? I think you've got a real knack for this cooking stuff. Hmm, I'll think about it. <laughs> Just be ready to have me showing up at your doorstep if the mercenary work ever dries up. So you're going to stick to being a hired hand, huh? Well, as long as that's what you want to do. Oh, but keep an eye out for an invitation from me. You'll definitely have to come over and try all the rotten food I cook up. Seriously, stop calling it that. But thanks. I'm looking forward to it, Raphael. me. Hello. Over here. Do you 
have a moment. No. This means nothing without resolve. Yes, this makes sense. I'll put this to good use. Just gotta let my muscles do their thing. Time to work you into shape. to feel bright in the sun. Can't wait to see how you do. I suppose that will be enough for today. Splendid spear work. You are every bit the ideal of a nobleman. One who wields both lance and pen with equal aplomb. Hubert, as ever, you manage to materialize when one least expects it. If you insist on showing up in the middle of training, do not complain if you find yourself mistakenly skewered. Yes. Accidents do so often happen during such exercises. Why, you could stab the life out of me here and now and still readily explain it away as a mere accident. Enough, Hubert. Even if you are joking. Although, I suppose it was I who first spoke flippantly. You have my apologies. 
I am ever at a loss to reply when you insist on apologizing so earnestly. In any event, your training has a certain ghastly quality about it of late. I found myself curious what it was that so impelled you, and came to check on the situation. I should think it obvious. The climax of this war is upon us. Thus, I have to focus myself all the more and work vigorously toward ultimate victory. I do this for my comrades, for the Empire, and for a better future. And perhaps for your departed father? Why would you think that? The father I looked up to, the one who served as a pillar of the Empire, died long ago. The man we fought at Fort Mercius was nothing but a traitor who lost sight of how to live. At this point... Listen to me, Ferdinand. If you wish to deny my claim, just tell me I am mistaken. As they say, those who protest overmuch admit the truth unwittingly. That was not my intention. Yet, I cannot deny there is a part of my heart which thinks exactly that. You have changed. Well, no. Your true nature has not changed a bit. You are stubborn as ever, but there now also exists a rather flexible side to your personality. And you never change. And have not since the days when I was an ignorant young man. Since that time, you have proceeded unerringly along this road at Edelgard's right hand. But now all walk that same path. And it is the two of you who stand at the vanguard. If you have something to say, dispense with the flattery and speak plainly. Fine. I mean to join you both at the forefront. So our Emperor will have loyalty at both her right and left. We shall be Hubert and Ferdinand, the twin jewels of the Empire. The twin jewels of the Empire? <laughs> uh, was it truly so amusing? You all right, Petra? That's quite the noise that just came flying out of your diaphragm. Linhart, perhaps you can be helping me. This letter is giving me much difficulty. A letter, is it? I was under the impression that you had no trouble reading the language of Fodlin. I also had that thought, but this page is not making sense. Can you be reading it for me? What? Oh, no, I couldn't. This is a private matter. I mean, I don't even know who it's from. But I cannot be writing back if I do not know what they are saying. Please, do this favor for me. Oh, very well. Let me have a look. Goodness, no wonder you struggled with this. It couldn't be more archaic. Right, well, let me give this a shot. <clears throat> Yon world is endless sand, and I but a parched grain air upon its bosom. Oh, beauty, was it the western wind which brought thee hither merciful rain? Soft, my river o'erfloweth. Hmm, Petra, is this a love letter? That is a possibility, but I do not have certainty. Okay, you definitely should have mentioned that before I started reading this. Well, too late now, I suppose. Indeed. I am blaming the letter. If no one can have understanding of it, the writer is a waster of paper. 
Well, it's not that I don't understand so much as... Look, let me just give this back to you. You have understanding? He must be teaching me. Oh, very well. The writer is using archaic speech to express his love for you through metaphor. So much so that I would say they have gone and spoiled the whole thing. So he has passion? I am pleased, although I have little knowledge of the letter's writer. Really? From what he's written here, it sounds as if he sees you every day. Also, the letter is absolutely rife with mistakes. Take this passage, for example. I think he mentioned the western wind in an effort to evoke Brigid, but it's actually the southern wind that brings rain. Besides which, the merciful rain is a gift from the goddess. This paramour of yours shouldn't be tossing such sacrilegious comparisons about. And I won't even ask how a grain can be parched, let alone turn into an overflowing river. The words have richness and color. I wish I could be reading them as well as you. Trust me, it's nothing special. Well-crafted writing has layers. This just has apostrophes. So, are you planning to write him back? This has been a most painful lesson of how little I am knowing. I must be reading many books to study the old speech of Fodlin before making my reply. I sure hope she doesn't plan on writing him back in the same style, or they're going to end up talking right past each other. Yuritsa again! How can I beat him? Hmm, let's see. What if you made all the cats in the base like you? Yes, I think that's a wonderful idea. Don't pop up out of nowhere and scare me like that, Mercedes. It's not nice. And wait, cats? Liking me? What? Yuritsa has adored cats ever since he was little. But now they always flee when he approaches. Perhaps it's because he's so much bigger? In any case, if he saw cats being affectionate with you, I'm sure he would acknowledge his defeat. Again, not the kind of win I'm aiming for here. Look, it's simple. I want to fight the guy head on and beat him. That's it. But head-on isn't the only way to fight, correct? I mean, surely that isn't your strategy on an actual battlefield. Wish it could be, but yeah, that's probably not the smartest idea in the world. But since this isn't a battlefield, it's up to me how I want to fight the guy. Yet I feel that going up against him would be the same as being on a battlefield. You are companions who fight for the same cause. Why would you hurt one another to decide the outcome of the day? Wouldn't it be nicer to compete by baking treats or being loved by cats? I mean, I get what you're saying, which is weird. Then how about we spend today surveying cats and continue our baking lessons this evening? I didn't say I agreed. I just said I got what you were saying and that it was weird. How'd she trick me into baking again? What am I gonna do with all these things? Huh? Where'd Mercedes go? Ah, it's Professor Yuritsa! Maybe I can challenge him again. Wait a minute. Those are the treats I made. Utterly delicious. He made these? Hmm. I am defeated. Wait, what? I can't believe Professor Yuritsa just admitted defeat so casually. This is great, but also 
very frustrating, but also great. I'm so conflicted. No, I want to beat him head on. Wow, your painting is brilliant, Marianne. Oh, it's not anything special. Sure it is. I mean, especially since this is basically your first time. You're a natural. But me? I was born with a chronic lack of painting skill. That's not true at all. I think your work is gorgeous. The sky and earth seem to leap off the canvas. Oh, um... You really think so? And what's more... I couldn't help but notice your ability on the horses we rode here. You overflow with talent, Bernadetta. Never doubt it. Th that horse thing is just because I'm a noble. They made me practice all the time when I was young. Though yeah, I've done a lot of riding both on and off the battlefield lately. You've really inspired me to be better. I would expect nothing less than such an effort from you, Bernadetta. do when this war is over hmm well if it were allowed I'd love to go to a forest where sunlight filters through the leaves and read a book while surrounded by small animals uh, surrounded by animals uh, I mean that's a lovely dream um what do you want to do Bernadetta I'll tell you, but it has to stay between us, okay? I'm... um... writing a story, and I'd like to finish it. You are so very full of talent. I have such respect for you. Oh, it's not so much. But hey, I just thought of a new story. Okay, so it's about a girl in a remote forest who talks to animals and makes friends with them. Wait, isn't that... Um, yes. I totally plagiarized your life. I just thought it would be fun to turn your dream into a story. It is a book I would very much like to read. Please do let me see it if you ever finish. What? Oh, okay, Barney. Pressure's on now. I look forward to it. In that case... Maybe you could actually teach me about the forest animals? You know so much, Marianne. Honestly, I'd love to just sit and talk about whatever with you. That sounds wonderful. Then it's a promise. We'll talk each other's ears off. It is a promise indeed. to block my path, do you? Do you challenge me? <laughs> if so, be warned. None can hope to stand against me in a staring contest. Begin! You are a gracious loser to accept defeat so readily. I am hesitant even to ask, but what are you doing? Ah, if it isn't Lawrence spying on me, hmm? <laughs> well, if you must know, an insolent feline was blocking my path and challenged me to a staring contest. 
However, we determined the winner quite readily. Were you witness to my victory? Were you not once a noble? I was, yes, and still am so at heart. In the future, you will see me as both the head of House Nouvelle and the world's finest mage! Then it seems I must adjust my perception of you. I always knew you to be a striking beauty who possesses a keen talent for magic. I was even considering you as a candidate for marriage, should you happen to reform your house. But now, to find you competing with a house cat... Uh, I beg your pardon. Pray disregard my words. The Gaul required to consider a woman as a mate and subsequently disqualify her in the following sentence is staggering. Staggering, I tell you! You are a coarse, vulgar, indecent boar! And were I ever under consideration for your hand in marriage, I hereby withdraw any and all possible interest! Also, you are the head of House Gloucester, yes? Why would I ever hope to marry into a house of such meager standing? How dare you? The magnificent House Gloucester is anything but meager! I do dare, and have done! <laughs> and while I know not of your status within Leicester... House Nouvelle is steeped in tradition, with a bloodline closely guarded and unbroken. I find it hard to believe that joining your house is worth uprooting that. Well now, I can hardly back down from words such as those. We of Gloucester are legitimate descendants of one of the ten elites and inheritors of a hero's relic. Long have we held a seat at the Alliance Round Table. Why, we are among the most distinguished houses in the whole of Leicester! We are no less valuable than House Nouvelle, who, may I add, were condemned to extinction by the previous Emperor. <laughs> it seems our allegations are doomed to never reach a point of agreement. Then I suppose we have no choice but to compete that we may determine which of us is superior. But as our previous match of martial prowess ended with no clear winner, perhaps we should find a different way to settle this. Choose whatever battlefield you wish, Lawrence. I shall ever be the agent of your doom. <laughs> Hunger is the true enemy. Solid, solid. How did you know I like this? Uh, yes, well, I admire people who show such consideration. Oh, this is the best! Let's eat! Come back whenever you're hungry. Care to make yourself useful? Counting on you both. And you need me for this? Are you sure? Leave it to me. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both. 
I am confident you'll be impressed with my efforts. I hope to prove at least as useful to you as a pile of discarded rubbish. We all must do our fair ship here to make yourself useful. Counting on you both. I sure hope it's something I can actually do. I always get the job done. And I'm thorough. We all must do our fair share. Care to make yourself useful? on you both best keep those hopes of yours firmly planted in the dirt my sword is yours we all must do our fair share care to make yourself useful on you both I don't know how much help I'll be but okay right let's get this out of the way we all must do our fair share to make yourself useful Counting on you both. You have not to worry about with me on the job. I'll do what I can. We all must do our fair share to make yourself useful. Counting on you both. Oh yeah, we've got this. I will finish it summarily. We all must do our fair share. Hey, Happy. You got a minute? I have several. Need something? So, I heard a little about your past, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling me more about it. I see. So, now you know, huh? Not the most pleasant story. What did you want to know? I was thinking about how you asked all those questions about my mom. And I realized... You were probably worried I went through the same thing as you. Yeah, that about sums it up. You do have those mysterious powers, after all. When I was little, some strange lady kidnapped me. I became a test subject for her twisted experiments. That's how I ended up with my condition. Or whatever you want to call it. Not that it's life-threatening. Safe to say my mom never did anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'd remember it if she did. She didn't really talk much, but I don't think she had a deceitful bone in her body. Her life was kind of just what you'd expect out in a village like that. She did keep to herself, though. 
Thinking about it more, it's possible she was on the run from someone. Hmm. That does sound a little worrying. But in any event, I'm glad you didn't go through what I did. And unlike me, it seems you've got a pretty good handle on your powers. Yeah, I think I've gotten the hang of them for the most part. But that still doesn't make them safe. One day that sword might overtake me, and I'll turn into a monster. Like something out of a fairy tale. If that ever happens, I'll just sigh, and you'll come running. Then me and all your old friends would put you out of your misery. Now that's a real fairy tale ending. Well, that won't give me nightmares at all. But, if it ever came to it, I think that's how I'd like to go. Mercenaries need to use every weapon and tactic at their disposal. Maybe flinging these powers around isn't such a good idea, but right now I need to do whatever I can to stay alive. Though, honestly, I should probably take a page out of your book and only use them as a last resort. I think that's what makes you pretty incredible, Happy. You've got this power right there, but choose not to use it. I think that means I just gave up. You're way more amazing because you're still trying. No doubt about it. No, you're the amazing one. And you can't tell me otherwise. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Anyway, was that all? Because I feel like I need to move. Yeah, thanks for talking with me. You going to train? Yep. Figure it couldn't hurt to put in a little effort. You should come too if you're free. I hope to see you there. Come to think of it. Experiments, huh? What did that dream even mean? Another rough night, Manuela? You could stand to learn some manners, you know. I had a little too much to drink yesterday, that's all. More importantly, you saw me perform, right? Yeah, I was at the inn. You really do have a beautiful voice. I was impressed. I told you so. But was it just my voice you were impressed with? Well, I mean, when you were singing in front of everyone, you looked stunning. Seriously. Is that how you always are when you perform for the people in town? Oh, please. In their dreams, maybe. Yesterday was a special occasion, because you were there. We had a deal, remember? Ah, yes. The hush money. You haven't told anyone, right? About what I said in my sleep and such? Nope. Not a peep to anyone. Not even about the dream where you got dumped. Go shouting about it now you know I don't think there's anything wrong with you even when you are hungover really it makes you seem like a laid-back mature woman just another interesting side of you one day you're a physician saving lives and the next you're a warrior on the battlefield I like all your sides like you say it's more like I can't take my eyes off you. All the more so now, since I've seen you sing and all. You have all these different sides that come together to form a complete person. Maybe that's what draws me in. It's like, which one is the real Manuela? Of course, the real me is the majestic diva shimmering in the spotlight. <sighs> if only. I'm not that delusional. Those days are long gone. Apparently, I've reached the age where I must take comfort in the glories of yesteryear. Do you really think so? 
I think you're probably way more attractive now than when you were all famous. <laughs> my word! Is it just me? Or are you trying to sweep me off my feet? Huh? Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that a person's attractiveness gets more... I don't know... refined as they get older. Like a fine wine or something. Now, now, no need to get embarrassed. How about we get together and talk about our future later tonight? Oh, um, I've got some stuff I gotta do tonight. Sorry. Maybe another time. Oh, really? Fine. We'll save it for another day. It'll give us more time to talk anyway. Just don't blow me off, okay? Or you'll be sorry. <laughs> that was a joke, right? Manuela? Right? Yes, that looks right. Why, hello, Linhart. It is not often I find you drawing outside. I'm not drawing. I'm simply trying to capture this wyvern's form. See? It's resting on that hill over there. Ah, an extraordinary sight indeed. Now then, let us see what you have done so far. I must say, it feels as though something is lacking in your work. Uh, how can I describe it? Your depiction is almost too accurate. Uh, take these scales, for example. Why, they could have been plucked from the very wyvern itself. I told you this isn't art. I'm doing it for my research. And when conducting research, it's always best to have precise references. The same is true when dealing with numbers or gathering information. I see. So you value accuracy above all else. Right. Honestly, I've never quite understood art anyway. So I'm perfectly content leaving that sort of thing to the true creatives. You know, the quirky ones. People like Bernadetta. Even so, there may come a day when your work is seen as the craft of a master artisan, when such precision is lauded as the height of aesthetic genius. What makes you say that? Oh, merely a passing thought. Perhaps in the distant future, connoisseurs will value accuracy and attention to detail over the magnificent interpretive pieces we hold dear today. Do you really think that'll happen, though? I doubt people will ever stop appreciating the ancient classics. You certainly have always done so. Yes, there is no denying that. But I fear my own personal inclinations hold little sway over public opinion. Nobody knows what trends may arise in the decades and centuries to come. So I can indeed envision a future in which accurate depictions are praised just the same as the greats of old. And I encourage you to do the same, my friend. I don't get it. How are you so optimistic all the time? It's like you're constantly looking toward the future. I could say quite the same about you. I have always believed you to be rather forward-thinking. That's not optimism, though. All I'm thinking forward to is the time when I can just sleep the days away. That's why I'm forcing myself to be as active as I can now. Regrettably, those halcyon days of slumber are still but a distant dream. I have much work for you, both now and further down the road. To begin with, might I ask you to paint my portrait? For the last time, I'm a researcher, not an artist. Are you sure you want such a faithful depiction? That is exactly what I want. How else would my yet unborn descendants know the true visage of the great Ferdinand von Eyre? 
Indeed. I would be proud to submit myself as a subject of your research. Consider it a study in the personification of nobility itself. Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. I'm fine drawing you, but I don't have the slightest modicum of interest in actually researching you. Though, I do sometimes wonder where you get all that unabashed confidence from. Strange. I didn't take you for the praying type. Good. I'm not. Thought so. Then what are you doing here? Just looking for some peace and quiet. This place seemed like the best option. Got it. Should I leave you be then? You're fine. I've had enough silence anyway. You don't strike me as the praying type either. What brings you here? Eh, same reason as you, I guess. I just wanted some more quiet. But I don't mind if you're here, Shammy. Alright, mind if I ask you something then? You just did. <laughs> Kidding. Go for it. It just occurred to me, but you used to live in Abyss, right? Under Garrick Mach? Did you ever see a pagan altar or statue down there? Ah, you mean that big hunk of metal with the giant wings? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Hold on, you know about Abyss? Did you go down there when you were a knight? No, before that. Have you heard of the Dagda and Bridget War? After my side lost to the Empire, I was stranded in Fodlan. Somehow I wound up in Abyss. Soon after I started living there, I ran into trouble with someone from the church. Fortunately, Rhea noticed me, and I got hired by the Knights of Saros. Hmm, let me guess. You got into it with Elfie, didn't you? Elfie? The name sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. Interesting. Anyway, sorry. I kind of interrupted you there. Don't worry about it. So, that pagan statue, it's actually of a Dagdan deity. No kidding. You're from Dagda, right? Yes. I think it was the God of Fate. I always wondered how it ended up there. No clue. It's probably been there forever. You know, I remember there was this one foreigner who prayed to it all the time. Like, really prayed. She must have been from Dagda, too. Most likely. It will have to remain a mystery for now. Thanks, Happy. Is there anything you want to ask me? What? Really? Hmm. Let's see. Thankfully, we're not too late. Count Varley is still holding strong. If the reports can be trusted, Rhea is here. And so is a mage that fits the description of Arendelle, which is to say, Talus. That puts our two biggest adversaries in one place. We should deal with them here and now. Only one thing to do. Give it my all and prove you picked the right merc for the job. Indeed. I look forward to it. 
But just so you know, you've already proven that a dozen times over. Then I'm still a few dozen short. I gotta show you what the mercenary spirit's all about. This is my first time hearing of such spirit, but I'm eager to see it in action. Enough idle chatter, though. Everyone is in place. It's time to commence the final battle. We're gonna win. For you, for me, for all of us. And for a new Fodlin. One that'll go down in the history books as the best ever. Seems Rhea and Talus have both breached the monastery. And for the sake of Fodlin's future, we will make it there too. The barriers conjured by the enemy will hinder the movement of our troops. Then we've no choice but to proceed in two groups. Take care that neither one is wiped out. Take care of the reinforcements! No, I don't want to die! We should rescue Count Varley if it all comes. It will not be easy to find another man to There's a structural weakness in that wall. A heavily armored unit might be able to break through and expedite the rescue. There is not a question of can. Let us face our foes as- Oh, if I must. This should be easy if we were- Here I go. No mistakes. So... What should I be doing again? Need a hand? I will gladly handle this. Allow me to work- Here I go. No mistakes. They must learn who they're up against. The Southern Church's bishop is an enemy of the goddess and must be destroyed. Yeah!
I am the bishop of the Southern Church, and you are obligated to protect me. Now do so and be quick about it. that are hampering my escape! I mean, my ability to fight! He must be a sorcerer of some repute. Let us smite him and his magic here and now. Not a problem. I hope that keeps Count Varley safe. Imperial dogs, stop interfering and learn your place. My turn. Ambush. Yeah. I should have known this would not be as simple as it seemed. There is the perfect place to unleash my secret weapon. Well, fly the arrows! Here I go. No mistake. Me. Who knew the Count still had some fight left in him? I may be a bishop, but I still know when to stay the hand of mercy. You are all descendants of the most inconsequential of beasts, and your deaths will fuel our grand ambition. Much stronger than I thought. Enough. Still I am above such games. Where did he go? We need to dispel those barriers at once. If he retreated to the upper floors, I do not see how we can reach him. But there must be some way around the barriers. We've received multiple reports of enemy troops appearing out of thin air. Perhaps they have some sort of warping device. Yes, that certainly sounds like me. We should check every hiding place we can think of. I have seen such warping devices beneath the monastery. They are controlled by a separate mechanism located elsewhere. Then we need to find that too? <sighs> <laughs> We're already in two groups. Let's continue the search. Use the catapults to crush the rebels below! Not a problem. from above. We have to stop those catapults. These infernal black walls are preventing me from reaching Lady Rhea. And now the Imperial reinforcements are closing in. Well, I'll just have to go intercept them myself. We found the device but it doesn't seem to operate by itself. Not a problem. I've got this. Right then. If I may. Watch this! Take a breather. I don't have any interest in exchanging words with you. You are too that's all I need to know. I'll follow your lead! I've got you now! Lady 
Lady Rhea. It was my greatest pride to be your sword. Defenses crippled in short order. Does this mean we can warp now? Let's use the device to go after that dark mage! I'll take over! any more casualties. I will dispose of you vermin myself. I will not be held up by such foul vermin. We can't use these ourselves, hmm? What a bother. have vanished. Now we can rejoin our forces. That dark magic has dissipated. Now I can finally escape. I mean, strategically retreat. I'll fight until my dying breath to protect Lady Rhea. But Cyril... The wounds you carry. Please be safe. As the goddess is my witness, this is as far as you go. Annihilate them and reclaim all that is ours. Don't stop now. Not when the future we seek is within our grasp. Was enough to save her. Well, except for the other things. Ah! 
It never ends! Come, Hubert! Let us show these knaves the power of the Twin Jewels! The Twin... What? <laughs> if you desire my assistance, you can start by doing away with the strange epithets. <laughs> Monastery is clear. This is the moment we've been fighting for. Rhea and Talus will be waiting just ahead. It's a boon that the Empire's two greatest enemies are both within striking distance. Yet we mustn't forget they are capable of anything. This situation could very quickly become dire. No kidding. We're talking about the heads of the church and those who slither in the dark. I hope you are all mentally prepared. Because once this begins, we cannot afford to waste even a second. Lady Edelgard, we await your command. Through some strange twist of fate, we find ourselves capturing Garrick Mok for the second time. Our first victory signaled the start of the war, and today's victory will be a giant step toward ending it. Today, together, we usher in a new era. And at the end of this path lies our future. The time is now. All Imperial forces, advance! Come on! Victory's nearly ours! Go! You ignorant fools dare stand against me? Now you will make over all that you did you to my up? father and the Empire. Do you forget who I am? Get out of my way! I no longer care. For the sake of my people, you must die. Well, you should care, because I'm the one who's going to kill you. Dispelled the darkness. Take a breather. Now all that remains is Rhea. Allow me. I'll take over. Follow me, everyone. I enjoy seeing you at the fore, Edelgard. How fitting that I should settle things with Rhea here in the cathedral. No matter how many years pass. You people will always be little more than fools. Return the land you stole from us! You are the blood of the Hrestbergs, and the heart of a traitor. Your sins run deeper than all others. I wear my sins proudly. For they are the reason I fight to bring Bolin from the goddess's so-called judgment. You have left me with no other choice. Watch over me, mother. It's not over. So be it. I will crush you where you stand! Shapeshift too? Then you are the Immaculate. So be it. Today we destroy you and secure our future. I've got this. Come with me. Can you keep up? Do you forget who I am? Get out of my way! 
Stay vigilant. There would be no greater folly than to die here after all our struggles. <laughs> Just you wait, Father. I'm going to distinguish myself and return home my hero. Oh, Petra McNeil, Queen of Bridges. I honor my pact by fighting with the Empire. We will prevail today, even if it costs me the life that Her Majesty so graciously saved. I pray this fight is the one that ends this wretched war for good. Well, I suppose I can allow myself one day to be truly giving my all. to maintain that form. If we act quickly, we can restrain her. Huh? Our vengeance is unending. We must reclaim what was stolen from us. I will destroy you by my own hand. We will surpass you both and move forward. I don't know what the future holds, but we're not going to stop until we claim it. Nothing compared to what we faced in the Red Canyon. You have forced my hand. Whatever the cost, I must see our objective achieved. <laughs> Abominable creatures, I will give you the burial you deserve! <laughs> I will not allow you to sully this sacred place! Then die along with it! It's gonna fall! This way! <laughs> There's no way they could have survived that. Well then, just one thing left. Must we do this now? Ugh. But I suppose you earned it. Just this once. At last, Fodlan has been freed from that which bound it. Today marks a momentous new chapter in its history. And we shall be its authors.
It is now 1183, Blue Sea Moon. The Empire has freed Garrig Mach and put the Knights of Seros and those who slither in the dark to rout. Amidst the fighting, Archbishop Rhea and Tallis both go missing. With no one to lead, the Central Church's influence wanes and those who slither in the dark vanish. But due to Claude's breaking of a pact to serve his own ambitions, the Empire and Leicester Alliance soon return to war. Bloodshed between the three ruling powers of Fodlan, Empire, Alliance, and the beleaguered kingdom rages on with no end in sight.
Here we stand at long last, and with your help we have secured a historic victory. But while the war must go on, I must tell you something from the very depths of my heart. Thank you for being a pillar of strength to us all. Thank you for carrying us this far. I know I will look to you again in the days to come, for I can no longer imagine an empire without you. <laughs>